The warm spring sun fell sporadically on the white sheets through the gaps in the curtains. The face of the person on the bed was pale, and the fine sweat from his forehead soaked the hair and clung to his face indiscriminately. With her brows frowning, she felt her head as heavy as lead, her nerves throbbed, and she felt like she was about to explode, and her back hurts in the heart as a rocky mattress. It was extremely uncomfortable for the sweaty underwear to stick to her body. Feather eyelashes trembled slightly, and Jane slowly opened her eyes with difficulty. In the room in a daze, the first thing that catches the eye is an old-fashioned wardrobe with yellow paint peeling off. On the crude handmade bedside table next to the bed is a blue glass vase, a daffodil that is about to die is crumbling and it looks like a small cherry ball. The alarm clock was looking at himself with white eyes. Jane only felt a white light flashing in her head, her wilted spirit was suddenly returned to the cage, and her weak body shook up from the bed. Looking around, this is not her own high-end apartment in the capital at all, but the white bed sheets and the gauze curtains are so familiar to her. This is not her own house, or even the capital, but the home of Byun City where she grew up. Incredible. Jane A.I. looked almost dull at everything in front of her, why did she appear here? Hasn't this old house been demolished long ago? And myself. Jane closed her eyes and let herself try to recall everything that happened before. She lived in this old house until she was admitted to a university in the capital at the age of 17. At the age of 19, her mother died of cancer. The eldest brother followed suit in order to make money for his education. The engineering team went out to work, but it didn't happen that they had an accident and passed away. Since then, the two most important relatives in Jane A.I.'s life have left her one after another, and she is the only one who is still in her junior year. But this did not completely crush her. After immersed in grief for a period of time, Jane A.I. strongly chose to face her future life alone. The eldest brother's death lost some money on the construction site and caught up with the demolition of the old house. Jane received a large sum of money for demolition. It was with this money that Jane used her unique vision, wisdom and skill to start her career in Beijing. The road to entrepreneurship seems to have a natural acumen for doing business. In just a few years, Jane has become a female boss worth tens of millions in the real estate industry in Beijing. The picture freezes in the last frame in his mind. The driver is driving himself to sign a contract with his partner. At an intersection, a truck driving on his side suddenly rolls over. So, is he dead? I opened my eyes and looked at everything that made me feel dazed but familiar, or that her life so real was just a dream. After getting off the bed, Jane came to the closet and opened the door very skillfully. There was a mirror on the inside of the door. In the mirror, she was pale and thin, obviously looking like a serious illness. But this is what I once looked like. Raising his hand and carefully touched his face, the touch was so real that Jane couldn't help but flushed her eyes. Stacked on the top of the wardrobe are her high school uniforms, old-fashioned styles and friendly colors. At this time, there was a sudden sound of opening the door outside the house, and Jane's heart followed with a chuckle and her body trembled involuntarily. Her feet rushed to the door eagerly and slammed the door of the room open. In the small living room, Wang Yunmi was putting down the fruit in her hands, she couldn't help but turn her head when she heard the voice, and she looked haggard when she saw her daughter only wearing a jacket. Standing at the door, Dang even exclaimed, Oh, Xiao Ai, why did you get out of bed like this, go back and lie down, don't catch cold anymore. While she was talking, Wang Yunmi I had already walked quickly to Jane Ai and was about to help her into the house, but she didn't want her daughter to hug herself. Mom. This mom seemed to exhaust all of Jane's strength. She couldn't control herself anymore and threw herself into her mother's arms and started crying presumptuously. In Jane's memory, from the time she remembered, her mother had been doing the work of accompaniment at night. This was a job that was not serious in the eyes of others. As a result, her mother suffered a lot of pointers from the neighborhood. Even the so-called relatives of my grandfather's uncle never had any unnecessary contact with their family. In addition, 
my mother rented a small face on the side of the street not far from home, and got up early to sell fried dough sticks every morning. And this kind of life has been repeated by my mother for more than ten years, just to support herself and her brother. Regarding her father, Jane A.I. and her eldest brother did not understand. If the mother did not say anything, they did not ask. In her heart, only the mother and the eldest brother were the most important. But when he was 19 years old, God once again made a joke with her. Her mother was diagnosed with advanced liver cancer and passed away in just two months. This made this already difficult home even worse, and she was in Beijing. When I was in college, I didn't even see my mother for the last time. Feeling the familiar fragrance on her mother's body, Jane A.I. cried until she was almost limp. If all this is a dream, she is willing to switch this dream with what she has and not wake up. But Wang Yun Mi was startled by her daughter's sudden hug, and after reacting, she quickly patted her back like a soothing, OK, my dear daughter, why are you crying? Go back and lie down, you are burning. Just retired, don't catch a cold again. Looking at her daughter's crying red eyes, Wang Yun Mi couldn't help but grinned, the doctor said that you were frightened, and your mood might fluctuate. I didn't know that the fluctuations were so big. Mom was the first time I saw you crying so hard. She wiped her tears. Although she couldn't calm down quickly, Jane still pretended to be normal and said, Mom, I want to take a shower first. My body is sticky and uncomfortable. Okay, then you take a shower first. Mom changed the sheets for you. I guess I got wet with sweat. Wang Yun Mi only thinks that her daughter is frightened. In the bathroom, the simple shower head sprayed intermittently, and after washing, Jane's heart gradually calmed down. It was the early spring of 2002, and it had been a full 12 years since my car accident happened. All of this is not a dream. I really went back to the time when I was 14 12 years ago. It's just that if nothing can be changed in this life, what use does she want this opportunity? So Jane clenched her fist and vowed secretly, this time, she must save her mother and eldest brother who died young and change the life of the family. The early spring evening was still a bit cold, especially in Baiyun City, an economic city located at the northern end of China. Jane was sitting on the sofa in the living room under a blanket. On the coffee table in front of her were hot meals, scrambled eggs with tomatoes, sweet and sour pork tenderloin, and a bowl of milky white fish head tofu soup. There are two clean red apples beside the food, and at a glance they are the most expensive ones on the fruit stand. My mother has always been like this to herself, even if the family conditions are not superior, but in terms of food and learning needs, her mother has always tried to give herself the best. At this time, Wang Yun Mi had already left for work. Jane put on clean clothes after eating by herself, tied her hair into a ponytail with rubber bands, and took a photo in the mirror before putting on her shoes and going out. In April and May, Baiyun City was as damp and cold as late autumn. Jane wrapped her coat tightly, looking along the way, recalling everything she was familiar with in her childhood. Baiyun City is located in the northern Jin province. It is the capital city of the Jin province and an important trade hub and economic city in the north. The city is divided into five major districts, namely Haikan District, Bell Tower District, Nanchinj District, Baikan District, and Wanbao District. The most prosperous city center is Haikan District, while Jane's home is in Nanchinj District, also known as the slum area. Most of the residents in Nanchinj District live in poverty. There are only a handful of high-rise buildings in the entire district. Most of them are bungalows or two- or three-story civil construction buildings. In the feasting Baiyun city, it seems out of place. After walking for more than half an hour, Jane stopped in front of the Starlight Bar in the Bell Tower area. Many young people gathered in groups at the entrance of the bar. Loud and loud music came from inside. Jane felt a little nervous. But more of it is excitement and anticipation, because her brother Jian Yu works here. In the last life, in order to make more money for himself to finish university, 
my brother went out with the engineering team to do construction work. What he did was coolies and he was youthful. But not wanting to be taken away by falling objects on the construction site, Jane still dare not recall the scene of seeing her brother's body. Little sister, are you looking for someone? You can't let children in here. As soon as he walked to the front door, the yellow-haired boy squatting on the side looked up at Jane A.I. with a cigarette in his mouth and asked, Although Huang Mao does not look like a good person, he speaks with a serious tone. Jane Aidon stayed in shape, looked at Huang Mao and nodded, I'm looking for someone. Huang Mao stood up when he heard the words, took a look at Jane A.I., took a puff of smoke and exhaled the smoke, raised his eyebrows and asked, Who are you looking for? There are no guests in there yet. I'm not here to look for guests, I'm looking for Jian Yu, he is here as a security guard. Jian Ai said quickly. Yeah, I'm looking for Jian Yu. The Huang Mao couldn't help looking at Jian Ai with a deep expression before he smiled again, then wait at the door, I'll go in and call for you. Jane Ai took a deep breath when Huang Mao entered the bar. Starlight Bar is considered to be the best bar in the Bell Tower area. Young people love to come to this place, and many boys who drop out of school nearby are also willing to come to work in this place. Work only at night, and they can earn a thousand or eight hundred yuan a month. Money, nowadays, is a lot of income for a person in his twenties. The eldest brother Jian Yu is four years older than himself. He has just turned eighteen and has been a security guard at the Starlight Bar for almost a year. The eldest brother loves herself the most. Jane still remembers that every day when her salary is paid at the beginning of the month, her elder brother secretly gives herself half of the money as pocket money, and gives the remaining money to her mother, leaving him with dozens of dollars for pocket money. Here, just the girl in the white sweater. As soon as she walked out of the bar, Jian Yu saw Jane Ai at a glance, and immediately raised her hand and patted the back of Huang Mao's head. Uncle Niu, then he is my sister. When the words were over, Jian Yu ran over to Jane Ai, first looked at Jian Ai with a worried gaze, and then said, Are you better? Just run out. You are here. Said Jane. You couldn't help looking around before asking, Why did you come? Are you here? Jian Yu is one meter eight feet tall, with long thick eyebrows and big eyes. He is exceptionally sharp and frowning when he speaks. Between his eyebrows, he cares about Jane A.I. Looking at her eldest brother at this time, Jane once again had the illusion that she felt like a world away. She felt sore in her nose as soon as her heart warmed, and she almost cried. What's up, Xiao A.I.? What do you want me to ask? Jian Yu's tone became even more nervous when Jian A.I. didn't speak. Jane A.I. quickly withdrew from her trance, and said, I'm fine, brother, I came here for a walk, and I want to see you. Home is in Nanchinch district, here is the bell tower area, at least half an hour's walk, when Jian A.I. is really walking, Jian Yu can't breathe in his heart, except for worry, it is distressed. Second son, I have to send my sister home and ask for a leave of absence for me and Donga. Jian Yu suddenly turned around and shouted at Huang Mao who was watching the excitement in the distance. Huang Mao be received a gesture, but Jane smiled embarrassedly when she saw it, Brother trouble you. Jian Yu smiled helplessly when he heard the words, It's okay. Anyway, it's not that the bar is not busy on weekends. I don't worry about walking back by yourself. Jane Ai stepped forward and looped Jian Yu's arm. The eldest brother was tall and strong, which made people feel safe. She and her mother used to like to walk with him. I bought this for you. Jian Yu suddenly took out a small object from his pocket and handed it to Jane Ai. Jane Ai looked up and saw that it was a pair of small issued by a pair of children. Thank you brother. Jane Ai raised her head and grinned as she took it happily. Jian Yu curled her lips, and said in a loving tone, I saw it by accident at the night market, don't you like little peach? Don't be polite to brother for two dollars. What little peach, she's called Zioenzi. Jane A.I. laughed. Fine, small balls. 
The siblings talked and laughed all the way to Jian Yu's motorcycle. On the way back, Jane sits in the back seat and surrounds Jane Yu's waist. The night breeze of Byun City is clammy on her face, but Jane's heart is exceptionally warm at this time, warmer than ever. Before going to bed that night, Jane took out her school bags and took out her school uniforms and ironed them neatly. She fell into the water a few days ago and developed a high fever. She hasn't gone to school for several days. She has no physical discomfort. Jane's past is still fresh in his memory, but now that she has a chance to come back, Jane still plans to return to school and will go back to school tomorrow. I don't know if it's a psychological effect, but Jane's lying in bed can't sleep, and can't sleep for a long time. She seems to be worried about whether all this will disappear when she wakes up, and she has become a successful female boss. But never see his mother and brother again. At night, Jane A.I. had a very real dream in her sleep. In the dream, there were no people and no scenes, and everything I saw was words. It seemed to be an ancient legend, and it seemed to be a lost school. Suddenly, a clear voice rang out in his mind, ancient prehistoric continent, the school of immortality, the founder of the ancestor Yu Jiang, the lifelong peculiar learning, and the selection of people who are against the destiny, integrate into the blood, and only wait for the peerless roots to emerge. He decides everything. This voice is mighty, distant, and ethereal, like an old call from another time and space, Jane A.I. suddenly wakes up in his sleep but finds that the upper part of her face is densely packed with words. Destiny? The first thought that came out of Jane A.I.'s mind was these four words. In her dream, she clearly heard and remembered clearly that the old voice had said, to select people who are against the destiny and blend into the blood. I inexplicably reborn from the age of 26 to the age of 14. Is this the so-called destiny? I raised my eyes and looked in front of the font with golden light. This is a secret book of the ancient school of Shakespeareanmen, which records the twelve sets of minds of the founder of the school, the founder of the school, Yu Jiang Zhenren. And before Jane could read the contents carefully, the thousands of golden fonts jumped up as if they were alive, and then when Jane was dumbfounded, they flew into her brain. The sudden amount of cognition made Jane A.I.'s brain hot like a fire and she only felt that her brain was swollen and heated, and it was uncomfortably tight. After less than two minutes, the energy gradually weakened until it disappeared. At this time, Jane was able to squeeze the twelve sets of minds, as if they had already been engraved in her mind. At the moment Jane sat up directly on the bed, and then turned her gaze to the small ball alarm clock beside the bed. When she raised her hand, she saw that the alarm clock that was originally on the bedside table suddenly flew towards Jane's hand. Catch steadily, this is the most basic control in the formula. Jane was surprised and delighted in her heart. She thought that rebirth was God's greatest favor to her, but she didn't expect that she even had a gift bag for this, and she also included a set of Shenzhen gate skills, which was undoubtedly an unexpected surprise. The rebirth made her unbelievable and now she has learned twelve sets of mental methods. If all this hadn't happened to her, Jane would never believe that there would be such a thing in the world for the rest of her life. It was six o'clock when she woke up in the morning, Jane took a quick wash, put on her long-lost school uniform, carried her school bag and went out. At this time, both mother and eldest brother are already busy at their breakfast stalls. Jane will go directly to school after breakfast in the shop every morning. Xiao A.I. While walking on the road, someone suddenly called his name behind him. After a pause, Jane A.I. stopped and looked back, only to see a girl who was also wearing the second high school uniform and was about the same age as her, chasing him all the way. Gun Tao, Jane A.I.'s classmate and best friend, grew up together and went to the same school from kindergarten to high school. When they arrived at university, they applied for different schools because of different ideals, but they were still best friends. Guntao from her previous life married a rich second generation, and her first child gave birth to twins and two sons. She straightened her back in her husband's house and lived a very moisture-rising life. Do you go to school when you get better? 
why don't you rest at home for a few more days? Guan Tao asked caringly. Suddenly seeing Guan Tao when she was a child, Jane couldn't help being stunned, and then she said, It's all right, I haven't been to school for several days, and I won't be able to keep up with class anymore. Guan Tao saw that Jane's expression had indeed improved a lot, and she was relieved now. Then he sighed and said, Don't provoke Li Yunmi and the others in the future. People are rich and powerful. This time they pushed you into the pond. What if you do something extraordinary next time? Jian Ai was stunned when she heard the words. She had a fever because she had fallen into the water. Why didn't she remember that it had something to do with Li Yunmi? The second middle school is one of the best high schools in Byun City. The students here are roughly divided into two types, one is rich and powerful at home, and the other is those who study well and can get scholarships with their ability. And Jane Ai and Guan Tao obviously belong to the second category, otherwise the level of ordinary people can't afford the high tuition of the second middle school. After all, there are only a few scholarship recipients. Adolescent girls like to form cliques. Jane Ai and Guan Tao, two people living in the slums of Nanchinch district, will naturally be isolated or even bullied by their classmates. It's just that Jane has no impression of Li Yunmi pushing herself into the school pond. Nothing like this happened in her previous life. Maybe after rebirth, the trajectory of many things has changed? Xiao Ai, I'm talking to you. I see. Jane returned to her senses and responded quickly. My family's breakfast shop is located at the corner of the street. Because of its good location, there are more than one nearby breakfast shop. Aunt Mei, Xiao Ai, and I are sitting outside. Guan Tao shouted at Wang Yun Mei who was busy inside. Okay, wait a minute, come right away. Wang Yun Mei answered as she was busy. The daily business of the breakfast shop is similar, and the passenger flow is basically fixed. Because Wang Yun Mei's fried dough sticks are well fried, People who like to eat fried dough sticks like to come to their restaurant for breakfast. Two beauties, what do you want to eat? At this moment, Jian Yu came to the table, looked at the two and asked with a smile. Guan Tao's eyes lit up when she saw Jian Yu, but before she could speak, Jane said, Soy milk fritters and two tea eggs, brother, hurry up, we are too late. How Ellie? Jian Yu raised his eyebrows and walked into the store. Guan Tao opened her mouth, did not catch a word, but her eyes followed Jian Yu's back all the way to the room. Don't look at it, the eyes are flying out. Jane Ai looked at Guan Tao amusedly. Guan Tao curled her lips, rolled her eyes and said, Aunt May can really give birth, you and your brother both look so beautiful. Jane Ai's long white. Oval face and facial features are not so exquisite, but she is a standard little beauty. Jian Yu had thick eyebrows and big eyes, mouth full of white teeth, and smiled like a little sun. Few girls could resist. But it is also. Aunt May's looks good. You two are genetically good. Guan Tao said again. This is not wrong. Wang Yun Mei gave birth to Jian Yu at the age of 17 and Jian Ai at the age of 21. Now she is 35 years old, but it is hard to believe that she has two children of this age. A 35-year-old middle-aged woman's job is to accompany a wine lady in a nightclub. She is afraid that someone will make a joke. But Wang Yun Mei was different. She was born beautiful. At the age of 35, her skin was still tight. Her figure was hot, and she had more charm than a young girl. After a while, Jian Yu came out with two bowls of soy milk, and walked to the table of the two of them and put them down gently, drink while it's hot, it's all sweetened. Thank you brother Yu. Gun Tao grinned, wishing to show her gums to Jian Yu. Jian Yu said goodbye, so he pulled a stool and sat down beside Jane Ai, then only saw him touch it in his pocket and then took out the ten dollars rolled into a ball and handed it to Jane Ai. Xiao Ai, have a good lunch at school. Jane drank soy milk for a while, her eyes fell on the ten dollars, and he blinked before saying, I have money on my body, brother, 
keep it for yourself. After entering high school, at the beginning of each month, my mother would give herself 200 yuan as living expenses. 200 yuan might be enough for a regular high school, but in the second middle school, an ordinary lunch cost about 5 yuan. If you want to have a good meal every 3 to 5, you won't spend 200 yuan before the end of the month. Fortunately, the eldest brother secretly pays half of her salary every month. The mother doesn't know about this. She always thought that the eldest brother kept half as pocket money. In fact, the eldest brother gave the money to herself. He knew that the second middle school was a what kind of school, I am afraid that I will be looked down upon by my classmates in the school. In this way, Jane actually has five to six hundred living expenses per month, which is more than enough for an ordinary high school student. But Jane never spends money on it. She still eats the cheapest lunch every day and saves the rest. The money was quietly saved. You take it, brother will be paid tomorrow. Jian Yu forced the money to Jane Ai, and stood up without waiting for Jane Ai to speak, hurry up and go to school, I'm going to be busy. Oh my god, brother Yu is so kind to you too. Guan Tao said with an exaggerated expression with red eyes, I must marry a man like brother Yu when I grow up. Stop it. Jian Ai heard the words and looked at Guan Tao and said, You can do anything you like, but my brother, absolutely not. The enthusiasm was extinguished by Jane Ai's cold water, Guan Tao curled her lips, I know, I know. If it doesn't work, it won't work, and add an absolute to scare anyone. Seeing Guan Tao's expression, Jane Ai wanted to laugh again. She actually didn't mean anything else but Guantao from the previous life had a smooth flow. She didn't want Guantao to waste extra energy on her eldest brother. This would make her avoid many deters. The number two middle school is at the junction of Zonglu District and Haikan District. Every morning, take the number three bus at the street stop sign, and you can get to the school in about half an hour. It was time for the students to enter the school. Jane walked into the gate of number two middle school with the flow of people. Looking at everything she used to be familiar with, she tried to keep herself natural, but she couldn't help feeling a little excited and nervous. Look, isn't that Jane AI? Ah? Uh, really? Didn't you drown? Don't talk nonsense, you were sent to the hospital for rescue. It's only a few days now. Come to school so soon. As soon as I entered the school, there were a lot of whispering voices around. Although the other party deliberately kept their distance and lowered their voice, Jane could still hear clearly. Perhaps this has something to do with her body, mind, and body. It's just that Jane hasn't heard of these discussions. She actually doesn't remember the specific details about her falling into the water. Guantao said that Li Yunmi pushed herself, but she has to slowly understand why. In the first three grades of high school, Jane couldn't help but stop at the door of the class. The classmates chatting and laughing came from the classroom, and everything made Jane feel vacant and real. Pushing the door and entering, the classmates silenced when they saw Jane A.I. standing at the door. It was the kind of reaction that would isolate you instantly. Some people didn't even have time to take their expressions back. Jane couldn't help smiling in her heart. She was so familiar with this scene. For the three years of high school, she was like an outsider in this class, and she had never really blended in. The classmates also continued to do their own things after a while, and no one even came forward to ask about Jane A.I. who had returned to school after recovering from a serious illness. For Jane A.I., there is no need for unrelated people to care about falsely. If you don't enter, just step aside. How about being the door at the door? At this time, an impatient female voice sounded behind her, and Jane turned back to look back, facing the pair of eyes with disdain and sneer. Although she hadn't seen her in more than ten years, Jane recognized the person in front of her at a glance, Li Yunmi, the murderer who pushed herself into the pond in Guantao's mouth. Li Yunmi is tall and thin, with a small face and big eyes, as delicate as a doll. 
but anyone who knows her knows that Li Yunmi is a very violent soul under such a princess-like appearance. And she likes to take the initiative to provoke. Jian Ai still remembers that there was a girl in a particular class who was given a lesson by Li Yunmi and her companions just because she looked at her more in the corridor. When I was in high school, I tried my best to avoid this person. I was unknown at the time. I only knew how to bury my head and study hard, which greatly reduced my sense of existence, so I didn't have any friction with Li Yunmi. It's just that I didn't expect this time to be reborn, and the first person I met was the famous female bully in this class. Jane Ai retracted her gaze, without leaving an extra expression, and walked straight to the seat. The expression on Li Yunmi's face became stiff, and she seemed a little unacceptable to be ignored by Jane Ai. If Jane had seen it before, she couldn't wait to bury her head in her neckline and walk, but she had no response just now. As soon as Jane Ai put down her school bag and sat on her seat, Li Yunmi chased after her, came to Jane Ai's seat and stood still, staring at her and deliberately raised her voice and said, Jane Ai. Don't think that Lin Yi wrote you a love letter and you are proud of it. You don't know. The reason why Lin Yi wrote you a love letter is because he and Yan Tian bet on whether you, a nerd, like Lin Yi. That's right, I really thought I could be with Lin Yi. I even rushed to confess to Lin Yi, which is really laughable. Another girl echoed coldly. Jane Ai's movements to clean up the desk seemed to be clear at once when she heard everything she couldn't remember. Lin Yi, the name Jane Ai will never forget her life, because Lin Yi is the only person in her entire youth who has a crush. But Jian Ai never told anyone, including Lin Yi. Of course, Lin Yu Chang is handsome, plays basketball well, studies well, and has a cheerful personality. There are many girls who like him, including Li Yunmi in front of him. It's just that for Jane Ai, all of this is just a time. She doesn't deny that she had a crush on Lin Yi for three years in high school, but now, her heart is not fluctuating, and she even wants to laugh. The matter of being pushed into the pond by Li Yunmi is probably not related to Lin Yi's love letter to herself. Lin Yi is still the same as before, but now when Jane Ai faces him, she no longer has the spring heart. What's up? Jane Ai took the lead to speak, there was not much ups and downs in her tone and it sounded as if she had not been affected by the love letter incident at all. Lin Yi frowned slightly, making him look like a young man, and after looking at Jane Ai, he said, I just saw it. Li Yunmi is asking you for trouble again, right? With a light sigh, Lin Yi continued, I didn't expect so many things to happen at the beginning. I also know about you being pushed out of the pond. I blame it on me for making you bullied like this. Since you know it's all because of you, don't stay away from me, so that I will be blocked by someone who is careful. Jane's tone is light, and Lin Yi's ears can't tell if Jane's is right. Really angry. It's just that Jane's reaction made Lin Yi a little surprised. She never dared to look at herself before, let alone speak to herself loudly. Every time she met at school, she looked at herself secretly and then quickly. Leave their sight and the tone and attitude she had just spoken was like a different person, which made Lin Yi feel a little surprised and strange. After he recovered, Lin Yi nodded gently, I know, I just want to apologize to you. If it weren't for Yan Tian and I bet and tease you, it won't cause you to be pushed into the pond. So did the bet win. Jane Ai suddenly turned around and asked Lin Yi. Lin Yi was stunned for a while, and then reacted for a while, and nodded idiotically, hmm. Jane Ai suddenly felt amused, thinking of her secret love for Lin Yi, in contrast, this scene at this time is really funny. Seeing Jane's lip curled indifferently, she said, that way, I will give you a chance to apologize. You see if you win the bet, do you have to have half of my credit in the middle? I'm still because of this being retaliated by your admirer is hard work, and all the hard work is counted. You have to treat me to lunch in the cafeteria for a month. Hey. Lin Yi didn't seem to keep up with Jane's thoughts, with a dazed expression on his face. 
Didn't you say a second to keep yourself away from her, so as not to cause trouble for her? Didn't you just say to let me stay away from you? Lin Yi frowned and asked. Jane blinked, I regret it, I jumped in this pond for nothing, I was teased and I got sick. And didn't you come to apologize? Don't you just apologize verbally? I have to take some action to show me your sincerity will do. Lin Yi didn't know how Jian Ai suddenly dared to make such a request to herself, but after listening to her, she felt that it was not unreasonable. After all, she was a boy, and she still had to have this responsibility. Nodded, Lin Yi said, OK, isn't it just a month's lunch? You can eat whatever you want, I'll take it. Jane Ai glanced at Lin Yi with satisfaction, that's it, you can leave if there is nothing else, and class will start right away. When the words were over, Jane Ai directly turned around, leaving Lin Yi aback, and went directly into the classroom. Lin Yushu looked at the door of class 3 in the corridor for a while before leaving with a sigh of relief. In fact, after knowing that Jane Ai was pushed into the pond by Li Yunmi, Lin Yi has always felt guilty. It's okay that Jane hasn't had an accident. If something really happened, it would still be caused by herself. At present, Jane Ai asked for compensation, which also showed that she was willing to forgive herself, so Lin Yi now considered a rock in her heart to fall to the ground. Lin Yi went to the third class to find Jane Ai in the morning. Almost everyone in the morning school knew about it. Various versions of rumors began to fly, but no one knew what the two said. At noon, the school cafeteria. The cafeteria of number two middle school is built on the right side of the school. It is a two-story building with a large area. The dishes are particularly complete. In addition to the common dishes such as rice stir-fry and steamed buns noodles, there are also various local specialties such as meat tong steamed buns, spicy tang, etc., and they taste very good. Standing at the entrance of the cafeteria, Lin Yi saw Jane Ai in the crowd. She is the same as before, wearing a neatly ironed school uniform with a simple ponytail. But at this moment, Jane Ai was in Lin Yi's eyes, but she was completely different from before. She was not drowning in the crowd like before, but she exuded a different temperament from others, with crystal clear skin. She was shiny and expressionless on her face, but she could be seen at a glance. Jane Ai also saw Lin Yi, and immediately hurried forward to meet him, waiting for me. Lin Yi nodded gently, go in. The two entered the canteen together, and another group of people were surprised. The rumors in the morning were once again reduced to talk, and everyone in groups began to whisper again. I'm going. These two people won't really be together anymore. What's the situation? Jane Ai? Ken Lin Yi like Jane Ai? It's really foolish to be stupid every day. Hey, look at it, it won't take long. That is, there are less than 100 or 80 girls who like Lin Yi at school. I don't think Jane has a good life. In fact, in high school, it is nothing new for male and female classmates to fall in love. It's just that the two protagonists are too far apart in everyone's hearts. Lin Yi is the forward of the school's basketball team and he is also a schoolmaster. His family owns a well-known domestic clothing brand with a market value of hundreds of millions. He is definitely one of the leading figures in the school. But Jane Ai, Cinderella from a slum, puts her mind on her study every day. This is a typical example of a poor child who cherishes learning opportunities. If she doesn't interact with many people or participate in gatherings of classmates, her whole person is a little transparent, she never provokes others, and others will not put her in the eyes. Is it that two people who can't fight together are together? Anyone will say that it is unacceptable. Everyone's discussion Jane Ai and Lin Yi naturally heard, and Lin Yi whispered to the side at the moment, aren't you afraid that someone will trouble you? Compared with being asked for trouble, I still think the one-month free lunch is more appealing to me. Jane Ai said lightly, his face was not the slightest embarrassment because of being talked about. Lin Yi felt even more strange. Although he didn't have much contact with Jane Ai, let alone knowing anything about it, 
he just felt that Jane AI was different from before, completely different, like all the people around him and nothing can get into her eyes, and she feels a sense of separation from all over her body. Even when the two were standing together and talking, Lin Yi felt that there was an invisible gap between him and Jane AI that he could not overcome. Is this still the Jane who received her love letter, then ran to her with a blushing face and said, Lin Yi, I like you too? Finally cued to the meal window, Lin Yi looked at Jane AI and asked, Look at what you want to eat, don't be polite to me. Jane AI would not be polite. If she was really polite, she would not let Lin Yi invite herself to lunch for a month. Almost without even thinking about it, Jane said directly to Auntie Daffin, Auntie, give me a piece of beef roast potatoes, a braised lion's head, a piece of potato shreds and tomato scrambled eggs. Potato roast beef and braised lion's head are the most expensive meat dishes in the canteen box lunch. A fist-sized lion's head sells for three and five dollars. Jane has never been willing to eat it, so that she is very curious when she thinks of it a few years later. What did the lion head taste like in high school? Right now there is a bully who is paying for herself, Jane naturally wants to make up for the regrets of her previous life and taste the taste of this braised lion's head. Lin Yi didn't say much, and paid the money generously. Jane picked up the dinner plate and left directly, obviously not thinking of having lunch with Lin Yi. Xiao Ai, here. Guan Tao took up her position early in the morning and waved at Jane Ai from afar. Seeing the lion head on Jane Ai's dinner plate, Guan Tao couldn't help staring in surprise, Wow, Xiao Ai, you are finally willing to buy this to eat. A smile appeared at the corner of Jane's mouth, and he used chopsticks to divide the lion's head into two, and divided it into the crown peach's plate, I can't eat such a big one by myself. Let's be half of us. Guantao looked at the half of the lion head in her plate, and then at Jane Ai's indifferent expression. She couldn't help but be a little surprised and said, Xiao Ai, is there anything wrong with you? You can save two times a month. I can't bear to buy a lion head for three hundred dollars. Jane couldn't help laughing when she heard the words. She is indeed a good friend who grew up with her. No one knows her best than Guantao. Nodded immediately. I didn't buy this, Lin Yi paid. Hey! Guan Tao exaggerated her mouth when she heard the words, and then she was afraid that the people around her quickly lowered her voice. She leaned forward and looked at Jane Ai and asked, Really? You two wouldn't be true. Fake! Jane ate a piece of beef and directly denied Guan Tao's words, and then continued to explain, It's about the love letter. In the morning, Lin Yi went to me to apologize, and I asked him to buy me lunch for a month. He said, eat whatever you want, he invites. What else do you want to eat tomorrow? I ordered it for you. I'm going, no, Xiao Ai, you are too courageous. Let Lin Yi invite you to lunch for a month. If this is to let his suitors know, you must be stripped of you. Guan Tao's tone is exaggerated. However, there was concern about Jane Ai in the words, after all, the matter about the pond was because of Lin Yi. But looking at Jane Ai at this time, she didn't have any unnecessary reaction because of Guantao's worry. Instead, she chuckled lightly with a face that didn't matter, I've been in a three meter deep pond, and I'm afraid they won't make it. Come if you want to find the difference, anyway, I'm poor and white, barefoot and not afraid of wearing shoes. In the past three years of high school, she didn't compete with others, and was cautious in everything, but she didn't get any respect. On the contrary, she let others look down on her and treat her self-esteem as nothing. Now that she lives again, is it possible to copy the life of her previous life? It is impossible. Jane AI in this life will never be so transparent in the eyes of others. If anyone dares to bully her and her love, she must pay back ten times. Then I want to eat ribs. Guantao said with a smile. Jane raised her eyebrows and nodded, no problem, with such a freshman free meal ticket, don't use it for nothing. On the other side, Lin Yi couldn't help looking at Jane while eating. The three at the same table, along, 
thin, tall, pink-faced boy, wearing a pair of glasses, looks very gentle, and his name is Gao Yang. A tan skin, a neat and flat head, and a strong figure, named Yan Tian. There is also a girl with short hair and long ears. She is called Xia Ching Huan and is Yan Tian's girlfriend. The three of them and Lin Yi are classmates, they are almost inseparable at school, and they are all relatively famous figures in the school. Lin Yi's attention was scattered on Jane Ai in the distance. The three of them looked at each other and couldn't help but glance at each other. Yan Tian took his chopsticks and knocked on Lin Yi's dinner plate, Hey, what's your situation? You don't really like that silly girl, right? Lin Yi recovered, glanced at the three of them, shook his head and said, No, I just think she is different from before. Ha, I think it was water in my brain when I fell into the pond. Yan Tian looked disdainful, just let you buy her lunch for a month, she dare to speak. The whole thing started because of me, should I apologize to others? Lin Yi frowned and whispered. Upon seeing this, Gao Yang pushed the glasses on the bridge of his nose and said, although it is correct to say that, Li Yunmi did the thing that fell into the pond. Even if it is compensation, Li Yunmi should make it. Even though you are not bad. 500 Yuan, but I always think you were blackmailed by her. I said you guys are pretty good. Xia Ching Huan couldn't listen anymore, put down his chopsticks and said with a displeased expression, if it wasn't for you guys to bet, would they be pushed into the pond? It's fine now. Want to pick yourself completely clean? I tell you that Jane Ai is fine now, and if she drowns, you will all be jointly responsible. And I always think Jane is the kind of resignation, and she can speak today. Let Lin Yi compensate her, and Xia Ching Huan really took a high look at her. After that, Xia Ching Huan looked at Lin Yi and said, Lin Yi, don't feel that you are at a loss. This is because you did not do the right thing. You should ask for this meal. Tisk, I said who's on your side, why are you still talking to others? Yan Tian stared at Xia Ching Huan. Xia Ching Huan picked up the chopsticks and continued to eat. Responding casually in her tone, I'm not helping my relatives. Jane Ai has no temper, but you can't just pick up soft persimmons and just bully others. Yan Tian still wanted to speak, but was interrupted by Lin Yi, Ching Huan was right. I felt sorry for her in my heart, and I could feel a little better for some material compensation. This joke is that we have overfired. This is our fault. Fine. You two are Zhou Yu Huang guy, one is willing to fight and the other is willing to endure, we don't care, anyway, you are not short of the money. Yan Tian shrugged and leaned back, looking indifferent. After lunch, Jane went directly back to the class. Just as soon as she sat down in her seat, the girl in the front seat quickly turned around, looking at Jane with gossip and said in a low voice, Jane Ai, you really live with Lin Yi together. The girl's name is Su Jiao Jiao, and she has never had any intersection with Jane. At this time, she was afraid that the gossip in her heart was burning and she couldn't help asking Jane. Jane Ai sorted out the textbooks to be used in the afternoon, and said calmly, No. Seeing Jian Ai's attitude, Su Jiao Jiao couldn't help rolling her eyes inwardly, insinuating Jian Ai's false uprightness, but pretending to be friendly on her face and saying to Jian Ai, what is so bad about admitting? We've all seen Lin Yi buying you food at noon, so don't be embarrassed to admit it. Originally Jane didn't bother to explain these things to other people, after all, if there is, there is, and if there is not, there is no. But then I thought about it, instead of letting other people make false gossip with false transmissions, it would be better to use Su Jiao Jiao's mouth to spread the truth about the matter, and I was so happy and relaxed. After all, Lin Yi's admirers are no longer in the minority, and it is really annoying to deal with it. Thinking about this, Jane stopped her hands and looked at Su Jiao Jiao and said with a serious face, You really think too much about this. Lin Yi invited me to dinner just to apologize. It's not as exciting as you think, no sorry, I let you down. Su Jiao Jiao was stunned at the moment, 
before she came back to her senses for a while, and then she realized, it turns out to be like this. Alas, let me just say that it's not appropriate for you too, after all, you are not from the same world. Halfway through the conversation, Su Jiao Jiao pretended to have said something wrong, and hurriedly covered her mouth to stop the conversation, but the meaning in the words was clearly clear. It was insinuating that Jane Ai was not worthy of Lin Yi, and Lin Yi could not even look at it. On Jane Ai. Jane Ai, my mouth is dumb, don't mean anything else, don't think too much. Su Jiao Jiao pretended to be sorry, but stared at Jane Ai's expression, wanting to see how Jian Ai was stung. Look like. But Jane Ai disappointed her. Jane smiled indifferently, and nodded indifferently, you're right, he and I are not the same kind of people, so you still don't confuse me with him. Seeing Jian Ai's reaction like this, Su Jiao Jiao was even more muttered in her heart, only as if it was Jian Ai's deliberate support, she cried for 800 times in her heart. However, as Jian Ai thought, Su Jiao Jiao, who knew the truth, was an artificial communicator, and everyone knew about Jian Ai and Lin Yi in one afternoon. Everyone also understood that Lin Yi invited Jane Ai to dinner just to apologize, and had no other meaning. After school in the afternoon, Jane Ai and Guan Tao were walking to the bus stop talking and laughing, but they didn't want to be stopped by someone on the way. Headed by Li Yun Mi, there are four girls whom Jane doesn't know, obviously Li Yun Mi's attendants. The five people lined up and blocked the two of them, obviously in a posture to find fault. Jane stopped, and instinctively pulled Guan Tao behind her, Li Yun Mi couldn't help but sneer in her eyes and said to Jane, Jane Ai, you can't protect yourself, so don't think about protecting others. What do you want to do? Jane's eyes sank, and she was not shocked by the battle in front of her. Hey, what are you doing? Li Yun raised her eyebrows and said with a look of disdain, of course it was a lesson to teach you. Jane, you are too shameless, so embarrassed to let Lin Yi treat you to lunch for a month. You too do you deserve it if you don't look at your own virtues. Jane Ai didn't get angry but laughed, watching Li Yun Mi's provocative response, then I have to thank you very much. If it weren't for you to push me into the pond, Lin Yi would not come to apologize to me, and there would be no lunch. This matter, after all, half of the credit for this free lunch has to be yours, Li Yun Mi. Everything happened too fast. The crowd onlookers were not even ready, everything was over, the whole process didn't even arrive for a minute, and the five Li Yun Mi had completely lost their fighting ability. Damn, this girl is a practicing family, she has a good shot. That girl's name is Li Yun Mi, she is quite famous in the first grade of high school. It seems that someone is supporting her outside the school, so no one dares to offend her. Hehe. <laughs> it's not like letting people clean up at the moment. Five people can't stand up because of being beaten by two. It's really a joke. You provoke the wrong person, relying on more people to bully fewer people, I didn't expect the other party to be kung fu, you didn't see the tricks just now, it's fast and accurate, really enjoyable. Not everyone in the second middle school onlookers knew Jane AI. Some senior seniors were all excited. It seemed that they didn't expect this pretty long and pretty junior girl in front of them to be so powerful. The bully in the house was cleaned up. Seeing more and more people join in the fun, Jane Ike didn't want to be a panda being watched. When she pulled up Guan Tao who hadn't reacted, she squeezed out the crowd and left. After trotting all the way to the bus stop, Jane stopped and looked at Guan Tao and cared, Does he, are you not injured? I'm fine. Guan Tao panted and waved her hand, and then she didn't forget to check whether there was anything wrong with Jane Ai, how about you? Are you all right? Jane's lips twitched, and she shook her head and said, it's okay. How did you just do it? Why did they all fall to the ground as soon as I turned around? Guan Tao was just besieged by the two girls, and she couldn't help but not see Jane Ai's moves like flowing water. Doubt. Jane's heart moved and explained, 
my brother just taught me how to use self-defense in the past few days when I was recuperating at home. I didn't expect to actually use it just now. Guntao has always admired Jian Yu, and she doesn't doubt what Jane Ai said. She just thinks about it now but she is a little scared. She can't help but worry, fortunately, brother Yu taught you, otherwise today we two will inevitably suffer. After all, each other has five. Personal. If you have this situation in the future, you will hide behind, and I will deal with it myself. Jane felt a little guilty. After all, she had nothing to do with Li Yunmi's holiday and Guantao. She was beaten as a friend just now, and she felt a little distressed as a friend. Unexpectedly, Guantao disapproved, well, even though I can't fight, I can't leave you to run away. If you want to run, you can run together. If you don't run, I won't run. The big deal is to suffer fuck it. We grew up together since we were young. It would be boring if we didn't even fight together. Guntao's expression was extremely serious, but she was very moved by these words in Jane Ai's ears, saying that we can see the truth in adversity, and that Guntao can face this matter with her today is enough to explain the relationship between the two. Then I will take the time to teach you two tricks, lest you only pull people's hair. Jane said with a sudden smile. Hey? I only pull my hair. Yeah, you just screamed for letting go, don't you know? No. Did I call it? Is it so bad? Yeah, soon burst. Ha 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 ha. The two girls laughed at the bus stop and joined together, and Jane's first day back to campus was full and wonderful. The trajectory of this dynasty was completely different from the previous life. As for Jane, she knew in her heart that what she wanted, and what she wanted to pursue, was a new life completely different from the previous life. When she got home, Wang Yunmi was cooking in the kitchen, and when she heard the door opening, she knew her daughter had returned. Xiao Ai is out of school. Mom at the table bought you grapefruit. You can eat a little first, and dinner will be fine after a while, and your brother will come back for dinner too. Jane dropped her school bag on the sofa and walked into the kitchen wearing slippers. Wang Yunmi was cleaning a carp. Jane stepped forward and took a look, Mom, do you make braised fish? Wang Yunmi smiled and nodded, Yes, your brother ordered the dishes. I also bought spare ribs. How would you like to eat them? Sweet and sour. Yes. Jane Ai answered happily. Go out and wait, your brother will be back in a while. Jane Ai went back to the room and glanced at the time. At six o'clock in the afternoon, her mother usually put on her makeup and went to the nightclub to go to work at about seven o'clock. If it was early in the evening, she would be back around twelve o'clock in the morning, and it would be two or three o'clock in the evening. This kind of accompaniment work always has no accurate time, and it is impossible to get out of troubled guests. In the previous life, her mother died of liver cancer. Jane knew it was caused by her mother's drinking. Drinking alcohol hurts the liver, and the more he drinks, the more he hurts. In this life she will not let the same thing happen again. But now she can't directly ask her mother to quit her job in the nightclub, because the income from this job accounts for a large part of the family's expenses, and her mother will definitely not agree. So Jane understands that if she wants her mother to leave the nightclub, she has to work hard to change the current economic situation at home with her own hands. When money is no longer a concern for the mother, everything will come naturally. So Jane is very clear about what she needs to do most now, that is, make money. Opened the closet, took out a pink wallet from the inside, and took out all the money in it. I was reborn with the memory of the future. I have been profit about the trajectory of this world for twelve years. This is my unique advantage. The most profitable industries in the future will be real estate, catering, nightclubs and entertainment and cultural industries. Jane Ai has been relying on herself in the capital for several years, and gradually gained a foothold in the real estate industry, which is also the industry she is most familiar with. But when Jane saw all her savings, 
she still had to feel ashamed. All the money saved, added together, only. 1,300 yuan. 1,300 yuan is definitely not a small sum for an ordinary high school student like himself. According to her mother's monthly living expenses of 200 yuan, 1,300 yuan is enough for her for half a year. But if you want to start a business, this 1,300 yuan is really teased, and if you invest it in the business see, I am afraid that even a splash will not be aroused. Besides, there is no business opportunity for her, and she can't do anything with this little money. Seeing the money on the bed, Jane had a headache but her head was still fighting her destiny. Is there anything that can allow her to increase this amount of money dozens or even hundreds of times in a short period of time? Buy lottery tickets? No, the odds of winning are equal to zero, which is totally unreliable. Jane A.I. thought of stocks again, but then she vetoed it again. An ID card is required to open an account at a securities company. She is only 14 years old and has not yet applied for an ID card. Secondly, the risk of stock trading is too great. Although she has experience in this area, she can't be sure that she will be foolproof. If she loses, she will completely stop cooking. Can't think of a good way for a while, Jane also feels a bit frustrated, but the money in her hand is limited, and it is gone after spending, so she must hit the spot with one hit. Jian Yu's voice came from the living room. When she heard that her elder brother was back, Jian Ai quickly collected her mind and collected the money on the bed. Brother. After coming out of the room, Jane Ai greeted her, and she was dragged to the side of the living room by Jane Yu before she could speak. Jian Ai looked strange, looked at Jian Yu and asked, What's the matter, brother? Jian Yu showed a mysterious smile then took out a handful of money from his pocket and stuffed it into Jane A.I.'s hand, brother paid the salary, you keep these flowers. Jane A.I. was taken aback, didn't it explain the heavens? Looking down, Jane counted the brand new hundred yuan bills, and there were eight. Shocked, Jane looked up at her elder brother and asked, brother, why are you so much? You gave it to me. Jian Yu's salary plus commission is around 800 yuan a month, and at most it is only 1,000 yuan. Then he divided the money into two, one for his mother and one for his sister. But at the moment, Jian Ai has a full 800 yuan in her hand, which is Jian Yu's salary for a month, so she is so surprised. Facing Jian Ai's reaction like this, Jian Yu proudly showed a handsome smile, and said in a low voice, brother has been promoted to the foreman, and it will rise to 1,500 in the next month. When Jane heard this, she couldn't help but be overjoyed, really. Jian Yu nodded, it must be true. Jane A.I. was happy for her eldest brother. Although she was only a bar foreman, she was more relaxed than the waiter, and her salary was increased. It's just that Jane A.I. didn't collect the money. Instead, she quickly counted five and handed them to Jian Yu, brother, you can keep these for yourself. I'll just leave three hundred. I don't need money. Jian Yu looked at Jian Ai and said, you keep it for use. If your classmates buy something you like, you should buy it too. Don't always be reluctant to spend money. The second middle school has money. People's children, I can't let my sister be looked down upon. The eldest brother has always spoiled herself since she was a child. Jane A.I. was used to it in her previous life, but now it is different. Jane A.I. cherishes her mother and her eldest brother more and more. I have money. I saved more than a thousand for what you gave me before, so I can't use that much. Jane insisted on letting the eldest brother keep 500 yuan for himself. It's just that between the two of them, Jane suddenly smelled a touch of perfume. Jane A.I. has done a lot of research on perfumes. This perfume has a woody scent, which is particularly elegant. The concentration of the fragrance can be judged from the smell. This perfume has no fragrance added, which is pure plant extraction, and it is very valuable as soon as you smell it. After a pause, Jane looked at Jian Yu in surprise and asked, Brother, 
why do you smell perfume? It seemed that he didn't expect his sister to change the subject all of a sudden, and the lingering smell on his body was revealed, and Jun's face instantly blushed. This reaction gave Jane a full view. Although his brother had never been in a relationship before, he couldn't bear his good looks and good figure. It is absolutely reasonable to have girls to pursue. Seeing the eldest brother blushing like this, with the smell of girls' perfume on his body, it seems that he is the master of the famous grass. Did you fall in love? Jane A.I.'s eyes were smiling, this is not an interrogative sentence, but an affirmative sentence. The morning bell rang, and the original noisy sound instantly calmed down. But the sharp-eyed classmate found that Lee Yun Mi's position in the back row was still empty at this time. Jane A.I. naturally saw it too. She thought that Lee Yun Mi would definitely make trouble for her today but she didn't even think about it, but she didn't even show up. Jane estimated that she might have been injured by the difficult split yesterday, and her legs and feet were not well. Jane A.I., come out. As the students were reading early, the teacher Lee, the head teacher, appeared at the door of the classroom and called to Jane A.I. in the seat. Now Jane can be said to be the focal figure in the class. With the call of teacher Lee, the students immediately focused on Jane again. Jian A.I. was also shocked, then put down the book in his hand and walked out of the class under the eyes of the students. Ms. Lee, you are looking for me. In the corridor, Jane A.I. came to Teacher Lee and spoke with a gentle and respectful tone. Teacher Lee's complexion was a little dignified at this time, and Jian A.I. knew it in her eyes, fearing that it would not be a good thing. At the school gate yesterday, did you fight with Lee Yun Mi? Sure enough, when teacher Lee spoke, it was the fight yesterday. Jane A.I. did not quibble, but nodded calmly, yes. There were surveillance at the main entrance of the school and there were so many eyewitnesses. Jane knew in her heart that she couldn't hide it, so she simply admitted it. Teacher Lee couldn't help taking a deep breath. In her eyes, Jane A.I. has always been the most obedient and sensible child in the class, and her attitude towards learning is also very serious. As a head teacher, she likes this kind of students the most. As soon as she heard about it today, her first reaction felt it was a rumor, because she didn't believe that Jane would fight with anyone. But right now, the most well-behaved student in her eyes actually admitted in person, which made her a little dumb for a while, but more disappointed. Jane A.I. naturally knew what Teacher Lee had for her, and immediately explained, Teacher, Lee Yun Mi found the fault first, and she did it first. There are five people on the other side. If I don't fight back, I'm afraid I can only beaten up. Teacher Lee nodded softly when he heard the words, Teacher naturally believes that you will not fight with others for no reason, but even if you are a defensive defender, you are a bit too heavy to start. Lee Yun Mi has a hamstring strain, not ten and a half days I am afraid that you will not get better. Now her mother has gone to the principal's office. You must be dismissed by the principal. You follow the teacher to the principal's office, and then sincerely apologize to Lee Yun Mi, the teacher will also help you of. Teacher Lee looked a little worried. Although Jane A.I.'s family conditions are not good, she has excellent grades. If she is expelled from school because of a fight, she will be archived, which will have a great impact on her in the future. But in the face of Teacher Lee's worry, Jane blinked her eyes dumbfoundingly, her face unclear. Did Lee Yun Mi's mother go to the principal? The reason is that Lee Yun Mi strained her hamstring and then buckled her basin on her head? But Lee Yun Mi was injured because she split a fork herself and has a wool relationship with others? Teacher you may not be particularly clear about this matter. I did fight with Lee Yun Mi, but I was fighting two other girls. As for Lee Yun Mi, I didn't even touch her. Jane A.I. said to Teacher Lee with an innocent face. Teacher Lee was taken aback for a while, and seemed to have not understood what Jane said for a while, you didn't touch her? Then how did her leg hurt? Jane couldn't help but want to laugh when she thought of yesterday's scene but at this time, Teacher Lee was concerned about her situation, so Jane controlled her expression and emotions, 
and gave a description of what happened yesterday to Teacher Lee. At the end, Jane A.I. said, Teacher, in that case, it is human instinct to avoid, I can't stand in the same place and wait to be kicked by her, right? Teacher Lee could not help but breathe a sigh of relief when she heard it. If it was really what Jane said, then Lee Yunmi's injury was completely caused by her own extreme behavior and had nothing to do with Jane A.I. Although Jane hit the other two girls, but fortunately, only Lee Yunmi's parents came to the school today. As long as Lee Yunmi's affairs are handled properly, Jane will not be punished. In this case, you should go to the principal's office with the teacher and explain the cause and effect of the matter clearly. Teacher Lee said to Jane A.I. Jane A.I. nodded, and followed Teacher Lee to the principal's office. What school are you? My daughter came to school. I didn't come to be bullied by classmates. Isn't your second middle school known as one of the best high schools in Byun City? Is this how you educate your students? The principal's office is located in the administrative building behind the teaching building. As soon as I went to the second floor, I heard a sharp roar from a woman in the room at the end of the corridor, and the volume almost lifted the entire roof. Don't be afraid, there is a teacher. Teacher Lee and Lee Yun Mi's mother have contacted several times, knowing that the other party is not a good stubble to contact, and being afraid that Jane is afraid, can't help but comfort her. Jane A.I. nodded, curled her lips and smiled at Teacher Lee. There was no timidity in her appearance, but an extraordinarily indifferent expression. When he arrived at the door of the principal's office, Teacher Lee raised his hand and knocked on the door. As soon as the sound fell, the door was opened. It was Director Feng of the school's training department who opened the door. Jane A.I. followed Teacher Lee into the principal's room, and instinctively glanced around at random, her heart was really lively. The principal's room, which was originally quite spacious, was now full of people. There were the principal of the second high school, the deputy principal, the director of the training department, the head of the first grade department, the director of the school security department, and Guan Tao and her head teacher. Such a big battle, if you change other girls, or Jane A.I. in the previous life, I'm afraid it will be frightened on the spot. But looking at the expression on Jane A.I.'s face at this time, it was obviously calm and indifferent. Gently settled on Lee Yun Mi's body, Jane almost couldn't control her laugh. This Lee Yun Mi was really exaggerated. She came directly in a wheelchair. She didn't know she thought she had discounted her legs. Is this girl? Isn't she? As soon as the woman standing in the middle of the room saw Jane appear, she immediately transferred her anger to Jane, and she rushed forward as she spoke, trying to get justice for her daughter by herself. Upon seeing this, Mr. Lee hurriedly guarded Jane A.I. behind him, Ms. Lu, please calm down, we haven't figured out what happened. What's unclear? The woman interrupted Teacher Lee's words with a scream, and then pointed at Lee Yun Mi, can't you see? Can't you see what my daughter is like? She is walking even now. Nope. I tell you that if I don't give me and my daughter an explanation today, I will go to the court to sue you and hold your school accountable. Lu Chengzi's sharp voice pierced the eardrums of the eardrums, and everyone present frowned instinctively. Obviously, they didn't have any good impression of Li Yunmi's mother. Let this woman make such a fuss. Even if Li Yunmi is the weaker side, I am afraid that it will not arouse anyone's sympathy at all. It was Li Yunmi, sitting on the wheelchair and nesting aside at this time, with a grievance on her face, but she pretended to be decent. Ms. Lu, since Jane A.I. has arrived, it is enough to prove our school's attitude to thoroughly investigate this matter. At this time, the principal son Bo Yu stepped forward and said to Li Yunmi's mother, we all know you are I feel sorry for my daughter, but since it is a hurt incident, we as a school still need to figure out the matter. If there is a dereliction of duty in our school, we will never shirk our responsibility. As for Jane A.I., if it is her fault, we will definitely punish you and give you a satisfactory explanation. Principal Sun's words are extremely fair and neutral, and as the principal of the second high school, 
he has an invisible decent pressure on him, which makes people afraid to be disrespectful. Lu Chengzia took a deep breath when she heard the words, and then glared at Jane Ai fiercely before she said with a stern expression, OK, I have to listen to her explanation. My daughter is injured, but if there is a hospital certificate, how can she allow her to make sophistry? Seeing that Lu Chengzia had stopped clamoring, everyone breathed a sigh of relief. Principal Sun turned his gaze around Teacher Li and fell on Jane Ai, and said in a flat tone, Jane Ai, right? Just talk about what happened to you and Li Yunmei yesterday after school. Did you fight? How did it hurt? Clarify what happened yesterday to the principal, don't worry. Teacher Li did not forget to cheer Jane Ai. Jane Ai nodded immediately, and then she walked from behind Teacher Li to the front without fear, her petite body stood upright, even her back looked neither humble nor overbearing. Yesterday after school, Gun Tao and I were going to go to the bus stop opposite to take the bus. Jane Ai has a clear mind, fluently narrates what happened yesterday, with the correct tone as if she was telling other people's stories. At the end, Jane added, the severity of Li Yunmei's injury now is proportional to the strength of her kick yesterday. If she hadn't used her full strength, how could she not be able to hold back her strength and be injured like this? Suppose, I didn't instinctively avoid it at the time, and she kicked my stomach with all her strength, will the person lying in the hospital today become me? You bullshit! Li Yunmei couldn't help but feel anxious, blushing, and yelling at Jane Ai. Jane Ai is not talking nonsense. Li Yunmei was the first to find fault yesterday, and she was the first to do it. Gun Tao on the side hurriedly spoke to be Jane Ai's witness at this time. Why is your mind so vicious at a young age? You are not guilty at all if you beat your classmates like this. Lu Chengzia didn't believe Jane's words, and her daughter told her that it was Jane's that caused her harm. Guilty? What do I have to be guilty of? Jane didn't put Li Yunmei's mother in front of her eyes, and said in a leisurely tone, it's like a pig suddenly hitting me with all its strength, and I'm a normal person. People instinctively avoided, and then the pig ran into the tree by himself. Does this blame me? I still have to feel guilty for the pig. Li Yunmei is bound to have a guilty conscience, and Li Yunmei knows better than anyone how she got hurt. Seeing her mother calling the police at the moment, Li Yunmei was frightened and said quickly, Mom, don't you? Xiaomei, don't be afraid, there is a mother here, we will never finish this matter. Lu Chengzia interrupted her daughter directly, and then said into the phone, Yes, it is Baiyun number 2 middle school. The parties are all there. Please be sure. Faster. When the others saw Lu Chengzia call the police, they all looked at each other. Director Feng wanted to speak, but was stopped by the principal with a gesture. It was quite difficult for Lu Chengzia to communicate. The other party made it clear that they wanted to expel Jane Ai from the school. Instead of being stuck in a stalemate like this, it was better to let the police come and deal with it. Whoever is right and who is wrong must have a fair result. Jane Ai's face was indifferent, obviously this Lu Chengzia's action to call the police was in Jane's eyes that she lifted a rock and hit her in the foot, and she would be embarrassed in front of the truth. In contrast, Li Yunmei is the most nervous. She has done a lot of bad things in school, but she has never faced the police. Now that things have developed to this point, she doesn't know how to explain it. To say that the police were quick to act, but they rushed to the principal's office in just ten minutes. Carefully understand the whole story. With so many leaders from the second middle school present, the two police officers did not dare to neglect even if it was just the friction between the students on campus. One of the police officers who appeared to be older said, since the two sides hold the same word, then call out the surveillance at the school gate to take a look. The director of security nodded when he heard the words, although there are only six probes installed in the school, the place at the school gate should be able to take pictures of what happened yesterday. Li Yunmei was even more panicked when she heard that she wanted to adjust the surveillance, and her nervous speech began to stammer, that, police, police uncle, 
I just watch surveillance, forget it, we won't pursue it anyway, anyway, anyway. It's just a small misunderstanding between classmates. Don't. Jane couldn't help showing a faint smile when he heard the words, and slowly said, the police uncles are here. If you don't pursue them, it is equivalent to letting them go for nothing. It is a waste of police force and a waste of the country. Resources. This kid is right. Since we are here, we are going to resolve disputes for everyone. The police nodded in response. Lu Chengzia seems to have not yet reacted to her daughter's abnormality, and she still has a winning expression, the solution must be resolved. Let my daughter go to school with this violent element. I am a parent and I still can't do it every day. Worried. The group followed the director of security to the security office again, and the director of security personally called out the surveillance video at the gate of school yesterday afternoon. Li Yunmi's face was pale, revealing guilty anxiety and panic, especially when everyone watched herself flying in front of the screen, and then was avoided by Jane AI, who split a fork on the ground with too much force. She was so embarrassed and angry that she couldn't wait to find a place to sew in. The picture on the screen was clear and clear. From the moment Li Yunmi and several people deliberately stopped Jane, then Li Yunmi took the lead, and finally fell to the ground injured. Jane never touched her from the beginning to the end. It was completely caused by her own mistake. Guntao and teacher Li also understood Jane's intentions. Jane fell into the pond a few days ago, and took days off because of her illness. It's just that teacher Li, who doesn't know the inside story, thought Jane A.I. fell in by herself, but Guntao was different, she knew it was Li Yunmi who pushed it. Yes, teacher, Li Yunmi did what Jane A.I. fell into the pond a few days ago. She pushed Jane into the pond. Guntao responded and said quickly, as if she was afraid that Li Yunmi would run away. Same. Everyone was shocked when they heard this. Although Jane A.I. was a student in class 3, all the teachers present had heard of the incident that she fell into the pond. They heard that she was rescued in time by a male teacher who was passing by. He came up, and later fell ill, so the matter passed quickly. Unexpectedly, another version appeared now. You, you nonsense, I. Li Yunmi was anxious and wanted to say that she didn't do it by herself, but she had already suffered from a loss of surveillance. If she really called out surveillance for a while, she would be beaten again. Face once. It's a pity that Li Yunmi hasn't realized until now that the nature of her pushing Jane into the pond is completely different from what happened yesterday afternoon. If Guntao is nonsense, it will be clear if you call up the monitoring. Jane's face was cold, she didn't intend to pursue this matter, after all, it has been so many days, and there is no evidence, and it is meaningless to pursue it. But she didn't expect that just now she accidentally discovered six monitoring probes, and one of them happened to be able to photograph the pond. She suddenly had a plan in her heart. Since some people are rich and unkind, don't blame her empty glove white wolf. The director of security called up the monitoring screen of the pond at that time according to the time provided by Jane AI. In the screen, Jane had written to her because of Lin Yi's bet because of the fact that she got the information book. She looked very depressed and walked to the pond. Sitting on the stone bench next to him was in a daze. After a while, I saw Li Yunmi come to Jane AI aggressively, poking her finger on Jane's head while talking. Although everyone could not hear what Li Yunmi was saying, she knew that she was not a good thing by just watching her expression in the video. Jane kept her head down, looking very afraid of Li Yunmi. While being poked her head, she stepped back, and got closer and closer to the edge of the pond. Next to Jane AI was the sign of the pond, which clearly stated the depth of the water. Three meters away from students. Although the teachers who watched the picture knew that Jane AI was in the water, they couldn't help taking a sigh of relief at this time, and her heart instantly recovered. Then, she saw a change in Li Yunmi's original poking movement, and her hands jerked. Pushing towards Jane's shoulder, Jane was caught off guard, 
and leaned back and fell directly into the pond. This was not over yet. Facing Jane Ai who was struggling in the pond, Li Yunmi not only did not panic, but did not call for help. Instead, she stood on the shore laughing and cursing for a while, and finally left without a hurry. Seeing this in the video, all the teachers' faces became extremely solemn, and even the two police officers looked upright and rigorous. It seemed that a high school student who was only 14 years old could do it in the face of his classmates' dying struggle. It's chilling to be so indifferent. It was also the first time that Jane saw the scene so intuitively. The result of this incident in the eyes of outsiders might be that she was rescued in time and then became ill. But Jane knew very well in her heart that she would be reborn only if she died. So in this fall into the water, I was actually drowned. Jane Ai's face was slightly cold, and she walked to Li Yunmi Ai's body, looked at her condescendingly, and said in a light and indifferent tone, Li Yunmi Ai, do you know that I can sue you for murder based on this period of surveillance alone? Jane Ai's words shocked Li Yunmi Ai, and said in horror, I didn't murder, I, aren't you alive and well now? Lu Chengzia was also frightened. Although she didn't know much about the law, she also knew that her daughter was underage and did not have the conditions to bear criminal responsibility. At the moment, he hurriedly stepped forward and grabbed the policeman's hand, Comrade policeman, my daughter is still young. She is ignorant and the other party is okay? Do you think you can leave it alone? Jane couldn't help but sneered, I'm okay because I was fate. If it wasn't for the passing teacher to catch me, do you really think I would have my life standing here? Jane's calmness made everyone present tremble. Just watching the surveillance video, the girl who was pushed into the water was obviously timid and weak, but Jane, who was standing in front of them at this time, was totally different from them. There was an invisible fierce aura on his body, so that the teachers who wanted to plead for Li Yunmi I couldn't help but scream. Yes, she almost lost her life because of this. What qualifications do they have to make her forgive Li Yunmi I? Jane Ai, what are you going to do? There was crying in Li Yunmi I's voice, and she was obviously frightened. But the more she is like this, the more ridiculous Jane Ai feels, now that she is afraid? At that time, facing the life struggling in the water, why was she not afraid at all? Don't worry at all that the other party will die? I don't want to be so. Jane accepted her momentum and responded indifferently, but those who do wrong will be punished. It's right that I didn't die, but this period of surveillance is enough to accuse you of murder. It's unsuccessful. Of course, you are just a minor high school student and you don't need to bear criminal responsibility. But the juvenile correctional facility in Byun City is enough for you to live for a year or a half. Li Yunmi I secretly breathed a sigh of relief when she heard that she didn't have to take responsibility. But when she turned her head, she heard that she was going to the juvenile janitor's office, so she went to catch her mother with a look of horror, Mom, I don't want to join the juvenile. Management. Lu Chengzia also panicked. Originally, she thought that her daughter didn't need to go to jail, because she was still young and would lose some money and their family was not bad. But I didn't expect that some kind of juvenile prison suddenly popped out of Jane's mouth, which sounded like a children's prison. She only has this daughter. How could she let her go to jail, her eyes flushed immediately, but she didn't know how to defend her daughter, so she had to grab the policeman's clothes and repeat she is still a child, immature. This matter is a criminal case. It is different from ordinary school violence. You should return to the police station with us first. The police officer said helplessly. The teachers looked at each other and didn't expect things to get to this point, but they couldn't sympathize with Li Yun Mi. Although they were a child, they were so vicious and indifferent at a young age, and they might endanger society when they grow up. On the second day after her rebirth, Jane got into the police car in Byun City and entered the police station in Byun City. Li Yunmi Ai and her daughter were taken into the interrogation room by the police, while Jane Ai was sitting on a bench outside and waiting, accompanied by Teacher Li. The teacher has already called your mother, 
and it should be here in a while. Teacher Lee patted Jane A.I. on the shoulder, seeming to comfort her. At this time, Jane's body has long lost the momentum that she had just been in the security department. She sat in a chair with a calm and gentle expression. Hearing this, she couldn't help but smile at Teacher Lee and nodded, Thank you, Teacher. Although she is capable of handling this matter, she is too young, so she must notify her parents. Teacher Lee couldn't help but sighed, Why don't you tell the teacher such a big thing? Actually, I didn't want to really pursue it. Jane said, No one saw Lee Yun Mi pushing me off the pond. It was she herself who showed off to others, so there were more words in the school. But. After all, there is no evidence. Today I also accidentally saw that the security camera was able to take pictures of the pond, so I wanted to be fair to myself. Jane A.I. did not lie in what she said. At the beginning, she did not intend to pursue the matter. Today, she is completely slapped and righteous. In the final analysis, it was also made by Lee Yun Mi and her daughter. If this incident had not happened today, she would not have been invited to the police. The bureau had T. Xiao A.I. At this moment, Jian Yu's voice came from the other side of the corridor. Jian A.I. looked up and saw her mother and elder brother trotting all the way. Mom, brother. Jane A.I. hurried forward to meet her. At this time, the breakfast shop at home had not closed the stalls, so Wang Yun Mi was still wearing an apron with flour on the apron. Obviously, she hurried over as soon as she received a call from Teacher Li. Xiao Ai, are you okay? What's the matter? Wang Yun Mi became anxious when she saw Jane Ai. Her daughter was the most sensible, but now she appeared in the public security bureau. Mom Jane Ai, don't worry. Sit down first. Teacher Lee stepped forward to calm down. When she saw Jian Ai's teacher, Wang Yun Mi was even more excited, and quickly grabbed the teacher's hand and said, Teacher, my Xiao Ai is usually the most obedient in school. You know that, she will definitely not do bad things. Yes, yes, Mother Jane, listen to me first. I blamed me just now. I didn't talk to you on the phone when it happened suddenly. In fact, it's like this. Teacher Lee took the whole thing out of the tray, and did not deliberately conceal anything for Lee Yun Mi. At this point, there is nothing to hide. My sister was pushed into the pond by her classmates. Jian Yu was surprised when she heard it, and she couldn't believe it. A 14-year-old student, no matter how bad he is, would he not dare to do such a thing? Now people are interrogating inside, don't worry, Jane A.I. will be fair. Teacher Lee said. Wang Yun Mi was shocked. After she recovered, she couldn't stand the fear. Jane saw it and took Wang Yun Mi's hand to appease, Mom, don't worry, for a while, no matter what happens, you will listen to me. Yes, okay. Wang Yun Mi is actually a very strong person. Otherwise, she would not raise her two children alone for more than ten years. The brothers and sisters Jian Ai and Jian Yu are all her pride. It is precisely because of this that Wang Yun Mi felt scared when facing such a thing suddenly, if something happened to Jane Ai, she would not be able to bear it. Wang Yun Mi took two deep breaths before she calmed down. She shook her daughter's hand with her backhand and nodded gently. The subtle atmosphere of the two people, Jane A.I., was completely in sight. It was obvious that the two people did know each other, but her mother didn't seem to want to admit it. At this time, the door of the interrogation room was pushed aside from inside in due course. Li Yun Mi and Lu Chengzia walked out first. When they saw Li Qiang, Li Yun Mi cried and rushed over, Dad, Save me, I, I don't want to enter the juvenile management office. Li Qiang hugged his daughter and patted her back comfortably, don't worry, there will be nothing wrong with my father. The policeman in charge of the interrogation walked up to Jane A.I., and seeing Jane A.I.'s parents had also arrived, he said blankly, you come in with me. The lights in the interrogation room were turned on. 
it was not as dim and depressed as in the movie. There were two chairs behind a desk, and the two policemen sat straight. A row of wooden stools was placed against the wall. The policeman pointed his finger up and reminded, just sit and do it. Wang Yun Mi sat in the middle. Jian Ai and Jian Yu sat down beside her. One of the police officers raised their eyes and glanced at a few people before speaking with a serious face, we have roughly understood everything. The school has surveillance video. Our police station has also copied a copy, which can be used as court evidence. You can initiate criminal proceedings against Li Yun Mi, but I want to remind you that if this case is an adult, you may be sentenced to several years in prison. As an adult, even if the accusation is established, she does not have to bear criminal responsibility. At most, she will be sent to the juvenile detention center for one year. So. The policeman paused before speaking again, according to my years of experience in handling cases, I suggest that you go private so that you can get the financial compensation you want. Jane A. I heard the words almost without even thinking about it, and said directly, if the other party can meet my requirements, then I agree to be private. The policeman was originally waiting for Wang Yun Mi to speak, but unexpectedly Jane almost blurted out and gave a decision. Wang Yun Mi and Jian Yu were also taken aback. They hadn't considered it yet, but obviously Jian Ai had already thought about it. Jane immediately whispered to her mother and elder brother, Mom, brother, you leave this to me, trust me. Jane Ai's tone was calm, her expression was extremely calm and calm, and she shook Wang Yun Mi's hand firmly, as if she was sending a message to her. However, the two policemen who handled the case looked at Jane with admiration, and one of them spoke to Jane Ai, the little girl is not very old, but she is very opinionated. With that said, the policeman got up and prepared to invite Li Yun Mi's family in for negotiation, but Jane Ai suddenly said, Uncle Policeman, I only talk to Li Yun Mi's father. The policeman was taken aback when he heard the words, but after another thought, he felt that there was nothing wrong with Li Yun Mi's parents. They had the right to negotiate. After a while, Li Qiang followed the police into the interrogation room alone. The other party agreed to be private. As for the conditions, you can talk about it yourself. The policeman said to Li Qiang. Li Qiang couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief when he heard the words. As long as his daughter doesn't have to enter the juvenile office, he will try his best to meet all the conditions of the other party. Uncle Police, please take my mother and my brother out and wait, I want to talk with Uncle Li alone. At this moment, Jane said again. The people present were startled again, and the two policemen looked at each other in surprise. It seemed that they had never expected that today's rhythm would be in the hands of a little girl. Xiao Ai Wang Yun Mi was still a little worried about her daughter, but she was interrupted by Jane before she could say her words, Mom, you go out and wait for me first. Thinking that her daughter had just said this to her outside, Wang Yun Mi couldn't help but stop talking, hesitated for a moment and finally followed Jian Yu out of the interrogation room. The door was closed and only Jane and Li Qiang were left in the room. Your name is Jane Ai. As an adult, Li Qiang took the lead to break the silence, but this is called preemption in the business field. It involves nothing more than financial compensation and money. As a businessman, Li Qiang's instinctive choice is the first to speak, anyway, uncle still thank you. Just now. I also learned from Teacher Li that the situation in your family does not seem to be particularly wealthy. In this way, uncle will compensate you with 100,000 yuan. What do you think? This money is enough for you to finish college. Li Qiang's tone of speech was fairly calm, 100,000 yuan per mouth, which is indeed an astronomical figure for a family like Jane Ai. But Jane Ai is different. In her previous life, she was a female real estate owner with a net worth of tens of millions. She was a mere 100,000 yuan, which was not worth mentioning in her eyes. Uncle Lee, you still don't use your business suit to bluff me. Jane said in a light tone. Lee Chiang wrinkled his brows when he heard this, 
as if he didn't understand what Jane meant. Didn't she hear what she said clearly? 100,000 yuan, for a family like her, is equivalent to the total income of two to three years, which is definitely not a small amount. Under Li Qiang's puzzled gaze, Jane Ai walked to the chair to sit down and said, Your goal is to save money and avoid disasters, and to prevent your daughter's disaster. Is it worth only 100,000 yuan in your eyes? Student Jane, 100,000 yuan is already a lot of money, for you. Li Qiang wanted to speak for an explanation right now, but was abruptly interrupted by Jian Ai. Jian Ai showed a sneer and gently shook her head, Uncle Li, you have to be clear that Li Yunmei is your daughter, isn't it? Mine. So you don't always treat me to me, you have to ask yourself, is this money for yourself, whether it's for your own money or disaster prevention, or is it irrelevant? Li Qiang was stuck in his throat with half a sentence. He naturally understood the meaning of Jane Ai's words, but he was more surprised. What was surprised was that a 14-year-old girl had such a wise mind and voice. Like a veteran in a shopping mall, he can easily turn passivity into initiative in one sentence. The daughter belongs to him, so this compensation is for him to save money and avoid disasters, or it is irrelevant. 100,000 yuan, although not a small amount, is naturally a drop in the bucket for Li Qiang, who has his own company. With this sentence, Li Qiang had to re-examine the 14-year-old negotiating opponent in front of him. With a straight look, Li Qiang asked straight away, Since you are not satisfied, you might as well make a price. Jian Ai showed a calm smile when he heard this, Since Uncle Li asked, then I will help you analyze it. Let's make an analogy. For example, let's say that Li Yunmei is going to be closed in the juvenile office for a day, and Uncle Li can spend it. Uncle Li must be willing to save her for 10,000 yuan, right? And this matter can keep her closed for one year, which is 365 days. At the end of the conversation, Jane raised her eyebrows and said neatly, I will give Uncle Li a discount, and I will receive you 3 million. 3, 3 million. Li Qiang almost doubted whether there was a problem with his ears, and the expression of astonishment was completely written on his face. If it weren't for Jane Ai sitting in front of him like this, he would never believe a 14-year-old girl. I dare to ask him for three million when he opens his mouth. Poor and crazy? Compared with Li Qiang's shock at this time, Jane nodded calmly, Yes, I want three million, and one point less will not work. The tone is firm, with an attitude that cannot be rejected. In her previous life, Jane has worked hard in the business world for several years. This kind of one-on-one -on -one negotiation scene has long been dealt with freely, and it is true. Li Qiang still didn't react for a while, and the number of 3 million was still floating in his mind and heart. Even if he is sitting on 10 million fortunes, 3 million does not mean that he can just take it out. Student Jane, uncle knows that you have been wronged in this matter, but 3 million. You know or not you are extortion. Li Qiang suddenly didn't know how to face Jane Ai. If she is an adult of her own age, Li Qiang can naturally reject it with a tough attitude. But she was only 14 years old, and he felt a little powerless to face a child the same age as his own daughter. Li Qiang felt that the age and status of the two were very different, and they were somewhat unable to speak and start. But Jane Ai didn't think so. She only smiled indifferently when she heard the words, Whatever you define, it is blackmail or blackmail. But I clearly told Uncle Lee that this is what I agreed to be private. Conditions, and I won't give you too much time to consider. All decisions will remain in this room. Once you go out of this door, you will have no room for regret. At the end of the speech, Jane stood up and said, Three million and your daughter are worth it or not you can measure it yourself. After speaking the last sentence, Jane Ai stepped to the door without hesitation. Before she opened the door, if Li Qiang did not agree to her terms, then the matter would be a foregone conclusion. Jane Ai did not joking. Okay. I promise you three million. 
At the moment Jian Ai raised his hand to open the door, Li Jiang seemed to have made a great psychological struggle, and finally chose his daughter between Jian and his daughter. After saying this, Li Jiang felt that the invisible pressure on him disappeared, and the strength in his body was instantly emptied. He was actually pressed by the aura of a girl, which is extremely difficult for him to encounter in the business field. Happening The corners of Jane Ai's mouth evoked an invisible arc. In fact, she was also betting on the importance of Li Yunmi to Li Qiang. Obviously, this father loved his daughter very much, so she won the bet. It's okay to say that she fell into the pit, or took advantage of the fire. Li Yunmi took the blame for everything. Buying Jane Ai for 3 million is not a loss making business, so I can't blame her empty glove white wolf. Uncle Li should bring a checkbook. 1 million, 1 2 million, sign it now. Jane Ai said to Li Qiang. Li Qiang looked like a discouraged ball at this time, nodded when he heard the words, and then took out the checkbook from his handbag and signed a 1 million and a 2 million respectively. Jane Ai accepted the check and nodded in satisfaction, let's leave it alone, but Uncle Lee remember to warn his daughter, let her stay away from me. Otherwise, there will be no such favorable discount next time. When the words fell, Jane opened the door and walked out of the interrogation room without waiting for Li Qiang to speak. Looking at the door of the interrogation room, Li Qiang sighed helplessly for a while, Jian Changsheng, your good daughter. Jane Ai autographed the cancellation document, and the matter was over. It's just that everyone doesn't know what agreement Jane Ai and Li Qiang have reached in the interrogation room, and how much financial compensation Li Qiang has given her. Because of this incident, teacher Li was afraid that Jane had emotions in her heart, so she let her take a day off and asked her to go back and make adjustments. And today is exactly Friday, plus two days of weekends. Jane can have exactly three days off. Back home, the family of three sat down on the sofa in the living room. On the way back just now, neither Wang Yunmi nor Jian Yu were in a hurry to ask Jane Ai what they had negotiated with Li Qiang, but looking at Jane Ai's relaxed appearance, they actually had a certain estimate in their hearts. It seemed that Li Qiang offered the conditions. Not low. And Jane Ai didn't plan to sell her. Under the watchful eyes of her mother and elder brother, Jane took out a check from her uniform pocket and slapped it on the table. What's this? Jian Yu had never seen a check before, and was shocked when his sister took out a piece of paper, and then asked. Jane hooked her lips when she heard the words, check. Wang Yun Mi picked up the check. When she saw the zeros in the upper row, she felt a hum in her brain and instantly lost her ability to react. This is, 100,000? Or, a million? Mom. Jian Yu yelled, not knowing what mom's expression meant. Xiao Ai, he, he gave you one, million. Wang Yun Mi's lips trembled in surprise. Fortunately, there was a check in her hand. If she saw one million in cash, she would faint on the spot. How much? One, one million. Jian Yu also exclaimed, with a handsome face full of inconceivability. He looked at his mother and then at his sister. And only Jane's face was calm and relaxed, and calmly curled her lips, he offered 100,000, and I didn't agree, this 1 million is what I want. Wang Yun Mi and Jian Yu were already speechless at this time. The two looked at each other, and then both set their eyes on Jane Ai. They seemed to have the courage to never think of Jane's coming from, and they dared to meet someone who had never met before. A person wants a million. The most surprising thing is that the other party actually gave it to her. Wang Yun Mi can't recover for a long time. If she is herself, let alone 100,000 yuan, even 50,000 yuan is a great temptation for her, because to their family, tens of thousands of dollars is very precious at least the daughter funds for school are guaranteed. But not only was my daughter not satisfied with 100,000 yuan, she also let the other party willingly put out 1 million yuan, a full tenfold. Xiao Ai, this, we won't break the law, right? 
Wang Yunmi had never seen so much money before, and she felt unconscious in her heart. Jian Yu also swallowed nervously, everything seemed so unreal, like a dream, in the blink of an eye, their family had a million. At the moment, Jane stretched out her hand to hold her mother on the left, and the elder brother on the right, and said in a gentle tone, Brother, Mom, don't worry. This is normal financial compensation. They want to be private. The price that needs to be paid, if I cannot meet the conditions of the injured party, Li Yunmi I will have to go to jail. So everything is corresponding. Moreover, this agreement was reached at the police station and is completely legal and regulated. You really don't have to worry about it. This million, now belongs to our family. After listening to Jane Ai's words, Wang Yunmi and Jian Yu nodded obsessively, feeling that what she said was reasonable. The fact is that Jane lied to Wang Yunmi and Jane Yu. She actually got three million from Li Qiang, but at this time she only gave out one million. In fact, Jane had an estimate in her heart. Yesterday she was still worried about the first bucket of blonde hair. Someone took the initiative to send it to her door today. Jane knew that she had to make good use of the money. So she deliberately asked Li Qiang to write two checks, one with a denomination of one million and the other with a denomination of two million. She wants to give this million to her mother. The purpose is very simple. She hopes that her mother can leave the nightclub, because with this million, the family does not need to worry about money at all. Today, only in 2002, one million fixed assets for a family is far above the standard of a well-off society, and it has entered the ranks of millionaires. As for the other two million check, it was naturally Jane's own use to start a business. That's why she concealed the true amount. Otherwise, even if she said the flowers, her mother would not agree that she took two million to do business when she was in high school. So everything can only be hidden from her, secretly proceeded. In the afternoon, Wang Yunmi took the family passbook and the one million check to the bank. When the one million was actually deposited in her passbook, Wang Yunmi felt the truth of the whole thing. Everything happened in one morning, and their family's savings went from less than 50,000 yuan to one million. And she also promised her daughter, with the money, she quit her work as a wine company. In the evening, Jane was lying on the bed alone at home. She collected the check, but must transfer the money out before it expires. As for the future, Jane doesn't want to be too anxious. She already understands the future development trend of the world, so she only finds the business opportunities. She believes that she will be able to work hard just like her previous life. It was dark as soon as the sky flickered. Jane took a look at the time it was nine o'clock in the evening. Zendeo's mother said that she would resign today, so why hasn't she returned yet? Looking for a coat, Jane put it on and went straight out. The city center of Byun City is the most prosperous area, Haikan District. Yeokai Club is located on the east side of Haikan District. It is one of the most luxurious and luxurious nightclubs in Byun City. Everyone who enters and exits here is the upper class people, either rich or noble. And this is where Wang Yunmi has worked for more than 10 years. Jane Ai stopped in front of the magnificent main entrance, the colorful neon lights gleaming, dazzling people. Looking up, on the top floor is the eye catching five characters Yao Chi Club, and beside it, the logo of the Ji Shi Consortium is hard to ignore. The Ji Family Consortium, this is not only in Byun City, but also one of the leading Chinese consortiums that no one in the country knows. Jane has also heard of it for a long time. Retracting her gaze, Jane tightened her jacket tightly, and followed the flow of people into the Yeokai Club. The lobby on the first floor is spacious and bright, and the marble floor is clean to reflect the appearance of people. The luxurious crystal chandelier above the head is golden and bright. All the service staff are smiling, and you can see that it is a paradise for the rich. Because the daily passenger flow here is very intensive, and there are often customers coming and going with their children, Jane's appearance did not attract the attention of others. It was the first time that Jane came to the club where her mother worked. 
she had never been there in her previous life. It was beyond imagination, so Jane got lost soon after she came in. Sister Xia, Sister Xia, it's not good. In the corridor on the second floor of the club, a woman in a tights and a short skirt ran all the way on high heels, looking very panicked. Slow down, is there a ghost chasing you behind? The man named Sister Xia was called to a halt, frowning in disgruntled training. Go and take a look. Boss Lu is angry in the lobby on the first floor. The woman looked anxious, as if something major had happened. Boss Lu? Which Boss Lu? Sister Xia looked suspicious. The bosses surnamed Lu who came to the club to have fun were not 100 or 80. She didn't remember who was who. Oh, it's the old customer of Huazi, the coal-digging boss Lu who started Land Rover. The woman stomped her feet anxiously, and she ran to the lobby on the first floor with her sister, not forgetting to explain, Huazi today I don't know where to provoke him, he insists on taking Hanako away. The two trot like wind but the content of their words fell in the ears of Jane, who was looking for her mother. The lobby on the first floor of the club. Damn, I spent so much money on you, do you follow me now? In front of the counter, a tall but bald middle-aged man glared with anger, his big hands clasped a slender tender hand like a pair of pliers. The man's face was reddish, obviously he had drunk a lot of wine, and his mouth was full of unbearable words. The girl who was caught by him seemed to be in her early twenties. At this time, she was so scared that she couldn't cry. One hand was firmly clasped by Boss Lu, while the other hand was firmly grasping the edge of the counter. The copper pillar, for fear that he would really be taken away by this man. In the lobby where there was a constant flow of people, everyone immediately rushed up when they saw the excitement, and many of them knew this boss. With a pop. Boss Lu was a slap on his back when he was so excited. The slap was so strong that Hwaz's thin body was instantly knocked to the ground. In the next second, Boss Lu seemed to be mad with anger, and he picked up the glass vase on the counter beside him and threw it at Hanako when he lifted it over his head. Everyone instinctively backed away when they saw this, for fear that the porcelain vase would hurt themselves, but suddenly one of them rushed forward and grasped Boss Liu's hand. Boss Lu, you calm down, this thing will kill you if you smash it down. The person who rushed forward was not someone else, but Wang Yunmei, who had just resigned and was about to leave. Sister Mei, you save me, save me. Hwaza saw that someone was finally willing to stand up to help her, crying like she found a straw. Who the are you? I dare to take care of my business. Get out of here. Boss Lu is a tall man, and Wang Yunmei can stop him. Seeing him shake it hard, Wang Yunmei was thrown out. After a few steps back, he fell directly to the ground. Boss Lu once again raised the glass porcelain bottle in his hand to throw it out, but didn't want to be held tightly by another powerful hand this time. What? Boss Lu suffered a pain in his wrist, and the glass porcelain bottle he held in his hand fell off instantly. With a bang, the porcelain bottle fell at Boss Liu's feet and was smashed to pieces. The onlookers were all taken aback, but when they saw the person standing next to Boss Liu holding his wrist, they couldn't help but exclaim. It's Master G. It's over, Lao Lu is dead this time, so he dared to make trouble in front of Master G. Ah, ah, let go, it hurts. Boss Lu felt the strength of his whole body was taken away because of the severe pain from his wrist, his tall body was twisted into a weird arc, and the person who suddenly appeared to clamp his hand still had no extra expression. Hanako. Sister Xia also rushed over at this time. She was the public relations manager in charge of the club's princesses. These girls were all under her hand. Naturally, Sister Xia saw the man at first sight. She was taken aback at the moment, and she was sure she was right before she said, Ji, Ji Xiao, why are you here? Ji Hao frowned his eyebrows lightly, and with a slight flick of his hand, he threw the boss Lu aside, and then said impatiently, where is the person from Xiang Chun? After hearing this, 
Sister Xia quickly looked around and found that Xiang Chunlei was not there. She was anxious and said to Ji Hao, Ji Xiao, I, I will go find Mr. Xiang now. After speaking, he turned and ran away stepping on high heels. Mom! Jane squeezed into the crowd, and at a glance saw Wang Yunmei who had fallen to the ground and had not recovered. She didn't know what was going on, but seeing her mother sitting on the ground, she was anxious instinctively and rushed forward quickly. Mom, what's the matter with you? Where is it hurting? Jane looked nervous, and she supported Wang Yunmei's shoulder to look up and down carefully to see if she was hurt in any way. Wang Yunmei was even more shocked when she saw Jane Ai, Xiao Ai? You, why did you run here? The eyes of the crowd were instantly attracted by the two, looking at the beautiful image of Wang Yunmei, and the 14-5-year-old girl next to her. This is a mother and daughter? Sisters are almost the same, right? Ji Hao naturally noticed Jane Ai and Wang Yunmei, and when he heard the dialogue, he chuckles funny, does Xiang Chunlei don't want to do it anymore? Is there someone who brings a child to work? Jane Ai heard Ji Hao's teasing voice, and looked back at the moment, but didn't want to make a puff in her heart. Ji Hao has a neat short hair, full sky, smooth and thick eyebrows, a high nose, thin lips lightly hooked, and a slight smile at the corners of his mouth. Looking down, his tall posture, slender legs, tailored tailored trousers, and his coveted buttocks lined with a seductive arc, the upper body is a pure white wrinkle-free retro shirt, the cuffs are made of two pure gold cufflinks shining, the shirt button is open to the third on the chest, vaguely revealing the strong chest muscles, a black totem necklace, crawling over his collarbone, frozen in his full androgen below the Adam's apple. Jane A.I. raised her eyes to meet his eyes last. It is a pair of peach blossom eyes that can instantly indulge people. The ratio of the whites of the eyes to the pupils is perfect. The dark luster between the pupils is like the obsidian king, and more like the mysterious and impenetrable black hole from the vast universe. It is dangerous and fascinating. But what this man showed at this time was the attitude of a dude, the smile that didn't reach the bottom of his eyes and the playful abuse of the corners of his lips conflicted with his whole personality. The contradiction exists, but it is still perfect and flawless. In the past and present lives, there are many handsome guys Jane A.I. claims to have seen, but the one in front of him, Jane A.I., is the best looking. Ji Xiao At this time, Xiang Chunlei rushed forward with a flushed face, followed by a few club security guards behind him. The situation at the scene is not chaotic, but Xiang Chunlei can care about other things, this one is the most important. Ji Xiao you see why you didn't say hello in advance when you came. Xiang Chunlei's face was ruddy, and he was full of alcohol. He was obviously having fun in a certain box of the club before. Ji Hao frowned displeased, but ignored Xiang Chunlei, and directly addressed the security guards beside him, clean up all the broken glass. Boss Lu on the side seemed to have sober up most of the time. He hadn't seen the person in front of him but who did not know the name of Ji Xiao in Baiyun City. Thinking that he had gone awkward after drinking and making trouble in Ji's nightclub, he was shocked in a cold sweat at the moment. At this moment, she is shrinking aside and trying to reduce her sense of existence, hoping that Ji Xiao can ignore herself. It is a pity that although Ji Hao didn't put Boss Lu in his eyes, it was absolutely impossible to forget him. Right now it was his fingers with well-knotted fingers moving aside, and this person, the broken vase is an antique. Pay two million as compensation, and then throw people out to me. After hearing this, several security guards stepped forward to set up Boss Lu without saying anything. The people on lookers watched the excitement, but they didn't dare to make comments. They all heard that the G's young master was gloomy and unstable. He seemed cynical, but in fact he was fickle and irritable. If he didn't agree with him, someone would follow him. Everyone was muttering in their hearts. As expected, Ji Hao's gaze fell on Xiang Chunlei with a smile on his face at this moment, and then said impatiently, And you, now pack my things right now, get out. 
The smile on Xiang Chun Lei's face froze, and then looked at Ji Hao with horror. After a long time of reaction, he hurriedly shouted, Ji Xiao, you give me a chance, I won't dare again next time. Everyone was shocked. This Xiang Chun Lei's reputation in Baiyun City is not small, because he is the general manager of Yeo Kai Club, and the entire nightclub is under his control. With Yeo Kai's reputation in Baiyun City, almost all the upper class people know it. Xiang Chun came to the manager. But unexpectedly, now it is because of this thing that Ji Xiao's brows have been touched, so Ji Xiao will be fired without saying a word? Jane Ai saw everything in his eyes. The man in front of him who seemed to be in his early twenties seemed exaggerated in his gestures, but in fact he had the strength of an invisible superior. His words and deeds make others feel that he does what he wants, but in fact it is not, he actually knows exactly what he is doing. Ignoring Xiang Chun Lei, Ji Hao set his gaze on Huazi, then glanced at Wang Yun Mi and Jane Ai next to him, and then said casually, If you are injured, you will be sent to the hospital, and the medical expenses will be reimbursed. After saying that I was about to turn around and leave, but suddenly stopped, looked at Wang Yun Mi and said, You can't bring children to work in the future. Ji Xiao. Sister May came to resign today. She, she never brought her daughter to work. Sister Xia blurted out. Although Wang Yun Mi was her subordinate, she was older than her after all, so Sister Xia also called Sister May on weekdays. It was precisely because she was her own, Sister Xia didn't want Ji Xiao to misunderstand, so she wanted to explain. But Ji Hao raised his handsome eyebrows when he heard the words, and then a pair of peach blossom eyes filled with a smile, that looks handsome and handsome, on one side of his head, and asked, Resign? Why resign? Sister Xia wanted to explain, but Wang Yun Mi was the first to speak, Master Ji, I have worked in the club for twelve years. Now that I am not young, I am really not suitable for this job. And every day in the club, I have to drink a lot of alcohol. My children have always been worried about my health. I resigned to prevent my children from worrying. The two reasons that Wang Yun Mi said are quite reasonable. At least in the eyes of others, although Wang Yun Mi still has her demeanor, but the club is basically full of young girls. In contrast, she is indeed a little older. Twelve years. It's just that Ji Hao's brain circuit is completely different from others. The key point in Wang Yun Mi's words has become 12 years in Ji Hao's ears. He blinked with a slightly shocked expression, I think about it, I was a child 12 years ago. You have been working here for 12 years? You have to score two houses in a state-owned enterprise. Just when everyone looked at Ji Hao and didn't know what he was going to do, they saw that he suddenly took a long leg and came to Wang Yun Mi in two steps. He raised his hand and scratched his head for a while and thought, So, don't go, Xiang Chun Lei fuck off, the general manager will do it for you. It can be said that the words are not astonishing and endless, and the people of Lei stood blankly on the spot, their mouths and eyes widened like copper bells. It is said that less money is more willful this season, do whatever you want. The next scene is really not as good as seeing. Wang Yun Mi was also blindfolded, and even Jane Ai was stupid. Looking at the man in front of him, Jane couldn't help but wonder, isn't this man a fool? The general manager of Yeo Kai Club? No. No. Master Ji, I. Wang Yun Mi returned to her senses and waved her hand to refuse. She came to resign today. So why did she become a general manager? But when Ji Hao didn't take back what he said, he said with a firm tone, it's so decided. You've been here for 12 years, and you're definitely more familiar with the club than your family. As for the business. Regarding the matter, Wang Chun Lei's assistants are all rationed to you, so you only need to get acquainted with them. The salary is the same as Xiang Chun Lei. When the words fell, Wang Yun Mi was not given a chance to speak at all, but Ji Hao recovered and greeted everyone, from now on, she will be the new general manager of this place. After speaking, he walked towards the elevator without turning his head back. 
Jane A.I. reacted, and immediately raised her leg to catch up. It was the first time that she saw such a person. She didn't ask about the wishes of others at all, and when she waved her hand with her mouth, everything was decided by him. Hey! Ji Hao had long legs, and Jane couldn't catch up after a trot, so she called out in a hurry. Ji Hao paused when he heard the sound, and when he looked back, Ji An Ai walked forward quickly. She looked very petite in front of Ji Hao's height of nearly 185, and she had to look up slightly to look at him. Ji Hao had a smile in his eyes, that kind of fascinating smile, Jane was in a trance, almost forgetting what she was here for. My mother won't stay in the club to work. She has resigned, so you should find someone else for the position of general manager. Jane kept her anger in her heart. She knew that she could not offend the man in front of her, so she worked hard to make her own. The tone sounds softer. Unexpectedly, Ji Hao raised his lips when he heard the words, and the evil smile that appeared suddenly was utterly seductive. The low and magnetic voice sounded above Jane A.I.'s head, but it was only five words, you said nothing. Ding! The elevator door opened, Ji Hao refused to give Jane a chance to speak, and turned around and went directly into the elevator. Jane A.I. was about to step forward and grab the elevator door to reason with him, but didn't want to be caught by Wang Yun Mi, who was catching up behind him. The elevator door slowly closed. Jane glared unwillingly at the people inside, but Ji Hao didn't seem to be angry, instead she showed a provocative smile at Jane. Xiao Ai, forget it. Ji Xiao, we can't afford to. Wang Yun Mi sighed and said softly to Jane Ai. Not to mention that their orphans and widows can't offend Ji Hao, in Baiyun City, who would dare to offend him. Jane Ai looked at the closed elevator door, holding an unnamed fire in her heart. The first thing she had to do when she came back from rebirth was to let her mother leave here, but she didn't want everything to be in her control, but she made Cheng Yejin halfway. And this person happened to be the only heir of the Ji family consortium that she could not provoke at all, and whose status and status could not be matched, Ji Hao. Mom, do you really want to stay as the general manager? Jane asked after looking at Wang Yun Mi. This happened suddenly and Jane always felt unreal. For such a big Yaokai club, Ji Hao's position as the general manager was deducted from his mother's head. What's the difference between pulling someone out of the street? This is no longer rich and self-willed, right? This is simply frantic. Since Xiao Ji said it personally, no one can make a joke. Although mom has never been a manager, she can only take one step and count one step. Then. Wang Yun Mi couldn't help but squeeze a smile, Mom knows you don't want to let it go. Mom is drinking, don't worry, you won't drink a lot if you become a manager. Jane Ai nodded when Wang Yun Mi said so. As long as the mother doesn't drink every day and can avoid the catastrophe of liver cancer, she can agree to everything. On the other hand, when the elevator door closed, the smile on Ji Hao's face completely disappeared. When the phone rang, Ji Hao answered, Chu Ji Hao's excited voice on the other end, Hey Master Ji, how is it, did anyone receive it? No. Ji Hao said coldly without expression. Chu Ji Hao couldn't help but was taken aback when he heard the words, and then his tone was serious, What's the situation? Didn't she say that the flight to Baiyun Airport this evening? I don't know either. The more Ji Hao said, the more annoyed her heart, and then said impatiently, let her do it, love can't be returned, when I like others, she will know that she will regret it. Ha, just be your lips. There are thousands of women who have surrounded you since childhood. Except for Zhiwen, I haven't seen anyone you saw directly. Chu Jiahao couldn't help but sighed, what should I do? Bian also specially prepared a party for her. How about you come over by yourself, I'll accompany you to drink some. Play by yourself, I won't go. After the words were over, Ji Hao hung up the phone directly. Because her plan was disrupted by the sudden appearance of Ji Hao, Jane couldn't sleep all night. 
Although her mother became the general manager of the Yaokai Club, she did not have to drink like before, but this was not in Jane's plan. Jane's sudden loss of control is not disgusting, but it is definitely not acceptable. In a daze, Jane vaguely heard a noise in the living room, and then the sound of the door being opened and closed. Picking up the alarm clock by the bedside, looking at it with the luminous pointer, it was already three o'clock in the morning, and the movement just now was obviously that the mother and eldest brother got up and went to the breakfast shop. The breakfast shop at home only sells fried dough sticks, fried cakes, and soy milk rice porridge. Although there are not many varieties, there is no need to stay up late. The bun shop on the opposite side often gets busy at midnight. Jane had no sleep at this moment, thinking that she wouldn't have to go to school the next day, so she got up and washed her face, changed her clothes and went out. Before the early morning, Byun City was the coldest time, but Jane didn't notice it because she absorbed the mind. She just habitually tightened her neckline and went to the breakfast shop by the moonlight. There are four or five breakfast shops at the corner of the street. Although Nanjing District is a slum, its population density ranks second in the city, second only to Haikan District, the first economic area. There are many poor people here, and many people have to go out to work early in the morning, so even though the breakfast shop at the corner of the street sells cheap food, the business is justified. As soon as she entered the door of the breakfast shop, Wang Yunmi was shocked, and immediately put down her work, rubbing the remaining flour on her apron to greet her. Xiao Ai, what's wrong with you, what time is this? Wang Yunmi looked worried, and she didn't forget to close the store door tightly while she was talking, for fear of the cold wind coming in. Jian Yu in the back room also poked her head out when she saw her younger sister, frowning, you just ran around when you thought you had a fever. Why didn't you sleep well this morning? Although he heard the blame, Jian Yu's tone was full of worry and concern. I'm fine, just come over and take a look if I can't sleep, and help. Jane said with a smile, and her tone was quite relaxed. Seeing mother and brother talking again, Jane hurriedly said, Okay mom, I know you and elder brother are worried about me, but I am not paperless. I don't have to go to class during the day. I will go back to sleep after breakfast with you. I really can't sleep now. Wang Yun Mi still wants to speak, but Jian Yu preempts her to say, Mom, it will be cold outside. If you catch cold again and again, let Xiao Ai stay in the store. Hearing the same thing from her son, Wang Yun Mi nodded after thinking about it, but did not forget to say, Then if you are sleepy for a while, let your brother ride you back. The store is also cold, so don't sleep in the store. I will catch a cold when I look back. This is the first time Jane has come to help at the breakfast shop. On weekdays, her mother protects her and her brother pampers her. Not to mention the breakfast shop, she has never even let Jane wash the dishes and sweep the floor at home. Although the family's conditions are average, Wang Yunmi has always believed that her daughter should be rich. Fortunately, she was not spoiled by this richness, and Jane Ai was also a sensible person. She devoted all her energy to studying, and only then did she succeed in her last life. The three people were busy working for a while, and the sky turned white, the time was pointing to five o'clock, and it was about to dawn. Aunt May. At this moment, a shout suddenly came from outside the door. Upon hearing the sound, Wang Yunmi hurriedly got up to greet, and walked out while responding, Ryoko is here. As soon as the door opened, the man named Liangza carried a big bucket in, with a chill on his body, but with a smile on his face, Aunt May, Uncle Wu said that today's tofu is well pressed, so this soy milk is also good. Putting down the bucket, Liangza turned around and went out again, Aunt May also has a bucket. After the two barrels of soy milk moved in, the named Liangza had to take a breath. Wang Yunmi likes this child named Liangza very much, and immediately greeted, I'm tired, right? I'm out of oil, sit down, Aunt May will give you two fried dough sticks to eat. They seemed to be familiar with each other, and Liangzi was not polite, 
and had already sat down when he answered. The fried dough sticks were fried by Jane. Liangzi had never seen Jane. She was taken aback at the moment, and then smiled and said, Are you the daughter of Aunt May? Jane Ai looked at the boy who had a little tiger's teeth and smiled and nodded, Are you Uncle Wu's son? That Liangzi heard the words as if he had heard something terrible, and quickly stared and shook his head, No, Uncle Wu's son is my elder brother. I was sent by my elder brother to help Uncle Wu deliver soy milk to your house every day. Of. Although Jian Ai has never met Uncle Wu's son, she is very familiar with Uncle Wu. Uncle Wu's house is not far from his home, but he is famous in this area. Because Uncle Wu's brine tofu is a must. And the soy milk produced by pressing tofu every day, Uncle Wu sent people to his breakfast shop, a bowl of soy milk for 30 cents, a barrel can sell for 20 yuan, and Uncle Wu only charged their family for 2 yuan. A bucket. In fact, these two dollars are no different from confiscation, but Wu Shu is thoughtful. He saw that it was not easy for Wang Yunmei to have a woman with two children, so he was willing to help. But if you don't want a penny, I'm afraid that Wang Yunmei will feel uncomfortable, and even more afraid that neighbors around me will make irresponsible remarks to her, so I charge two yuan for a symbolic bucket. It turned out that the name of Liangzi was not Uncle Wu's son. Jian Ai couldn't help but smile when he saw his reaction like this, your eldest brother's name. I don't know what Uncle Wu's son is the underworld. After hearing this, Liangzi opened her mouth but didn't say anything. She hurriedly took a bite of fried dough sticks, but she didn't want to be hot and grinned. She also nodded and praised, it's delicious, it's delicious. After eating the fried dough sticks, Liangzi probed to say goodbye to a few people, and then said to Wang Yunmei, Aunt Mei, Uncle Wu said you don't leave after you close the stall. He will come over to talk to you. Okay, slow down your journey and tell old Wu that I will wait for him in the store. Wang Yunmei responded. Liangzi had just left the shop and started serving customers. Wang Yunmei was in charge of fried dough sticks and fried cakes, Jian Yu made soy milk and porridge, and Jane Ai was in charge of entertaining and collecting money. Many of the guests are residents of this neighborhood. Although Jane cannot be named, Many of them are familiar faces. Naturally, these people knew Jane Ai, and they all knew that Wang Yun Mei was beautiful, her son was handsome, and her daughter was beautiful. Boss, look at how beautiful your son and girl are. Your daughter is exactly the same as you. She is very beautiful, and so sensible and capable. She must be filial in the future. A nearby aunt said to Wang Yun Mei while checking out. Wang Yunmei smiled upon hearing the words, Thank you, elder sister, I borrowed the words from elder sister. The peak of the breakfast is just two hours, and after eight o'clock, the guests are sparse. The family also sat down to have breakfast. At the dinner table, Wang Yunmei spoke to Jian Yu several times and stopped. Jane knew when she saw this, she hadn't told her elder brother about her mother becoming the general manager of the Yaokai Club. Jian Yu also noticed the abnormality of her mother. She twisted her eyebrows and asked, Mom, do you have something to say? It's... Wang Yun Mei said for a moment somehow. To be precise, she herself hasn't reacted until now, and she doesn't even know whether the general manager is a good thing or a bad thing for her. In short, I promised two children to resign yesterday, but instead of leaving the nightclub, he was promoted to general manager. Seeing her mother couldn't speak, Jane Ai said helplessly, Yesterday mom went to Yaokai to resign. Because of some unexpected circumstances, mom is now the new general manager of Yaokai. Hey! Jian Yu's handsome face was full of surprises. He obviously had no time to react. In the end, he laughed, Don't be funny, how is this possible? Yaokai is the nightclub of the G family group. How can our mother be the head manager? Jane Ai sighed quietly, let alone her eldest brother, even she didn't feel relieved now. Seeing the expressions on the faces of his mother and sister, Jian Yu's smile froze on his faces, 
and it took a long while to carefully look at Wang Yunmei and ask, Mom, don't you tell me this is true. My sister said that because of some unexpected circumstances, my mother became the general manager of Yeokai. What kind of unexpected situation is necessary to make this happen? Wang Yunmei nodded gently, and looked at Ji Yu and said, Mom knows this is a bit outrageous, but Ji Xiao said it at the time, and Mom can't help it. Ji Xiao. Ji Yu looked startled, Dang even asked, Ji Hao, the young master of the Ji family. Brother, this matter is firmly established. Mom signed the contract yesterday. Jane said after taking a sip of soy milk. Jian Yu didn't digest the news for a long time. It's not that he felt that the general manager Yeokai's job was not good, but because his mother was the general manager which made him feel incredible. What kind of mentality did Ji Hao have at the time? Give this job to your mother? Yeah, where is Xiao Ai too? Just as several people were talking, a tall figure pushed in from outside. The person who came here was dressed plainly, tall and burly, looking about forty years old, with a flat head and a clean-shaved beard. Uncle Wu is here. Jian Ai and Jian Yu got up at the same time, Jian Yu turned around and moved a stool to Wu Shaokai, Uncle Wu, you sit down. Uncle Wu, haven't you eaten? I'll get you a pair of chopsticks. Jane said that she was going to the back kitchen but Wu Shaokai beckoned and stopped, Xiao Ai, don't be busy, Uncle Wu has eaten, you should sit down and eat. In the morning Liangzi said you are looking for me for something. Wang Yunmei is very familiar with Wu Shaokai, and there is no extra politeness at the moment, so she asked directly, what's the matter? Jian Yu and Jian Ai also stopped their chopsticks and looked up at Wu Shaokai. Wu Shaokai first glanced at the store, and saw that there were no other customers before lowering his voice, the news I got yesterday, our Nanchinj district is going to be demolished. Hey? Demolition. Wang Yunmei's surprised eyes widened. Wu Shaokai nodded, Director Yang of the City Planning Bureau is an old customer in my store. He often drove to Nanchinj early in the morning to buy my tofu. Yesterday he came to tell me quietly, saying that our Nanchinj district has been taken by the city. Listed as a key reconstruction target. No this Nanchinj district is so big and has a large population, how can it be rebuilt? Wang Yunmei said. Wu Shaokai explained with a smile, it's definitely impossible to demolish Nanchinj all at once. Director Yang said, we will demolish little by little, and build little by little. We will finish the demolished and built it by the end of the day. The closest to the bell tower area, it must be demolished first. Then I can't open this breakfast shop. Wang Yunmei whispered. Don't talk about your breakfast shop anymore. My old tofu shop, which has been open for decades, has to move. That's why I quickly told you that you had to plan early. Xiao Ai is studying in such a good school as number two middle school. There are so many places to spend money. Wu Shaokai stood up as he spoke, and his eyes fell on Wang Yunmei and said, Yunmei, you first add up the total by yourself. If you have any difficulties, just talk to me and I will help if you can. Wang Yunmei quickly said with a grateful expression, Old Wu, you have helped our family secretly over the years, and I'm very sorry. Don't say this, I am also pulling my son to grow up by myself, knowing how difficult it is. It is naturally harder for you to bring two for a woman. I will definitely help if I can help. Wu Shaokai beckoned, Okay, I'll go back first, Liangzi has to leave at 9 o'clock, no one in the shop can't do it. After Wu Shaokai was sent away, Wang Yunmei sat down and sighed and muttered, This is suddenly going to be demolished, and there is no sound of it. Jian Ai and Jian Yu looked at each other, and then at Wang Yunmei before Jian Ai said, Mom, Nanchinj's demolition at this time is a good thing for our family, and the timing is just right. Wang Yunmei was taken aback, wondering what her daughter meant. Jane Ai said, You are now the manager of the Yeokai Club. Although you don't have to drink as much alcohol as before, 
you still have to get off work late, even later than before. This breakfast shop is greedy for the dark, even if you if you don't be the manager of this club, I don't intend to let you continue to open it. Right now it happens to be demolished. The breakfast shop is definitely not open. I don't need to say any more. This is one of them. Secondly, the advantage of demolition is that there is a demolition fee and a set of relocation houses. Our yard is not small. The front and back houses plus the front yard and backyard are several hundred square meters. It will definitely be able to divide a lot of money. Wait until the new once the community is built, we can still get a resettlement house. Xiao Ai, how do you even know these? Jian Yu looked at his sister boasting, and was a little surprised. Generally, a child as old as Jane Ai knows about the demolition, but she speaks very well and there are some things that even his elder brother is not very clear. And Jane naturally knew in her heart that she was a real estate tycoon in the capital in her previous life, and she knew this thoroughly. Demolition is definitely a good thing for the common people, and it is also a good thing for urban construction. Unless you encounter unscrupulous developers, it is precisely because of these unscrupulous developers that there will be so many demolition disputes. Isn't this something everyone knows? Jian Ai blinked at Jian Yu. Jian Yu didn't entangle with Jane either, but looked at Wang Yun Mi and said, Mom, if you say that, the demolition is indeed a good thing for our family. And if two children can see these things, Wang Yun Mi naturally understands them too. But she hesitated and said, I know it's a good thing. Even after living here for so many years, this breakfast shop has also been in business for so many years. Suddenly, I said it was going to be demolished. I always feel reluctant. Jane A.I. understands her mother's feelings. After all, this is a place where a family has lived together for more than ten years, and there is always some emotion. But people have to look forward and can't be willing to stay in the slums for a lifetime. And here is now ready for demolition, even if you are reluctant, you still have to move. Mom, you think it's useless now. Since here is going to be demolished, then we have to do it, but if we want to move, we must move earlier. Jane said again. Move early? Why are you in such a hurry? Isn't this unannounced for demolition? Wang Yun Mi wrinkled her brows. Her breakfast shop is still there, and the house is still there. Although Lao Wu said that she would demolish it when she received the news, she didn't say when it would be demolished. Why is the daughter so anxious? Jane A.I. is smart and thinks more about everything. Seeing her mother and brother both look confused, she patiently explained, Mom, I just want to move before the news is released. There are so many people in Nanchinch, although they don't. It will all be demolished at once, but our area is obviously the first batch of demolished. At that time, a large number of people who have nowhere to go due to the demolition will go out to rent a house, and even buy a house with the demolition fee. Then we will be moving, other the rent of the place has already been increased several times due to the demolition of Nanchinj. When Jane said this, Wang Yun Mi couldn't help but suddenly realized, yes, there will be more people affected by the demolition at that time. We are going out to find a house. It is definitely not easy to find and the price will be much more expensive than it is now. But let's go out to rent a house now. In case it is demolished a year later, wouldn't it take another year of rent? Jian Yu found out the loopholes in Jian Ai's words and reminded him. What kind of house to rent? We have to buy it. Jane Ai said categorically. Buy. Wang Yun Mi was stunned again, looking at her daughter, buy a house. Mom. Didn't our family just have one million? You take it out and buy a house. Jane Ai looked at Wang Yun Mi and said. Wang Yun Mi seemed to be frightened by her daughter's decisive and firm attitude. How could she have seen her daughter dare to come up with such a big idea, and she just opened her mouth to buy a house? As everyone knows, Jane Ai has been looking forward to the future real estate market for more than ten years. According to the economic situation of Byun City, 
the current real estate investment can be doubled within a few years, which is a steady profit. No, Xiao Ai, this money is saved for your studies. Wang Yunmi I had a lingering fear, and said, Besides, after the demolition, isn't there still a house for relocation? Wang Yunmi I was frightened by Jane Ai's determination and momentum, and would not adapt to it for a while. Jane also reacted at the moment, realizing that she was a little eager for success just now, and relying on her understanding of future trends, she stuffed too much information for her mother and eldest brother. At the moment, she eased her mood, and Jane said softly, Mom, listen to my analysis. First of all, based on the current housing prices in Byun City, we will buy a 150 square foot house in the most prosperous Haikan district. It's 500,000 to 800,000. Our family has 1 million. We will get a demolition fee for the demolition. I saw it when you signed the contract at Yeokai yesterday. The general manager is based on an annual salary, which is 30 per year. 10,000, there will be performance dividends at the end of the year. So, judging from the current conditions of our family, we are fully able to afford a house in the city center. In fact, what Jane said is that their family is not short of money. More, how much? Jian Yu looked dumbfounded, Mom has an annual salary of 300,000. Jian Ai looked at Jian Yu with a surprised look and nodded, not forgetting to add, there is still a bonus at the end of the year. Wang Yun Mi seemed to have forgotten about the promotion and the 1 million extra in her passbook in one day. After listening to her daughter's analysis, Wang Yun Mi's thinking gradually became clear. Although there will be a house to move back then, but the future son will definitely need a house to get married. I don't know how long I can do it as the general manager, so I can't hope for an annual salary of 300,000 yuan that year. Instead, we should take advantage of the ability to buy more houses. Thinking about it this way, Wang Yun Mi became transparent in an instant. She didn't expect her daughter to think so well, so she nodded and said, Xiao Ai is right, we have to buy a house now, otherwise the house price will definitely rise when the news of demolition comes out. Hearing what her mother said, Jane knew that her mother understood what she meant, and immediately let out a sigh of relief. It was Jian Yu who looked at his sister and then at his mother, surprised, Mom, are you really thinking about it? Are you really going to buy a house? Wang Yun Mi seemed to have made up her mind, by, go to see the house in the afternoon. At noon, Jian Ai borrowed a passbook from Jian Yu and took the two million check to the bank. The bank clerk was naturally shocked by a 14-year-old girl holding a two million check, but she called Li Qiang to confirm the authenticity of the check. There were no extra twists and turns, and the money was transferred to Jian Yu's passbook smoothly. On. After returning home and hiding her passbook, Jane took a second sleep, got up at two o'clock in the afternoon listening to the alarm clock, and after washing up, she went out to see the house with her mother and brother. Mom, which district do you want to buy in? Jane asked on the way. Ever since she made up her mind to buy a house in the morning, Wang Yun Mi did not fall asleep after returning home. She was also very excited and excited and she also thought a lot in her mind, which naturally included which district to buy. Buy Haikan District. Now that you have decided to buy it, you can do it in one step and buy the most prosperous area. Seeing her mother said so, Jane couldn't help but smile. Haikan District is the largest district in Byun City, with a developed economy and very prosperous. Because of this, the future appreciation space is naturally the largest. Jian Yu quietly pulled Jane aside and asked in a low voice, Brother also thinks what you said in the morning is reasonable, but buying Haikan all at once is too risky, because the house there is so expensive. Brother, I bought it because it was expensive, because if you don't buy it now, it will only be more expensive in the future. Do you want to be more expensive when we can't afford it, or when you want to be more expensive, the house is already ours? Mom now although the annual salary of 300,000 yuan, 
but the young master's personality in that season was gloomy and his mother would be laid off one day when the security was uneven. However, the house is a fixed asset and will definitely appreciate in the future. In addition to the demolition fee and future relocation, our family will definitely I won't worry about money. My sister's words can be understood halfway according to Jian Yu's head. His already slow character, so he nodded at the moment, anyway, mom said that, so what you said should be correct. Seeing the appearance of her brother, Jane A.I. couldn't help but chuckle, my stupid brother, I don't know which girl is foolishly looking at you. Jian Yu hurriedly pulled at Jian A.I.'s clothes when he heard the words, and said with a vigilant face, don't tell mom about this or my brother won't hurt you anymore. Jane A.I. pursed her mouth and smiled, I know, I'm not so gossip. Although Jane is new to the matter of her eldest brother being in love, she will not interfere too much. The elder brother is handsome, simple and honest, and he works in the Starlight Bar, which is drunk and fancied. It is easy to be noticed by some girls. In just two days after she was born again, Jane A.I. has discovered that the life trajectory in this life is completely different from the previous one. In the previous life, he had never been pushed into a pond, and his brother had never been in a relationship. Although Nanchinj also experienced demolition, it was after he went to university, not now. So Jane Eyre understands that rebirth is not a copy of the previous one, but a completely new life. She needs to seize every opportunity to change the destiny of herself and her family. Haikan District, the first economic district of Bayun City, encompasses all prosperous places such as large shopping malls, pedestrian streets, entertainment venues, trade centers, high-end residential buildings, and is the core of Bayun City. At the sales office of the Century Mansion, as soon as Wang Yunmi showed up with her two children, professional sales staff came to usher. Hello, madam, do you want to see the house? The sales lady asked with a professional smile wearing black overalls. The decoration of this sales office is very stylish. At first glance, it is the handwriting of a large company. Wang Yun Mi nodded silently, I want to see if there is any suitable. Madam, don't worry, the Century Mansion is our company's latest development. The apartment types are very diverse. Whether you want a single apartment, a family residence, or even a villa, our project covers all of it. Come with me. Take a look at me and introduce it to you. As he said, the sales lady turned sideways and polite, signaling Wang Yumei to ask. The sales office has a sand table model of the community which gives customers a general understanding and reference from the overall environment and house type of the community. Jian A.I. followed the sales lady to the sand table model area of the family residence and listened to the sales lady's introduction, Madam, this is a family residential area. The opening site is located on Nanyang Street, near Nanyang Commercial Building in the east, and Baiyun Plaza in the west. There are large supermarkets, banks, railway stations, Number 2 Middle School, Number 4 Middle School, Bayun University of Technology and other landmark buildings around, so life is very convenient. The residential area is the first high-rise residential building with an elevator over 35 floors in Bayun City. The view above the 20th floor is extremely wide, overlooking the entire Bayun night scene. The residential area is very green, and the distance between buildings is very large and non-existent. The problem of shading. Security guards are on duty 24 hours a day, and public order is also very safe. The community is equipped with kindergartens, small squares, pet parks, community clinics, and community supermarkets to provide the most convenient service and the most comfortable enjoyment for the lives of all owners. After finishing speaking, the sales lady smiled slightly, Madam. The Century Mansion can be said to be the best community in Bayun City at present. The location is quiet and the developers and property companies are among the top companies in the industry. Once opened, many apartment types are available. Being taken up, I think if you like it, it's better to make the decision first. When the sales lady said just now, Wang Yun Mi and Jane A.I. Jianya were looking at the sand table model. 
The community is indeed very well built, with a reasonable structure and diverse apartment types, which are more satisfying than the few real estates they have seen before. This community is close to number two middle school, and it is convenient for Xiao Ai to go to school. Jian Yu seemed to like this community very much, and she said while looking at Wang Yun Miai. Wang Yun Miai also nodded, saying that the location of this community is indeed good, and it is convenient to go anywhere. Not only is it close to Xiao Ai's school, but also not far from the Yeokai club where he works. Jane Ai looked at the sales lady and asked, what kind of house types are left in the community now? I don't know how many people live in your house. The sales lady asked politely. Only three people, I live with my mother and brother. Jane Ai responded. The sales lady was surprised a bit, but did not show it clearly and then smiled and said, in this case, there are still several sets of 80 square meter units to choose from. Because the 100 square meter and 120 square meter flats are open as early as possible. It was robbed when it was emptied. There are more of the 50 square meter single apartment style, and the 150 square meter and 200 square meter split level style. There is not much left in the 80 square meter, very suitable for three people. Wang Yun Miai seemed to have no idea about squareness, and she thought about it, but she didn't know how big the 80 flat was. But Jane Ai is different. She knows well about the concept of house types and squares. Generally, sellers say 80 square meters, which is the total area of the house, and the usable area needs to be removed from the wall, so the sales lady said 80 square meters. The actual usable area may be only 60 square meters. For everyone who needs a room, the usable area of 60 square meters is too small. We want to see 150 flats and 200 flats. Jane said directly. The sales lady glanced at Wang Yun Miai in embarrassment, as if she didn't know if she should listen to a little girl. Unexpectedly, Wang Yun Miai also nodded, look at the bigger one. In fact, Wang Yun Miai has been thinking about it since she made up her mind to buy a house in the morning. Since she wants to buy it, she should buy a bigger one. Both her son and daughter need to have their own space when they grow up. At least there are two bathrooms. Seeing that Wang Yun Miai said the same, the sales lady smiled and nodded, then please wait a moment. I will bring the sample map and give you a reference. If you like it, I can take you directly. I went to the community to see the house. The sales lady turned and left after speaking. Jian Yu exhaled and said in a low voice, This community must be very expensive. Jian Ai smiled when she heard the words, but she was very clear in her heart. In Baiyun City in 2002, the real estate industry had not yet swelled. Although this residential area looks high end, it should not exceed 1 million. And looking at her mother's posture, she seemed to have planned it long ago. It is true that Wang Yun Miai has worked alone in society for so many years, and he also works in a place with diverse information like the Yeokai Club, and has learned more or less about the development trends of the real estate industry. At first, I didn't react because I forgot that I had a million in my family and I became the general manager. Now I have already made up my mind after I reacted, that is, to buy a large house with a good location in a large area. Xiaomei. At this time, a sound of a sound after exploring himself, Jane and several others were taken aback at the same time, and then turned around to look. The man in front of him is dressed in a straight suit, half-length hair is slicked, and he combs back with a meticulous big back. He has a briefcase under his left armpit, and his right arm is held by a young and beautiful woman. The man looks less than 40 years old, his facial features are very correct, but he has a face of arrogance. Seeing that Wang Yun Miai can't help but raise her head, she instantly shows a posture of looking at people through her nostrils, it's really you. Wang Yun Miai didn't seem to expect to meet someone in front of her in such a place. She was stunned for a moment before she hurriedly said hello, big brother. The person here is not someone else but Wang Yun Miai's eldest brother, Wang Yun Song. Wang Yun Miai is the second child of the four children of the Wang family. 
There is an elder brother Wang Yunzong, a younger brother Wang Yunfa and a younger sister Wang Yunzi. Although several people now live in Byun City, none of them grew up in Byun City. The Wang family is in a small mountain village below Byun City. There is a very serious patriarchal concept in the village, so since childhood, the eldest brother and third brother are treasures in the hands of their parents, especially Wang Yunzong, the eldest son. Yes, the conditions at home are not good, and it can only be used by one person to study, and that person can only be the elder brother. Later, Wang Yunzong was admitted to the university. In that era when college students were scarce, there was a college student in the village. That was an incredible thing. The second elder of the Wang family loved the eldest son even more. Later, in order to accompany his son to college in Byun City, he moved his family from the village to the city. A few years later, the two elders of the Wang family bought two houses in Byun City by selling vegetables, but both Wang Yun Miai and Wang Yun Zi knew that one of these two houses belonged to the eldest brother and the other belonged to the third child, and had nothing to do with their two daughters. It is precisely because of the preference of his parents that his eldest brother Wang Yun Zong felt that his younger siblings were first class since he was a child, and even looked down upon others after he was admitted to college. Especially after knowing that the second sister accompanies drinking in the club, she sever the contact altogether and never walk around during the Chinese New Year. Suddenly meeting him right now, Wang Yunzong was also a little surprised. At the moment, he glanced at this magnificent sales hall and then glanced at Wang Yunmiai. He obviously felt that Wang Yunmiai shouldn't be in such a place. This kind of high-end residential house might not be bought by herself. Affordable. Folding his brows, Wang Yunzong asked coldly, What are you doing here? Wang Yunmiai was not close to her elder brother, and Wang Yunzong was a little overbearing at this time. Wang Yunmiai couldn't help but feel a little guilty, bring the kids out and just stroll around. Speaking of children, Wang Yunzong turned his attention to Jian Yu and Jian Ai. The two naturally recognized Wang Yunzong, so they could only yell, Uncle. Wang Yunzong nodded blankly, treating his sisters in this way, and it was impossible to treat them with any enthusiasm. Yunzong, who are they? At this moment, the woman who had been carrying Wang Yunzong's arm began to speak. The woman was dressed stylishly, and she seemed to be in her twenties, but Jane knew that her uncle had been married for more than ten years, her cousin was one year older than herself, and she had a thirteen-year-old cousin. And this woman is obviously not the eldest aunt, but the lover of the eldest uncle. Facing his sister and nephew, Wang Yunzong did not avoid suspicion. He only patted the woman's hand lightly, and said softly, My sister and nephew. Ah! What should I call it? The woman was surprised, but smiled on her face, seemingly because Wang Yunzong was complacent. Wang Yunmiai was a little embarrassed because of her relationship with her elder brother, she couldn't say some words. Jian Yu and Jian Ai didn't want to get involved with the uncle, and they didn't respond at the moment. Wang Yunzong didn't have anything to say to a few people. He immediately glanced at his watch and said, I have something to do, so I'll leave. After saying this, before Wang Yun Miai nodded, Wang Yunzong turned and left with the young woman. Seeing her elder brother leaving the sales hall without looking back, Wang Yunmiai exhaled inwardly. I can't say how sad it is, because the brothers and sisters didn't have much feelings. On the contrary, I was afraid that my eldest brother would know about buying a house and cause unnecessary trouble. There are four siblings in the family, and Wang Yunmiai only got closer to the fourth sister. Because the two were not taken seriously by the family since they were young, they have some love for the same fate. My uncle is too ostentatious, and I'm not afraid of being known by my aunt. Jian Yu muttered while looking at the back disappearing at the door. Jane Ai didn't say a word. Since the uncle dared to be so blatant, naturally he didn't put their family in his eyes. It was the aunt, Jane Ai remembers being a virtuous and virtuous woman, and she was a college classmate with her uncle, educated and family friendly. It's just this man, 
no one can tell. It is said that money will go bad, but Jian Ai knows that you can't overturn a boat with a single pole. There are many good men with money, but it is obvious that the uncle is not. On the other side, Wang Yunzong took the little lover out of the sales office and got in her car. Then the little woman said, Yunzong, your sister is pretty, she looks pretty young, she doesn't look like a mother of two children. Wang Yunzong curled the corner of his mouth and sneered, she just has this little capital, otherwise she really doesn't have the ability, and she has to starve to death. The implication is obviously to look down on his sister to make money by beauty. After all, a club of the level of Yeokai can't be entered by ordinary people. When the woman saw Wang Yunzong's tone, she knew that he and his sister weren't close, so she didn't ask the others any more. Instead, she posted a coquettish tone, Yunzong, let's change the real estate to look at it. This is too expensive. I can't bear to spend so much money on you. Upon hearing this, Wang Yunzong squeezed the woman's nose in an affectionate manner, only you are sensible. On the other side, Jian Ai and Jian Yu accompanied Wang Yunmei to see a few 200 square meter model drawings. Some of them have been decorated in different styles. If you like, you can buy the decorated ones directly, and move-in is also convenient. Of course, the developer has set aside some rough houses so that the owners can decorate them in the style they like, and the price is cheaper than that of the decorated ones. After reading the model plan, a few people followed the sales lady to the Century Mansion community to see a few houses. There is almost no difference between the sand table models of the community and the sales office, and the luxuriously decorated houses look very luxurious and magnificent. People finally discussed it and decided to buy a rough house and decorate it by themselves. Although Nanchinj will be demolished in the future, the news has not been released yet, and they are not in a hurry to move. Besides, this is the first house bought by a family, and they all want to fit them in exactly the style they like. Although the house that was installed was perfect, Wang Yunmei always felt that it was almost meaningless. The 200 square meters are all above the 30th floor. The northern half is 3,251 square meters, which is 650,000 yuan in total. The southern half is more expensive, at 700,000 yuan. But the houses cover four. The balcony does not count the square meters, and it is given as a free gift with the house. In addition, the owner who purchases 200 square meters will also be given two free fixed parking spaces. The sales lady has clearly felt that the house is about to be sold at this time, and hastened some value-added gifts moved out. Wang Yunmei summed it up in her heart. This house costs 700,000 yuan, and the renovation also requires a lot of money. There is a million in the card. After finishing the house, I am afraid that there is not much left. Fortunately, there was a huge amount of demolition expenses during the demolition, and although the general manager himself did not know how long he could do it, it was a high-paying job anyway. Wang Yunmei was thinking about it here, and Jane Ai suddenly asked the sales lady, Excuse me, are there any discounts for your new real estate? The sales lady nodded with a smile upon hearing the words, There are activities, but whether you can get the discount depends on the luck of the owners. Luck. Jian Yu didn't quite understand. He looked at the sales lady, and then at his mother and sister. Can this kind of thing depend on luck? Seeing a few people's doubts on their faces, the sales lady smiled and nodded, Yes, all owners who bought a unit of more than 100 square meters at Century Mansion can participate in a discount draw once. There are plastic in five colors in the prize pool, white. It is the unsuccessful prize, the green is the third prize, the purchase of a house enjoys 10% off, the yellow is the second prize, the purchase of a house enjoys 5% off, the blue is the first prize, the purchase of house enjoys 930%, the red is the special prize, the purchase of house enjoys 85-fold. After speaking, the sales lady took out the event advertisement in the folder, I have written all of it clearly on this you can take a look. A few people took one, and the advertisement for the event clearly explained that there were ten third prizes, 
five second prizes, three first prizes, and only one special prize. If a house of hundreds of thousands can win the prize, you can save tens of thousands of dollars. Wang Yunmi and Jian Yu didn't have much mood swings, because they felt that the chances of winning the prize were too small. There were only a few colored balls, and it was no different from buying a lottery ticket. Only the corners of Jane's mouth ticked unchecked. The twelve sets of mental methods of Shakespeareman, Jian Ai only tried the most basic control, and the third layer of mental methods was perspective, which came in handy at this time. Now that they have decided to buy the house, a few people followed the sales lady to the lottery area. In Wang Yun Mi's heart, it is good to be able to draw, but if it fails, the house must also be bought. But this matter is in Jane's heart, but it is already determined to get it. Because she was far away at this time, she had used her mind to look into the tightly sealed lottery box. The eyes were all white plastic balls, and only a few colored were mixed at the edge, but the number was also pitifully small, obviously because the owner had already taken a few away. But fortunately, the red ball with the special prize is still there, and it is in the bottom corner. It is obvious that the staff did it deliberately. Mom, let me smoke. Jane said directly. Naturally, Wang Yunmi would not object to it. Anyway, she can't see it. Who draws it differently? Jian Yu joked on the side, maybe you can still draw the red ball. Jane took off her slightly thicker coat and gave it to Jian Yu, then walked forward and stretched her slender arm into the lottery box, and then fumbled for a while pretending to be entangled. As everyone knows, it was already the first moment she reached in. Hold the red plastic ball firmly. Under the gaze of everyone, Jane A.I. slowly took out her hand and spread her palm. The palm of her hand was the only red plastic ball among the more than 100 plastic balls. Wang Yun Mi and Jian Yu, as well as the staff at the lottery office, were stunned, staring at the ball in the palm and forgetting to react. But Jane also pretended to be dumbfounded for a while before suddenly calling out, Red, Red. Everyone also recovered in an instant, and a swarm of people gathered around. It's really red. Little sister, you are so lucky. Yes, the company has opened so many real estates and conducted several discounts. No one has ever won a special prize. Several employees also looked surprised, apparently the first time they met someone who won a special prize. Wang Yun Mi and Jian Yu were also very surprised and quickly asked, how much is this? Big sister, 15% off. The sales lady hurriedly responded, obviously also happy for her client. A 700,000 house can save 105,000 yuan, mom. Jane even calculated the discounted price. More than 100,000. Wang Yun Mi couldn't believe it, it was like a pie in the sky. Everyone was excited but suddenly there was a commotion in the reception area of the sales hall. Old G. What's wrong with you? Call an ambulance, hurry up and call an ambulance. On the sofa in the reception area, a silver-haired old man pinched his neck, his face was flushed, but his mouth was half open but he couldn't say a word. There were people in suits and leather shoes all around. At this time, they were horrified, making phone calls, and patting the back. One of the middle-aged men was even more anxious and at a loss. Ji Lao Ji Lao yelled. Non-stop. Upon seeing this, the staff here quickly greeted them. Jane and the others didn't squeeze forward when they saw this. They only looked inward from the outside. The old man's complexion had changed from red to purple red, the whites of his eyes were also bloodshot, and his mouth made a sound that was difficult to breathe. It was obvious that something had stuck his throat. Jane casually writhed it, and saw that there were candies and a few jellies on the small plate on the coffee table to entertain guests. Lao Ji, what did you eat just now? Drink your saliva and press down. At this time, someone brought a glass of water over and tried to flush the contents of Ji Lao's throat with water. Jane wrinkled her brows when she saw this, and immediately said, No he can't drink water. 
Everyone was stunned when they heard the words, then turned around and found that the speaker turned out to be a teenage girl. Jane didn't care too much, and the old man would suffocate after a while. And most of the candies on the table are of ordinary style, which is not enough to get stuck in the throat. The only possibility is that the grandpa ate the jelly and ate it by sucking, which was a little careless and direct. Suck it into my throat. Ignoring everyone's gaze, Jane quickly stepped forward, and then said to the two men in suits, You two have to stand up. The two men looked at each other when they heard the words, wondering if they should listen to a little girl. Seeing this, Jane couldn't help but anxious, hurry up. He is hesitant to die. When the two heard this, they panicked, and hurriedly put Ji Lao up. Then I saw Jane go around behind Ji Lao, wrapped her hands from behind, encircled Ji Lao's abdomen, and squeezed it backwards abruptly. I tried this two or three times. Because of the size, the position always deviated slightly. Jian Ai was anxious, turned around and said to Jian Yu, Brother, I can't reach you, come. Seeing this, Jian Yu hurriedly stepped forward, learning the posture of Jane Ai just now, encircling Ji Lao's abdomen, lifting it up and pulling it back. Cough. A complete jelly spurted out along with the acidic water in Ji Lao's esophagus. Originally Ji Lao was suffocated with gold stars because of poor breathing. Now the jelly was vomiting out, and the whole person was retching while wearing rough clothes. The color on his face also faded slightly, and the whole person looked like a survivor. It came out, it came out. Seeing this, the man in the suit hurriedly helped Ji Lao sit down on the sofa, and asked with a nervous and concerned look, Ji Lao, you scared me to death, how do you feel now? The ambulance will be here in a while. This man is no one else, but Chen Lei, the big boss behind the Century Mansion. Today Ji Lao said that he was going to buy a villa in a new building, and he came to receive it personally. But I didn't expect such a thing to happen. Fortunately, the old man Ji is fine. If there are two shortcomings in his own sight, let alone the house he doesn't need to buy, then the company doesn't need to be opened. It took a long time for Ji Lao to relax, and then waved his hand, panting and saying, It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it's me who is greedy. When everyone saw that they were all right, they also dispersed. Jane Ai and the others are also preparing to leave. They are still waiting to register and pay to sign the purchase contract, but they don't want to be called to stay by Chen Lei, the little girl stays. After Jian Ai heard the words, she saw Chen Lei get up and pull on the hem of his suit and walked forward, with a look of gratitude, little girl, thanks to you just now, I should really thank you. At this moment, the sales lady was standing next to a few people. Chen Lei couldn't help but say, how many are here to see the house? If you are optimistic, I will give you a 20% discount to express my gratitude. Chen Lei is not a momentary brain fever at this time. Compared with Ji Lao's safety, this mere hundreds of thousands is not worth mentioning to him. At this time, the cold sweat on his back has not yet dried, and he still has lingering fears. Mr. Chen, these customers have just participated in the discount lottery and won the special prize. At this time, the sales lady said in a timely manner. Really? Chen Lei looked surprised, then looked at Jane Ai and several people and said, that little girl, you are so lucky, the special prize is already 15% off, and the 20% off seems uncle stingy. After speaking, Chen Lei said with a tone of voice, and said firmly, in this way, uncle will give you a 50% discount. 50% off. Not to mention that Wang Yun Mi and Jian Yu were shocked, even Jian Ai was taken aback. A 50% discount for a house of 700,000 yuan, such a good community and apartment type, the price of more than 300,000 yuan is almost equivalent to not making money. Unexpectedly, before Jane Ai agreed, Ji Lao who was slowing down on the side also spoke, the old man has given out the remaining half of the house purchase cost. Clam? Wang Yun Mi and Jian Yu, look at me, and I look at you. 
It seems that my sister's move just now caused them to give away the house. Grandpa. Jane returned to his senses and looked at Ji Lao and said, I also accidentally ran into the matter just now, and happened to know how to deal with it. You really don't have to do this. Jane Ai is not a man who can make an inch. Now that Boss Chen gave a 50% discount, she still felt that it was reasonable to accept it. After all, this is Boss Chen's real estate. If people are really killed, the loss will be more than that. Besides, I already have a 15% discount. This 50% discount is a discount. Even if I get a 50% discount, I still have to get half of the money. But if Ji Lao got involved, he would become a house for nothing. The most important thing is that Jane's move just now has no purpose in the face of Ji Lao. Even if an ordinary person on the street happened just now, she would help her, without other distracting thoughts. You saved my life. How can you just want Xiao Chen's gratitude and don't want me as an old man? Old Ji pouted, seemingly dissatisfied with Jane's approach. Jane Ai was about to explain, but didn't want an eager figure outside the door of the sales office to hurry in. Grandfather. Ji Hao who walks with wind, his steps are anxious, and a handsome face is full of tension. Old Ji was taken aback when he saw the visitor and then he glanced reproachfully at the man in the suit next to him, apparently knowing who had notified his grandson. Grandpa, are you okay? Ji Hao who changed from the usual dude manner, with a rare serious face, and his eyes looked back and forth over Ji Lao, seeming to be sure that Grandpa is okay. It's okay, no fuss. Ji Lao waved his hand and said. Jane Ai and Wang Yun Mi were shocked when they saw people coming. Isn't this Master Ji of the Ji family group? And this old man was called Ji Lao, he was Ji Hao's grandfather. Chen Lei lost a smile on his face at this time, Ji Xiao, I didn't entertain Ji Lao. Fortunately, I met this little girl and no accident happened. When Ji Hao heard the words and looked up, he saw Jane Ai at a glance, and then at Wang Yun Mi, a pair of deep peach blossom eyes flashed in surprise and then only the corners of his lips were hooked, revealing a smile that seemed like nothing. It's you. In just a few tens of seconds, the eager man who was worried about his grandfather just disappeared in an instant. At this time, Ji Hao in front of a few people turned into the awkward Ji Daxiao, switching freely and stunned. Hao, do you know them? Ji Lao frowned, with an incredible expression on his face. Ji Hao chuckled and nodded, Grandpa, do you remember what I told you this morning in Yeokai last night? This one is the new general manager of Yeokai, called. As he said, Ji Hao condensed his eyebrows for a moment, and muttered, What's your name? Ji Xiao, my name is Wang Yun Mi. Wang Yun Mi naturally heard Ji Xiao's words, and immediately responded. Oh, yes. People in Yeokai call her sister Mei. She has worked there for more than ten years. Ji Hao said. Old Ji couldn't help but looked at Wang Yun Mi with admiration and nodded, I heard about everything last night. With such a mother, it's no wonder my daughter is so good. Grandpa Ji, you just said you want to thank me, then let my mother leave Yeokai. Jane seemed to have caught the opportunity and said to Ji Lao what she didn't say to Ji Hao last night, I believe it Master Ji last night was just a whim, maybe it was just a joke. A joke. Ji Lao couldn't help laughing when he heard it, and looked at Jane Ai, little girl, do you really think my grandson would just let someone be the general manager of Yeokai just because of a joke? You are too young? Look at my grandson. With that, Mr. Ji stood up and walked over to Jane Ai and said, Girl, Yeokai is Ji's property. The position of general manager is the same in Yeokai, with an annual salary of hundreds of thousands, but it's a fat man. Things happened yesterday. You do told me that someone was making trouble in Yeokai, and only your mother stood up to stop him without fear, and was injured. Although my grandson seems a little uncomfortable on the surface, it's because you don't understand him and there are some things. He knows better than anyone else. After saying this, 
Ji Lao walked up to Wang Yunmei again and said with earnest words, You have worked in Yeokai for so many years, and you should know the business model of Yeokai. RG's consortium has countless nightclubs across the country, although there is a service to accompany the wine, but I never manage those unscrupulous activities. You can only be the general manager of Yeokai in the future, RG family will not treat you badly. How could Wang Yun Mei think that one day she would stand in front of Ji Lao and listen to him say something so earnestly and earnestly, and she couldn't stop her anxiety right now? But when she was nervous, Wang Yun Mei suddenly understood. The general manager of myself was not a temporary appointment by Ji Xiao on a whim, but Ji Xiao took some things in his eyes last night, so the next thing happened. In this way, Wang Yun Mei became more open, but fortunately, the origin of this position is somewhat causal, rather than a whim by Ji Xiao. Ji An Ai hesitated, after hearing what Ji Lao said, she didn't know whether she should worry about her mother's work again. Lifting his eyes to look at the handsome man sitting on the sofa, and the other person is also looking at him, a three-pointed evil smile hung on a handsome face, his eyes are not reaching the bottom of the eye, as if to say to Jane Ai, you are too tender. His pupils were too deep, Jane almost fell in, and immediately withdrew his gaze. The trace of panic remained in Ji Hao's eyes, causing the smile at the corner of his mouth to expand unconsciously. Xiao Chen, let's keep the set we discussed just now. Let me keep it for the old man. Ji Lao turned his head and said to Chen Lei, then stretched out and walked out. Ji Hao got up to follow, but paused obviously when she passed by Jane Ai. Jane felt Ji Hao's gaze coming from the side, but she did not look up. The smell of his body was charming and charming. And sweet. Coming out of the sales office, the sky was already dark. Wang Yun Mei couldn't help but feel a little excited with the house purchase contract in her hand. The family actually bought a 200 square meter house in the best real estate in Haikan district. The most important thing is that the final price of this house was a 50% discount, and it only cost 350,000 yuan. Chen Lei originally remembered Ji Lao's words and didn't intend to take Wang Yun Mei's 350,000 yuan, but Wang Yun Mei said that if he didn't take it, he wouldn't buy it. Chen Lei only accepted it. He just wanted to explain to Ji Lao alone in the future. At night, the new general manager of Yeokai Club Wang Yun Mei officially took office. A decent lady's suit was selected at the mall this afternoon. The makeup on her face was not the same as before. She only used light makeup and did not curl her hair. Instead, she had a neat ponytail. The transformation of a new identity starts from the appearance. Hello, Mr. Wang. Hello, Mr. Wang. As soon as they entered the Yeokai Club, the employees all bowed and greeted the newly renewed Wang Yun Mei. Even though she was the hostess here yesterday, today she is the new general manager appointed by Ji Xiao himself. Wang Yun Mei responded with a smile to everyone, and when she entered the hall, she saw three men in suits approaching. Two men and one woman, these people are the assistants of the former manager Xiang Chun Lei and now they have become Wang Yun Mei's assistants. The three have already been notified that the new manager has no experience and requires the three of them to guide and assist from scratch. The elevator door opened, and Wang Yun Mei, surrounded by her assistant, entered the elevator and went straight to the general manager's office on the 13th floor. Seeing Ji An Ai's relaxed look, Lin Yi's heart was inexplicably filled with unconscious joy, and the corners of his lips curled up maybe we two can still get into the same class. After hearing this, Jane Ai retracted his gaze on the ribs to look at Lin Yi, not knowing what kind of expression he should respond, you smile at me like this, but it will cause me trouble. Jane Ai was joking, but Lin Yi straightened his face seriously and said in a low voice, I'm sorry. Jane Ai couldn't help but chuckle when she saw this. Looking at Lin Yi's innocent and energetic face, Jane suddenly felt that her secret love in her last life was not blind, he was indeed a beautiful person. I was joking, Jane said with a smile. But the more Jian Ai was like this, the more guilt felt in Lin Yi's heart. At that time, 
he rejected her with a love letter, and she still remembered the back of her escape in tears. Lin Yi opened his mouth and wanted to say something, but saw Jane squeeze his arm forward, it's here for us, I want that braised pork ribs. After buying the meal, Jane still took the dinner plate and found a place by the window by herself, and soon Gun Tao also came. Don't you say you want to eat ribs? I'm not here on Friday. I'll make up for you today. Jane said as she clamped the ribs on the plate to Gun Tao. Enough is enough. Seeing that the ribs were all clipped to herself, Guan Tao quickly reached out to stop it, and then looked at Jane Ai and asked in a low voice, Is it Lin Yi bought it? Jane Ai ate a garlic sprout and nodded when she heard the words, It's a month, this is only the second meal. Guan Tao ate a piece of ribs, and then said again after swallowing, You know about the sorting, right? Jane Ai nodded, Don't drop the chain for me. You have always been in the top ten of your grade before. I will give you this as it is, but you have missed a week of class. Guan Tao said with some worry. Jane Ai was relieved to see Guan Tao so confident, and said, As long as you can perform normally, don't worry about me. Both of them were obviously confident about entering the first class, and Guan Tao cared about the same as other students. She looked at Jane Ai and said, if you look at your past results, you will basically be in with Lin Yi. One class. Jane Ai nodded non-committal. Lin Yi was originally a top student in the first class, and he was the first in grade in the first or two monthly exams for senior high school. It's just that Jane is no longer the simple 14-year-old girl in her heart. Although Lin Yi was her first love in her previous life, her soul is no longer 14 years old now. Not only Lin Yi, but also Yan Tian, Xia Ching Huan, Gao Yang, these high-grade first-year figures are basically in the same class. Jane Ai's tone was casual, and at this moment, in her heart, Lin Yi was no different from the names of these people just said from her mouth. Guan Tao was originally worried that Jane would be uncomfortable because of Lin Yi, but now seeing the relationship between the two men eased, she secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Xiao Ai, I always feel that you have changed a little. Guan Tao said suddenly. Jane Ai had a meal and then smiled slightly, people have to learn to change, otherwise it would be too boring. Guan Tao nodded her head without comprehension when she heard the words, Anyway, I think you have become more cheerful when you come back from an illness, and the breath of your whole person is different from before. Jane Ai took the initiative to skip this topic and watched Guan Tao's conversation change. Nanchinj district will be demolished in a short time, do you know? Demolition. Guan Tao was surprised when she heard the words, bit her chopsticks and shook her head, I don't know. I haven't heard of it. Because there are so many subjects tested in the afternoon, the day goes dark after the students finish the exam. Many people are as exhausted as a frosted eggplant after the exam. Oh my god, chemistry is too difficult, I may have to pass the next five classes this time. Previously, the monthly exam was divided into two days, but this time it was all packed in one day, and my head would blow up. That's right, I was in good condition in the morning, and my head was a mess in the afternoon. I have forgotten the rule of Zhen Guan. Everyone complained. Apparently a large number of people did not perform well. At the school gate, Jian Ai saw Lin Yi and several people as soon as she came out, and Guan Tao had also come out early. Xiao Ai. Guan Tao waved at her with a look of excitement. Jane Ai looked up and saw a black extended Lincoln behind several people, and the driver in a black suit stood blankly at the door of the car. The people are all here, Yan Tian glanced at Jian Ai curled his lips and said, everyone is here, get in the car. It will be dark for a while. Jane Ai is not stupid. It is obvious that Yan Tian's rejection of herself can't help but be a little inexplicable. Although I came out the slowest, but the exam just ended just a few minutes ago. Looking at Yan Tian's expression, it seemed that he was waiting for it to get dark. Moreover, he was involved in the love letter matters before. The victim himself hasn't settled with him yet. 
whom he is dragging like two to eighty thousand to show to. She rolled her eyes wildly in her heart, but Jane's face remained silent, complaining, and she would never quarrel with him in the street because of this kind of thing. However, Xia Ching Huang gave Yan Tian an angry look, and then took the initiative to greet Jane Ai, get in the car, Jane Ai. As soon as the car door opened, a good smell of fruit and wood rushed towards you. The interior decoration of the car was very luxurious, with fruits and drinks, not to mention crown peaches, even Jane had never sat in an extended Lincoln in her previous life. Wow! Guan Tao couldn't help exclaiming, looking back and forth in a novel look. As the seat was very soft, Guan Tao fell into it unexpectedly, and hurriedly held the handle to straighten her body. This car is really big, I saw it in the movie. Guan Tao sighed, unable to suppress the surprise in her heart. Ha, this is... Yan Tian just wanted to show off his car, but didn't want Jane Ai's soft voice to rang out, this is an extended Lincoln, produced in the United States. Currently, China has no dealers. Although it is a luxury model, the current market value is less than 100%. 10,000 or so. Yan Tian's words got stuck in his throat, and he couldn't help but blinked half opened his mouth when he heard Jane's words. Everyone else was surprised. It seemed that Jane's girl would know this at all. And if they remember correctly, didn't Jane get into the second high school by grades? I heard that my family lives in Nanchinj district and is very poor. Actually know the extension of Lincoln? So you still know this? Lin Yi sat opposite Jane Ai, leaning forward slightly, looking at Jane Ai with interest. Jane Ai just smiled, and said casually, I usually like to read magazines, so I have a little understanding. Hey! Yan Tian crooked his disdainful mouth, and his body was embedded in the seat as if he had no bones. He squinted at Jane and said, I can only look at it, I'm afraid I won't be able to afford it for a lifetime. Yan Tian! Xia Ching Huan gave him a displeased look, you are almost done, don't go too far. Yan Tian is a personality who is not afraid of everything, whether at school or at home, he is a bully, but the only thing he is afraid of is his girlfriend Xia Ching Huan. Although the woman who was upset at her own heart, why didn't she keep her heart with herself, knowing that she didn't like Jane, but she still showed a very friendly attitude towards her, but these are what he is muttering in his heart, where can he really say it? At the moment, Yan Tianto looked out of the car window slantingly, looking indifferent and indifferent, but he really didn't dare to say anything. Don't pay attention to him. I haven't taken care of him these days. I think it's a little itchy. As if afraid of Jane Ai's embarrassment, Xia Ching Huan changed the subject directly and looked at Gu Tao and asked, What is your name? Hey? I see you often with Jane on weekdays. Guantao just took a sip of the drink. It is estimated that Xia Ching Huan would take the initiative to speak to herself. The excitement at the moment was that she was choked by the drink. Cough cough, cough cough. A violent cough made Guan Tao's face flushed, and Gao Yang, who was sitting opposite her, frowned slightly, raised his hand and gently supported the glasses on the bridge of her nose, while Guan Tao looked around as if looking for something. Gao Yang upon seeing this, I sighed deeply, and actually took out a silk scarf from my jacket pocket. Audience friends, you are not mistaken, young master Gao took out a white silk PA. The slender fingers gently grasped the corner of Sipa and handed them to Guan Tao. Guan Tao, who was in a hurry, didn't take a closer look. He thought it was a napkin, and he wiped his mouth directly until he felt the soft and delicate texture. Looking up, the corner of Sipa is a small logo, LV. Damn, the donkey brand handkerchief, Guan Tao sat up upright, and quickly put the handkerchief on the table in front of him, yes, I'm sorry, you got your handkerchief dirty. Guan Tao's face was messy in the wind, LV's handkerchief, ranging from a few thousand to tens of thousands of moves, she couldn't afford it, let alone compensate. Gao Yang sat with no expression from beginning to end, but at a young age, he had a sense of elegance. 
the eyes behind the golden silk frame concealed calm and wise eyes. Compared with Yan Tian, they are completely two extreme temperaments. Facing Gun Tao's bewilderment, Gao Yang didn't say a word from beginning to end, so Gun Tao became even more flustered. After thinking about it, she said, that, I will return it to you after I wash it. No matter what Gao Yang's reaction said, he grabbed Sipa and stuffed it into his school uniform pocket. Jane Ai sat around and looked at a few people, feeling the subtle atmosphere of people from different worlds squeezed into one space, and didn't know what to say for a while. Gun Tao from her previous life was later married to a wealthy family, and it was the man's persevering pursuit that made her nod. After getting married, her husband's family didn't like her at first, and it wasn't until she gave birth to two sons that the days became more comfortable. But now Gun Tao, after facing the rich children and wealthy family in front of him, instinctive inferiority breeds in his heart. Even Xia Qinghuan's invitation and initiative can make Gun Tao as excited as the Emperor's favor. Just like myself in the previous life, in those years when I secretly loved Lin Yi, I also felt inferior to the dust. My name is Gun Tao, and I belong to Class 4. Gun Tao didn't forget Xia Qinghuan's words. You are Gun Tao, I have the impression. Xia Qinghuan's eyes lit up, I was fifth in grade last month. I know you. You know me. Gun Tao looked surprised, or rather flattered. Noble school like number two middle school, who would remember her? Yes, I remember all the names of the top ten in the grade, but some people have never seen them, so they are not good to them. Xia Qing said with a smile, and your name is so distinctive, I will remember it right away. That's it, haha. Gun Tao smirked but she couldn't be happy in her heart. Lin Yi said lightly at this time, Jane Ai and Gun Tao were admitted into the second high school based on their grades. I heard that they were both full scholarships. Xia Qinghuan's eyes lit up when she heard this, as if suddenly thinking about it, she looked at the two with joy and said, so, after the monthly exam is reclassified, we may all be in the same class. In fact, Lin Yi's small group only has her as a girl. Although several people are very close, Xia Ching Huan has long hoped to have a friend who can talk about everything like a girlfriend. But the girls in the second middle school are either rich or expensive. Most of these people have the lingering arrogant nature of wealthy daughters. They are arrogant and expensive and like to compare. They actually do boring things. Xia Ching Huan doesn't want to be friends with them. Although Xia Qinghuan was the daughter of the Xia family, she also had a pure and beautiful face, but that was not the case in her bones. Although it is not enough to say that there is a man living in the body, many things are not trivial. This is also the reason why she can play with Lin Yi and the others. Who wants to talk to them? Yan Tian didn't hold back and murmured again, but Xia Qinghuan's eyes glared at him, and the second half was swallowed raw. The driver sent a few people to the vicinity of Bayun Square and drove away. The three boys walked ahead, followed by Jane Ai, Xia Ching Huan, and Gun Tao. Have you been to Game City before? Xia Ching Huan asked. Gun Tao shook her head, Jane said, My brother took me to that kind of small game hall. This is the first time here. In the Nanchinj district and Bell Tower district. There are so many large and small game halls and billiards halls. Jane has been there several times, but Jian Yu secretly took her to play. This big player game city is the largest in Byun City. There are all kinds of games in it, such as dancing machines, big lotto, racing cars, etc. I guarantee that you like them. Xia Ching Huan said, the more excited he became, but this kind of place is obviously male. Children prefer to come. When they arrived in the game city, both Jane Ai and Guan Tao looked curiously around, surrounded by various unnamed game consoles. Today's era is not the era of network information, and the game city is one of the most popular entertainment venues for young people. The game city is crowded with people, and there are people waiting in line for popular games like dancing machines. The noise and noise are very contagious. 
Even Jane feels in a daze that everything has not changed, and she is still a child. Lin Yi went to buy game coins to distribute to everyone, Xia Ching Huan shouted a few boys to play, she took Jane Ai and Guan Tao to play. After all, boys like to play racing, gunfights, and fighting, and their girls are obviously not interested. Several people came to the dancing machine. The machine in front was playing a Korean song. Two players, one from the left and the other, were dancing according to the instructions on the screen. This is one of the most popular items in the game city, except there were also a group of onlookers in the line behind. The Great Demon King is here. At this time, I don't know who saw Xia Ching Huan in the crowd, and recognized her at a glance. I'm going, it's a crazy rabbit, finally let me squat down to her. Which one? Which one is the crazy rabbit? It's the tallest of the three girls over there. She's the crazy rabbit of the big devil? So small. Yeah, it looks like a high school student. It turns out that this dancing machine has a ranking, and every song will have a highest record, and Xia Ching Huan, who is called the big devil by everyone, is the holder of the first place in all the songs of this dancing machine. No one can break it so far. Even one song. Xia Ching Huan gave herself an ID called Crazy Rabbit, so every time someone finishes a song, the score chart of this song will pop up on the screen of the dance machine, no matter which song it is, the record of the highest score will always be It's a Crazy Rabbit. Everyone was restless, and all their eyes fell on Xia Ching Huan. Xia Ching Huan, they seem to be talking about you. Guan Tao was a little dazed, and followed everyone's gaze to Xia Ching Huan. Xia Ching Huan smiled upon hearing this, and said in a casual tone, I used to like to play the dance machine, but after clearing the customs, I found it boring. I haven't played for a long time. The big devil jumps one. Suddenly someone yelled. I'm afraid that someone will take the lead in everything. As soon as there is a voice, someone hurriedly followed, yes, let's jump one. It's been a long time since I saw anyone jump full marks. I've been here so many times, it's the first time I have met the big devil, let's jump one. Everyone, you say and I say, are obviously crazy fans of dancing machines, and they are also very popular with the great demon king Xia Ching Huan, and they have asked her to dance a song. Xia Ching Huan is not the kind of twitching person, not to mention the hospitality, especially when someone came here to squat her, just to see her jump once on the spot, she immediately said to Jane Ai and Guan Tao, then you two watching here, I'll show you both. When the words fell, Xia Ching Huan took off his coat and gave it to Jane Ai, and got on the dancing machine amidst the enthusiastic cheers of the crowd. The warm atmosphere here immediately attracted a group of people to watch. Lin Yi and the others were playing racing cars not far away. Seeing the commotion on the dancing machine, Yan Tian and Yu Rongjian's lips curled in triumph, it must be my wife. I've seen it before. Lin Yi shook his head and laughed, I don't know who was so fascinated by Ching Huan on the dancing machine. After reading it, my eyes grew on the person's body. I chased them for more than half a year. It turns out that Yan Tian was fascinated by Xia Ching Huan because he was attracted by the smart and confident the dancing machine. Later, after struggling for more than half a year, he finally embraced the beauty. But right now, Yan Tian insisted, Hey, I see her heartless day by day, and no one wants to pity her stupidly, so I can barely chase after her. Gao Yang changed a gear blankly, and said quietly, if you dare to repeat what you just said before Ching Huan, I will respect you as a man. Don't, I'm bragging. Yan Tian persuaded after hearing this. Lin Yi smiled helplessly when he heard this. Fortunately, Yan Tian, the little overlord, met Ching Huan, otherwise no one could stop him. I just can't figure it out. You said how Ching Huan can still play with Jane Ai. Yan Tian couldn't get past this hurdle, and his expression was unhappy. In fact, Yan Tian had no prejudice against Jane Ai. After all, he was not a person of the same world. 
before the love letter incident, the intersection between the two was almost zero. Occasionally, I heard some gossips about Jane A.I., but other people's ridicule about her family background, Yan Tian was not interested. It wasn't until Jane asked Lin Yi to invite her to lunch for a month, and Yan Tian became wary of this harmless girl in his heart. After all, Lin Yi, as a high school freshman, is handsome and rich, and Jane A.I. likes Lin Yi's things because everyone knows about the love letter before, Yan Tian will naturally feel that her purpose for Lin Yi is not pure. Ming Gli was accepting Lin Yi's apology, secretly, he must have wanted to take this opportunity to get close to Lin Yi. In particular, Lin Yi's attitude towards Jane A.I. is also changing now, and Yan Tian feels that Jane A.I.'s methods are so good that she can do this in just a few days. Ching Huan has always had its own standards for making friends. You know how difficult it is to be friends with her. Since she is willing to contact Jane A.I., it means that Jane has something Ching Huan likes. Lin Yi is right. Her attitude has changed, which is enough to explain the problem. Gao Yang said lightly while driving the car. Gao Yang didn't say it, but Yan Tian felt that the two coincided with each other. Yan Tian looked at Gao Yang with a compatriot's expression on his face and said, You also feel that Lin Yi has changed Jane AI, right? I said that it's definitely not the only one who thinks that way. Hey, just talk about Ching Huan when you two say Ching Huan, don't pull on me. Although Lin Yi's mouth was anxious to defend, he seemed to skip a beat in his heart. He didn't know whether his feelings about Jane had changed, he actually couldn't tell, the concern he cared about Jane in recent days, he had always regarded it as his own guilt for her. Don't deny it, if you tell the truth, you won't really be tempted by her, are you? Yan Tian's face was straight and serious, I want to say that Jane AI is really beautiful, if you are tempted. I really don't doubt it at all. Go, go, nothing. Lin Yi's tone was impatient, but his face flushed unknowingly. Yan Tian looked at Lin Yi inquisitively, really? Lin Yi, really not. Seeing Lin Yi's denial at all, Yan Tian didn't think much about it. Then he said, that's fine, you can let her play with us. I have nothing to say. After all, Ching Huan also likes her, but if she tries to plot against you, otherwise, as far as the purpose is concerned, I will definitely not give her face. While talking here, there was a burst of cheers from the dancing machine. Xia Ching Huan finished a song and got a perfect score, but the previous record was also the perfect score she created, so it didn't break the record. After a song, Xia Qing Huan's smooth forehead oozes thin sweat, Guan Tao greets her with a look of admiration, and stares at her and said, Xia Qing Huan, you are really amazing, I just look stupid. Jane A.I. handed her the clothes, with a slightly surprised tone, I didn't expect you to still play with these. Xia Ching Huan was getting dressed, and she looked at Jane A.I.'s lips and smiled, jokingly, What? Do you think I, like those big ladies, only play with Barbie dolls every day? Jane A.I. and Guan Tao looked at each other with noncommittal expressions, obviously they were thinking this in their hearts. There are so many things you don't know. Xia Ching Huan said, holding the arms of the two of them, and said with a smile, Go, I will take you to play other things, there is so much fun in it. Jane AI has always had no talent for playing games, and it's just an entertainment project, and it won't let her use her own mind. Even so, Jane is still very happy, the kind of pure happiness, carefree, without any burden. At this time, the three girls were each playing gophers with a plastic hammer. In the distance, Lin Yi's eyes fell on Jane's side face, and the lights of the game city hit her snow-like side face. Her whole person is shining, and there seems to be a little light in the flowing star eyes, and her smile is like a flower, blooming magnificently without knowing it. It was almost eight o'clock in the evening when she got home, Jane opened the door and was taken aback when she saw Wang Yunmi sitting on the sofa, but before she had time to speak. Jane saw the two people sitting on the other end of the sofa. The man looks in his early thirties. He is long, short and thin. 
his half-length hair is somewhat curled. With that sallow complexion, he feels a little sick. Sitting next to the man was an old lady who was over half a hundred years old. Although there were not many wrinkles on her face, the white hair spreading from the roots made people know that she was not young. Her savvy eyes were exceptionally bright. It's not like the turbidity of the average old man. In my memory, these two faces had long been blurred, and even when the mother passed away, at the extremely simple funeral, no other relatives were present except the aunt and the uncle. So that now suddenly seeing her brother-in-law and grandma appear in front of her, Jane stood there for a while, forgetting to react. Xiao Ai is back. It was Wang Yunmei who called her daughter back when she saw her daughter back, and then pulled back Jane's thoughts. After regaining his senses, Jane first responded to her mother, and then faintly yelled to the two of them, Grandma, Uncle. Cai Chunyua glanced at Jian Ai with a faint expression and hummed softly, I'm back. The tone is indifferent and alienated, unable to hear the warmth of family affection. Wang Yunfa didn't even lift his eyelids, lying in the corner of the sofa with Erlang's legs tilted, as if he didn't know Jane Ai. Wang Yunmei knew that because of her relationship, the two children were not seen by others, and she was afraid that Jane would be uncomfortable, so she hurriedly greeted, Xiao Ai, the kitchen mom left food for you. You should eat first. I have something with your grandma and uncle talk to me. Jane Ai nodded without saying anything else, dropped her school bag and went into the kitchen, not forgetting to close the kitchen door. Wang Yunmei sighed when she saw the situation, and watched the old lady and younger brother say, Mom, I have said everything I should say, I have to go to work now, so you should go back first. Go back? Where are you going back? Cai Chunyu raised her voice and looked at her daughter, Your brother is in his thirties. It's hard to get married, so you have the heart to confuse it. Sister, you deliberately made me bachelor. Wang Yunfa also looked upset, yelling with staring eyes. Wang Yunmei was not a man of arrogance, let alone what does this matter have to do with her? The younger brother wants to get married and the wife wants a new building. He can't afford it, so he asks himself for money? If you don't give it right now, you just want to disturb? Mom, can you be reasonable? I took Jian Yu and Jian Ai alone so it was easy for me to earn some money after so many years of hard work? You don't need to help, and now you have to ask me for money to buy a house for my brother. Getting married, how can the world bully people like this? Sister, what you said is serious, right? Borrowing some money from you is bullying you? I didn't tell you not to pay it back. Wang Yun snorted coldly, curled his lips and said, I am your brother. Cai Chunyua also had a cold face, seeming to be dissatisfied with what Wang Yunmei said just now, and immediately answered, It is said that blood is thicker than water, is your heart made of stone? Your brother is not young anymore, and now you can finally get married. You can lend it to him first, and then return it to you when he has the money. That's... Wang Yun murmured. Also. Wang Yunmei seemed to have heard something funny. She glanced at Wang Yunfa who was like a hanger and said to Cai Chunyua, Mom, you will cost 100,000 to open your mouth, you knowing that 100,000 yuan, I got up early and greedy for a few years to earn money? Okay, just like you and Yunfa said, it will be returned to me in the future. What will he pay for it? Wang Yunmei raised her finger to Wang Yunfa, Don't you understand your own son? Since I was young, I've been gambling and fighting prostitution, so what has left him? How much mess I have cleaned up behind my sister, and how much money did you two old people lose to him? Didn't you count it? Why can't he find a partner for so many years? When people hear that the youngest sons of the old Wang family are walking around, and the matchmaker does not make his money, I can still rely on my sister to be the head of my sister if I can't get married in my thirties. On. When Wang Yunmei turned over her old things, Wang Yunfa suddenly became unhappy. The body that had been slumped on the sofa stood up and shouted at Wang Yunmei, Sister, 
if you don't borrow, don't borrow. Is it interesting to say this? You are not at the club yourself, we are half a cat, don't look down on anyone. Pop. As soon as Wang Yun dropped his words, he slapped a firm face on his face. You bastard. Wang Yun Mei trembled slightly, her eyes holding back tears. She knows that the work of a company wine is not a serious job in the eyes of others, and she also knows that people around her often point and talk about herself behind her back. But when the words came out of her brother's mouth, she still spoke directly to her face, Wang Yun Mei only felt discouraged. Even though the relationship between himself and his brother is as pale as white water, but they are the only relatives in this world. Don't you say it is chilling? How could it not be chilling? Wang Yunfa's face was hot and painful, and he didn't react for a long time. He knew that his sister was strong-tempered, but he never thought that she would do it. For a while, he actually forgot to react on the spot. Cai Chunyua was also taken aback. He didn't expect that Wang Yun Mei's reaction would be so excited. With a change of heart, she couldn't help but quickly let go of her tone, Yun Mei, your brother is also in a hurry. You can't stop talking, don't take it to your heart. Just a short sentence of comfort, the old lady pulled the topic back again, but you also know that if your brother can't make this target, he will really not find a wife in the future. Do you really bear the heart of being a sister? As he said, the old lady actually shed tears, Mom gave birth to four of you. Your eldest brother is a loyal person. Although you have experienced a lot of hardship, you still have both sons and daughters. Although Yun Zi's life is tight, it is good or bad. Your brother-in-law is a painful person. Yun Fa is the only one left. If you say that one day if your father and I are gone, he will be alone, so what should I do? The old lady can be said to be both soft and hard. Seeing that the hard doesn't work, she can't help but start to shed tears. It's just that Wang Yun Mei has long been used to this trick. She used to feel soft because of her own kinship, but her experience over the years has long made her understand that in the minds of her parents, she is a little bit heavy. Mom, why don't you go to my eldest brother? He has made so much money from doing business in the past few years. Although 100,000 yuan is not a small amount, it is not too small to get it out, right? Wang Yun Mei ignored the tears of the old lady. Asked in a cold voice. Hearing her daughter's tone, Cai Chunyua knew that her tears were streaming, and it stopped instantly as if the faucet was closed. This matter naturally has to go to your elder brother first but your elder brother has just invested in a new project recently, and there is very little money that can flow. If you take it out for your brother to get married, his company's capital chain will be broken. When Wang Yun Mei heard this, she sneered in her heart right now. On the weekend she saw her elder brother taking his lover around the house at the sales office, but now she made up such a lie, and only the old lady would believe it. At the beginning of the four children in the family, the eldest brother was the most loved by his parents, and he was given the only chance to go to school. Now he has money for success and fame, but he is not grateful at all. The monthly alimony for the elderly is always the same as that of others, and he never gives more one cent. But despite this, the parents still obeyed the eldest brother's words, put him first in everything, and never embarrassed him. What about Yunfa's house? Wang Yun Mei knew that she would not touch her mother when she said anything to her eldest brother, so she thought that her younger brother still had a house in Nanchenj. My parents worked hard to save two houses, one for the elder brother and the other for the younger brother. Although they are all bungalows in Nanchenj, they can be worth tens of thousands of dollars. Moreover, the Nanchenj district is going to be demolished. If it can wait until the demolition, the demolition money alone will be enough to buy a new building. But obviously his mother and younger brother didn't know about the demolition. Wang Yunfa eased his pains and rubbed his aching cheeks, then sat back on the sofa, can that ruined house be used for marriage? Even if it's sold, it's not enough to buy. The floor. Yet. Yeah. Cai Chunyua continued, 
the lady said that she wants a building. This has to be a gift, and other miscellaneous things will have to ask for money. Nanchinch will be demolished soon. Mom. Just halfway through Wang Yun Mi's words, she was interrupted by Jane Ai who came out of the kitchen. She seemed to be afraid that Jane would know these bad things at home, Wang Yun Mi instantly closed her voice, Xiao Ai, are you full? Looking at her mother's red eyes, Jane's eyes darkened slightly. Just now Jane's conversation was heard clearly in the kitchen. She nodded slightly at the moment. Without waiting for Wang Yun Mi to speak, she walked up to a few people and looked at Cai Chunyua and Wang Yunfu with a cold expression. Grandma and uncle came to borrow money. Xiao Ai, it's all adults business, you go in the house and study, don't worry. Wang Yun Mi felt the change in Jane's aura, and instantly reminded her of the situation when she was in the Public Security Bureau a few days ago. Cai Chunyua and Wang Yunfa also frowned unhappy. Although they were their granddaughter, Jane Ai had always been a soft and silent character, so they never liked them. Seeing that they were silent, Jane did not respond to Wang Yun Mi. Instead, she sat down on the sofa and raised her head and said, I have money in my house, but I don't want to borrow it. Jane Ai's tone at this time was even weaker than that of her grandma's attitude towards her, as if she was communicating with an unrelated person. Where did Cai Chunyua have seen such a sharp sight of her granddaughter, she was a little surprised at the moment, but the words were particularly harsh in her ears, a touch of discomfort spread over her face, and she said in a deep voice, the adults speak and the children don't interrupt. Wang Yunfa couldn't hold her face even more. She looked at Jane Ai sneered at the moment, my niece has not been seen for a few months, but her personality has changed a lot and her temper has changed a lot. Before talking about mosquitoes, it's so good now, I dare to do so. Talk to the elders. Wang Yun Mi was also anxious at the moment. Even though the old lady and younger brother came to make things difficult, they were Jian Ai's grandmother and uncle in the end. Before she could say her words of relaxation, her hand was held by her daughter, and her words got stuck in her throat. Wang Yun Mi raised her head to look at Jane Ai, only to see Jane Ai's expression faint, she said, what kind of stuff the other person is, I am the face. As soon as these words came out, the faces of Cai Chunyua and Wang Yunfa turned green for an instant. Cai Chunyua's mouth was half open, not only shocked or angry, but for a while, he couldn't find the right words to reprimand Jane Ai. When Wang Yunfa had a thick neck, he actually raised his hand and started to move it, but when he raised his hand halfway, he pressed it back, cursing in a low voice, Little bastard, how do you talk? Xiao Ai Wang Yun Mi didn't expect her daughter to say such heavy words at all, and she felt a little at a loss. Although the relationship between their relatives is not deep, as a mother, Wang Yun Mi is still looking for opportunities to allow her children to move with her family more hoping that one day the relationship between everyone can be improved. But at the moment, the daughter's faint words made the affection that had been walking on thin ice, instantly reaching the freezing point. Mom, what did you get for your tolerance and accommodation all these years? Jane looked at Wang Yun Mi and said faintly, When I was one year old, our family of three nestled in this house. It was more than 20 degrees below zero in winter. I can't even use charcoal fires for heating. Grandma's house is 500 meters away. Has any one of them cared for us? When my elder brother was six years old, he had a high fever at night and caught up with the heavy rain outside. The roads in Nanchinch were muddy and difficult to walk. You can ask your uncle to help him take your brother to the hospital by e donkey, but what about him? Just playing mahjong and refused to go. You a man holding an umbrella with his brother on his back, step by step in a muddy pit, did not reach the intersection for half an hour. If it weren't for luck to run into Uncle Wu, have you ever thought about what would happen that night? My uncle lost the money in a gambling outside, so I didn't dare to tell others. He actually left the address of our breakfast shop to others. A dozen big guys came to the house and smashed the shop. In the end, 
you took out 10,000 yuan to help him clear in case of debt, did he say thank you to you? At the age of 12. Listening to Xiao Ai telling the old things one by one, Wang Yunmi lowered her head in silence. She had forgotten many things because it was so long in the past, but she didn't expect her daughter to remember them so clearly. At this time, the old thing was brought up again, and Wang Yunmi's heart was still severely hit. It is said that the past is unbearable to look back, these things are undoubtedly unforgettable scars for Wang Yunmi, which will not be removed for a lifetime. Wang Yun didn't say anything anymore. Among these old things, he was the only one who had the most bad things. The old lady has a bright mirror in her heart, but she is now pierced in person, no matter how thick her skin is, she feels ashamed at this moment. Many things actually happened when Jane Ai was very young, and Jane shouldn't have an impression. However, after being reborn, Jane clearly remembers everything after birth. At the moment everyone fell silent, because these things Jane Ai said were facts, and no one could deny it. The sacrifices and concessions that Wang Yunmi has made in order to maintain the pitiful family relationship over the years are nothing more than self-satisfaction. Each of these so-called relatives are like vampires and can't wait to bite her bones. Jane Ai glanced at the old lady and Wang Yunfa faintly. Seeing that they didn't say a word, she said quietly, Grandma's uncle, my mother has done a lot for you all these years. I don't ask you to return, but I know it's enough. Everyone compares their hearts to their hearts. After all, the same blood bleeds through them. Even if the feelings are weak, but somehow they break the bones and the tendons, I have to call you grandma and uncle, right? After the words, Jian Ai straightened up slightly, took a sip of the cold tea on the table, and then continued, My uncle is grandma's son, and grandma feels sorry for him, fearing that he can't find a daughter-in-law and won't get married. We all understand this. After all, he is also my mother's younger brother, and my mother is also anxious for him, but you can't just ask her for money just because my mother is so good. Didn't we have no choice but to? The old lady sighed quietly, seemingly because of Jane's words, her tone was softened by three points. Seeing that her mother's attitude seemed to have changed, Wang Yunmi's heart softened again. She was about to speak but she felt her daughter hold her hand and exerted a little force. Without waiting for her to think, Jane said directly, I just said that my family does have money, but I don't borrow it. Don't think my granddaughter is hard-hearted, because I really believe that my brother-in-law can return the money to my family. After all, this money is my mother's hard work. Ern, you don't feel sorry for her, I still feel sorry for her. When Wang Yunfa heard this, he was unhappy, but before he became angry, Jane said again, but you can change things. Change. Wang Yun frowned, seeming to wonder what Jane said, what to change. The old lady also mumbled, and Wang Yun Mi didn't know what her daughter was doing. Jane Ai was indifferent from beginning to end. From the moment she sat on the sofa, she invisibly grasped the rhythm and initiative of this conversation. I saw the corner of her lips twitched and looked at Wang Yunfa and said, Isn't there a house in Nanjing that my grandma left for you? You can change the deed of that house. Wang Yunfa was still confused, but when he heard Jane Ai's words, he coldly snorted, How much money can the broken house be exchanged? Nanjing was originally the poorest district in Baiyun City. The house price was already very low. The old lady left the big house to the eldest son. The yard that Wang Yunfa got was very small, and it was worth 30,000 or 40,000. And what he needs to get married is a building, even if he buys it in the Bell Tower area, a 60 square meter ordinary building will cost 100,000 yuan. So when Jane asked him to exchange the deed of the broken house, he reacted like this. Because the actual value of the house is not up to his current needs. My uncle's house alone is definitely not worth much but doesn't my uncle still have another one? Jane said with her arms around her chest, leaning against the corner of the sofa, and said quietly. Hey! 
When the old lady heard that the interests of her eldest son were involved, she was unhappy at the moment, how can that work? That is your elder uncle's house. Jane had long known that the old lady would react like this. From childhood to adulthood, as long as the eldest son had something to do with it, the eldest son had to take advantage of it, and others would not want to get a little advantage from him. Jane A.I. looked at the old lady and said, Grandma, if I remember correctly, the house you and Grandpa gave to the uncle has long been vacant, and the grass in the yard is half a meter tall. My uncle is now successful in business. There are at least two buildings in the city. Do you think he will return to Nanchinch? I have forgotten that I have such a yard. Right now, my uncle needs money to get married. He said that his company's capital chain is in short supply and he cannot spare any spare money. We will not mention this for the time being. But the house is empty or empty, so I can exchange some money for my uncle's emergency head office. Right? Or is it that you are reluctant to bear the house of your elder son, and would rather my brother-in-law blow up the marriage? Jane A.I. has a light tone, but she speaks like needles. The old lady was anxious and stared. You girl is pure nonsense. Of course, your brother-in-law's marriage matters. Jane raised her eyebrows when she heard the words, and said, Since my grandma said so, I will make it clear. I don't borrow money from my house, but you can trade the two houses of the uncle and the uncle. We are not at risk. People, the current price of these two houses together is only 120,000 yuan. My family takes 200,000 yuan to marry his brother-in-law, which can be regarded as a little bit of my mother's intention to be a sister. More, how much? Wang Yunfa thought he had heard it wrong, and now half opened his mouth in surprise. The old lady was also dumbfounded. She came here today to ask her daughter for 100,000 yuan, so she also thought that the two houses could also be exchanged for 100,000 yuan but she did not expect Jane A.I. to have a mouthful of 200,000 yuan. At this time, Wang Yunmi calmed down instead, because at this time she already knew the purpose of her daughter. Secretly surprised, it seemed that she had never expected her daughter to plan things to this point, but the calculating person was her younger brother and elder brother, she really didn't know whether she should be happy or should have other emotions. Seeing that the two of them seemed to be a little unbelieving, Jane repeated with a look as usual, 200,000, my family can do what we say, as long as you bring the deeds of the two houses tomorrow, my mother will immediately pay 200,000. To my uncle. The money is more than enough to buy a 180 square meter building in the Bell Tower area, and there is still a lot left. Whether my uncle uses it as a betrothal gift or buys a car to drive, it is enough. This marriage can also be married. Wind and scenery glorious. When Wang Yun heard the words, his small eyes brightened, and he was obviously moved by Jane A.I.'s words. For 200,000 yuan, even if he bought a building and a car, there would still be tens of thousands left. And the market value of those two old houses was only 100,000 yuan, so my sister was willing to double it. Sister, what Xiao A.I. said is true. Are you really willing to give me 200,000? Wang Yunfa looked at Wang Yunmi, wanting to get Wang Yunmi's affirmation. Wang Yunmi hesitated for a moment, but now that her daughter has said everything to this point, she also knows her daughter's intentions and plans, and she has no room for maneuver, so she gritted her teeth and nodded, Yes. If you exchange two houses, I will give you 200,000. This is not a loan and you will not have to pay it back in the future. If it was Jane A.I., they still had doubts, but now Wang Yunmi had also nodded in agreement, which can be said to have completely dispelled Wang Yunfa's worries. Mom. Wang Yunfa turned his head to look at the old lady, begging in his eyes. The old lady naturally knew what the younger son meant. Although the eldest's house was always empty, it was also the yard of the elder son. Right now, Wang Yunmi's conditions are also very clear. It takes two yard deeds to exchange for 200,000 yuan. After thinking about it, the old lady couldn't help but think about it. 
The old house was empty as well, and the price given by the daughter was far more than the current price of Nanchinj. If it can be done, it will indeed be cheaper for the younger son. Nodding lightly, the old lady looked at Wang Yunmei and said, That's fine, I'll go and tell your elder brother, it's a pity that the old house is really empty. If you can use it, then sell it to you. Then it's settled. When Wang Yunfa heard what the old lady meant, she knew that she would go to talk to her eldest brother, and immediately looked at Wang Yunmei with joy and said, Sister, you can't go back on it. Wang Yunmei couldn't help but feel a little guilty. Once the news of the demolition spreads, I am afraid that they will be the one who regrets it. Jane Ai looked at Wang Yunfa and responded seriously, I won't regret it, so I don't regret it. Why would Wang Yunfa think of other things? When he thinks that his broken house can earn 200,000 yuan, it is like a pie in the sky. He narrowed his small eyes and said with a smile, No, no, I definitely won't regret it. The matter was finalized, and the two did not stay longer. Wang Yunfa urged the old lady to ask the boss for a house deed tonight, and the 200,000 will be available tomorrow. As soon as the two left, Wang Yunmei exhaled deeply, and the strained nerves of the whole person were also relaxed. Suddenly Jane held her hand, Wang Yunmei looked sideways, and saw her daughter patted her hand lightly, with a light tone of relief, Mom, don't blame me, if it weren't for them to keep pushing. I don't want to put the idea on them. I thought it would be better if we are separated from each other, but obviously some people are not willing to let us have a happy birthday. Wang Yunmei pursed her mouth. She naturally knew that her daughter was also forced to helplessly. If this matter is not dealt with in this way today, the old lady and younger brother will not give up if they don't have money. Just thinking about the trouble in the future, Wang Yunmei was still a little relieved, we can be regarded as cheating your two uncles. Right now, we have bought two of their yards for 200,000 yuan. Two sets of relocation houses. If you let them know about this, it will surely lead to an upset. Jian Ai smiled indifferently when he heard the words, Then I can't blame us, my brothers have to settle accounts, there is definitely no reason to give money in vain. The only valuable thing about my uncle is the yard, and we also gave it more. He is tens of thousands, which is considered to have saved his urgency. Through this incident, these people must also understand that no one is a fool and don't think our family is so bullied. Wang Yunmei nodded softly, this matter can only be done like this for the time being. If it really makes trouble in the future, let's talk about it then. Wang Yunmei glanced at her watch, and quickly stood up and said to Jane Ai, Mom has to go to work. You are at home obediently and go to bed early at night. Jane Ai nodded and watched Wang Yunmei hurriedly push the door away. The room fell silent for a while, and Jane sighed slightly as she watched the glasses of untouched water on the coffee table. The phenomenon of patriarchal patriarchy has continued since ancient times, but Jian Ai never thought that this custom would be thoroughly implemented in her own home. It's the millennium right now, and there are still people who are so futile. If the son yells coldly, he can't wait to take his daughter's skin and make him a coat. Jane didn't feel that there was anything wrong with what she had done just now. In Jane's eyes, all these people with close blood relations were not much different from strangers. If it is not profitable, she will not buy their ruined house for no reason. This is also her previous life as a merchant's consciousness. So no matter what happens in the future, she will never regret her actions today. She is for this family, for her mother and eldest brother. On the other side, as soon as she came out of Jane Ai's house, Wang Yunfa said to the old lady, Mom, it seems that my sister has made a lot of money over the years, and I will give you 200,000 yuan with one mouthful. The old lady glared at Wang Yunfa when she heard the words, You don't know where she works. Which one of those places is not the big boss? Yes, my sister has been working there for so many years and there must be a lot of money from the gold master. Wang Yunfa curled his lips, looking despised. You go back first, I'll go to your elder brother to tell him about this. 
The old lady waved her hand and turned to leave, but was held back by Wang Yunfa. Mom, Mom! Wang Yunfa pulled the old lady under the tree and said in a low voice, Do you think my eldest brother can give me the lease for nothing? If he knows that my sister is willing to pay 200,000 yuan, he can't think about it. Half of it. Why? Do you still want to be alone? The old lady stared and said displeasedly, That house was originally owned by your eldest brother. If you sell it, he will definitely score half of it. No, don't I have 100,000 left? After buying the building, there is not a single point left. Wang Yunfa twitched his face, his expression reluctant. Then what do you mean? Ask your brother to give you the house for nothing. The old lady frowned and asked. Wang Yun chuckled, his tone was a little coquettish, Mom. My brother's company assets are millions, does he care about such a broken yard? And the yard has been empty for many years, and he can't sell it. If you go out, you will definitely not live again. Tell him, just as my brother's marriage, will he give it to me? Besides, you asked him for money before, didn't he also give it? Can't you give me this vacant house now? What Wang Yun meant in his words was that he wanted to swallow the 200,000 yuan by himself, but it was definitely not easy for him to tell the boss, so he could only act like a baby with the old lady. Although the old lady loves the eldest son the most, the younger son is also the meat on the back of his hand, so Wang Yunfa soaked so softly and hard, plus he really is finally getting married, the old lady softened her heart and nodded. It's okay, I'll go to your elder brother to help you ask for the house deed. But you have to be strict with me. If you let your elder brother know that you sold this house to your sister, you have sold so much money, he will definitely blame me. When Wang Yunfa heard this, he immediately nodded, Don't worry, Mom, I will never say a word. When I get married, I will give you a grandson quickly to make you happy. It's almost the same. The old lady was immediately happy when she heard the three words for grandson. In the evening, Jane took a shower, then cleaned up the living room before stopping to turn on the TV. TV shows popular idol dramas. The overbearing president fell in love with Cinderella's vulgar plot. Jane A.I. washed an apple and lay on the sofa and watched it boredly. Not long after, sleepiness struck, Jane almost fell asleep in a daze, and the sound of knocking on the door suddenly came at this moment. He got up and looked up at the time, 10.30 in the evening. Jane frowned, who would knock on the door at this time? Without thinking about it, Jane got up and walked to the door to open it, but the door was empty. It's just that Jane A.I. has not had time to mutter, she is a rousing spirit. Uh. Jane screamed, and her body quickly bounced back, her heart almost jumping out of fright. At the door, a man in a silver-haired suit clenched his right hand and placed a fist on his left chest. His head was slightly lowered. A face was buried in the shadows, making it difficult to see his face. However, Jane did not see him the first time he opened the door, because he was kneeling on one knee at this time, half kneeling outside the door. What the hell? It was the dark night, and Jane almost thought she was hell. The heartbeat kept beating fast, Jane A.I. looked at the person who was kneeling at the door respectfully and said tentatively, You, who are you? Even after experiencing the rebirth, after rebirth, the mind is in the body, but suddenly faced with this situation, Jane still can't calm down. What's more, the sudden appearance of this person, when the black wind is high this month, is really weird. At this time, the silver-haired man kept kneeling, but he said, under the Shakesian gate, Shakesian twelve guards, the prophet by day, and see the sect master. Clam? Jane stood there, wearing cherry Marico's pajamas, holding the remote control in her hand, listening to the man in front of her, with a question mark on her face. What twelve guards? What sect master? And many more. Jane A.I. had a look, and suddenly grabbed the key point of the opponent's mouth, Shakespeareanman. Isn't your own mindset the same as the mindset of Shakespeareanman? 
thinking quickly returned to the cage, Jane's eyes filled with vigilance, frowned, and carefully asked, You just said, you belong to the fairy gate. It's no wonder that Jian Ai is so suspicious. Shaxianman is a secret here. She once thought that she was the only one in the world who knew Shaxianman, because in the dream of absorbing the mind, the words in the dream were still fresh in her memory. Shaxianman is an ancient sect with a history of thousands of years. She can hardly believe that besides herself, there are other people under Shaxianman today in 2002. The day is still motionless with a clear voice with respect that cannot be ignored, go back to the doormaster, below is one of the twelve guards under the Shaxianman, the prophet day. Feeling your call, come here to give orders. Wait. Jian Ai was a little dazed. Looking at the man's temperament and attitude, plus what he said, Jian Ai seemed to believe him by three points. After all, he could tell the Shaxianman, just this. She has never heard of the Twelve Guards, and the man also said that he is one of the Twelve Guards. In other words, besides him, there are eleven people? Most importantly, Jane said in a dubious voice, When did I call you? Are you a Pokemon? The sect master, please look at the position of your chest, and you will know that what your subordinates said is true. As if knowing that Jane Ai did not fully believe in herself. Shade immediately reminded her. Jane Ai looked down almost subconsciously when she heard the words. Inside the loose pajamas, at the position of her left chest, there was a circular totem faintly glowing at this time. Jane Ai secretly held her forehead. Before she could speak, Bai Zhou said to herself vividly, You know, the master, although our Shaxianman is an ancient sect, but at the turn of the century, we have come to a civilized society by the turn of the century. Even though the other people of the Twelve Guards have special skills, the most practical thing in this real society right now is money. Money travels all over the world, but it's hard to move without money. This is the true portrayal of today's society. And what I have is money in the daytime, my money is the money of the sect master, that is, the money of Shaxianman. As long as the sect master says something, I can give all of my money to the sect master. Don't. Jane was taken aback and waved quickly, I don't want your money. The three black lines on the forehead gave her the feeling at the beginning of the day that although it was coquettish, it was also elegant and noble. But in just a few minutes, it turned out to be a silly chatter, Jane who was talking was stunned, and it was not clear which one was the real him. Unexpectedly, when Bai Zhou heard that Jane Ai didn't want his money, she got up and knelt on the ground with a plop, and then a handsome face was full of grievances, and he leaned toward Jane with his knees, scared. Jane Ai was so excited that she jumped onto the sofa and looked at him with a panic, Bai. Bai Zhu, what are you doing? Bai Zhou looked at Jane Ai hopefully, Dor, you must use my money, otherwise I really feel like I'm useless. And you see, the place you live now, although warm, but too cramped. It's simple, why don't I buy you a villa? The one with a garden swimming pool and golf course? Are you still going to school? How to go? Riding a bike? Taking a taxi? Nothing. I have to buy you a sports car. Buy 30 how is it? No, there is no place to park. Is it okay for 7 cars? Although it's a little bit less, but I don't repeat the same every day of the week and I can make do. Oh my subordinates, how can I say to the owner of this kind of make do, or buy thirty all right? Bara Bara. It seemed to feel that Jane Ai, the sect master, had already taken off his defenses against him, and the day was just like liberated nature. Under Jane Ai's dumbfounded gaze, his mouth was like a machine gun and talked endlessly. Ten minutes later. You can also buy a few of the small islands of Hawaii for the host. You can build them into different styles. Then the host can go on vacation in his leisure time. If you don't like the tropics, the Antarctic and North Pole are also okay. As the day pulls farther and farther away, I can't wait to spend all of my money on Jane Ai to highlight his abilities. Jane felt that if he didn't interrupt him, 
he would spend money to send himself to space. Day, hey, the keeper, do you like the moon? Jane shivered, and quickly made a stop gesture, you stop me. Shire Yui blinked, with an ignorant look on his enchanting face. Jane Ai took a deep breath, glanced at the sofa and said to Bai Shi, get up and sit down. Oh! Bai Zhou obediently got up and returned to the sofa. Jane sat down when she saw this, not crying or laughing in her heart. She thought she was a deep and steady person, but she didn't know what to pretend in her mind. I am in a very good state now, and I have just accepted the identity of the master of Shaxianmen. It will take some time to get used to it. Jane Ai looked at the lost day of the day and said, Thank you for the day. Good intentions, but I don't need too much money now. If I need your help in the future, I will speak. Since Shiraka wouldn't defy Jane's words, he nodded now. After thinking for a while, he looked at Jane Ai and asked, Do you want to meet other people? If they know that I have found you, they will be very happy to have our twelve guards with you. By your side, you can also take care of you. After hearing this, Jane waved her hand without even thinking about it, Don't worry about it. This is not the best time, you should keep this matter secret first. It was not that Jane resisted the immortal, but that she had just learned of this identity right now. Moreover, as Bai Zhou said, everyone in the Twelve Guards was also living an ordinary life at this time, as did Jane herself. She didn't want to break all this because of her sudden appearance of the sect master. If not necessary, everyone could live a peaceful life. Bai Zhou is a wise man. What Jane thought in his heart he could naturally guess seven or eight points, and he also expressed understanding in his heart. In this case, your subordinates will not notify others of this matter for the time being. But the sect master, please be sure to let your subordinates stay with you, otherwise if something happens in the future, your subordinates will not be able to explain to others. After returning to a serious look, he bowed his head heavily after the words fell to show his determination. Jane Ai glanced at him. Now that she has refused to meet other people, if she is now rejecting the day, it really seems too unkind. What's more, after being born again, the age of fourteen is particularly embarrassing, and it is really timid to want to do something. When people need to be hired like this, if day can stay by to help, many problems can indeed be solved. Nodding lightly, Jane smiled slightly, if it is convenient for you to stay, then stay. When Bai Zhou heard this, his handsome face was overjoyed, thank you very much, the master. It was early in the morning after the day left, but Jane was unable to calm down on the sofa for a long time. It turns out that there are nearly a hundred celestial cultivators in this world, and the reborn self is actually the chosen sect master. These things sounded too imaginary, and Jane wouldn't believe it if they hadn't experienced it personally. Early the next morning, Jane Ai and Guan Tao had breakfast in the breakfast shop. Xiao Ai, after the demolition, will you not be able to eat the fried dough sticks made by Aunt Mei? Guan Tao said sadly. Among the many breakfast shops on the head of Nanchinch, Wang Yun Mei's fried dough sticks are the only one. Guan Tao grew up with Jane Ai. This fried dough stick has grown from a snack to a big one. Now when he thinks of demolition in the future, the breakfast shop will naturally be closed. Jane Ai smiled slightly at Guantao's expression, and said softly, My mother has worked so hard. Even if I don't demolish it, I will find a way to close this breakfast shop. Guantao raised her eyes and glanced at Wang Yunmei who was busy inside, and then nodded her head with understanding. Your two children, Aunt May is really too hard to pull by herself. There were people coming and going in the breakfast shop. Jane Ai and Guan Tao were about to go to school after eating, they saw Wang Yunfa walking quickly from far away. Before reaching the store, Wang Yunfa yelled, Sister! Sister! Wang Yun Mei heard the voice poking her head out of the store door, and was stunned when she saw Wang Yunfa, What are you doing this early? Do you have breakfast? Wang Yun grinned, obviously in a very good mood. Hearing this, 
he took out a folder from his arms and raised it in his hand, what breakfast, the deed. I brought it for you. Wang Yunmi couldn't help but was taken aback when she heard the words. She rubbed the flower in her hand on the apron, and walked out quickly, you are too in a hurry, isn't it something that was decided last night? Wang Yun chuckled, thinking that the two broken houses could be exchanged for 200,000 yuan, the corners of his mouth couldn't be pulled back, of course I'm in a hurry. Buy it so that your brother can get married sooner. While speaking, Wang Yunmi had already glanced at the house deed, not only Wang Yunfa's yard, but also Wang Yun Zong's. What did you want from your eldest brother's house last night? Wang Yunmi looked at Wang Yun and asked, feeling a little suspicious. Although the relationship between the eldest brother and the third brother is closer than that of the two younger sisters, they would not be so happy to get the lease give it to him. After all, although this house has been idle for many years, if it is really sold, it can be worth tens of thousands of dollars. When Wang Yun heard the words, he shook his head, no, no, mom is going to ask for it. How can I ask for a house from my eldest brother? Wang Yun Mi nodded clearly. If the old lady asked for it, it would be more reasonable. Jian Yu walked up to Jian Ai at this moment, a handsome face frowned, and asked, What's going on? What is my uncle doing with the deed? Jane Ai smiled, and told Jian Yu in a low voice that grandma and uncle had come to borrow money last night, and even Gu and Tao, who was on the same side, joined the fun to listen in. You mean, you bought the house of your uncle and uncle for 200,000 without telling you about the demolition of your uncle and grandma. Jian Yu was shocked, and his heart was even more shocked. Based on what he knew about his sister, he couldn't do such a thing. And she could think of this way in that situation. My sister is only 14 years old. How did she think of it? You also know grandma and uncle. If you can't get the money from our house, you must be upset. Moreover, my uncle is in a hurry to get married. If the money is borrowed, don't think about it. There is only this right now. The way, we can't just suffer a loss for our family. Jane said in a flat tone, without even a trace of ups and downs. Guntao is also a person who knows the situation of Jane Ai's family, and immediately nodded and said, Brother Yu, Jane Ai is right. You saved their urgency, so you should get some benefits. Jian Yu sighed lightly, thinking of how his uncle had treated his mother in the past, at this moment he really couldn't offer any sympathy. I just thought that the news of the demolition would be released in the future. According to the inertia of these people, I am afraid it will not end so easily. You go to school soon, you are going to be late. Jian Yu didn't pay too much attention to the matter, turning his head and talking to his sister. Seeing his eldest brother's attitude, Jane knew that he was on one mind with himself and his mother, and didn't say much about other things at the moment, so she turned and left with Gu and Tao. Sister, are you finished at 8 or 9 o'clock? It just happened. Let's go through the procedures together, so you can give me the money quickly. Wang Yunfa hurriedly rubbed his hands. He didn't sleep all night last night. Just thinking about how to spend the 200,000 yuan. Wang Yunmi glared at Wang Yunfa angrily, but knew that her brother is such a virtue, and nodded helplessly at the moment, okay, I'll go through the procedures with you in a while. But you have to promise me and take it. Qian obediently and his wife went to see the house, and they changed their marriage to Zhang Luo, but he didn't dare to gamble, you know. Oh, sister I know, how can I use the money to get married, don't worry. The weather today is good. Although the sun in the early morning is still a bit chilly, it is not as dry and cold as the previous days. The plants on the roadside have also revealed new buds. After the early spring, Bayun City, a northern city, has begun to warm up gradually. The intersection of the second middle school and the outside world was congested as usual. Just after Jane Ai and Guantao had crossed the road, a Mercedes car came from behind and stopped slowly by the side of the road. The door opened, and Xia Huan came out of the car with her school bag on her back. 
she smiled brightly at the two people on the roadside and greeted, Morning Jane Ai, Guan Tao. Xia Ching Huan is also wearing school uniform today, her black and shiny hair is neatly tied with a ponytail, and she has a seemingly simple hairstyle, but she wears an exquisite yellow sapphire hairpin on her head, which is expensive at first glance. After getting along in the game city yesterday, the relationship between the few people has gone further. The two of them recovered their senses and nodded with a smile, and said in the same way, Ching Huan morning. Xia Ching Huan took the initiative to step forward and straddle the arms of the two of them, and said, Yesterday my uncle went to eat at home. He told me that when he was reclassified for this monthly exam, it seemed that there were new classmates who had transferred. Your uncle. Gun Tao was taken aback, and then quickly reacted, Oh, I remember, your uncle Xia Bin is the manager of our school. It's just that there are still transfer students at this time. Guan Tao frowned in confusion. After all, school has started for a while, and the final exam is about to be in two months. Xia Ching Huan nodded, moreover, transfer students have also taken the monthly exam. I heard that they will be directly assigned to each class based on their grades. It's nothing unusual. The second middle school is an aristocratic school. As long as the family has money and can afford the tuition, it is not difficult to come in. Jane said in a light tone. Gun Tao and Xia Ching Huan nodded their heads in agreement. The three entered the school arm in arm, and suddenly became a unique landscape. The senior elder sisters in the upper grades may not know them well, but the first graders have their eyes widened as if they had seen a ghost. Jane A.I., Guan Tao A.N.D. Xia Ching Huan. What kind of cross-dimensional combination is this? Who doesn't know that Xia Ching Huan is the daughter of the Xia group, let alone the entire first grade, even the entire second high school, that family background is also outstanding, and she appears with her on weekdays, that is Lin Yi, Yan Tian, and Jie Yang. And now, Xia Ching Huan is carrying Jane in her left hand and Gu Tao in her right hand, and the three of them are talking and laughing. Obviously, they have a very good relationship. Am I blind? The person with Jane AI is Xia Ching Huan. Isn't it rumored that Xia Ching Huan has no girlfriends in the second middle school? I usually show up with Lin Yi and the others. Yeah. I heard that she is Yan Tian's girlfriend, but the two are our first year high school golden boys and jade girls. How can we be with those two poor Nanjing people? And it seems that the relationship is pretty good, you see they are talking and laughing. Whispers around him came and went one after another. Although these people lowered their voices, they were still heard by Jane Ai, who had body and mind. It's just that Jane Ai has no time to pay attention to it and she doesn't bother to pay attention to it. These people originally regarded them as ordinary people in the family as aliens, so it is normal to make these annoying sounds at this time. After entering the teaching building, the few people were about to separate, but Guan Tao pulled Xia Ching Huan into residence. Hey! Xia Ching Huan blinked her clear eyes, looked at Guan Tao and asked, What's wrong with Guan Tao? Upon seeing this, Guan Tao looked around carefully, and then pulled Jane Ai to block the sight of others, and then quietly took out a white silk kerchief from her pocket. Jane Ai and Xia Ching Huan took a closer look. This is not an ordinary S.I. Pa, but Gao Yang's S.I. Pa. That Ching Huan, you have a good relationship with Gao Yang, can you help me return this Sipa to him? Guan Tao smiled embarrassedly, and then quickly explained. I have washed it and used warm water. Rub it lightly, just like new. After that, Guan Tao lowered her head nervously, probably because she was holding a LV silk paw in her hand, or she was a little scared thinking of Gao Yang's cold face. Xia Ching Huan smiled helplessly when she saw Guan Tao and said softly, Guan Tao, you can keep this silk paw for yourself. I understand Gao Yang, he won't want it. Hey. Guan Tao was taken aback, and then pursed her lips in a daze, and said uneasily, I know you can't wash this luxury product casually, but after all I have used it. This silk paja is so expensive. 
I definitely can't afford it. You misunderstood what I meant. Xia Huan almost cried when she saw Guantao, and quickly explained, I mean Gao Yang won't let you pay, because he has a cleanliness habit. He will give you this silk paw for you. I'm here, you don't have to take it to heart. But... Guan Tao refused instinctively, not to mention that she could not accept other people's things for no reason, let alone such expensive things. Okay Guan Tao, Ching Huan said that Gao Yang has a cleanliness addiction, even if you insist on going back, he might also throw it away. That's really a waste of such a good sipa. Jane said in a timely manner. Guan Tao shook Sipa lightly when she heard the words, struggling in her heart, and felt that what Jane Ai said was reasonable, and nodded, okay, then. Guan Tao wanted to say that in the future, she would buy a brand new handkerchief and give it back to Gao Yang when she had money, but she felt silly and stupid at this, and finally she held her throat silent. The few people said goodbye and separated, and Jane returned directly to the class. As soon as he entered the door, he clearly felt that the eyes of today's classmates were different from those of the past. Jane AI is like an outsider in this class on weekdays. Every time she appears, everyone is looking at her in a state of isolation. But today is different. Many people have more surprises and inquiries in their eyes, and even, acceptance. Jane AI is not sure if she feels right, because as soon as she walked in, she was attracted by Li Yunmi who appeared in the classroom. At this time, Li Yunmi was sitting in the position, with a pair of eyes staring at Jane viciously. If her eyes could kill someone, Jane would be frustrated by her at the moment she appeared. Jane AI regained his gaze lightly, apparently not intending to entangle her. And Li Yunmi's father, Li Jiang, paid Jane three million for the previous incident, or more accurately, was blackmailed by Jane three million. So even if Li Yunmi is favored again at home, it is estimated that this incident will inevitably be reprimanded by Li Qiang. When she returned to her seat and just sat down, Su Jiao Jiao, the little speaker in the front seat, turned around and asked in a low voice, Jane AI, I heard them say that you came with Xia Qinghuan in the morning. Really? Of. Jane raised her eyes and glanced at Su Jiao Jiao, a smile of unknown meaning appeared at the corner of her mouth, but she didn't say a word. Su Jiao Jiao's family background is not bad, at least she wouldn't put Jane AI in her eyes. Seeing Jane's reaction, she rolled her eyes in disdain, and said in a weird manner, Hey, too, I went to Xia Qing Huan. Naturally, people like us will not be put in the eyes, virtue. Su Jiao Jiao, you like gossip so much and you like to inquire about gossip. It's a pity not to be a paparazzi. A classmate heard Su Jiao Jiao's words and stood up to help Jane AI at the moment. That's it, I'm really worried about eating carrots all day long to inquire about other people's affairs. I like to chew the root of my tongue so much. Be careful that my tongue was cut when I went to hell. There was more than one person but several people spoke for Jane AI. Jane's movement of tidying up the desk was frozen, and looked surprised at these classmates who were cold and cold to him. They were actually talking for themselves at this time? This is really new. But when I think about it, Jane seems to be able to understand that it must be because of the relationship between him and Xia Qing Huan who became friends. Although the number two middle school is a noble school, Nobles are divided into three, six, or nine classes. Those who are worth a million and those worth ten million are not the same type of people, but an international company with a market value of tens of billions like the Xia Group can be called it is a real wealthy family, but it is not beyond the reach of ordinary wealthy families. How many people want to get close to Xia Qinghuan, if they can become friends with her, they will definitely benefit the family in the future. But these people just think about it in their hearts, because everyone has heard about it. Although Xia Qinghuan looks sweet and lovely, it is not easy to become friends with her. Take Li Yunmi as an example. Li Yunmi took the initiative to approach Xia Qinghuan. The reason is the same. Xia Qinghuan is the best female friend around Lin Yi. 
so Li Yunmi I wanted to be friends with Xia Ching Huan and indirectly approach Lin. Yi. As you can imagine, Li Yunmi I returned without success, Xia Ching Huan didn't even bother to say a word with her, and she could see through her thoughts at a glance. Su Jiao Jiao was blushed by these classmates who suddenly jumped out to act as heroes, and shouted angrily, It's your shit? One by one, didn't you see Jian Ai and Xia Ching Huan come together to help her talk? You are not as good as me, one by one, how did you treat Jane Ai before, and now you still have a face to me, you are even more disgusting. Classmate A, how do you speak? Su Jiao Jiao, what do I say? What do you guys say? Do you think that if you help Jian Ai now, you can erase the things that bullied her before? It's just a matter of hiding your ears and stealing the bell. Classmate B, who is bullying Jane, please make it clear. Su Jiao Jiao, there is one in our class. Who has never bullied her, who has not spoken badly about her secretly, who has never rejected her being poor, why? Seeing that she and Xia Ching Huan are getting closer, each one dare not admit it. To say that Su Jiao Jiao's nickname is really worthy of the name. After arguing, she was very angry, and her little mouth kept saying that it was one person and several people who did not let the quarrel. Jane Ai looked at the picture in front of her, and she wanted to laugh a little. She didn't expect that one day, her classmates would split into two groups and fight for herself. But Su Jiao Jiao's gossip belongs to gossip, and these words are indeed true. Jan Ai naturally knew why these classmates would speak for themselves today. So my heart is very calm, without any waves or gratitude. She and Ching Huan are very close to each other, and Ching Huan took the initiative to throw out the olive branch of friendship to her. Compared with the duplicity classmates in the current class, Jane Ai really doesn't want to bother too much. She knew in her heart that in this school, her only friends were Gun Tao and Xia Ching Huan not to mention that they would be reclassified next week. Li Yunmi I sat in the back, listening to the content of the students' quarrel, secretly clenching her fists. The tears caused by the splits were not healed. At this time, the walking posture was weird. When she came to school today, she obviously felt that someone was laughing at herself secretly. And my father even told her that he had lost Jane three million for pushing Jane into the pond before. He was severely reprimanded for a while, and he was almost sent to school by his grandfather. If it hadn't been for her mother to beg for pity, she would not be able to return to secondary school today. Unexpectedly, as soon as I came back today, I heard the news that Jane Ai and Xia Ching Huan had become friends. Her heart was as uncomfortable as a traffic jam. She held her breath in her throat and couldn't get up and down. She was so angry that she wanted to scratch the wall. You must know that when she tried her best to get close to Xia Ching Huan for Lin Yi, she couldn't get the other person's eyes at all. I don't know what method Jian Ai used to become friends with Xia Ching Huan. Right now, Li Yunmi Ai is inconvenient to move, and she can only swallow this breath temporarily, but she secretly swears in her heart that after she recovers, she will definitely not make Jane's better. In the four classes in the morning, although Jane had already mastered this knowledge, she still listened carefully. After class at noon, Jane Ai was about to go to the cafeteria for dinner, but heard a commotion in the corridor, and a group of people in Wiang moved towards the end of the corridor. Jane's eyebrows wrinkled. In the past, everyone rushed to the cafeteria during lunchtime, because there would be a long line to go late, but now why are these people running inside? Jane Ai. At this time, a girl from class 5 suddenly appeared at the door, and she sighed when she saw Jane Ai still in class, but her face was full of anxiety, and she hurriedly said to Jane, There is something wrong with Gu and Tao. You go and have a look. Jian Ai remembered that this girl was in the same class as Gu and Tao. Gu and Tao said that she was one of the few students in the class who was willing to talk to her. Before she could ask more questions, Jane hurriedly followed the girl towards the position of class 5. At this time, 
the corridor at the door of Class 5 was already full of people on the third and outer floors. They were basically people from the next higher class. Before Jane walked in, she heard a sharp question from the crowd. Voice, I ask you something, where did you get this handkerchief? A well-dressed girl stubbornly held Guantao's wrist with one hand, and a silk scarf with the LV logo in the other hand. The silk scarf was of high-end texture and looked authentic. Guantao's hand was pinched by the other party in pain, and there were so many onlookers who were shocked and at a loss for a while. And she can't say that this is Gao Yang's handkerchief. According to the personality of the people in the second middle school, she has Gao Yang's handkerchief on her body, and she may not know what it will be like. The most important thing is that the girl in front of me who questioned herself is Yu Menjeo, who vibe and Gao Yang had a baby. Yu Menjeo's pretty face is full of fierceness. In fact, she doesn't need Gu Tao to say that she also knows that this handkerchief is Hai Yang, not to mention that this handkerchief is a limited edition of LV this spring. Although Zhong is an aristocratic school, there is no other person except Gao Yang who uses such a high-end brand of handkerchiefs. She has seen Gao Yang use this handkerchief with her own eyes. In Menjeo's heart, Gao Yang is such an elegant person, pursuing quality and full of taste in all aspects of life. Guantao shrank her neck, even though she had a clear conscience in her heart, she couldn't bear to be watched by so many people, and she blushed at the moment. The other girl who was with Yu Menjeo sneered when she saw it, and said, Where else could it come from? Can a pair of poor looks afford such an expensive sipa? It must be stolen. No. I didn't steal it. Guan Tao flushed anxiously, and shook her head quickly to deny. But unfortunately, there are just a few Nanjing people in the first grade, and everyone recognizes them. The conditions of Guantao's family are more difficult than Jane's. At the moment, she doesn't know where such an expensive handkerchief came from. Everyone must assume that she had stolen it. Oh, I don't see this kind of person. I look pretty honest on weekdays. I'm used to being poor. It's inevitable to see such a good thing and I can't tell if my hands are itchy for a while. Oh, I didn't have a good impression of these farmers in Nanchinj. Right now, their hands and feet are not clean. It really stains the sign of our number two noble school. The onlookers started talking about it, Guan Tao cried aggrieved at the moment, shook her head and said, I really didn't steal it, it was. What is it? Yu Menjeo interrupted Guan Tao. She knew in her heart that it was Gao Yang's handkerchief, but at this time she deliberately didn't say it, just to make others misunderstand Guantao and humiliate Guantao. What qualifications does this wild girl from Nanjing have to use Gao Yang's things? Yu Menjeo became more and more angry, and the strength in her hand was three pointers now, and she cursed, You thief, you still don't admit that you have stolen something. Ah! Guantao exclaimed in pain and the other hand instinctively went to Yu Menjeo and clutched her hand, it's really not mine, let go. Guantao resisted in a panic, and accidentally scratched her nails on Yu Menjeo's skin, and Yu Menjeo took a breath of pain, hiss. Looking intently, there was a blood stain on the back of her hand that was scratched by Guantao's nails, and Yu Menjeo's eyes were gloomy. Guantao was also shocked when she saw this, she really didn't mean it. Sorry, I didn't mean it. Guantao apologized in a panic expression, but this scene had been seen by the onlookers. Oh my god, it's an eye-opener to dare to do something after stealing something. Don't be shameless, I grabbed you Menjeo's hands red, it was ruthless to start. Yes, it's disgusting to pretend to be pitiful. Guantao apologized as she cried, but you Menjeo would listen to it. At the moment, there was a burning pain on the back of her hand, a sullen color flashed in her eyes, and she cried, You stole something and you dare to do it with me. When the words fell, Yu Menjeo raised her right hand and greeted Guantao's face as she gestured. Everyone showed an expression of watching a good show. Yu Menjeo had a superior family background and was famous for her pungent personality. Guantao would definitely not have any good fruit in her hands, and she did not dare to resist. 
but when everyone was waiting for the sound of the slap, in the next second, a slender white hand slammed Yu Menjao's arm in mid-air. Everyone's breathing was stagnant, and when they looked intently, Jane Ai didn't know when to appear, standing between Yu Menjao and Guantao with a face of indifference, some thin body guarded Guantao behind her, holding one hand firmly. Live in the hands of Menjao. Jane Ai. Yu Menjao recognized Jane Ai naturally, and she was taken aback at the moment, trying to pull her arm out, but that arm couldn't move like it was clamped by pliers. Anxious, Yu Menjao cursed, Bitch, you dare to do my business. Snapped. Jian Ai's expression was faint, which didn't mean that Menjao had finished speaking, but she slapped Yu Menjao's face firmly with her backhand. Then he said in a cold tone, what dare not? Everyone only felt that the air was still, and they all looked at Jane Ai in shock, their expressions as if he had seen a ghost. In the eyes of everyone, Jane Ai has always been a submissive character, but Jane Ai, standing in front of them at this time, is completely cold, and the surrounding temperature seems to have dropped. The slap just now is decisive and neat, how can it be normal? What would Jane, who dare not make a sound, dare to do. Yu Menjao only felt a burning pain in her cheeks at the moment, and didn't recover for a long while. She was beaten? Was beaten by Jane Ai? Still in front of so many people, Jane was slapped in the face. For a while, Yu Menjao was like an irritated lioness, turning her head and flaring her claws and rushing towards Jane Ai. But a wealthy girl like Yu Menjao, although she is used to being arrogant and domineering, there is no real fight. Before she touched Jane's hand, she was clenched again by Jane's eye. With force in her hand, Yu Menjao suddenly ache, and her body instantly twisted into a weird arc because of the pain from her wrist. Ah! Yu Menjao's painful tears flew out, but Jian Ai didn't mean to stop, until Yu Menjao slumped to the ground, and finally knelt in front of Guantao. The other girl came back to her senses, and was about to go up to help, but she felt Jane's eyes slamming. Her eyes were cold and sharp like an eagle, causing her to instantly cool from head to toe, and her thoughts of helping were wiped out, her body stubbornly staying in place, as if she had been punctuated, unable to move. What's wrong with Jane AI? So rigid. Have you taken the wrong medicine? You men Jo also dare to move. That is... I don't want to think about the consequences. There is a cousin who is a gangster outside Yu Menjao. The crowd returned to their senses, and they started talking in low voices. Although she was taken aback by Jane Ai's actions, she didn't think about it. After all, Jane Ai and Guan Tao are inseparable every day, and it is reasonable to be Guan Tao's early days. After a long while, Jian Ai finally let go of her hand. Yu Menjao seemed to be drained of strength, and she fell to the ground like a puddle of mud, tears flying over her eyelashes, she looked like she had been ruined by others. Embarrassed. Jane Ai. Guantao stood behind Jane Ai, her heart beating wildly, secretly cursing herself useless. Now Jane is having conflicts with Yu Menjao for herself, and she will definitely have trouble in the future. Jane Ai immediately took the aura from her body, raised her eyes and glanced lightly at the onlookers, then picked up the silk scarf from the ground and said softly, This handkerchief is from Jie Yang, not Guantao. Jane said the truth. Hey? Is this handkerchief from Gao Yang? It's not Yu Menjao's. Halo, I thought it belonged to Yu Menjao. It wasn't her handkerchief, why is she calling here? I also said that they were a thief, I thought I stole her things. Don't you know that Yu Menjao and Gao Yang were engaged in a marriage contract since they were young? They must have recognized Gao Yang's handkerchief on Guantao and deliberately asked for trouble. Puff, I wasted my feelings, but I just helped her to speak for her. It's really helpless. These classmates were like grass on the wall, the wind was swaying and the spearhead was aimed at Yu Menjao in an instant. Yu Menjao had just slowed down, listening to the harsh discussions around him, and now struggling to retort, I know it is Gao Yang's thing, 
but how could it appear on Guantao? You said she didn't steal it. I lent her. At this moment, Gao Yang's voice suddenly sounded from behind the crowd. When everyone heard the sound, they turned sideways to give way. Gao Yang was standing behind the crowd at this time, and Lin Yi was naturally indispensable with him. Gao Yang raised his hand to help the frame on the bridge of his nose. There was no emotional fluctuation in his sharp eyes, but his eyes still fell on Yu Menjao who was half sitting on the ground. Jane Ai Xia Ching Huan was the first to rush through the crowd and came to Jane Ai. A pretty face frowned at this time. He first glanced at Guantao with red eyes, then glanced at Yu Menjao, and whispered, It's okay. Right. Jane Ai also looked back at Guantao, Guantao pursed her lips and shook her head, I'm fine. Gao Yang also stepped forward at this time, Yu Menjao couldn't help showing an aggrieved look when she saw it, her mouth suffocated, as if she was about to cry, she said, Brother Yang. A look of being bullied, where is the arrogance just now? Lin Yi and Yan Tian stood by and looked at Yu Menjao's pretentiousness. They didn't think they both twisted their eyebrows. Everyone knows Yu Menjao's pungent character, and it is obvious to Gao Yang to make such a delicate look at the moment. But a few people didn't say anything, they seemed to be used to it. On the contrary, Gao Yang seemed to have not seen this, and just asked softly, Can you stand up? Yu Menjao pouted her mouth and shook her head, My hand hurts, I don't have any strength. Gao Yang sighed unchecked, and he still attached his body and helped Menjao up. Yu Menjao seemed to have no bones in an instant, and the whole body was stuck in Gao Yang's arms. I take this opportunity to swear my sovereignty to everyone. When Xia Ching Huan saw this, she rolled her eyes without concealment, as if she didn't want to look more, she said coldly, I'll take Jane Ai and Guantao to dinner first, and you will take care of the matter here. Gao Yang nodded lightly when he heard the words, Xia Ching Huan gave Yu Menjao a cold look, took Jane Ai and Guantao and walked away quickly. The onlookers quickly made a way to see that Jane Ai's back was still can't help being surprised. Gao Jenga is a little arrogant and disdain to explain anything to these irrelevant people. He just looked at Yu Menjao with a slight reproach at the moment, but didn't say anything too heavy, just whispered, no such mischief in the future. Up. Yu Menjao suddenly blushed, it seemed that there was a lot of grievances and there was nowhere to say, and it took a long time to mutter in a low voice, I also saw your handkerchief in someone else's place, thinking it was stolen. It was not intentional. Who told you to do it casually? I borrowed my personal belongings. Yan Tian couldn't stand it anymore, and immediately urged, Okay, if you know it's a misunderstanding, let's go to dinner. The onlookers were boring to see, and they all dispersed at the moment. I know that I'm in the same class as you Menjao, and I still don't hide the handkerchief. She has made a clear investigation of what style of underwear Gao Yang wears, and she will definitely recognize it. As soon as she left the teaching building, Xia Ching Huan looked helplessly at Guantao and said. Guantao knew that it was because of herself that caused everyone's trouble this time, and she couldn't help but lower her head deeper, the school uniform pocket is too shallow, and the handkerchief shows a corner, which was seen by Yu Menjao. Xia Ching Huan shook her head helplessly, you are also unlucky. Then I know Yu Menjao's character best. She didn't beat you, right? Guantao shook her head quickly when she heard the words, and then said to Jane Ai apologetically, Jane Ai, I blame me for causing you and Yu Menjao to do it. I heard that Yu Menjao's cousin is a triad, she will not will revenge you. Did you do it with her? Xia Ching Huan was surprised when he heard the words, and looked at Jane Ai in an incredible way, did you beat her? Jane Ai's face was indifferent from beginning to end. She nodded first, then said, what? Do you have to choose a day to beat her? Xia Ching Huan stared at Jian Ai's face for a long while, until she was sure that there was no fear in Jian Ai's eyes, she suddenly laughed, nodding her head and complimenting. I didn't look away, this is my friend of Xia Ching Huan. 
Jane also smiled slightly when she saw this, as if she didn't take the matter to her heart at all. Guntao couldn't help it anymore. When is this time, the two of them are still thinking about smiling, and then eagerly asked, Ching Huan, will there be anything wrong with Jane? I'm afraid that Manjao will find it. Jane's trouble. Xia Ching Huan couldn't help but sneered with disdain, and said in a leisurely tone, this Yu Manjao is typically small-minded, and Jane hits her in front of so many people. According to her personality, she will never give up. Of. What should I do then? Guan Tao was anxious, almost crying. Jane Ai lightly patted Guan Tao on the shoulder, and was relieved, don't worry, nothing will happen. Xia Ching Huan also said, don't worry, even though Yu Manjao does extreme things, one thing drops one thing. As long as Gao Yang doesn't allow her to do anything, she won't do it. When I look back, I will tell Gao Yang that nothing will happen. But even though both of them were so relaxed, Guan Tao was still very disturbed. This happened because of her, and if it caused any harm to Jane, she really couldn't forgive herself. What happened before the meal, but the time of the meal was spread, and the versions became more exciting. What Gun Tao and Yu Manjao two girls rob Gao Yang? Jane Ai slapped Yu Manjao in public to protect Gun Tao. Gao Yang, Gun Tao, and Yu Manjao fall into a love triangle. Gao Yang sent LV handkerchief and Gun Tao to make love. Yu Manjao tore a little triple crown peach, but was humiliated. Etc., etc. Jane heard it as if she was admiring the golden files of dog blood. It was a pity that these second middle school students did not become screenwriters. After school in the afternoon, Jane Ai and Guan Tao went to the bus station to wait for the bus. It's just that Guan Tao's state is obviously not good, and the whole person's eyes are dumbfounded. Thinking of the rumors in the afternoon school, Jane can't help but sigh, don't take it to your heart, these people love to chew their tongues and make up some rumors. Life you should have known it a long time ago. Guan Tao shook her head when she heard the words, I am not in the mood to care about these rumors, I am worried about you, afraid that Yu Manjao will make trouble for you. Jane's heart is warm, but she smiles casually, don't worry about it, I promise you that there will be nothing wrong. The two were talking when a bicycle suddenly came and stopped in front of Jane Ai. Jane Ai instinctively looked up at the moment, and saw that the rider was a boy about 14 or 5 years old. The boy was about 1.75 meters tall, with neat short hair, a baby face, and his cheeks seemed to be there are also some cute babies with fat, fair skin, giving people a cute and lovely sense of sight. Chia Chi Jane was taken aback, and at a glance she recognized that the person in front of her was her cousin. Yao Jia Chi stepped on the side of the road and the pedals of the car. First, he blinked at Jane Ai, and then raised his chin, Sister, come up, go eat. Jane hadn't reacted too much at the moment, her eyes fell on Jia Kai's face. This was the first time she saw her cousin since she came back from rebirth. Among her peers, apart from her eldest brother, Jane is the closest to her cousin. In his previous life, he succeeded in starting a business at a university, and it was the first time he paid to send his excellent cousin to study in Europe. He went there for a few years until Jane was born in a car accident and was reborn. Now that the 14-year-old Jia Chi appeared in front of her again, Jane's heart surged and she forgot to respond. Sister. Yao Jia Chi stretched her head forward and blinked again when she looked at the dazed Jane, what's wrong? Only then did Jane return to her senses, and secretly calmed down her emotions before she asked, Eating? Where to go? Oh. Yao Jiachi reacted slowly, and said in a slow tone, My mother said that a few days ago you were hospitalized and didn't spare time to see you. If you recover, then she said she would invite your family to have a meal. Jane nodded when she heard the words. The aunt said that she must have been hospitalized after she fell into the water. Jane Ai then go if you have anything, and I will go back by myself. Guantao said to Jane at the moment. Okay, see you tomorrow. Jane said, 
she got into the back seat of Jiaqi's bicycle and waved her hand at Guantao. Yao Jiaqi pushed hard, and the bicycle rushed out smoothly. The cool wind blew on her face, and the faint smell of washing powder on Jiaqi's breath in her nose, but once again Jane gave birth to an inexplicable sense of unreality. Jane A.I. sat on the car seat obliquely, watching the traffic on the side of the road, the building slowly flashed past, and now she slightly tilted her head against Jiaqi's broad back. Yao Jiaqi turned his eyes slightly, and the corner of his mouth twitched, revealing a pure vanilla smile. For about half an hour, the two stopped in front of a home-style restaurant in the Bell Tower area. The two communicated closely. Most of the time they cooked at home. When they came out to eat, they would choose this affordable restaurant. Restaurant. Jane A. I. Giachi is here. As soon as he walked in, the enthusiastic proprietress greeted them. Because they were old customers, Jane A. I. and Giachi looked good, so the proprietress had already remembered their names. Hello, my mother, are they here? Jane first said hello politely, and then asked again. Here, it's inside. The lady boss said as she led the two in. Sister, little uncle. As soon as she entered the door, Jane saw Wang Yunzi and Yao Feng and hurriedly said hello. Wang Yunzi is the fourth oldest in the Wang family. She is the youngest sister of Wang Yunmi. She looks like Wang Yunmi about four or five points, but her natural skin is not as good as Wang Yunmi. In addition, she has a hard life and doesn't care for it deliberately, so it seems much older than Wang Yunmi. The younger uncle Yao Feng lives in the same village as their family. The two lived together and gave birth to Jiaqi. Later, they obtained the certificate in Baiyun City. Jiaqi looks a lot like his father, so it's not difficult to see that Jane Ai was a handsome man when he was young. Moreover, Yao Feng is tall and strong, and he usually does some hard work, so his body is full of muscles, but unlike his uncle, he started to get blessed before his forties. Wang Yunzi was sitting at the door, and when she saw Jane Ai, she got up quickly and enthusiastically, and took the initiative to take Jane Ai's school bag to help her hang it up, still not forgetting to care, how is Xiao Ai's body? Jane Ai said thank you first, then nodded, it's all right, don't worry, aunt and uncle. It's okay. I was shocked when I heard it at first. Seeing that Jane's expression and spirit were not unusual, Wang Yunzi was relieved, and said to the lady boss, Miss Boss, let's start serving. Get two more bottles of coke for the two kids. When the boss's wife went out and took the door of the private room, Wang Yunzi looked at Wang Yunmi again and said, Sister, the other day Xiao Ai was hospitalized and I couldn't get out of my body for a while and didn't have time to see her. She was discharged when she wanted to go, you. Don't blame me. Whatever you said, you are thinking about Xiao Ai, I know that it is enough to have this heart. Besides, you and your brother-in-law both have full attendance awards for their work. How can you ask for leave at will? Wang Yunmi I said. Wang Yunzi is a hand tailor in a garment factory in Zonglu district. He works very hard and often works overtime. Although he is a technical job, his salary is not high. Yao Feng is a porter of railway freight. He has to get up and go to work before dawn. Even though his body is strong, his waist is sore and his legs aches. Fortunately, this job is not something ordinary people can do, so Yao Feng's salary is relatively high. Said it would be higher. In this case, the two did not spare time to see Jane Ai and Wang Yunmi I naturally understood. Wang Yunzi knows her sister. She knows that her sister will not think too much about this, but she just feels bad about it. By the way, Yunzi, there are a few things I haven't had time to tell you. Wang Yunmi I turned around and looked at Wang Yunzi and said. Without waiting for Wang Yunzi to ask, Wang Yunmi I took the initiative to say, this first thing, I just got used to it. I have been in Yeokai for 12 years, and I thought about resigning. As a result, he became the general manager of Yeokai by mistake. Hey! 
Wang Yunzi's immediate reaction was exactly the same as Jian Yu when he first heard the news, staring with shocked eyes. Yao Feng also looked startled, wondering if he had heard it wrong just now. Wang Yunmi smiled helplessly when she saw this, isn't it unbelievable? Don't talk about you guys, I'm dreaming myself. After a few days of work, I just got over it. I'm really the general manager of Yao Kai now. Wang Yunzi and Yao Feng looked at each other unconsciously. Yao Kai, that is, the entire Baiyun city is one of the best high-end nightclubs. At most, the low-level people of them have a glorious appearance when they pass by, but they have never entered. Okay, it doesn't matter, but don't tell other people, especially the eldest brother and Yunfa. Mom and Dad don't know that, otherwise they might do something else. Wang Yunmi I sighed. Speak to remind. Wang Yunzi naturally knew the virtues of the people in her family, and she had been used to it for so many years, so she nodded clearly. Upon seeing this, Wang Yunmi I went on to speak, this second incident, Nanjing is going to be demolished, but I'm not sure when it will be demolished. Demolition. This time it was Yao Feng's turn. He hurriedly asked, Sister, where did you hear the news? Why don't I know? Husband, don't worry, listen to my sister. Wang Yunzi glanced at Yao Feng and motioned to him to stay calm. Wang Yunmi I understood the situation of his sister and brother-in-law at home, and sighed lightly before saying again, Old Wu told me about this. He has an old customer from the Municipal Planning Bureau. I went to him to buy tofu a few days ago. When she secretly told him, he also secretly told me, let me make plans. Now that I already know, I must tell you, so I should discuss it early just in case. Jiachi peeled a shrimp and placed it on Jane's plate. Jane smiled when she saw it and said thank you to her cousin with her mouth. The two children ate for themselves without interrupting the adults' conversation, but they listened to everything silently. Wang Yunmi I thought for a while and still asked, did you not say last year that you plan to buy the house you live in now? How about? What did the landlord say? Are you willing to sell it? Wang Yunzi and Yao Feng do not have their own houses. The houses they live in Nanchinj are rented. They have lived for more than ten years. Fortunately, the landlord is pretty good. Seeing that their family is honest, they have increased a few times over the years. Rent, but not too outrageous, both have jobs and can afford it. It's just that this has always been Yao Feng's heart disease. He really wants to give his wife and son a real home so he has been planning to buy a house for several years. But my family doesn't have a lot of deposits, and the price of the building is getting higher year after year. I'm thinking about buying a bungalow, it's a nest anyway. Last year, Yao Feng mentioned this idea to Wang Yunmi, saying that he wanted to buy the rented house. Now that Nanchinj was going to be demolished, Wang Yunmi suddenly remembered such a thing. Yao Feng looked a little helpless when he heard this, but Wang Yunzi said, I talked to the landlord, and the landlord said it can sell, but the price is 45,000. We are saving money, but now the deposit in the passbook is only over 20,000. Wang Yunmi I nodded, the yard you live in is pretty good, and the price of 45,000 is indeed reasonable. Yao Feng sighed and said in a low voice, it's useless to say this. It is estimated that the house will be demolished before saving enough money. If you don't buy the house, you will have to rent and move again. When the time comes, the money saved to buy a house has to be used out to rent a house, so the purchase of a house is nowhere in sight for their family. It's just that Yao Feng didn't say this, and he didn't want Wang Yunmi to worry about them. Wang Yunmi glanced at Jane at this moment, and Jane also just raised her head and met her. The mother's eyes met, and the contents of the eyes understood each other in an instant. Jane A.I. nodded lightly, expressing her thoughts. When Wang Yunmi saw this, she said to her younger sister-in-law, In this way, I will use 45,000 and give it to you first, and you will buy the house first. Then how? Wang Yunzi heard it, and refused without thinking, Sister, 
I know you want to help us, but our family is not at a desperate point yet. It is enough for you to take two children alone. Thanks, how can we borrow money from you? No way, no way. Yao Feng also nodded in agreement, Sister, we have too many days to be as capable as we are. I really can't hurt you. How can this be a nuisance? Wang Yunmi looked straight, and said quickly, Don't be anxious to express your position, listen to me to finish. Wang Yunmi did not give the two a chance to talk, and directly explained, Now this house is 45,000, but when it is demolished, the house will be worth the money. Then you will get the demolition money, and then return the money. That's it for me. After a few years after the reconstruction of Nanchang is completed, you can still get a set of relocation houses. What a good deal! When Wang Yunzi and Yao Feng heard it, it was false to say that they were not moved. They asked them to borrow money from their sister, but felt uncomfortable how they thought about it. The main reason is that both of Wang Yunmi's hard work over the years are in sight. Although her family is not rich, at least it is the husband and wife raising a son. But the elder sister is different. She raises two children alone. How did she survive these years? Others don't know, but they know. Seeing that the two of them did not speak, Wang Yunmi regarded them as acquiescence, and went on to say to herself, This is not over yet there is another thing. You have to be like my house. Before the demolition news is released, hurry up. I bought a new house. Otherwise, when the demolition is notified, the surrounding housing prices will surely skyrocket. I will pay for the house purchase, but that said, when you get the demolition money, you will return it to me. Sister, this is absolutely impossible. Yao Feng was anxious when he heard it and the expression on his face could even be described as flustered, we are already very grateful if you lend us money to buy the current house, how can we pay it back? Let you lend us money to buy a new house. On the other hand, Wang Yunzi started to wipe tears from the side, feeling moved and sad. In such a big home, she and her sister are always the only ones to keep warm. Nowadays, with such a big issue, my sister has to buy two houses for her family without saying a word, so that she, the younger sister, didn't know how to speak for a while, so she couldn't help crying. I said it was a loan. You can pay me back everything when you get the demolition fee. Don't look at the high property prices now, but according to your current yard, the demolition fee you will get will only be a lot more. Don't worry. Wang Yunmi I explained painfully, not forgetting to relieve her sister, Yunzi, what do you say you are crying? Isn't this a good thing? My sister is able to help you now, and I definitely want to help. Wang Yunzi cried and said, Sister, I just feel uneasy. You said that it is not easy for you, but you still think about me and worry about me. Parents, I think Auntie has a very good idea. At this moment, Jia Chi, who had been silently eating, suddenly said lightly. When he handed out two tissues to Wang Yunzi, he said under the gaze of everyone, although I am still a child, I can understand that my aunt is for the good of our family. First of all, if the house is not bought now, it will be a loss. Far from being a mere yard, but the benefits of the entire demolition to the family demolition money and relocation house. As for the auntie who wants to borrow money in advance to help my family buy a new house, she also knows that if she doesn't buy it now, she will wait until the demolition. If you buy it, the house price will definitely rise, and it will be your family who will spend more money. It is better to borrow money to buy it first, and then pay it back at that time, so you can spend less. That's what I meant. Wang Yunmi took a long breath and looked at Jia Qi and said, it's still my nephew who is smart. Then he looked at the sister-in-law and laughed, you two listen to such a simple truth, and the kids can understand, why are you two still there? I didn't give money for nothing. It's no use. Jane A.I. sighed lightly, but then she curled her lips and showed a smile. I was thinking about buying a mobile phone these few days, but I didn't expect that the day was so thoughtful that I would secretly send it when there was no one at home. 
Yesterday, Bai Zhou said that he didn't know how to think and didn't know how to fight. Jane was half believing. Now he had to suspect that Bai Zhou kept a hand. Otherwise, the door was locked properly. How did he send things in? Opened the phone address book, and there was only Bai Tian's number lying alone in it. Jane shook her head with a smile, and immediately dialed out. The phone was quickly picked up after a beep, and a voice distorted by the current came from the other side, Door Master. Come here tonight and discuss something with you. Jane said directly. What time? Bai Zhou asked. It's still yesterday time. It is good. After hanging up the phone, Jane fell onto the bed. On the first day of her rebirth, she secretly vowed that she must use her own hands to change the destiny of her loved ones, whether it is mother, elder brother, or aunt and Jiachi, in this life, she will protect everyone. But now she has just turned 14, and lack of an ID has become the biggest obstacle to her entrepreneurship. But now it was as if the heavens were helping him, let Tian Tian appear by her side when she needed to employ people so much, so Jane had also thought deeply about it, and it was time to put some things on the agenda. At ten o'clock in the evening, daylight must have knocked on the door. As soon as she opened the door, Jane couldn't help but roll her eyes, disgusted, stand up. Kneeling down on one knee, Tian Tian stood up obediently, just like yesterday, in a black suit and meticulously beautiful face. Don't kneel down in the future. Jane A.I. said in an angry tone. Bai Zhou obviously didn't know what he had done wrong, and the narrow eyes blinked charmingly and innocently. Have you heard? Jane's eyes widened, raising her eyebrows threateningly like a bully in the east of the village. Oh. Bai Zhou curled his lips, nodding even though he didn't know why. Jane A.I. was satisfied, and on one side of her body, come in. The two sat down on the sofa, and Jane said straightforwardly, I called you over today because I want you to help me. The master of the sect does not hesitate to give orders. When Bai Zhou heard the words, he nodded to meet him, with a respectful expression. She really didn't know how to deal with Shiru's low-pitched and responsive attitude towards herself, but she could also feel that she, the sect master, had the supreme status in Shiru's heart. He was a natural respect from his bones, although she was awkward. But you can only get used to it slowly. Cough. With a light cough, Jane A.I. tried her best to make herself look more natural, and said slowly, I want to register a group. Registration group. Shuriji was taken aback, seemingly unresponsive. Jane A.I. nodded and repeated, Yes, register a group. Bai Zhou couldn't help but stared at Jane A.I.'s face for a long time. Jane also looked at him expressionlessly, until Bai Zhou turned her head inquisitively, Does the master need money? Jane A.I. carefully tasted the five words, which is indeed such a thing, and nodded calmly at the moment, I need it, so I have to earn it. Unexpectedly, as soon as Jian A.I.'s voice fell, Bai Tian suddenly bowed his head, with a rigorous expression and a firm tone of voice, how can I let the sect master make money himself? The sect master, please spend my money. Spend fiercely. Jane's mouth twitched unconsciously. What's the matter with this begging tone? Still ruthless flower? What a grudge, spending other people's money fiercely. Jane A.I. ignored the day, got up straight back to the room, opened the closet door and took out a red passbook from under the top clothes. After returning to the living room, he threw the passbook in front of the daylight, leaned his arms around the chest on the sofa, and said in a light tone, I have all my net worth here. It should be enough to register a group. The scale does not need to be too large. You. Bai Zhou took the passbook and took a look, thinking that he was dazzled and then counted the numbers on the passbook again before he looked at Jane A.I. and blinked, just two million. Jane A.I. shrugged calmly, I don't know much. One million is used as a registered fund, and the remaining one million is used as a startup fund. I still go to school and I don't have much time to spare, so we use the phone more for some follow-up things. Communicate. Oh. 
Bai Shiru's face collapsed, obviously a little unhappy. Obviously what you have is money, and the sect owner just needs the money and just speaks, why do you have to earn it yourself? At this time, the day was like being abandoned by the owner, with a look of grievance. Jane Ai smiled helplessly and shook her head, OK, it's like an angry little daughter-in-law. I only have these two million, and it is estimated that I can only support the establishment of the company. I plan to enter the real estate industry first. This is a costly area, and I have to talk to you. As soon as I heard it in the day, the corners of his mouth rose, revealing a smile of charming all beings. Jane secretly said that it was really an evildoer. Fortunately, she didn't like the beautiful man, otherwise there would be such a beautiful man smiling at her every day, and he would follow her own words, for fear that she would have been fascinated long ago. The past few days have been relatively calm. My aunt's family has already bought the rented house, and these few days are also taking time to inspect the house. My uncle received 200,000 yuan. Although I was a little confused on weekdays, I knew that getting married was a big deal, so I obediently gave the bride a betrothal gift, and I was also visiting the house with my wife recently. The uncle's family lives in Wanbao district, which is relatively far away from Haikan district and Bell Tower district in Nanchinj. Moreover, he pretended to be high-minded and didn't like to have too much contact with these brothers and sisters, so that he never knew that his brother had exchanged his and his house deed for 200,000 yuan. Early in the morning on Saturday morning, Jane A.I. got up with her mother and elder brother and went to the breakfast shop. Yesterday was the last day the breakfast shop was open. Today, a few people came here to clean up the shop and hand it over to the landlord. Although the news of the demolition has not been released yet, the new house is a rough house and needs decoration. Wang Yun Mi I can't take care of this breakfast shop. Just as the rent expired, Wang Yun Mi I thought, since it was already going to be closed, the rent would not be renewed and the business would be closed early. There are not many things in the store, and the tables, chairs and benches are not worth much. Wang Yun Mi I had already greeted several breakfast shops around him, and one family gave two sets. The remaining flour was sold to them at low prices. Wang Yun Mi I also contacted someone to take away the fryer and some other metal objects to sell. The three of them were busy, but the closed store door was suddenly knocked open from the outside. What? Wang Yun Mi I was startled, and couldn't help but scream, Jane, and Jane ran out of the kitchen hurriedly after hearing the sound. After the man banged open the door, his whole body was unstable, and he fell to the door of the store with a bang. Wang Yun Mi I stepped back two steps in fright, Jian Ai and Jian Yu also stepped forward cautiously, looking at the man who fell on the ground in surprise. The man's face was full of blood, and he couldn't see his appearance at all. The white sportswear on his body also had a lot of holes. The dirt and blood stains on his clothes were obviously fighting with people. Wang Yun Mi I was terribly scared in her heart, but she was a mother. She instinctively blocked her daughter and son behind, suppressed the fear in her heart, bent over and tried to scream, little, boy. The man lay on the ground and didn't respond for a long while. Mom, isn't it dead? Jian Yu whispered suspiciously, but as soon as he said this, he got goosebumps. Wang Yun Mi's heartbeat became even stronger, and she took the courage to take two steps forward but she didn't want the silent person to suddenly cough. Cough. This weak voice, accompanied by blood bubbles in her mouth, shocked Wang Yun Mi again. At the moment, Jane quickly stepped forward and squatted down beside the man. The man's eyes were swollen, but he was half squinted, obviously not losing consciousness. Jian Yu and Wang Yun Mi also surrounded him. Seeing that the man was still breathing, Jian Yu followed with a sigh of relief and said, Shall we call the police? Or call 120? Wang Yun Mi nodded hurriedly when she heard the words. Fortunately, after becoming general manager, the company provided mobile phones. Just about to get up to call the police, the man suddenly called out weakly, Aunt May. Everyone was stunned, 
Jane Ai and Jane Yu looked at Wang Yunmei at the same time, Jane Ai asked, Mom, does he know you? Wang Yunmei looked stunned. Although this person's face was full of blood, the outline was still clear. Wang Yunmei thought about it, but she didn't remember that she knew such a person. Who are you? Wang Yunmei asked suspiciously. Aunt Mei, I, Wu Bai. The man gritted his teeth and endured the pain. Wu Bai. Wu Bai. Wang Yunmei's face was startled, and she squatted down quickly. She was still a little frightened, and she directly lifted the man in front of her and let him lie halfway in her arms. With an anxious expression on her face, Wang Yunmei looked at the person in her arms and asked, Wu Bai, you, you are. I'm fine. Wu Bai seemed to be slowing down. Although he was seriously injured, he could at least speak. Mom, he is. Jian Yu and Jian Ai both had a look of incomprehension and heard him say that they were Wu Bai, but neither of their brothers and sisters knew a person named Wu Bai. You have never seen Uncle Wu's son. Wang Yun Mei explained. It was then that Jian Ai and Jian Yu suddenly realized that they both knew that Uncle Wu had a son but they had never seen it before, but didn't want to meet this for the first time. Xiao Yu, go find your uncle Wu, hurry up. Wang Yunmei had calmed down at this time and said to Jian Yu quickly. Jian Yu nodded, just about to get up, but didn't want Wu Bai to speak suddenly, don't, don't let him come. But you were hurt so badly, and there was a lot of blood on your body. Wang Yunmei looked worried and couldn't help but redden her eyes. Aunt May, I, really okay, it's all other people's blood. Wu Bai gasped, his injuries seemed to be aching, and he couldn't help frowning. Jane Ai looked at the blood man in front of him. He was so badly injured that he did not go to the hospital and was not allowed to tell Uncle Wu. That should be because he didn't want people to know. At that moment, Jane's thoughts turned, Jane said, Mom. Pike Wu definitely doesn't want to worry Uncle Wu. But today we clear the shop. Uncle Wu will have to come to help in a while. I think my brother and I will first help him home and help him deal with the wound first. Although Uncle Wu has often helped her mother over the years, she is one of the few who can be regarded as a friend, but Jian Ai has never heard of Uncle Wu's son, let alone met him. But Jane knew that Uncle Wu was widowed in his early years and raised a son alone and grew up. But then again, Uncle Wu's tofu shop is an old brand, and he is very busy on weekdays. It stands to reason that as a son, Pico Wu should often come to help, but Jian Ai hasn't seen him once in so many years. Liangzi delivers soy milk to her store every morning. Thinking of Liangzi Jane suddenly remembering what happened that morning, because she had never seen Uncle Wu's son, she mistakenly identified Liangzi who came to deliver the soy milk as Wu Bai. Liangzi's answer at the time was Uncle Wu's son is my eldest brother. At that time, Jian Ai felt Liangzi was humorous, saying that Uncle Wu's son was like a triad. But now, looking at the injured Prince Wu lying on the sofa in front of him, Jane's action of rubbing the medicine stopped subconsciously. Is it really a triad? Without thinking about it, Jane collected her thoughts. At this time, the sky was already bright outside. Jane put away the medicine box and went straight into the kitchen. It was almost nine o'clock in the morning when Wu Bai woke up, and Jian Yu went back again, not worrying about it, and returned to the store after seeing Wu Bai sleeping steadily. Jane Ai was sitting on the opposite sofa reading a book. She looked up as if she was aware of it. Seeing Wu Bai also squinted at her, Jane quickly buckled the book on the coffee table, got up and walked forward, Wu Bai brother you wake up, do you feel any discomfort? Wu Bai took a nap and recovered some strength, gently twitched the corners of his lips and revealed a far-fetched smile, but he quickly retracted it without wanting to involve the wound, and said softly, I'm fine. Feeling that all the wounds on his body have been disinfected in time, Pai Kei Wu said again, thank you. Because of her feelings for Uncle Wu, Jane has an innate closeness to Bai Wu. She smiled faintly and said, You are welcome, I made porridge for you, you can drink some. After that, 
Jane turned around and walked quickly to the kitchen. After a while, she brought out a bowl of porridge and Wu and Wu had already sat up on the sofa. It seemed that it was not as serious as expected, and Jane breathed a sigh of relief when she saw it. I don't know if you can eat sweets or not, but I added some soft white sugar to add some sugar. Putting the porridge on the coffee table, Jane stirred it with a spoon to prevent it from getting too hot. Wu Bai just looked at Jane Ai silently with a swollen face. This little girl, who seemed to be only 15 years old, revealed a young and mature temperament when she spoke and did things. This temperament should have conflicted with her age, but this is also where Wu Bai was a little curious, because all the actions Jane Ai showed in front of him were very natural and revealed from the inside out. Thinking of Aunt May's difficulties when she was young, the so-called hardships polished people's hearts, it is estimated that this little sister also experienced a lot of hardships before she had to mature quickly. Just as he was in a trance, Wu Bai's heart suddenly seemed to be stung by something, and a childlike smile flashed across his mind, chasing him and calling him brother. If Wu Shuang is still alive, he should be as old as her. Brother Wu, quickly drink. If it's not enough, there is still in the kitchen. Jane pushed the porridge forward, looking at Wu Bai and said. Wu Bai returned to his senses and reached out to lift the bowl when he heard the words. Maybe he was really hungry, and the white porridge was a liquid food, and it was not easy to involve the wound when it was eaten. Zioxio's bowl of porridge was drunk by two or three mouthfuls. Seeing this, Jane hurriedly went to serve another bowl and changed to a larger bowl, which couldn't stop Wu Bai from devouring it. Until the fifth bowl bottomed out, Jane said that if he wanted to drink, there would be no more in the pot. Fortunately, Wu Bai put down the bowl and said gently, I'm full. Jane Ai calmly sighed, and then asked concerned, Would you like to rest for a while? You only slept for less than four hours. Wu Bai shook his head gently, Aunt May often hugged me when I was young. You weren't born at that time. I didn't expect you to see my brother for the first time, but it was this scene. He said, Wu Bai smiled helplessly, My face is so swollen, right? You may not be able to see it clearly. But don't worry, my brother is handsome. Jane Ai was amused by Wu Bai's unprepared humor. She thought she was a deserted person, but she didn't expect to make jokes. At this moment, Wu Bai looked up at the watch on the wall, it was almost ten o'clock. I reached out and touched the pocket of my trousers. The phone was nowhere to be found. Jane realized it instantly when she saw this, Brother Wu, you want to call? Wu Bai nodded when he heard the words. She hadn't pressed the landline at home, so Jane got up and went to the room to take out the mobile phone with only one number in daylight. Use this. Wu Bai looked at the mobile phone for a moment. It was the latest model of a foreign mobile phone brand with a market price of nearly 10,000. Only the doubts flashed, Wu Bai finally didn't ask anything more. I dialed a number quickly, and the other end of the phone was quickly connected. I saw Wu Bai's face receding at the moment, even if his face was red and swollen, he could feel his seriousness. Big brother? Is that your big brother? The person on the other end seemed to have been waiting for the call, and the moment he answered, he yelled emotionally. Perhaps the decibel was a little bit bigger, Wu Bai frowned instinctively, but he still said, It's me. Big brother, are you okay, where are you, I will pick you up. When the person on the other end of the phone heard that Wu Bai was okay, his voice seemed to be crying, and Jane's hearing became more acute and he listened to him without missing a word. Ears. Wu Bai lifted his eyes and glanced at Jane Ai, Jane Ai hurriedly said, Number 13, Lane 6, Nanchinj. Number 13, Nanchinj 6th Lane. Wu Bai repeated to the phone. Okay, big brother wait for me, I will be there soon. After hanging up the phone, Wu Bai did not return the phone directly to Jian Ai, but quickly pressed a number on the phone, made a note, and saved it. You saved my number, if you have anything in the future, just call me. In Baiyun City, what can be done with money, I can also do it, 
and what can be done with money, I can do the same. Jian Ai blinked when he heard the words, and only then did Wu Bai fully reveal the aura of a gangster, and even his lines were like young and dangerous. Suddenly not knowing what to respond, Jane could only say thank you. I took a look at the phone, and the remarks were impressively written with four words, Brother Wu. It is not Wu Bai, nor Wu Bai, but Wu Bai, who just looks at it with a strong sense of pampering. Not long after, there was a sudden engine roar from the street outside. The sound was so strong that the car seemed to be flying. A harsh brake sounded outside the courtyard. Immediately afterwards, there was a panic of footsteps from outside the courtyard. Wu Bai immediately got up and stood up with some difficulty, Jane hurriedly stepped forward to support his arm. Wu Bai didn't shy away either, and knocking on the door rang two steps forward. Go to the door and open it. At this time, there are three people standing outside the door. The head was a middle-aged man with a beard. He was burly and sturdy, with half-length hair curled around his head, like Li Kuei in the water margin. The other two look like little brothers, but they are only in their early twenties, but they are already very strong. Before the anxious expressions on the three of them had time to fade away, they saw the unrecognizable Wu Bai appear in front of them. After a long while, the face and beard reacted violently, glared and yelled, Big Brother! You, you are! This beard seemed to have a natural sturdy voice, and the roar made Jane I jump, and even Wu Bai frowned. I'm fine, it's all skin injuries. Wu Bai said lightly, as if the person swollen into a pig's head was not himself. Then he turned his head to Jane again and said, Say thank you to Aunt May for me. She was frightened last night. Jian Ai immediately smiled and nodded when she heard the words, Then you go back and take care of your injuries, and get better soon. Wu Bai also smiled slightly, but his appearance was a bit tragic, and he didn't say anything else, and the two younger brothers helped to walk to the car outside the yard. The beard stayed at the end, glanced at Jane Ai and said, Thank you, little sister. After speaking, he turned around and quickly followed. The car started and left in the next second. Jane stood at the door and looked at the blue car, which was an Aston Martin with a market value of over 10 million. The incident with Pai Wu happened suddenly and ended neatly. Except for the extra number on the phone, it seemed that there was no extra trace left behind. The breakfast shop finally cleared the shop in the morning and handed over the keys to the landlord. The small shop that their family had been operating for more than ten years was finally closed. In the afternoon, Bai Joe called and said that things were almost done. Jane thought he was joking. After all, how many days did he explain to him? Some necessary approval procedures for registering a company are very cumbersome, and it is reasonable to say that it is impossible to be so fast. But as Bai Joe said swearingly, Jane asked him to meet him at a coffee shop in Hyken District. After simply changing into clean clothes, Jane A.I. went straight out. The cafe is called York. It is on the third floor of the Bayoun Commercial Building. The lights are dim and the atmosphere is quiet. It is very suitable for a couple of friends to sit down and whisper. When Jane arrived, the day had already waited for a long time, and when Jane appeared at the door, he stood up directly. In the dim environment, the silver-white hair was so garish that Jane saw him at a glance. When they came to the front, the two looked at each other. Before Jane A.I. could speak, Bai Zhou said first, Door, your clothes. Jane knew that she had come to such an elegant place for an appointment, and she was a bit too shabby in her dress. But she can't blame her, her clothes are all in this style, because she was still obsessed with Cherry when she was fourteen so almost every piece of clothing has little balls. Is there any problem? Jane said with a natural face and forced composure, I think it's good, cute, innocent, lively, and youthful. Ha, ha. Bai Shiru's mouth twitched, and he gave a dry smile, then nodded quickly, yes, yes, the master's dress is perfect today and he is at the forefront of fashion. Jane A.I. turned to look at Guantao, staring at her. Guantao's face turned red in an instant. 
Jane frowned and said in a low voice, Dizzy, what's your situation? You won't like Jay Yang, right? I, I didn't. Guan Tao denied with a blushing face, and secretly cursed herself for talking too much. You still said no. Your expression is obviously there. Jane said with a widened eye. I really, no. Guan Tao said that her face was about to be buried in her chest, and her voice became smaller and smaller, obviously without any confidence. When Jane saw this, she rolled her eyes and sighed, Girl, it's understandable that your adolescent hormones are excessively secreted, but you can't secrete them. Gao Yang, he has a paralyzed face all day long, with a clear-hearted look. I really think he is like a Shaolin lay disciple. And you and him have only known each other for a few days. The lace rumors in the school that you won't listen to too much, do you believe that it's true? Is the handkerchief a token of love? Xiao Ai, don't be angry, I. Guan Tao said with a grievance on her face, I just think he is very special. He didn't like that, really not, I swear. Jane sighed again after hearing the words. Compared with boys of the same age, Gao Yang is indeed a lot more stable, because he was born in a scholarly family and a big family, Gao Yang himself is superior in the details and taste of life, even in an aristocratic school like Number 2 Middle School, he is also outstanding. The Presence Jane Ai doesn't hate Gao Yang, on the contrary, she admires him a little, but for Guan Tao, she can't bear to hurt her. I'm not against who you like, you can like anyone, but the premise is that you are ready, you know. Jane was still softened after all. She is not Guantao, and cannot make decisions for Guantao. Besides, liking someone is inherently uncontrollable. Just like a previous life, she has been secretly in love with Lin Yi for three years. She understands this feeling too well. Guantao looked at the worry in Jane Ai's eyes and was very moved, and finally nodded vigorously, Don't worry, Xiao Ai, I won't be stupid. As soon as they arrived at school, the rankings of all grades were already full of people. As soon as Jane and Guantao approached, they were caught by Xia Ching Huan. You two are finally here. Xia Ching Huan looked excited, and before the two of them responded, she squeezed them in. When other people saw Jane Ai, they looked mixed, envious, jealous, or disdainful. A few people squeezed to the front, Jane looked up to find her name, but didn't want to see it at a glance. First place, Jane Ai. Clam? Jane Ai was taken aback for a moment, but didn't react for a while. Although it was indeed the knowledge learned in the previous life, Jane was still a little confused when she saw the first place. Xiao Ai, you are the first, you are the first. Guan Tao was more excited than Jane, when she pulled Jane's hand and jumped. Looking down, the third place is Lin Yi, the fourth place is Xia Ching Huan, the fifth place is Gao Yang, and the sixth place is Gun Tao. They are magically connected together. I just said that we can all enter a class. Xia Ching Huan was also very happy, and smiled as she watched them. But Jane's gaze at this time was on the second name. Jane Yi Yi. Jane's surname is not common, so when she saw a name with the same surname as her, Jane couldn't help but look twice more. Jane Ai, the second one is from a transfer school. It has the same surname as you. It's quite fate. Xia Ching Huan also noticed Jian Yi Yi. Because the temperament is too outstanding, the girl attracted everyone's attention as soon as she appeared. The sudden attention made her face flushed to the bottom, and precisely because of this, it made her look more charming. I'm going, it's so beautiful. Some boys couldn't help but sigh. New here, right? I haven't seen this beauty in our freshman year before. Yes, I haven't seen it either. My goodness, the skin is too good. I really envy. That suit is worth tens of thousands, right? Cartier's necklace. There was more discussion, and the girl stood at the door slightly disturbed, like a frightened rabbit. Yee. At this moment, 
someone called her name suddenly. The noise in the classroom was also followed by a stagnation. Everyone looked at the sound source, but found that the person who called the girl's name was Lee Yun Mi who suddenly appeared behind her. Jian Yi Yi was also taken aback for a moment, and turned around to look. When she saw Lee Yun Mi behind him, Jian Yi Yi was as excited as seeing a savior, Xiao Mei. It's really you, Yi Yi, you are back to China. Li Yun Mi was also very excited, and grabbed Jian Yi Yi's hand. I was shocked when I watched the big list just now. I wondered if you would come back. I didn't expect it to be. When Jian Yi Yi saw Li Yun Mi's whole talent relax, she laughed, and her face was as bright as a star, and the boy who was watching swallowed. Go, I'll take you to find a place. Li Yun Mi said as she took Jian Yi Yi's hand into the classroom. Just like Jian Ai's situation just now, the two of them saw Jian Yi Yi's seat at a glance. When Li Yun Mi saw Jane Ai who was sitting by the window, her face suddenly became dark, and she snorted coldly, It's really sad, how can Yi Yi be at the same table with you? Jane Ai leaned on the chair and looked at Li Yun Mi coldly, then sneered, She doesn't sit at the same table with me, don't you want to sit at the same table with me? You are not worthy. Bah, the ghost wants to be at the same table with you, poor. Li Yun Mi cursed. Seeing this, Jian Yi Yi hurriedly pulled Li Yun Mi's cuff, shook his head and said, Xiao Mei, they are all classmates, don't make a noise. Li Yun Mi was originally resentful because of the previous incident. This Jane had pitted their family for three million. With this tone, Li Yun Mi hasn't come here yet. Yi Yi. Don't be fooled by her harmless appearance. This Jane was famously fond of Pong Jiaxi in our first year of high school. First, let the young master of the Lin group invite her to lunch, and then she tried her best. The daughter of the Xia group is a friend, a wild girl from Nanchinj, who is very clever. Li Yun Mi said, gritted her teeth, her eyes were fierce, and finally, Li Yun Mi sneered, Do you know what her mother does? I heard it was. Snapped. Before Li Yun Mi's ironic words were finished, she slapped her face firmly. Everyone's breathing was stagnant, and the needle dropped silently in the classroom. Jane Ai's movements were so sudden that everyone did not react. She was standing at the seat, looking at Li Yun Mi with her head slightly sideways. There was no warmth in her star eyes, and she said word by word, Next time. I will wring your tongue. In a word, domineering side leakage. The classmates all looked at Jane Ai like a plague god, and all three views were broken at a time. Is this still Jane Ai? Is this Jane possessed by the devil? Do you dare to hit me? You slut! Li Yun Mi recovered from the shock, and she rushed forward with a scream, or Jian Yi Yi had quick eyes and quickly reached out to stop her, Xiao Mei, you calm down. Where did Li Yun Mi calm down? She was slapped by Jane Ai in front of the class just now. She is usually arrogant and domineering in front of her classmates. Now she is slapped in the face. Naturally, it is impossible to easily give up. Jane Ai, if I don't tear your face today, I won't be called Li Yun Mi. Li Yun Mi opened her teeth and danced her claws, like a lioness being offended. Jian Yi Yi is single and weak, and she was born weak. Where can she stop Li Yun Mi? She can only persuade him, Xiao Mei don't fight, everyone is classmate, if you have something to say. Li Yun Mi was already crazy, and she immediately broke free of Jian Yi Yi's restraint, and greeted Jane Ai with one hand out of her hair. And when everyone thought that Jane Ai was about to be beaten, but didn't want the next second, they saw Jane Ai quickly raise her hand, actually holding Li Yun Mi's slender wrist. Everyone secretly slammed, so fast, and then they saw Jane Ai without saying a word, she pressed Li Yun Mi's hand on the table with force, and quickly swept the other hand on the table, and there was more in her hand. I used a pen with a sharp tip. Jane Ai was expressionless, with a clear face that could not see any emotional waves, she saw that she did not hesitate to pick up and down the pen, 
the nib was glowing with a sharp cold light, and she quickly pierced the back of Li Yunmi's hand. What? Everyone screamed instinctively when they saw it, and they turned their heads and couldn't bear to look directly. Li Yunmi even closed her eyes and shrank in fright. The classroom fell into a strange silence for an instant, and the screams that Li Yunmi should have made did not appear. Everyone looked at them slowly, only to find that the pen pierced to the back of Li Yunmi's hand was standing upright on the table like that at this time, and the position where the pen was pierced was not on the back of Li Yunmi's hand, but was accurately stuck on in the gap between her index finger and middle finger. Call. Everyone sighed in secret, thinking that Li Yunmi was going to see blood today, it was not a joke. My God, it scared me to death. Even Xia Ching Huan took a long breath. After all, they are all high school students, so the scene makes me feel scared to think about it. Jane Ai is too courageous, just now, what if the tie is wrong? Li Yunmi won't give up. Yeah, it's so scary. Didn't Jane's temperament be very soft? Why is it soft? It's harder than titanium alloy. The rabbit bites when he is in a hurry, and he is forced to be in a hurry. The students had lingering fears, and they did not forget to murmur along with them. Li Yunmi, have you had enough trouble? At this moment, Lin Yi in the position closest to them spoke. In Lin Yi's view, this was all Li Yunmi had nothing to do. She had dared to push Jane into the pool before. She was very vicious at a young age. If Jane didn't resist, she might be bullied by her. Li Yunmi's bullying of Jane was all because of Lin Yi, and Lin Yi now started to blame herself. Li Yunmi suddenly felt wronged. Her arrogant face wrinkled in an instant, tears welled up in her eyes, her expression heartbroken. Looking at Lin Yi said, Lin Yi, how can you say that to me? Lin Yi frowned when she saw her like this. He didn't see girls crying the most. Although he didn't like Li Yunmi in his heart, he didn't say any more serious things. Li Yunmi wiped the tears from her face with her hands viciously, turned her head to look at Jane Ai and said cruelly, Jane Ai, there is no end to this. Jian Ai just sneered disdainfully when she heard that, without even giving Li Yunmi a straight look, she sat back on her seat. Li Yunmi was suddenly irritated by Kikiao, but today she has suffered a loss and made an ugly appearance. If she still doesn't let her go, she will definitely be seen as a joke by everyone. Right now, she can only bite her silver teeth into her stomach and swallow, and she hurried back. Arrived at his seat. Jian Yi also sat down beside Jian Ai, and she was scared just now. Thinking of Jian Ai picking up the pen and sticking it down without hesitation, Jian Yi did not dare to look up at her. Um, we have the same surname, what a coincidence. Jian Yi tried to say hello, pulling the corner of his clothes under the table with both hands uneasy. Jane lifted her eyes and glanced at this exquisite new desk mate. Before she could speak, a bald old man walked into the classroom with a courseware in his hand. I'm going. Dash and son. Someone recognized the person at a glance, and suddenly wailed. Sun Dashan, formerly known as Sun Dashan, has been awarded the title of Provincial Excellent Teacher for six consecutive years. He is the leader of the first year education team. He is said to be omnipotent. The monthly exams he has brought to the class are the first in the second grade and the famous university under his hand. The students plastered the school's honor wall which is a living signboard of Byun City No. 2 Middle School. At this time, Sun Dashan appeared in a class, and everyone had a hunch. This time the class was divided into the same class with the 50 best grades of the whole year. It must be equipped with the best teachers. Sun Dashan came to the podium and stood still. Although he was bald, he was actually not too old, and he should be less than 40 years old. He is medium-sized, slightly fat, and looks very kind when he is not straight, but in most cases he has a straight face. At the moment, he pushed his eyes on the bridge of his nose and glanced at the whole class slightly. When he saw that there were no empty seats, he said, Hello classmates, I am Sun Dashan. 
I am the new head teacher after you regrouped. You are all here. For those who are outstanding in the sub-classification exam, I hope you will find your strength in the future, don't let up, study hard and make progress, and be admitted to a prestigious school in China in the future to win honor for parents and the school. The students stretched out their hands and applauded. Sun Dashen nodded with satisfaction when he saw that the students were in good condition. Then he said again, in the future, the discipline of our class will be mainly self-discipline. If there is something you don't understand, we should communicate with each other more. Let's not choose those fancy class committees. Just choose a class leader. I took a look. The leader of the previous class was classmates Ya Ching Huan. Are you still in the same class? Teacher, I'm here. Xia Ching Huan raised his hand in response. Sun Dashen nodded when he saw it, then you will be the monitor. After talking about the class bell, Sun Dashen switched his current state and said directly to the people, everyone, open the math book and turn to. Although Sun Dashen's lectures have no expressions, they are fascinating. Mathematics is a subject that uses multiple brains. Sun Dashen's teaching methods cleverly cut into many points of interest, making students involuntarily follow him to use their brains. Which classmate can solve this problem? Sun Dashen patted the chalk dust on his hands and asked when he looked at the people below. Silent. Upon seeing this, Sun Dashen picked up the list of classmates on the table and glanced at it. He casually said a name, who is classmate Jian Yi. Jian Yi quickly stood up after hearing the words, the teacher is me. Sun Dashen raised his eyes and took another look at Jian Yi before he spoke again. I think you got a perfect score in this monthly math test. Come up and answer this question. Speaking of Sun Dashen, he glanced at the roster again, and said, Jane AI is also full marks, which one is Jian AI? Jian AI stood up when he heard the words, and Sun Dashen was surprised to see that the two were at the same table, and both were surnamed Jian. Could they be sisters? But then I thought about it. If the sisters had no names with two characters and three characters, it shouldn't be. You also come up to solve this problem. Jian Ai and Jian Yi Yi looked at each other and stepped onto the stage one after another. Damn, these two got full marks in the math test? Are they crazy? That's it, this monthly math test is so difficult. There are at least five options in the multiple choice question. Are they all right? At this time the two girls surnamed Jane in the class have undoubtedly become monsters in their hearts. Jian Ai and Jian Yi Yi stood in front of the blackboard with a piece of chalk on the left and right. Neither of them started to solve the problem, but stared at the problem and thought. The classmates underneath were also thinking about it. Some of them were a little eye-catching, but most of them had question marks on their faces. Just try as hard as you can. It doesn't matter if you can't solve it. This question is indeed a bit too high for the amount of knowledge you have now. Sun Dashen tried to relieve the pressure of the two classmates. At this time, Jian Yi Yi moved first, and saw her two jade-like fingers pinched the chalk and quickly solved it. What was surprising was the beautiful chalk writing on her hand. Jian Yi Yi's thoughts were very clear and smooth, and Sun Dashen stood beside him, nodding his head while watching. In the end, Jian Yi Yi listed 14 rows of formulas and finally came up with the answer X5. On the other hand, Jane began to move, and many people frowned. Isn't Jane copying Jian Yi Yi's answer? However, everyone's doubts just came out, Jane has already solved the problem, and compared to Jane Yi Yi's 14 row formula, Jane only uses 5 rows, but the final answer is X5. Even Sun Dashen was stunned. Jian Ai's solution to this problem was only learned in the third year of high school. The answer is the same. What does the second formula mean? I haven't learned it. I don't know, it's fancy, I don't understand. Sun Dashen took a look at Jian Ai and Jian Yi Yi with admiration, and said, Very good, everyone applauds and encourage the two female classmates. Everyone applauded when they heard the words and Sun Dashen started to explain, 
the two students used two different ideas to solve the problem. The idea of student Jian Yi Yi is the knowledge point I have just taught you. And student Jian AI the method used seems simple, but it is actually a more difficult knowledge point. It is the formula in the third year math textbook. Everyone was surprised when they heard it. Knowledge points for the third year of high school? They are only half a semester high now. Jane is even good at the formula of the third year of high school? No wonder people can get full marks in the test. In her eyes, the mathematics of the first year of high school is not as simple as 1 plus 1. Lin Yi looked sideways to the left. Although Jian Yi Yi was blocking his eyes, his eyes were full of appreciation. Unexpectedly, Jian Yi Yi also turned his head just now, and met Lin Yi's gaze. The look in Lin Yi's eyes was hit by her. The handsome boy in the sun, with the appreciation and softness in his eyes, suddenly made Jian Yi Yi blush and swish away. Canteen at noon. Several people gathered around and were still talking about the math class this morning. Jane AI, how do you learn all the knowledge points in your third year of high school, it's too shabby. Xia Ching Huan took a glass of coke and drank two sips, looking at Jane AI. Jane AI gave her a funny look, you can learn too. Xia Ching Huan, I don't want it, you just want to show off. Gun Tao took a peek at Jian Yi Yi not far away, and then whispered, that Jian Yi Yi is also very smart. I can't solve the problem today. I can't figure it out either. Xia Ching Huan curled her lips then looked at Jane AI and raised her eyebrows, Jane AI, how about your new desk mate? It looks like it has a good family background and a nice person. Jane AI took a meal and shook her head gently, not too much contact. She and Li Yun Mi seem to have a very good relationship, but she seems to get along better than Li Yun. Guan Tao said. Speaking of Li Yun Mi and Xia Ching Huan remembered the pen incident this morning, she looked at Jane AI with lingering fear at the moment and said, If your pen today is skewed, I guess we won't see you anymore. Gun Tao nodded again and again, You scared me to death, you are too courageous, Xiao AI. Jane nod on the buns and gave the two a calm look, I have a sense of measure. The other side. Yan Tian viciously held the chopsticks while putting the rice in the bowl, but his eyes were staring at Jane AI in the distance. Hey. Hey. Yan Tian. Lin Yi tapped his dinner plate with his chopsticks, frowned and said, This rice has a grudge against you, what are you poking at? He is angry, Jane robbed his girlfriend, just take me to vent his anger. Gao Yang took a sip of the juice and spoke with a faint expression on his face. Lin Yi couldn't help but smiled, it's boring, and girls eat too. Ching Huan finally meets a girl she likes to be friends, you should be happy for her. I'm not happy. Why should I be happy? Yan Tian pulled a handsome face and stared, she doesn't eat with us anymore. Lin Yi and Gao Yang smiled at each other when they saw Yan Tian's bulging look, and shook their heads and said, naive. At this time, Jian Yi Yi was being introduced to her small group by Li Yun Mi. She is Jian Yi Yi the best girlfriend I have grown up with since childhood. Li Yun Mi introduced to several girls who circled her on weekdays. Those girls also gave a lot of face, and they were surprised when they saw Jian Yi Yi, Yi Yi, you are so beautiful. The skin is good, what brand of skincare products do you use? This dress is high-end, right? It suits you. Jian Yi Yi smiled and talked with a few people, a group of ladies who are piety, Li Yunmi said again, Do you know who Yi Yi's father is? Several girls were taken aback when they heard this, and shook their heads to express that they didn't know. Li Yunmi clicked her mouth and said, Do you always know the Jane group? Xiao Mei, are you talking about the leading group in our real estate industry, Jane's group? One of the girls said with surprise. Li Yunmi gave her an insightful look, Yes. It's the Jane Group, a big man in the real estate industry in Baiyun City. Chairman Jian Changsheng is Yi Yi's father. Uncle Jian and my father are also young, so I and Yi Yi the relationship is so good. To say that this is all fate, 
the same surname as Jane, and some people have to be born in a place where birds don't in Nanchinj. Ah! Really? Jian Yi Yi couldn't help being surprised when he heard the words. He rubbed his arms with both hands involuntarily, and got goosebumps on his body. Li Yunmi nodded solemnly, of course it is true, everyone knows this. Several other girls also nodded quickly in agreement, yes Yi Yi, we all know. Basic high school students know that Jane Ai's mother works in a nightclub. It seems to be in Yeokai, a very famous nightclub. Jian Yi blinked in disbelief, and muttered in a low voice, but based on Jane Ai's age, how could her mother be in her thirties? Can she be in that industry in a nightclub at this age? Ha, Yi Yi, you are too innocent. Li Yun Mi said to Jian Yi like a person who came over. I have been to that kind of nightclub several times, and the ladies inside have all kinds of girls, let alone those in their thirties. For there are more than ten. The words Li Yun Mi said at this time did not deliberately guide Jian Yi, but in her heart, Jian Ai's mother was such a person, and Jian Ai's family was poor and dirty. This idea has long been imprinted in Li Yun Mi's mind. Oh my god, I really didn't expect it to be like this. Jian Yi seemed to have received incredible information, with a shocked face, and muttered, I think Jane Ai is white and pure, and she studies so well. She has the same surname as me. I wanted to be friends with her. How can you just look at the surface? You know now why I don't like her, you have to stay away from her. Li Yun Mi reminded when she looked at Jian Yi. Jian Yi nodded obsessively, as if frightened. Throughout the afternoon, Jian Yi was a little bit distracted because of this incident, and instinctively sat on the edge during class, as if Jian Ai really had some virus. Jane Ai accidentally cared. She didn't have any extra thoughts on Jane Yi, but spent the whole afternoon thinking about the company. The daytime work efficiency is fast, and there are many channels. It must be possible to recruit people soon to fill the company's internal structure so Jane is now thinking about where the first project should start. After school in the afternoon, there were all kinds of luxury cars parked outside the gate of number 2 middle school as usual, all of which came to pick up students from school. After saying goodbye to Li Yun Mi, Jian Yi got into a Mercedes on the side of the road. At this time, a middle-aged man was sitting in the back seat of the car. The man had thick eyebrows and big eyes, his skin was very fair and his face was shaved. Clean, half-length hair is greased and combed meticulously. This man is righteous and handsome, and the figure under the well-trimmed black suit is in no way out of shape. He doesn't see the greasiness of a middle-aged man. Dad. Jian Yi jumped into the man's arms as soon as he got into the car, calling out in a coquettish tone. This person is no one else, but is the chief president of Jian's group a leading real estate company in Baiyun City, Jian Changsheng. When he saw his daughter, Jian Changsheng's expression turned soft, and he raised his hand and patted Jian Yiyi's shoulder gently, How about Yi? are you still used to going to school the first day? Jian Yi followed Jian Changsheng's arms and raised her small head, first nodded, and then shook his head. Seeing this, Jian Changsheng frowned slightly and raised his eyebrows and said, What's the matter? Have you encountered something unhappy? It's not. Jian Yi Yi pouted, and sighed slightly, I want to change my seat. Jian Chong Sheng couldn't help but chuckle when he heard the words, and his eyes were full of doting, I wondered why things made my baby girl unhappy? It turned out to be unhappy at the same table with Xian. Jian Yi Yi felt that this matter was really hard to tell. She felt uncomfortable just thinking about it. I had to shake Jian Changshen's arm and said, Dad, just tell the teacher, please change my seat. Good, good. Jian Changsheng loved her daughter, so she nodded and agreed, I will say hello to Principal Sun in the evening and let him arrange it. When Jian Yiyi heard this, she smiled, Thank you, Dad. Jian Changsheng smiled slightly patted Jian Yi's head lightly with his hands, full of doting in his gestures. 
Then he raised his head and glanced at the gate of number two middle school before saying to the driver, Let's drive Lao Zhang. Jane Ai comes home after school, but there is still no one at home. In the past few days, my mother was busy decorating a new house. She was basically away from home during the day, and her eldest brother spent most of his free time in the bar. Recently, she had just started dating, and Jane was not easy to see people. As soon as she opened the door of the room, Jane was taken aback again, and her bed was filled with shopping bags of various brands. Secretly supporting her forehead, Jane didn't need to think about it to know that it was another good thing that Dehu did. This time he also left a note that read, The master, he added some clothes to you without authorization, please accept it. Jian Ai rolled his eyes right now, and he knew that he was calling the shots without permission. Right now, he picked up the phone and dialed out. The phone was quickly picked up, and the day's voice came, Door, do the clothes still fit? Jane Ai looked at the clothes in the shopping bag and said, Can you talk to me before you buy something for me in the future? Bai Zhou thought that he had offended Jane Ai, and immediately said, I'm sorry the master, I will pay attention next time. It's just your clothes. Jane Ai chuckled and said, Don't be sorry, I don't mean to blame you. I know you have always been mad about my dress, but will you be too exaggerated? I have now seen three sets of nights. The dress, what do you buy the evening dress for? Jane Ai can't help but complain, not to mention that she doesn't need this evening gown. Bai Tian bought that kind of very formal evening gown, which is the kind that can mop the floor with the skirt. She didn't go to the red carpet, it was a waste of money at all. Just. Bai Zhou thought for a while, then said in a low voice, in case of emergency. Jane Ai. Forget it, I bought everything, and Jane also knows that daylight is good for herself. Moreover, she was considered a strong woman in her previous life, and she still had some acceptance of these famous brands. Especially after returning from rebirth, Jane couldn't help feeling the cold looking at the styles she liked when she was young and questioned her aesthetics during adolescence. Master, I have something to tell you. On the daytime phone, the conversation suddenly changed and he said seriously. Jane said with a grimace and asked, What's the matter? There is a land auction on Saturday, I got the admission ticket here, do you want to go? Bai Joe said. Go. Jane responded without thinking, and then asked, What size auction? Have you inquired about it? Don't worry, this time it is organized by the government. It is mainly for the reconstruction and reuse of a few abandoned land in Wanbao district, but we have to go to know the details of those land. Bai Zhou said. Okay, let's go together on Saturday. Jane said. After hanging up the phone, Jane had to tidy up these clothes. Except for the three exaggerated evening gowns, the other clothes were quite in line with Jane's wishes. There are casual clothes, denim clothes, and a few nice dresses. In addition to clothes, there are bracelets, necklaces, and shoes. These things are all international famous brands, Jane's rough estimate is about hundreds of thousands, and one of Cartier's limited necklaces will be close to 100,000. The closet at home was not big so Jane had to find a storage box and put away some clothes she didn't plan to wear anymore, so that she could barely put dozens of new clothes in the closet. On the other side, Bai Zhou hung up the phone and couldn't help but sighed faintly. A servant-like young man next to him took a cup of freshly brewed coffee and handed it to Shuridi, and asked in a careful tone, My Lord Prophet, is the master angry? Bai Zhou heard this and shook his head lightly, fortunately not. As he said, he stood up, and there was a huge floor-to-ceiling window in the slightly empty living room. He walked to the window and stood still, and the scenery of Bayun City was unobstructed before his eyes. Sighed softly, I was too eager to behave, and almost made the doorkeeper unhappy. The young man walked behind the day with his coffee, bowed slightly, and said in a respectful manner, My Lord Prophet, you don't have to be so impatient. Now you are the only one by your side, and many things can only be done by you. 
Right now you are the most important person around the master, so you don't have to worry about not having the opportunity to perform. After hearing these words, Bai Zhou couldn't be happy, among the twelve guards, I am the weakest. Although I am with the sect master now, if other people return to the sect master later, I am afraid that there will be no me at that time. It's useful. But the sense of the master is the master of the prophet. No matter how powerful the other adults are, they can't find the master without you. The boy tried to comfort the day, but the day only shook his head slightly, okay. After Xiang, I'm fine. The manpower I transferred from the capital is here tonight. Remember to pick someone up for me. Yes, sir. Qi Yang lowered his head, holding the cup of coffee that was already cold and stepped back. At night, Yaokai nightclub is still hot. In the VIP box on the third floor, a group of men in suits changed their cups and drinks were on the rise. At this time, as soon as the box door opened, more than twenty girls with hot bodies and nice faces lined up. Public relations manager Xia hurriedly said, Boss Wang, I will give you all the good ones today. You stayed, look at our girls, they are all beautiful. The man with fat head and big ears called Boss Wang is an old customer of Yeo Kai, and he understands the rules very well. He grinned at the moment and said to another man in a suit, Today I brought Ji Dong to play, Ji Dong, you are welcome, you choose first. But I can remind you that this Yeo Kai is Ji's nightclub. The girls here can only watch, not touch, haha. <laughs> the person called Ji Dong is no one else, but Ji Chong Sheng the chairman of the Jian group. Jian Chong Sheng just smiled when he heard this. After several years in the business field, Jian Chong Sheng is naturally no stranger to this kind of place. It's just that he has long heard of his famous name in this Yeokai, but it is really the first time he has come. However, business partners are invited to have fun on this occasion, and finding a few beautiful girls to accompany the wine is basically a fixed project. Although Jian Changshen's lifestyle is very decent, but at this time he has to go to the countryside to do what he is, so as not to discourage everyone. Several people chose to accompany girls who looked pleasing to the eye, and the originally spacious box became a bit crowded in an instant. The accompany girls in Yeokai are not only beautiful, but also versatile. No matter whether they are singing or playing dice, there is no one who can't. At this time, the atmosphere in the box is also a lot of lively. Boss Wang suggested that everyone raise their glasses and toast Jian Chong Sheng a glass of wine together. He stood up with his beer belly, and said, Jane Dong, we have been cooperating in business for many years. This is the first time I have asked you out for fun. My building materials company has thanked Jane for this. Sheltered by a big mountain, someone from my Wang is grateful to Jane and Dong Jane. I toast you for this glass of wine. With that, Boss Wang raised his neck and drank the wine in his glass to the bottom. Other people also agreed. Whether they knew Jian Chong Sheng or didn't know Jian Chong Sheng, they all wanted to hug Jane's thigh today, and hurriedly followed up with the wine. Upon seeing this, Jian Chong Sheng just waved his hand humbly, Boss Wang is serious. Everyone helps each other. It must be that Boss Wang's building materials are of good quality and loyal. We Jians dare to use your company's building materials, right? A win-win situation, there is no such thing as I protect you. If you have money, everyone can make money together, and I will do it too. Jian Chong Sheng also drank the wine to the bottom, giving Boss Wang a lot of face. When everyone saw this, they all burst into applause and said straight to Jian Dong Chong Liang. Boss Wang was a bit drunk at first, but Jian Chong Sheng was so embarrassed now that he couldn't help feeling agitated. When he suddenly waved his hand, he yelled at the companion girl beside him, I am happy today, I will open a grand slam for Lao Zi. The girl was taken aback when she heard the words, and then she couldn't help but reacted with surprise and joy. She hurriedly got up and said, Good boss Wang, I'll make arrangements. The so-called Grand Slam is the highest standard beverage package of the Yeokai Club, 
which covers six bottles of top red wine and twelve bottles of top foreign wine, and a number of soft drinks. The package price is as high as 880,000. This Grand Slam alone has just been accompanied. The girls' achievements can reach tens of thousands of yuan. In the lobby on the first floor of Yeokai, Wang Yunmi is wearing a slim lady's suit and is explaining things to her assistant. She was holding the folder in one hand and quickly passed it through, and then said seriously to the assistant, These two beers can no longer be ordered, they are not selling well. There is also this red wine, some customers have reported. The taste was astringent and it was not cheap, so it stopped. The assistant nodded and took notes, and then asked, Mr. Wang, the water bar said that the season is coming soon. Do you want to add durian to the big fruit plate for the next season? Wang Yunmi directly shook her head in denial, no, the taste is too big. Most of our boxes are relatively closed, but you can't use fruits that taste so strong. The specifications of the large fruit plate are not enough, what do you think of replacing it? The assistant asked a little embarrassed. Wang Yunmi sighed and thought for a while, then his eyes lit up, use intellectual cherries and Taiwan jackfruit. When the assistant heard the words, he could not help but nodded and responded, Good, Mr. Wang. Then the assistant seemed to think of other things, and quickly said, By the way, Mr. Wang, this year's employee medical examination has been arranged. Do you think this week? Wang Yunmi nodded, OK, let's Yao Lu take care of this. I remember he arranged it last year. While talking, a middle-aged man in a white suit came in outside the door. The man smiled when he saw Wang Yunmi, and quickly stepped forward to say hello, Oh Wang, general manager, long time no see. The man's surname is Chong. He is a coal boss from other places and is also an old customer of Wang Yunmi. When Wang Yunmi was still serving as a accompaniment girl in the past, Boss Chong would call Wang Yunmi to accompany him every time he came. But at this time Wang Yunmi's identity is different. She is now the leader of Yeokai, and she has the final say on the whole nightclub, inside and out. Not to mention Chong boss, even if it is other guests they have to be polite to meet Wang Yunmi. Wang Yunmi was also overjoyed when he saw Boss Chong, and hurriedly greeted her, Boss Chong, it's been a long time since I saw him. Why? We're on a business trip in Bayun again. Boss Chong nodded his head with a smile upon hearing the words, it's been a small business trip. It's been a long time since I saw Mr. Wang, can I look at you from the beginning? Wang Yunmi has been drinking with Boss Chang for no less than 20 times, and she knows Boss Chang's personality very well. This person is not like a rich person, and is very humorous. He likes to make jokes, but he has never acted arrogantly towards her. Seeing Wang Yunmi shook her head and laughed, she asked Chang Boss inside and said, Don't make fun of me. You play inside first. I will definitely go to toast you personally when I'm free for a while. Boss Chong nodded and responded, OK, then I can wait for you. As soon as Boss Chong was arranged here, she saw the public relations manager Xia's sister trotting all the way. Sister Xia looked happy, and when she came closer, she said directly, Sister Mei, Boss Wang of 333 has just started a grand slam, you go to the Jinkui bar. This can be regarded as an unwritten rule in Yeokai. If a guest plays a grand slam, as the general manager of the nightclub, he must personally go there to toast. Wang Yunmi didn't think much about it. People who come to Yeokai are either rich or expensive. People often play grand slams. For Wang Yunmi, who has worked in Yeokai for 12 years, this kind of thing is not surprising, so let's just point it right away nodded. The atmosphere in the box was soaring. Boss Wang and Jian Chang Sheng were all drunk, when the box door was pushed open by Sister Xia from the outside. A few bosses, thank you for honoring our Yeokai club. Our sister Mei came here to toast some of you. While Sister Xia was talking, Wang Yunmi dressed in a professional female suit and walked into the private room with her ponytail hanging high. 
Since Wang Yunmei did not accompany the wine, the makeup on her face has also lightened a lot, but she can't bear her skin is good, and she is not old at all. Right now the lights in the box were ambiguous, and a touch of warm red hit Wang Yunmei's face, giving her a hint of flattery out of thin air. Yo! Xiaomei! Boss Wang is a frequent visitor to Yeokai and he naturally recognizes Wang Yunmei. Although Wang Yunmei was promoted to manager later, many old customers still did not change their address to her. When they met Wang Yunmei, they still called her Xiaomei. Wang Yunmei didn't care very much, she greeted her with a smile on her face, Boss Wang is very interested today. You just came here yesterday. When Boss Wang heard the words, he smiled and pulled Jian Chong Sheng up on the sofa at this time, and introduced to Wang Yun Mei, Mei Zi, I invite my most important business partner to play today. Here you are. Introduce you, Jian Chong Sheng, chairman of the Jane Group, my best friend. Wang Yun Mei's eyes were cold, and the hatred in her eyes was not concealed. Such a decisive attitude severely hurt Jian Chong Sheng's heart. But he was ashamed. He knew that Miyaza should hate him and must hate him. A big hand raised and raised, but never dared to touch Wang Yun Miyai. Jian Chong Sheng was in distress, and finally couldn't help but ask, How is Xiaoyu? That child, have you given birth? A boy or a girl? Even if Jian Chong Sheng knew in his heart that he was sorry for Wang Yun Miyai, he still looked at her without evasiveness. He wanted to let her know that he really cared about her and the child. However, all of this is extremely ridiculous in Wang Yun Mei's heart. It's just hypocritical and disgusting. Put away your disgusting compassion. I felt like vomiting. Wang Yun Mei raised her head slightly and looked at Jian Chong Sheng coldly, from the time I was pregnant with you and abandoned us, the child and I have nothing to do with you anymore. Mei Zi. I have difficulties. Jian Chong Sheng was eager and struggling to say, I don't ask you to forgive me, but I know you know me, you know my situation at the time, and I don't want to leave you. But you still left. Wang Yun Mei interrupted Jian Chong Sheng mercilessly, and tore her scars to show him, You abandoned me when I was pregnant with Xiao Ai, and Xiao Yu He. Your unborn daughter. Jian Chong Sheng. You are simply not a person, why do you still have a face in front of me? For fourteen years, you have been indifferent to your two children. If you didn't accidentally meet with me today, have you forgotten that there are two other children living out of your Jane family? Wang Yun Mei's tone was indifferent, with almost no ups and downs, but the more so, the more it was said that she was ashamed at the moment and couldn't afford even the slightest compassion for the man in front of her. Miyazi, I am sorry for you. Jian Changshen's eyes were red. Thinking of the things and sufferings she and her child might have experienced in these years, Jian Changshen's heart was as painful as a meat grinder stirring, and he gritted his teeth and whispered, I don't ask you to forgive me, just ask you to give me a chance to make up, make up for you and your child, okay? Had. Wang Yun Miyai sneered suddenly, as if she had heard what a ridiculous thing. She raised her eyebrows slightly and looked at Jian Chong Sheng and said, Make up? We have suffered from the suffering of our mothers and children in the past 14 years. You can't make up for your frustration. Jian Chong Sheng, hurry up and put away your pretentious look. Wang Yun Mei, Wang Yun Mei, is no longer the little girl who didn't understand anything. Some people believe it once in this life. If you are still a man, you should completely disappear from my front and never show up again in your life. Plum, I. Get out. Wang Yun Mei sternly interrupted Jian Chong Sheng, tears already starting to flow in her eyes. Jian Chong Sheng looked pained, but she could see Wang Yun Mei's determination so firm, a thousand words pressed in her throat but she couldn't say it. In the end, Jian Chong Sheng suppressed the impulse to speak but stopped turned around and left. Wang Yun Mei looked at his upright back, and there was a touch of depression at this moment. But she was indifferent, just like when Jian Chong Sheng left, her back is neither humble nor overbearing. Even though she cried and kept, 
she didn't get even the slightest look back from him. Boom rumble. Suddenly the spring thunder exploded outside, and there was a downpour in a short time. Byun City ushered in the first rain in early spring this year. The next day, after the rain, Byun City was filled with a hint of fresh fragrance, the air was humid, and people felt refreshed early in the morning. When Jane got up, breakfast was already on the table. Although the breakfast shop at home was closed, my mother would still get up early to make breakfast for herself every morning. After washing, Jane sits at the dining table and Wang Yun Mi comes out of the kitchen with a bowl of porridge. Jane looks up, only to find that her mother's face is not pretty. Mom, are you uncomfortable? Why is your face so bad? Jane asked with a caring face. Although my mother had worked very hard before, she had always been radiant, with clean and translucent skin, and very energetic eyes. But at this time, Wang Yun Mi's eyes are slightly concave, accompanied by dark circles that are hard to ignore, and the mental state of the whole person is not good, and her eyes are loose and a little trance. Even when she heard Jane A.I.'s words, she was still dull for a while before she could respond, Mom is okay. I thundered and didn't sleep well last night. Jane's brows furrowed, her mother died of cancer in her previous life, so that Jane's is now a dead man. Whenever her mother's mental state is a little abnormal, she is instinctively nervous and worried. Moreover, the trajectory of this life is completely different from that of the previous life. It is not known whether or not her mother will get liver cancer. Jane A.I. is afraid that her mother's disease will be advanced, which is something she can't accept anyway. Thinking of this, Jane A.I. directly said to Wang Yun Mi, Mom, I'm not too comfortable recently. You can accompany me to the hospital for an individual examination. Jane A.I. chose another way to take her mother to the hospital, and only in this way her mother would not consider other things. Sure enough, when she heard that her daughter was not feeling well, Wang Yun Mi hurriedly sat down beside Jane, What's the matter, Xiao A.I.? Did you fall into the water last time and left the root of the disease? Maybe, because I often get headaches, I should go to the hospital to see if I feel at ease. Jane casually made up a lie. After a while, Mom will accompany you to the hospital for a review, and ask for a leave from the school in the morning. Wang Yun Mi is most worried about Jane's body, especially since she was nervous for several days after she fell into the water last time for fear of Jane. A.I. will fall the root of the disease. Seeing her mother's nervousness for herself, Jane felt a little guilty in her heart. But she couldn't help it. She couldn't think of other reasons for her mother to go into the hospital. If she didn't figure out her mother's physical condition for a day, she would not feel at ease. The fourth hospital of Byun City, located in the center of Zonglu District, is the closest large hospital to Jane A.I.'s home. The last time Jane A.I. was hospitalized was in this hospital. At the registration office, Jane said directly to Wang Yun Mi, Mom, since it's here, you should also check your body. Wang Yun Mi was taken aback, and then smiled and waved her hand, No, Mom is in good health, and the company is also arranging employee physical examinations recently, and mom will be doing the checkups by then. Jane A.I. finally brought Wang Yun Mi to the hospital. Naturally, she couldn't give up easily. She immediately said, Mom, in fact, I have always been worried about your body. You have been working so hard these years, and you often stay up late and drink. I am early I'm afraid that your body is overloaded. If you listen to me, check it with me. If it is really okay, I will feel at ease. Jane A.I. is completely worried about her mother's health at this time, and what she said is all her true thoughts at the moment. Only by seeing the results of the examination can Jane A.I. really feel relieved. Listening to her daughter's words like this, Wang Yun Mi was moved in her heart. After thinking about it, what my daughter said is right. I have come here, so I might as well follow it. I have never taken the initiative to go to the hospital for a physical examination in the past 10 years. Although the club organizes employee physical examinations every year, they are all simple examinations. 
not comprehensive. Nodded immediately, okay, then mom will also check to see if there are any minor problems with her body. Jian Ai smiled slightly when she heard the words, stretched out her hand and slung Wang Yun Mi's arm and said, that's right, you should have a physical examination every year in the future, and you should know your physical condition at any time. Both of them were registered for a full body examination, from basic blood routine, liver and kidney function, chest radiographs, to more comprehensive x-rays, brain examinations and heart examinations. The mother and daughter traveled through the various departments of the hospital all morning. Except for a few reports, they could come out on the same day, and some of the more troublesome ones took the next day to get the results. Mom said that my mother's health is not serious, now you can rest assured. As soon as she got out of the hospital, Wang Yunmi smiled and said to her daughter. Jane only smiled when she heard the words, but she didn't feel relieved in her heart. The two only got a report on blood routine and liver and kidney function, but if you want to know whether there is a tumor in the body, you need to see an X-ray to confirm it. As for whether the mother is in good health, everything will not be known until tomorrow. In the afternoon, Jian Ai went back to school directly, but found that her desk mate had changed from Jian Yi to Xia Qing Huan. What's the situation? Jane was a little surprised because this seat was newly arranged according to the results yesterday. Why did she change her table when she didn't come all morning? Xia Qing Huan was painting her nail polish on the seat, raised her eyelids when she heard the words, and stopped her hand movement when she saw that Jane was back, and then turned to Jane Yian on the other side, and whispered, Tours, it's Jane. Yi Yi proposed to change seats. As soon as my grandson and grandson came here, he asked who would like to be at the same table with you. You also know that your popularity in our class is really not good, so I volunteered to raise my hand, and what you see now appears. This situation. After all, Xia Ching Huan raised an eyebrow at Jane Ai, how is it? Moved or not? Jian Ai rolled her eyes helplessly when she heard this, and squeezed into the seat from the gap behind Xia Ching Huan. After sitting down, she said, I didn't recruit her, did I? Why change seats? Xia Ching Huan cast aside her lips immediately, this Jian Yi and Li Yunmi are best friends, how can you expect Li Yunmi to say something good about you in front of her? You don't need to think about it or know that Li Yunmi provoked it. Jian Ai felt that Xia Ching's words were reasonable, and nodded faintly. At this time Gu and Tao came in from outside and saw Jane Ai coming back and quickly stepped forward and asked, Xiao Ai, why did you go this morning? It's okay, I went to the hospital with my mother. Jane said casually. Xia Ching Huan stared when she saw Gu and Tao, and said in an almost inquisitive tone, Gu and Tao, Sun Dashan asked who would like to be at the same table with Jane Ai in the morning, why don't you raise your hand? Guntao's eyes panicked when she heard this, her face flushed completely, and her mouth opened, I, I. Farewell to me, all your careful thoughts are written on your face. Jane said with an expression of seeing everything through her face. Xia Ching Huan smelled the scent of adultery, looked at Guntao and squinted her eyes. Guntao stunned her heart, and quickly waved her hand, don't talk nonsense, let others hear that it's time to gossip again. Xia Ching Huan feels funny seeing Gu and Tao's frightened appearance, but as a friend I still don't forget to remind him, Gu and Tao, I really have to tell you something clearly. Although Gao Yang has not publicly admitted his relationship with Yu Menjiao, right? Gao Yang's family and Yu Menjiao's family are family acquaintances, and the two companies also have an inextricable relationship. So the two have ordered a baby kiss since they were young. It sounds unreliable but this kind of wealthy marriage is in the upper class. Society is really common. Jane Ai also looked at Gu and Tao at the moment. She had reminded her about Gao Yang before, but these words seemed to be more convincing when Xia Ching Huan said it. After all, Xia Ching Huan was a friend who grew up with Gao Yang, and he was also concerned about his affairs. More right to speak, more understanding. 
Gun Tao couldn't help being silent for a moment, and then nodded slightly, looking at Jane Ai and Xia Ching Huan and said, I understand, don't worry, things really haven't developed to that point. In other words, Gun Tao felt that her feelings for Gao Yang had not yet sublimated to the level of her liking. Just like what she and Jane said, she just thinks Gao Yang is very special, maybe a little good, but that's all. Xia Ching Huan and Jane Ai couldn't help but glance at each other, and then Jane said, Neither Ching Huan nor I want you to be hurt, but if you really like him, we will support you. That's what I mean. Xia Ching Huan nodded quickly, anyway, Gao Yang is not married, nor has he admitted that Men Jao is his girlfriend. Everything is possible. But even though the two friends said so, Guan Tao knew clearly in her heart that she and Gao Yang were not people in the same world. Even without Yu Men Jao, the person who would stand next to Gao Yang should not be herself. At this time, Lin Yi, Gao Yang, and Yan Tian came back after playing. Jian Yi Yi originally sat in his seat and read a book. When Lin Yi came in, his eyes lighted up, he hurriedly straightened his body, and pretending to be natural, he raised his hand and stroked the shoulders of her hair. But Lin Yi didn't even look at her. As soon as he entered the door, he saw Jane Ai's return. He immediately walked forward and cared, Why didn't you come this morning? You always don't come to school. When can I have lunch this month? Finished. Jane chuckled softly when she heard the words, What's the hurry, it's a long day, it's too early to leave. Lin Yi raised an eyebrow and nodded with a smile, with some scorn in his handsome appearance. Immediately, he seemed to have thought of something, and quickly said, By the way, this Saturday I have my birthday, and I booked a villa in Bianchen Hot Spring. Shall we go together? Yes, yes, on Saturday Lin Yi's birthday, shall we go to Bayun Mountain together? Soaking in the hot springs is more comfortable. Xia Ching Huan also hurriedly said. Gao Yang and Yan Tian also looked at Jane Ai. Because of Lin Yi's change in attitude towards Jane Ai, and adding Xia Ching Huan and Jane Ai to become buddies, they now also acquiesce that Jane Ai is a member of their group. Seeing how many people were staring at her, Jane didn't think much about it at the moment, but was about to agree, but suddenly thought that she would go to the land auction with Dehu on Saturday. After thinking about it, Jane Ai looked at Lin Yi and said, I have something to do during the day on Saturday, and I have an appointment with a friend. It's okay, let's go at night. Bayun Mountain Hot Spring is 24 hours. Let's go to Soak on Saturday night, stay on the mountain for one night, climb the mountain on Sunday, and come back on Sunday afternoon. Lin Yi listened to Jane Ai I had something during the day and I changed the original plan without even thinking about it. At this time, Jian Yi, who had been eavesdropping on Lin Yi's words, suddenly stepped forward and said with an innocent smile, Are you going to Bayun Mountain Hot Spring? I'll take you there, it's my house. You opened it. Xia Ching Huan asked in surprise. Although Jian Yi is a newly transferred school, her identity has long been known to everyone who passed on Li Yunmei. So people will be a little surprised at the moment. Isn't the Jane group engaged in real estate? Jian Yi saw everyone's expressions astonished, and she couldn't help feeling a little proud, but she blinked her eyes innocently and nodded, Yes, although our family is mainly engaged in real estate, we also have a slight involvement in other industries. Bianchen Hot Springs it is indeed my family's property. Hearing what Jian Yi said, Everyone couldn't help but understand. Everyone now turned their eyes on Lin Yi. This time it was Lin Yi's birthday. Lin Yi also arranged to go to the hot springs in Bayun Mountain. Suddenly Jian Yi appeared right now, so it depends on Lin Yi's meaning whether to take her with him. Just before Lin Yi could speak, Jian Yi spoke first, I can book the best hot spring villas for everyone, as well as some particularly fun projects. I can arrange them in advance for everyone. Leave everything to me. You can. It's free to play. How do you do that? Lin Yi couldn't help frowning when he heard the words. This time I was organizing everyone to play on his own birthday, 
but now I want Ji Yi to pay the bill. Lin Yi felt a little awkward, if it's free, then we won't go. Ji Yi realized that he had hurt Lin Yi's self-esteem, and immediately said, I'm sorry, I don't mean anything else, but I just returned home and wanted to make more friends. If the words just made you uncomfortable, I'll talk to you. Apologize. Seeing Ji Yi so cautious, Yan Tian on the side shrugged his shoulders indifferently, and said, Since all the new students have invited, let's go together. Just give us a discount at that time. Xia Ching Huan shrugged indifferently at the moment, I'm free, Jane and Guan Tao will go. Jian Ai nodded as soon as she heard the words, then I will meet you when I'm done on Saturday afternoon. Seeing that no one else objected, Lin Yi spoke to Jian Yi, then please help us book a better villa. Jian Yi smiled and nodded, don't worry, wrap it around me. Early the next morning, the hospital called and said that the examination results of the two had come out, but the specific situation was not elaborated, only that Wang Yun Mi should go to the hospital. Jane's heart instinctively screamed at the moment, and a bad premonition spontaneously emerged. Wang Yun Mi didn't take it seriously, she never felt any discomfort in her body, she just treated it as her daughter making a fuss. When she came to the hospital, Jane accompanied her mother directly into the consulting room. He was seen by an old doctor who was over half a hundred years old. He raised his eyes and set his eyes on Wang Yun Mi's body, and then said softly, You guys first sit. The doctor's expression was a little dignified, and Jane's heart was even more disturbed. As soon as she sat down, she asked, Doctor, is there something wrong with the examination result? The doctor sighed softly, and this reaction made Wang Yun Mi, who was optimistic, also nervous, Doctor, what is the situation? I saw that the doctor took out two x-rays from the file bag on the desktop and hung them on the whiteboard in the office. He looked at Wang Yun Mi and said, Ms. Wang, according to the examination report, you have a tumor in your liver. One sentence was like five thunders, causing Jane to forget his reaction at the moment, and the whole person stood on the spot in a daze. Wang Yun Mi was also dumbfounded. It seemed that the brain hadn't turned around yet, but she said foolishly, swollen, tumor. The doctor also nodded helplessly, and pointed to the black and white x-ray film to explain, yes, it is a tumor, which is what we commonly call liver cancer. And your situation is not optimistic, because based on the results of the examination, the cancer cells in your body have begun to spread. Jane AI couldn't hear what the doctor said later, and her head was full of words like tumor and liver cancer. Her biggest wish when she came back from rebirth was that her mother could escape the catastrophe of liver cancer, but she didn't want to be born again within half a month, and actually faced her mother's diagnosis in person. This is tantamount to a great irony to Jane AI, living a lifetime, she can't change anything. After a while, Jane AI suddenly raised her head and looked at the doctor with red eyes and asked, Doctor, is my mother's disease too late to be cured? We can ask the best doctor to go to the best hospital. Can't give up, this is the only voice in Jane AI's heart at this time. She cannot lose her mother again, and she will never allow this to happen again in this life. The doctor thought for a while. He didn't seem to want to destroy the hope of the mother and daughter himself. He said conservatively, based on the current medical level of our four hospitals, there is no good treatment for liver cancer. But I suggest you go. The People's Hospital is the best hospital in our city. If it's not enough, you can go to a hospital in Beijing to try it. The doctor did not directly pronounce Wang Yun Mi's death sentence, but he did not say that it would be cured. Jian Ai clenched her fists hard and looked at the x-ray that she couldn't understand. She was trembling faintly, as if she was trying to restrain the sadness gushing out of her body. At the end, Jane stood up suddenly, turned and ran out of the clinic. Xiao Ai! Wang Yun Mi shouted, but Jane Ai had disappeared at the door. The doctor has long been accustomed to this kind of situation. He looked at Wang Yun Mi who was only in her early thirties in front of her with regret, and said to comfort her, 
children are still young, and there are some who cannot accept it for a while. Wang Yun Mi could only pretend to be calm at this time, looking at the doctor and asking, You tell me the truth, how long can I live? The doctor thought for a while, and said, Cancer cells have just begun to spread. If they can be effectively suppressed, it should last two to three years with surgery and chemotherapy. Two to three years, Wang Yun Mi closed her eyes in despair and heartache, but the faces of Jian Yu and Jian Ai appeared in her mind at this time. What should the two children do if they die? Jane Ai rushed to the stairwell in one breath, quickly took out her mobile phone, found the day number, and dialed out. The doormaster. The phone connected, and the voice of the day came. Jane's chest was ups and downs, and her mood fluctuated greatly. She only heard her panting and saying to the phone, Day Day, help me. With an almost pleading tone, the day on the other end of the phone followed closely with frowning eyebrows, Sect Master, what happened? You said, I will definitely help you do it. My mother has cancer, I need the best doctor in the world, I. Jane's words were interrupted by the day when she was halfway. He only heard a long sigh of relief in the day, and he seemed to say in a low voice with confidence, Don't worry, you can leave this to me, and your mother will be safe and sound. A simple sentence by Bai Zhou instantly soothed Jane's desperate heart. Jane held the phone, her calm thoughts gradually returned. For some reason, she just believed that Bai Tian could help her. On the other side, Shade quickly dialed a number after hanging up. The call was quickly connected, and a cold and deep voice came from the other end, What's the matter? Shuryu took a soft breath now. This person's tone was still indifferent from thousands of miles away. Fortunately, Shu knew him well, and adjusted his mood at the moment, and said in a low voice, I have found the master of the door. When the person on the other end of the phone heard the words, his breathing was stagnant, and his tone finally showed obvious fluctuations, really. Naturally, it is true. It is my duty as a prophet to find the master of the door. Bai Zhou said. Does anyone else know? The person on the other end of the phone asked. Shade took the phone and walked to the sofa to sit down, and then he said, The master doesn't want to disturb everyone's life, so let me hide this. It's just that now, the master needs you, you must come as soon as possible. Without any hesitation, the person on the other end of the phone said directly, Send me the address and I will set off right away. After hanging up the phone, Shade pressed his temple a little uncomfortably, Chi Yang on the side couldn't help but glance at his master, and finally couldn't help but ask, My Lord Prophet, have you contacted? Hmm. Bai Zhou snorted, apparently knowing who Chi Yang was talking about, and slowly said, I thought I could spend more time alone with the sect master, but I didn't expect that the plan could not keep up with the changes. In this world, he can grab it in the hands of the king. He is the only human being. Chi Yang nodded softly when he heard the words. He just overheard a little bit, it seemed that the master's mother was seriously ill. As the Lord Prophet said, the medical skills in this world are so excellent that they can compete with the King of Yama. I am afraid that there is nothing else but the Lord. Jane Ai has been utterly unsettled these few days, even though the day has given her hope, but her mother has not recovered in a day. This incident is like a time bomb that will collapse Jane's psychological defense at any time. Wang Yun Mi also saw everything in her eyes. She tried to comfort her daughter, but she didn't believe some things she said, so how could she convince her daughter? Until Friday, Jane finally waited for the daytime call. As soon as school was over in the afternoon, Jane rushed out of the school. After two blocks in a row, she saw the car parked on the side of the road during the day. Stepping forward and quickly opening the car door, Jane got into the car directly, with Chi Yang sitting in the driver's seat, while Bai Tian sat in the back seat with Jane Ai. Sect Master, I will take you to meet someone. Bai Zhou said directly, and then nodded to Chi Yang. Chi Yang received the instruction, raised his hand to start the car, and drove towards the high-end apartment in Haikan district by day. On the way, 
Jane A.I. said nothing. She has been in such a state these days, and her mother's diagnosis has dealt a huge blow to her. Seeing it in the day, I couldn't help but feel distressed. At the moment, I can only speak to appease, don't worry, the sect master, when you see this person, all problems will be solved. Jane A.I. couldn't help turning his head to look at the day. Seeing him so confident and calm, Jane felt inexplicably at ease. Looking at Jane A.I. at the moment, Bai Zhou also raised his lips and smiled easily, just as the sect master trusted him, he also trusted that person. The car stopped in front of a high-end apartment building in the center of Haikan district. This is an apartment that Shiori bought in Byun City in order to stay with Jane at the beginning. Shiori stayed in Byun City this time and did not bring others to follow. He only brought a personal attendant, Chi Yang. One master, one servant, two people living in this apartment is also spacious. The elevator went straight to the top floor, and the day turned sideways respectfully and politely, please, please. Jane A.I. got out of the elevator and found that there was only a single household on the top floor. It was clear to her heart that this was the home of the day. The door opened, and Jane followed the day into the apartment. The house decorated in black and white tones is minimalist, without a trace of extra fancy, but it fits the temperament of the day. At this time, in front of the French window in the living room, a man in black stood with his hands up and down, looking into the distance. Hearing the sound of the door opening, the man slowly turned his head, and then a firm and cold face slowly appeared in front of Jane A.I. The man has a sense of distance that cannot be ignored. He has a cool temperament. Although his eyebrows are handsome, there is a sharp cold light in his eyes. His complexion is condensed into frost, and there is no warm expression. Just a glance makes everyone lost the interest in wanting to communicate with him. Is that the person in Chiru's mouth? At this time, the man raised his eyes to look at the day, a suspicion flashed in his eyes, as if he was confirming Jane's identity. Shiryu just nodded faintly, and didn't say anything else. In the next second, the man suddenly walked over to Jane A.I., just like when Jane A.I. first saw the day, the man actually knelt directly in front of Jane A.I. on one knee. Under Shaxian's gate, Shaxian's twelve guards, Gishao Tianyi Ziaoyu, C-Sect Master. Jane A.I. was taken aback, a flash of shock flashed across her face. She didn't expect that Bai Zhou actually contacted one of the twelve guards. Get up and talk. Jane regained consciousness and quickly said. Xiao Lu said, thanks to the master, and then stood up. Jane A.I. looked at the man in front of him carefully, and then said, are you also one of the twelve guards of the immortal house? Xiao Lu raised his eyes and glanced at Bai Zhou when he heard the words, as if he hadn't explained his identity to the master before asking him. Upon seeing this, Bai Zhou quickly stepped forward and explained, The master, he is the seventh-ranked ghost Dr. Ziao of Shaxian Twelve Guards. You have been telling me that I don't want to disturb the peaceful life of others in Twelve Guards. Ziao is not acceptable, and only if he comes can you have no worries. Sect Master, our twelve guards should have stayed by your side, you don't have to worry too much. Xiao Lu also said at the moment. Jian Ai nodded lightly when she heard the words. She seemed to have picked up her position as the master, but she didn't want so many people with special skills to treat her so desperately. It was obvious that everyone was strangers who had never met. At this time, Chi Yang brewed hot tea and brought it up. Several people sat down on the sofa before they began to talk about Wang Yunmi's condition. My mother has liver cancer, and the cancer cells have begun to spread. As far as I know, the current international medical level can only rely on chemotherapy to maintain a lifespan of a few years at most. It is as difficult to cure as possible. Jane sees speaking of Xiaoyu. Don't worry, the sect master, leave this to me. Xiao Lu didn't have any extra expressions, but his tone was quite sure. Jane's eyes hot after hearing this, are you so sure? Bai Zhou couldn't help but chuckled at the side now, his name as a ghost doctor is not for nothing. 
if he wants to let people die in the third watch, no one can keep people to the fifth watch. But if he wants to save people, a life, as long as this person has a breath, King Yama would not dare to accept it. Shirley's words sounded a bit exaggerated, but Jane A.I. knew that Shirley would not speak big words in front of her. Jane A.I. looked at Bai Zhou and Xiao Liu again, and finally couldn't help but said in a deep voice, Please. A trace of trepidation flashed through Xiao Lu's eyes, and he hurriedly said, The master does not need to be like this. We Shaxian twelve guards are willing to go through fire and water for the master. While Bai Zhou looked at Jane A.I. and sighed faintly in his heart, because he knew that Jane, as the master of Shaxian men, had not yet fully accepted this identity by herself, let alone knowing that she was the master of the house. What a sacred existence for the two guards. As long as she needs them, their twelve guards can give their lives for her at any time. Sect master, let me arrange the rest. I will take care of everything as soon as possible, and then you will directly take your mother to the hospital for treatment. Bai Zhou said directly. Jian Ai nodded when she heard the words, not forgetting to exhort, the sooner the better. Bai Zhou gave Jane a reassuring smile, don't worry, the master, Xiaolu and I will definitely give you a healthy and innocent mother. Back home, Wang Yunmi had just made dinner. Seeing her daughter came back, Wang Yunmi smiled and greeted, Xiao Ai is back, wash your hands and eat. Since the diagnosis of her condition, Wang Yunmi has never shown a fragile side in front of Jane Ai. Jane knows that her mother is supporting her, so she feels sad and distressed in her heart. The mother not only has to bear all this, but also takes into account her feelings, and in turn, she has to comfort herself. Jane Ai hated such a useless herself, but this incident was too much for her. She couldn't do anything that didn't happen. Fortunately, God once again gave her hope. She believed in the day and Xiaolu. Mom, what did you do, it smells so good. Thinking like this, Jane leaned to the table with a smile on her face, regaining her former vitality. She cannot add a psychological burden to her mother at this time, she has to be optimistic to make her optimistic. Sure enough, seeing her daughter finally no longer frowning, Wang Yunmi also breathed a sigh of relief, and said with a smile, sweet and sour pork tenderloin and braised sari are all your favorites. Jane A.I. took a playful sip of the incense of vegetables, and then went to the bathroom and asked, My brother hasn't come back. I came back at noon. I just left. You two have your feet before and after. Wang Yunmi said that the rice was ready and came out, Leave him alone, you eat first. At the dinner table, Jane picked a piece of sari into her mother's bowl, and the back then pretended to be relaxed and suddenly said, Mom, let's go to other hospitals later, there must be a way. When Wang Yunmi heard the words about eating, she couldn't help but look up at her daughter, but she saw that her expression was natural, not as sad as she was a few days ago. Jane also looked up at Wang Yunmi. Seeing her mother's expression suddenly became heavy, Jane smiled slightly, Mom, since it's found out, we have to face it. I don't give up, and you can't give up. Think about my brother and me. You must get better. Wang Yunmi listened to Jian Ai's words and looked at the determination and hope in Jian Ai's eyes. She knew that it was useless to escape at this time. Just as her daughter said, since it happened, she had to face it. She cannot easily bow to the disease. She still has children, and she must be strong. I saw Wang Yunmi nodded gently, and a smile appeared at the corner of her mouth, Okay, Mom listens to you. On Saturday, the land auction will be held. Donghai Real Estate Company has just been established. It is reasonable to say that it is not eligible to participate in the government-organized land auction. However, there are so many people in the day that they have obtained such a precious quota for the company. Jian Ai knows that with her current strength, whether it is in terms of personal connections or money, the company cannot grow rapidly in a short period of time. However, Bai Tian's strength is unfathomable, and often the things Jian Ai entrusted to him are completed beyond expectations. 
At present, Donghai Real Estate has begun to take shape. The management personnel for important positions are dispatched from the capital during the day, and the employees have been recruited, all in accordance with the standards proposed by Jane AI. Jane AI wore a casual outfit today, which was considered more formal among the pile of clothes bought for her by the day. After all, she looked awkward in a suit and shoes at her age. The taxi arrived directly outside the venue, where Shade had already been waiting. Boss. When Bai Zhou met Jane AI, he changed his name directly. Jane raised his eyes and glanced at the city hall in front of him, feeling a little surprised that the bidding site this time was directly selected in the government's land boundary. Aren't you late? Jane asked. No, but it's about to start, let's go in. Bai Zhou said, leading the way straight ahead, Jane tidied the corners of her clothes and quickly followed. Because the auction hall is in the speciality of the city hall, the land auction this time has no extra decorations. It simply pulled a banner, and because it was not a bidding meeting, even the drinks were not prepared. But this is also good. Although the people who come to bid for the land are all people from various real estate companies, they are not for socializing and drinking, but the purpose is clearer. Outside the hall, a staff member checked the invitation letter, and when he saw the day, he said blankly, Please show the invitation letter. Bai Zhou took a silver white card from his arms and handed it forward, and said, Under the M Group, Donghai Real Estate. The person accepted the invitation letter then took a quick glance on the invitation list, and saw that he was indeed on the invitation list, and gave Shiraku a number plate, you are the thirteenth, please go inside. Jane AI followed by Joe and couldn't help but whispered and asked, I haven't had time to ask you, how did you get the invitation letter for such an important auction? When Bai Joe heard this, he smiled mysteriously, this kind of trivial matter is not enough. Jane's eyes rolled down, saying that he was fat and he was panting. However, I had to reassess the ability of daylight. At the first meeting, Shiraku said that he was useless, and the only advantage was that he had money. But it seems that it is not the case, there must be many doorways in the day. The lobby area is fairly spacious, with tables, chairs and benches simply arranged. In front of it is a podium and a large screen. At this time, there are already a lot of people sitting in the lobby, everyone in suits and shoes, like a successful person. Many people are also familiar with each other, and can participate in this level of land auctions are all big companies in the Bayun real estate industry, some are partners, but most of them are competitive. The silver white hair of the day was already dazzling enough, and there was a 14-year-old girl behind him and the two of them immediately attracted the attention of many people when they entered the arena. Jane AI immediately pointed to the corner of the last row, and Shade nodded when he saw it, and the two of them walked over and sat down quickly, lowering their heads without making a sound. Others just looked at them curiously, and no one spoke. And compared to Jane AI, the shape of the day is the key to the eye-catching. Your silver hair is too eye-catching. After sitting down, Jane said in a low voice. I'm born to be a parent who has skin and hair, and many people say it looks good. Shiraku also responded in a low voice. Jian AI couldn't help looking at Dao with a look of disbelief, the meaning in her eyes was obvious. When the day saw this, his eyes glared, and he said with a certain tone, It's really natural, I lie to you as a puppy. As the two talked, there was a sudden commotion in the originally quiet room and at this time a man in a suit stepped into the hall from outside the door. Chairman of the Jane Group. Even to come to the auction in person. It's lively now. Chairman Chen of Century Group is also sitting in front. The person here is not someone else, but Jian Changsheng, the chairman of Jianxi Group, the leading group of real estate industry in Baiyun City. At present, the house is full of celebrities in the real estate industry in Baiyun City, and Jian Changshen's name is even more impressive in the industry. Jian's group is a century-old enterprise in Baiyun City. It is heard that Jian Changsheng took over the Jian's group at the age of 23. Under the leadership of Jane's group, 
it has become more prosperous, and now it has occupied half of the real estate industry in Bayoun City. In recent years, it has gradually penetrated into other industries, and the limelight has not changed. Boss, this person still has the same surname as you. He is called Jian Changsheng. He is the number one boss in the real estate industry in Bayoun City. Bai Zhou apparently did his homework and whispered to Jian Ai at the moment. Jian Ai couldn't help but glance at Jian Chongsheng in that suit, thinking that this is Jian Yiyi's father. Jian Dong, you are here too. At this time, the one in the front row seemed to be an old acquaintance with Jian Chongsheng, and when he saw Jian Chongsheng, he stood up and greeted him with enthusiasm. Dong Chen, it's been a long time. Jian Chongsheng also enthusiastically shook hands when he saw the other party. At this time, Bai Zhou said to Jane again, Chen Lei, the chairman of the Century Group, is also a big-time figure in the real estate industry in Bayoun City. He has competed with Jane's group for many years and the company is strong. The reason why Shirley remembers all these people is because in the future these people will become competitors of their group. This is the truth of the so-called knowing oneself and one another. It was just Jane's eye that Chen Dong felt a little familiar. After a closer look, he suddenly realized that this Chen Lei was the owner of Century Mansion who gave her a 50% discount when she went to the house with her mother's eldest brother a while ago. At that time, it was because Ji Lao accidentally swallowed the jelly and almost suffocated, so he saved Ji Lao by himself. Boss Chen gave himself a 50% discount on the purchase of a house in order to express his gratitude. The earth is really round, and you can see it on such occasions when you go round and round. Today you are bleeding heavily. Jane said suddenly. Today's auction comes from people from big companies. They want to grab meat from these companies, and they will inevitably have a storm. When Bai Zhou heard the words, he smiled indifferently, Hey! there is too much money, I can't spend it all, please help me. Jane's mouth twitched, wishing to slap him to death on the spot. At this time, a man in professional attire quickly walked up to the front stand. When everyone saw this, they silenced their voices, the big screen was turned on, and the lights in the room dimmed. The auction officially begins. After the host came to the stage, he tapped the microphone lightly, checked the equipment, and cleared his throat after seeing that everything was normal, and said, Welcome to today's land auction. This auction is held by the Bayoun City Government. The land auctions are currently owned by the government. Those present here are the backbone of the real estate industry in Bayoun City. I hope you can gain something today and contribute to the construction of Bayoun City. This auction is transparent throughout. Based on the principles of openness, fairness, and justice, the whole process will be legally and compliantly witnessed by the notary of the Haikan District Notary Office. Now I announce that today's auction will officially begin. When the words were over, the large screen in the hall was lit up, and an aerial video of a large area of land began to be played on the screen. What everyone sees now is the number one land of today's auction. The host looked at the screen and introduced to everyone, this land is located in Wanbao district, covering an area of 12,000 square meters, with a huge openable area. This land is in a superior location, adjacent to Marlborough Primary School, Bayoun Railway Middle School, and Bayoun Third Middle School. It is currently the city's largest unused land in the city. The starting price of the land is 25 million, and the bidding starts at 3 million. As soon as the host's voice fell, a representative of the real estate company raised a placard, 28 million, 31 million, 34 million. The bidding is very fierce. The usable area of the 12,000 square meters of this land is very attractive. Such a large area can be fully utilized whether it is to build a commercial area or a residential area. Listening to the crowd bidding in the daytime, I couldn't help but look sideways at Jane AI, and asked in a low voice, Boss, do you want it? Jane A.I. leaned on the chair with her arms around her chest, staring at the aerial video on the screen, and then faintly said, Yes, but wait. From Jane's perspective, this piece of land is simply invaluable, 
because Jane is reborn from the future. She has looked forward to the domestic real estate market for more than 10 years, so she can tell at a glance whether the land has development value. Although this land is located in Wan Bayo district, it is not as prosperous as Haikan district, but Wan Bayo district is famous for its many schools. There are as many as three or four key schools around this land alone, covering elementary, middle and high schools. The value is definitely something these people can't think of now. Just as Jane had expected, the bid was stuck when the bid reached 40 million. There were also whispers in the house. The ground is good, but the location is not ideal. Yes, there are too many schools around, and the city clearly prohibits construction around when students are in school. This is a bit harsh for the development conditions. You can't choose to start construction during the winter and summer vacations, right? Then when will the more than 10,000 square meters of land be completed, and no company can withstand such a consumption? Representatives of some real estate companies feel that the location is not good, especially the development resistance is too great, the reason is that there are too many schools around. At this time, 40 million has been called for the second time. Just as the host was about to drop the hammer, Jian Chong Sheng suddenly raised a card, 43 million. When everyone heard the words, they couldn't help but look up and saw that it was the chairman of the Jane's group. They all understood that this land might be swallowed by a group like Jane's. It's just that before the host had time to count down, Jane AI didn't use much but a voice that everyone could hear slowly said, 46 million. The sound was floating, but it shocked everyone present. Dare to challenge the Jane group? Everyone followed the sound source and looked back but only saw Jane's face indifferent, with a playful smile on the corner of her mouth, and Dehu on the side obediently raised the number plate in his hand. The combination of these two people is really strange, and what makes everyone even more confused is that whether it is Daylight or Jane AI, they are completely new faces for everyone, and no one knows them. Who are these two people? I haven't seen it before, that man's appearance is so eye-catching, if I have seen it. I will remember it. That little girl just asked for the price, right? Isn't this a nonsense? Whispers suddenly sounded, and everyone looked at the two with different eyes, looking and curious. Jian Chong Sheng also looked back with a look of confusion, but the lights in the room were very dim because of the video being played, and Jian Ai and Bai Tian shrank in the corner again. Jian Chong Sheng, who was sitting in the front row, couldn't see the two of them clearly. At this moment, Chen Lei on the side said in a low voice, Jian Dong, this land is worth 50 million yuan. It is not easy to develop. I think you have to think twice. Although Chen Lei's century group and Jian Changshen's Jian's group are rivals, the two of them have a private relationship. What Chen Lei said is really what he thought. In terms of the current real estate market in Baiyun City, Although it is developing steadily, however, the land around this school has always been the most troublesome for developers, because the regulations are there and the construction is really difficult. Jian Chong Sheng is also a bit entangled at this time. The Jian's group has been involved in other industries in recent years. Jian Chong Sheng has always wanted to find a piece of land of tens of thousands of square meters to build a playground in Baiyun City. The plot of land being auctioned is the largest unused plot in Baiyun City. If you miss this plot, there will be nothing else. But when I think about Chen Lei, although this piece of land is very suitable for development as a playground, the current bid price of 46 million has indeed reached a limit. If he increases it, it will inevitably be said that they are bullying by Jane's business. People deliberately raise the bid price. Jian Chong Sheng was hesitating the host over there has already started the countdown. 46 million at a time. 46 million twice. 46 million. Just about to drop the hammer, Jian Chong Sheng struggled in his heart, and hurriedly raised his placard and gritted his teeth, 49 million. This price, Jian Chong Sheng, has made up his mind. Except for the land in Haikan district. There is no other district in Baiyun City that can get this price for the land of 50 million. Just before he could catch his breath, 
Jane barely even thought about it, and then blurted out, 52 million. Seeing this in the day, he slightly curled his lips, revealing a charming smile. It seems that the sect master is determined to win this piece of land. Thinking that these 50 million dollars must have been paid out by himself, Bai Tian suddenly felt that he still had some usefulness, and quickly raised the number plate. Everyone was dumb again, and the gaze looking at Jane Ai at this time was more complicated, more inquisitive. Because everyone can't remember that in the real estate industry in Byun City, apart from the few leading companies, who else can spend so much money to buy a piece of land that is not easy to develop at once? Jian Chong Sheng frowned at the moment, and instinctively felt that the other party was deliberate. The asking price of the land at this time was far beyond the market. It was clear that he was deliberately opposing him. It's just annoyance to annoyance. Jian Chong Sheng has been in the business field for many years. The Jane Group's brilliant achievements today are inseparable from his calmness. And after thinking about it, Jian Chong Sheng wasn't that angry anymore. If this land was not photographed by a powerful company, it would be a hot potato in everyone's hands. Although it is a pity for Jian Chong Sheng to miss such a huge piece of land, the current price does not allow him to care about it. 50 million yuan for a piece of land, if the investment is not appropriate in the later stage, I am afraid that the perennial ditch will capsize and lose money. Lost his blood. Jane Chong Sheng gave up here, and people in other companies naturally understood this truth. The host dropped the hammer after the countdown and said, Congratulations to the bidder on the 13th. After that, the host found the name of the real estate company corresponding to number 13 in the roster on the counter, and then said, Land number one was photographed by Donghai Real Estate for 52 million. Donghai Real Estate? Everyone couldn't help but looked at each other, because they had never heard of it. New company? I don't know. I have never heard of such a company in our city's real estate industry before. It is estimated that it is a newly registered company that can randomly spend 50 million to photograph such a large land. I am afraid that the boss behind it is strong. Not to be underestimated, not to be underestimated. Everyone began to speculate again, because it was indeed the first time I heard about Donghai Real Estate, and now there has just been a wave of limelight and I have to let others take precautions. Jian Chong Sheng and Chen Lei sat in the front row. Although there was no fluctuation in their faces, they all remembered the name of Donghai Real Estate. The auction continues. Lots 2, 3 and 4 are also large plots, but Jane did not make any more purchases. The real estate company has just been established. If she swallows so much land in one bite, she will inevitably take the company. Those who have fallen into criticism have become the public enemy of the entire Byun real estate industry. Therefore, Jane AI is not too greedy, especially since she has already obtained the first land, the appreciation value of this land is undoubtedly the greatest in her heart. Let's bid on lot 5, the host said at this time, it is also the last piece of land in this auction. After all, an aerial video of lot 5 appeared on the screen and the first thing that caught your eye was the Byun City Railway Station. At this time, the host also explained, Land number 5 is located in the center of Haikan District, covering an area of 3,500 square meters. It is adjacent to the Byun Railway Station. The predecessor is the Byun Clothing Wholesale Market. Due to the city planning, wholesale the market was relocated and the land was left unused. The government had demolished the wholesale market building six months ago, and the land is ready to be rebuilt at any time. After introducing the basic situation, the host paused and said, the starting price of the land is 15 million yuan, and the bidding starts at 2 million yuan. The bidding starts. 17 million. 21 million. 25 million. 31 million. The moment the host's words fell, the price of this piece of land directly doubled, and everyone apparently had a strong desire for this piece of land. Not to mention the area of the land in Haikan District, but its superior geographical location, adjacent to the Byun Railway Station, 
is equivalent to the location of the city center. The land at this location is just an inch of gold, and it can be said that it is completely lucky to be able to encounter a piece of unused land. Jane A.I., who had planned to stop making a move, couldn't help but brighten his eyes at this time. The value of this piece of land can be seen at a glance, no wonder it is today's finale. The price soared all the way, and soon reached 40 million. Bai Zhou raised his eyebrows, and turned his head to look at Jane A.I., boss, even if you buy this piece of land, you don't need to do anything. I am afraid it will automatically appreciate in the next two years. Jane A.I. smiled slightly, such a good land, such a good location, no matter what project is developed, it is basically a stable profit. Listening to Jane A.I.'s words, Bai Shi understood her mind, and immediately raised her placard and yelled, 43 million. At this time, the price is already close to the number one land, but the number one land is more than 10,000 square meters, and the area is several times that of the number five land. However, due to its superior location and appreciation space, the price of the number five land is naturally rising. Other companies also understand this truth. The bidding has entered a state of anxiety. Jian Chong Sheng and Chen Lei have also opened up bids. Today's auction has only begun to climax with the bidding for the last piece of land. 51 million. Chen Lei held a placard to bid. Today, the Century Group has so far no grains. Chen Lei is well known in the industry for being cautious. Right now, he is stubbornly clinging to the number 5 land, obviously because he has seen the value of this land. 53 million. Jian Chong Sheng bid again. The price has passed 50 million, and it seems to have come to the one-man show of Jane's and Century. At this time, most of the companies have been discouraged. In the face of such high bidding resistance, it is obviously not enough. 55 million. Bai Zhou joined the battle again, which couldn't help making people from other companies look at him. This person from Donghai Real Estate has just taken a piece of land with more than 50 million yuan and is still robbing this piece of land right now? 100 million of working capital is not a small sum, and it is not so easy for a large group like Jane's. Chen Lei, 57 million. Jian Chong Sheng, 59 million. Bai Zhou, 61 million. The price has risen all the way, except for the three people who are still competing with each other. At this time, everyone else seems to have completely become spectators at this auction. In particular, I was secretly alarmed by Donghai Real Estate's abundant funds, and began to speculate whether this Donghai Real Estate was a company established by a large group from other provinces trying to break into the Bayun city market. Jane A.I. sat on the seat with no expression, as if everything had nothing to do with her. And because of this, Bai Tian followed the bid unscrupulously. As long as the boss didn't say anything, he could safely bid up all the way. 73 million. Jian Chong Sheng opened his bidding again. Everyone was in an uproar upon hearing this, and the price hit a record high at the Bayun City land auction in the past two years. As expected of Jane's group. Chen Lei sighed secretly at the moment. His Century Group has just developed the real estate of Century Mansion. Although the real estate is in good condition, all the units have not yet been sold. The company's capital chain is not sufficient, and 70 million is already available to him. Out of the limit. Jian Dong, I won't fight with you. Chen Lei smiled helplessly and whispered. Jian Chong Sheng heard the words and said politely, then thank Chen Dong. Before the word cut love was uttered, a lazy voice faintly sounded in the hall, 80 million. G.A. Everyone's expressions froze for a while, and the hall fell into a strange silence for a moment. Even the host was stunned, and it took a long time to react and start the countdown. 80 million once. 80 million twice. 80 million three times. Deal. The final word also brought everyone who was stunned on the spot back to God. Everyone looked back but only saw the little girl who shouted 80 million leaning on the chair at random, as if the bidding just now was not based on it was the same from her mouth. 
Jian Chong Sheng was completely dazed at this time, and when he came back to his senses, everything was a foregone conclusion. 80 million. The other party directly added 7 million to his bid. Obviously, he didn't want to play a game that was equal to him and you chased me, but he wanted to seal the upper limit in one bite. At the current market price of the land in Byun City, even if the number 5 land has an excellent location and an inch of gold, it can't reach the sky-high price of 80 million. Thinking about this, we can't blame Jian Chongsheng for being passionate at this time. He just felt that the other party was deliberately fighting against him and against Jian's. Otherwise, why did the two plots he wanted to compete for ended up in the mouth of this company? Rao is someone like Jian Chongsheng who is incapable of anger and anger. At this time, the expression on his face is also a little uncontrollable. Do you think Jane can't spend more money? Get it. But he can't be upset, this is the reason why he can't swallow the breath the most. Chen Lei on the side wanted to laugh a little at the moment. Although this result was unexpected, he could see the Jane group deflated. As an old competitor, he couldn't help but gloat. He thought that this plot of land was Jane Changshen's pockets Haiwu, who knows that Cheng Yejin was killed halfway, and he snatched two pieces of fat from Jane's mouth. At this moment, the Jane group, which has been rampant in the Baiyun real estate industry for several years, could not even think of it at all. Congratulations to bidder number 13. Land number 5 was won by Donghai Real Estate at a bid of 80 million yuan. The host announced loudly that this time the real estate auction had also ended. Everyone walked out of the auction hall with different expressions on their faces. Several companies were happy and others were worried. The so-called wolves are more and less meat. Today there are no less than 20 real estate companies, but the government has only five pieces of land. Now Donghai real estate become the biggest winners both of which were auctioned at sky-high prices for the two largest plots of land with the best location. For this mysterious company born out of the blue, its powerful courage and abundant funds have completely attracted the attention of everyone. So as soon as Bai Shi and Jane left the hall, many representatives from other companies took the initiative to show their favor. The temperament of the day is noble, and he is of extraordinary origin at first glance, so everyone instinctively regards him as the main target, and one after another handed over business cards, hoping to have the opportunity to cooperate in the future. Bai Zhou knew that his role was to hide the true identity of the owner of the door, so he did not refuse to come at the moment, and he was able to deal with each other freely. Soon he had a good chat with representatives of several companies and exchanged business cards. Jane AI left the crowd calmly, but didn't want to look back and see Chen Lei approaching with a smile on his face. Little girl, I didn't expect to meet you here. Chen Lei obviously recognized Jane AI, and immediately stepped forward and smiled. Jane also smiled slightly when she saw Chen Lei. She had already recognized the other person just inside. Since the other person also recognized herself, she also politely said, Uncle Chen, what a coincidence. Chen Lei stood still in front of Jane AI, and looked at Jane AI with a deep look, and then slowly said, Could you tell Uncle Chen about the origin of this East China Sea property? Chen Lei didn't mean anything, he asked openly when he had doubts in his heart. Although Jane AI also asked for a price today, Chen Lei still couldn't connect her a 14-year-old girl with a real estate company that randomly took out 100 million. So the voiceover at this time was actually asking Jane AI about the background of the day. Jian AI couldn't help but look back at the day when she was chatting and laughing with others, then turned to look at Chen Lei and said, Uncle Chen, if you have a chance, you can make an appointment. This olive branch is obvious, and the two have a close relationship. Jian AI first entered the Baiyun real estate industry. If there is a partner with a deep background, things will be smoother. And her first candidate was Chen Lei's Century Group. The two had an intersection first, and the most important thing was that Chen Lei had a good impression on Jane AI. At that time, he only saved Ji Lao out of the mentality of saving people. Chen Lei immediately gave himself a 50% discount on the purchase of a house. 
in return. Businessmen are not profitable, but Chen Lei's approach is full of human touch in Jian Ai's eyes. Such businessmen who are not pure enough have truly understood the true meaning of businessmen. Chen Lei couldn't help being taken aback when he heard the words, but looking at the hint of smile on Jane Ai's face, his heart suddenly became bright, and he couldn't help but smile and nod his head, you little girl, you really gave me a big surprise. Obviously, Chen Lei already knew the identity of Jane Ai. In that case, please ask Uncle Chen to keep it secret for me. Jane said, blinking playfully. Chen Lei smiled and nodded, girl rest assured, uncle is absolutely tight-lipped. As she said, Jane took out her cell phone, Uncle Chen leave a call to me, I will contact you sometime. Okay. Chen Lei took Jane Ai's cell phone and got through his phone, and did not forget to ask, what's the girl's name? Jane Ai noted Chen Lei's phone number as Uncle Chen, and said, Uncle call me Xiao Ai, Ai Cao's Ai. Chen Lei didn't entangle Jane Ai's full name, but felt that such a name made the relationship between the two people unconsciously closer. He immediately noted Jane Ai's mobile phone number as Xiao Ai on the phone. As if suddenly remembering something, Chen Lei looked at Jane Ai and said helplessly, A few days ago, Ji Lao came to my place to hand over the house. I was going to pay off the balance of your house purchase that day. I had to tell him that you had already paid. Because of this, I was scolded by Ji Lao Hao. Ji An Ai couldn't help chuckles when he heard the words. He saved Ji Lao on the same day. Uncle Chen gave her a 50% discount as a thank you. Ji Lao said he would come out for the remaining half. But in the end, Ji An Ai's family did not accept Ji Lao's gratitude and only accepted Chen Lei's 50% discount. Unexpectedly, Ji Lao actually remembered this incident and blamed Uncle Chen for it. My mother served as the general manager of Ji's nightclub. This is already a great boon. And I also said that when the incident happened suddenly that day, I will help other people to save me. There is no picture of Ji. What's the return? Jane said. Chen Lei stared at the words. Then why did you accept my 50% discount? Jane AI couldn't help laughing, G always has something wrong with your sight. If it weren't for me, your sales hall would have killed people. Of course, I accept your gratitude for granted. Seeing what Jian AI said, his head was plausible and plausible, Chen Lei couldn't help laughing at the moment, and shook his head helplessly, You girl, you are a good monkey. The two were talking and laughing, and Bai Shi also pulled out and walked to the two of them at this time. I immediately took a look at Chen Lei, and proactively stretched out his hand, Hello, Chen Dong, I am Dong Hai Real Estate Day. Chen Lei couldn't help but stared at the moment when he heard the words, but he did not forget to stretch out his hand to hold the day, but he said with some surprise, Do you know me? Bai Zhou raised his eyebrows and nodded, and said with a smile, our Donghai real estate entered the Baiyun real estate industry for the first time, so some homework should be done naturally. Chen Lei is clear, the daylight in front of him is extraordinary. Although he looks young and looks a bit coquettish, he has the aura of an invisible superior. When he meets him, even himself can feel it. Pressure Uncle Chen, I have something to do in a while, so I will leave first, and we will contact you by phone. Jane said lightly at the moment. After returning to his senses, Chen Lei smiled and nodded, OK, uncle waits for your call. Without making any other stays, Jane Ai and Bai Shi hurried out of the gate of the city hall. Not far away, Jian Chong Sheng looked at the back disappearing at the door, her frowning brows never stretched out. Today, he can be said to be choking, and he hasn't come up with that tone yet. The abandonment of lot number one makes sense, but the loss of lot number five made Jian Changshen's heart bleeding, and it was a great loss to Jane's estate. The secretary on the side knew that the chairman's mood was not beautiful at this time, so he had to stand on the side with his head shrunk and dare not speak out. Unexpectedly, Jian Changshen suddenly took a long breath and said, Go and check this East China Sea property. 
Resuming calm thinking, Jian Chongsheng knows that the most important thing at the moment is to figure out the origin and background of this company. With such a huge financial support, it will inevitably become an obstacle to the development of Jian's real estate in the future, and we must take preventive measures. The secretary regained his senses and nodded quickly, yes, chairman. In the car, Diane casually flipped through the piles of business cards in his hand, and looked at Jane Ai with a smile, boss, today we were all the limelight. You didn't look at the enthusiasm of those people just now, and almost swallowed me alive. Jane laughed playfully when she heard the words, and joked, perhaps they are because you look good. Hey! Bai Shu looked horrified, and made a shy expression with his hands around his chest, no. Ahem. The driving Chi Yang coughed awkwardly. When did he ever see the always cold master with such expressions and actions? Jane Ai smiled, but did not continue to joke. Instead, she turned her head and said, Today our classmates are celebrating their birthday, we are going to Bianchen Hot Springs for a day. I already know the specific development of these two plots of land. Tonight, I'm planning and calculating. You call the company's senior executives to have a meeting at the company at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. I will talk to you at that time. Bai Zhou also received his expression and nodded, OK, I see. Finally, the car stopped at Baiyun Square, and Jane got out of the car by herself. When the daytime car drove away, Jane raised her eyes and glanced at the big clock in the square. There was still an hour before the time agreed by the few people. I touched my pocket, and there was more than $1,000 that Jane had saved by eating frugally. Most of it was given by her elder brother. Thinking that today is Lin Yi's birthday, Jane took it out and planned to give it to Lin Yi. Buy a gift. Of course, it's impossible for her to spend all of this money, and it's just for emergency needs. Baiyun Square is located in the most prosperous area of Haikan District, surrounded by many shopping malls. It is still early, and Jane Ai walked towards the nearest Wanbo commercial building. After rebirth, this was Jane's first shopping purposefully. Although Baiyun City was prosperous in 2002, there were not many boutiques and shopping malls at this time, and the injection of foreign brands was not comprehensive. 80% of the stores were domestic brands. Video stores can be seen everywhere on the street with posters of popular singer Ren Ziankai pasted in front of the store, and the most popular music is also played on the speakers outside the store. At this time, you still need to buy tapes to listen to music. Even discs are not popular yet. Who would have thought that the internet developed rapidly afterwards, and the disc era emerged but was banned by the internet in just a few years, and the record industry has plummeted. Jian Ai had already thought about what gift to buy for Lin Yi, and went straight to the third floor when she entered the Wanbo shopping mall. Koaihu fountain pen is the yearning of Jane Ai's student days, but she has been reluctant to buy it, because the most basic style is also close to 100 yuan, and Jane has always used a pen for a few dollars. I lost my boss, but Koaihu pen went bankrupt under the impact of the economy and industry. Before coming to the counter, there are various styles of Koaihu fountain pens displayed in the counter, each one seems to be shining brightly, not exquisite. A silver-gray fountain pen broke into Jane's sight at the moment. The pen body was smooth and bright, with a steady matte texture, lying quietly in the gorgeous packaging box, with a price of 299 yuan on the side. This price is equivalent to Jane's current monthly living expenses, but the texture and style of this pen made her think of Lin Yi at a glance, and Jane felt he would like it. Hello, please wrap this pen for me. Jane said to the lady at the counter without hesitation. The lady at the counter took the pen out of the counter when she heard the words, and then smiled and said to Jane Ai, I don't know if you want to give it away or use it for yourself. We just introduced the lettering technology, which can help you use the pen for free engrave the name. Engraving technology has become popular in the internet age, even if you buy a cup online, the shop will ask you if you want to engrave. But at the moment in 2002, this technology is a novelty. 
Jane A.I. thought for a while and nodded, help me engrave a word. He came out of the Wanbo commercial building with the bought gifts, and returned to Byun Square on the same route, and found that Guantao had also arrived early. Xiao A.I. Guantao immediately waved when she saw Jane A.I. Jane swiftly stepped forward, Guantao saw the gift in Jane's hand at a glance, and immediately asked, What birthday gift did you buy for Lin Yi? The packaging bag was specially made by Kuaiya Fountain Pens. Guantao recognized it at a glance. She couldn't help being shocked, Kuaiya Fountain Pens? How much did you spend, Xiao Ai? You can't bear to buy them yourself. Jane Ai thought it was nothing, but thought that everyone was a student and buying a pen was very practical. After all, the soul in her body was no longer the 14-year-old herself. But now Guan Tao's reaction made Jane a little embarrassed. Yes, the Kuaiya fountain pen, which I have never used in my life, was the first time I bought it as a birthday gift for someone else. But when I thought about it, I was relieved, Lin Yi was someone he had crushed in his previous life for three years, and he was worthy of this gift. Jane A.I. smiled indifferently, and casually found an excuse, Lin Yi's family background, ordinary pens are afraid that he will not appreciate it. Guantao nodded in agreement when she heard the words, but thought that Jane would be reluctant to even have a lion head for lunch, but now she bought such an expensive pen for Lin Yi, and she felt a little distressed for her. It's expensive, isn't it? Guan Tao asked with her eyebrows twisted. Jane A.I. smiled relaxedly, it's okay. I can afford it. Upon seeing this, Guantao had to sigh silently in her heart. A while ago, because of the love letter incident, everyone knew that Jane A.I. liked Lin Yi. Although Lin Yi rejected Jane A.I., in Guantao's eyes, Jane A.I.'s move obviously still has feelings for Lin Yi. Of. She didn't feel worthless for Jane, but worried that Jane's efforts would not be responded to. Not long after, an extended Lincoln stopped in front of the two of them, the window rolled down, and Xia King Huan's face came out from inside, Jane A.I., Guantao, get in the car. Through the car window, Jane saw that Lin Yi, Yan Tian and Gao Yang were also in the car, and beside Gao Yang, Yu Menjao was still sitting. The two hurriedly opened the door and got into the car, and then sat down beside Xia Qing Huan. Guantao immediately raised her eyes and looked at the interior of the car, and said with a puzzled expression, Hey, this doesn't seem to be us. The car that was in the second ride. Xia Qing Huan smiled and explained, Last time we rode in Yan Tian's car, today this one belongs to Lin Yi's family. They are all extended Lincolns, the models are the same, but the interior interiors are different. Guantao nodded as if to understand. In the corner next to the car seat, there are several brand name shopping bags, which are obviously birthday presents from Xia Qing Huan and others to Lin Yi. As soon as Jane got on the car, Xia Qing Huan saw the bag in Jane's hand. Looking at Jane A.I. curiously, he asked, Ah, a gift for Lin Yi. It was originally a gift for Lin Yi. Jane A.I. didn't bother, nodded faintly, and handed the gift to Lin Yi, Happy birthday a little bit from Guantao and I. Guantao was shocked when she heard the words, and quickly waved her hand, No, Lin Yi, don't listen to her nonsense. This gift was bought by Jane A.I. and has nothing to do with me. She saw that I didn't buy a gift, so she deliberately did so. Said it. After that, Guantao was a little embarrassed, Lin Yi, I don't have much money, so I didn't buy you a gift. I hope you don't mind. Lin Yi wore a colorful shirt today with a pair of light grey jeans underneath. His new hairstyle is a little shorter than usual, but his face looks better. He smiled slightly and said to Guantao that it was okay, before reaching out to accept Jane A.I.'s gift, and staring at Jane A.I. with his bright eyes for two seconds, before he curled his lips and said in a low voice, Thank you. Yan Tian on the side glanced at the shopping bag and saw that it was Kuai's pen. He couldn't help but glanced at Jane A.I. in shock. In terms of Jane A.I.'s family background, this brand of pen is not cheap. Xia Qing Huan had a straight temper, 
and couldn't help but pull at the corners of Jane A.I.'s clothes, lowered her voice and said, Jane A.I., you are bleeding. Jane A.I. just smiled faintly and didn't say much. 299 was indeed not a small money for an ordinary high school student at the time, but it was not worth mentioning for the few wealthy children in front of him. Several people are surprised because they understand Jane A.I.'s family conditions. Under Xia King Huan's booing, Lin Yi opened Jane A.I.'s gift on the spot, an exquisite silver-gray fountain pen, and Lin Yi found out at a glance that there was a Yi engraved in the middle of the pen body. Lin Yi only felt his heart warm, and the corners of his mouth slightly curled up unconsciously, and his fingers lightly stroked the engraved writing on his body, the expression on his face softened and soft. After a while, Lin Yake raised his head and said to Jane A.I. again, Thank you. Jane raised her eyebrows and responded in a low voice, You like it? I like it very much. Lin Yi said, carefully putting the pen back into the box, and then carefully stuffing it back into the packaging bag. However, instead of putting Jane A.I.'s gift in the corner of the car seat with other people's gifts, he took his backpack and stuffed it into his bag. Lin Yi's series of actions were almost instinctive, without extra thinking. But in the eyes of other people, it doesn't mean it. Yan Tian and Gao Yang looked at each other now, asking what's the situation? I have never seen him so careful with the more than 20,000 watches I gave. Gao Yang pushed the frame on the bridge of his nose expressionlessly, but anyone who knew him knew that once he pushed the frame, it proved that there was a wave in his heart. Xia Ching Huan glanced at Lin Yi even more ambiguously, and then turned to glance at Jian Ai. The emotions were all written on his face. Obviously, he felt that the current state of the two seemed unusual. It's just that no one has made it clear. After all, the current relationship between Lin Yi and Jane Ai is a bit weird. Not long ago, Jane Ai handed Lin Yi a love letter, but was rejected. If a few people talk more at this time, if it's not what they think, wouldn't it make them feel embarrassed and embarrassed again? As the car drove all the way out of the city of Bayun, the street scenery began to change. Because there are many towns and villages around Bayun city, the open land outside the city is basically farmland. At this time, it is the spring plowing season. Is a busy farmer. When the car entered the Bayun Mountain Hot Spring Resort Hotel, the sky was already slightly dark. This hot spring resort hotel was a project developed by Jane's group just last year. I heard that an internationally renowned design planner was invited to carry out a comprehensive transformation. The car slowly stopped in front of the artificial fountain in front of the main building of the resort. Several people got out of the car one after another. Lin Yi left all the gifts in the car and only took the school bag that he carried with him. When I looked up, I saw Jian Yi, who had been waiting for a long time, walking quickly towards them, but when I saw the person next to Jian Yi, everyone's expressions changed slightly. Not someone else, but Li Yunmi. Xia Ching Huan sneered for the first time, obviously angrily, what's the situation with this person? Knowing that Jian Ai and Li Yunmi have a holiday, and bringing her back? I knew it would be unreasonable to give her an arrangement. Lin Yi also saw Li Yunmi, thinking that Li Yunmi had pushed Jane Ai into the pond before, she looked at Jane Ai with some anxiety and worry, and said in a low voice apologetically, I'm sorry, I didn't know she would come. Jian Yi never said hello to me. Of course Jane knew that Lin Yi certainly didn't know about it, and it was Lin Yi's birthday. She didn't want to disappoint everyone because of her own affairs, so she smiled slightly and said she didn't mind, it's okay, since Jane Yi brought her here, it's not easy to isolate people. Despite Jane Ai's words, the expression on Lin Yi's face is still not pretty, and she has some prejudices against Jane Yi in her heart. Jian Yi didn't seem to see the different expressions on everyone's faces, and immediately stepped forward and greeted with excitement, you can count it, I have everything arranged, go check in first. It's hard for everyone to say anything right now, after all, today is Lin Yi's birthday, so I can't ruin such an important day because of Li Yun Mi. Everyone followed Jian Yi into the lobby of the hotel. 
Jian Yiyi still did not forget to introduce to everyone the arrangements for tonight, I have arranged the hot spring villa for everyone. It is the best in the entire resort. We will choose it later. Room, and then go to the restaurant to have dinner together to give Lin Yi a good celebration. After dinner, we can go to the hot springs. Everyone looked different, and no one responded to Jian Yiyi. Jian Yiyi walked ahead, thinking that everyone was acquiescing that her arrangement was perfect, and she couldn't help but feel complacent in her heart. At the front desk, the waiter saw Jian Yiyi quickly and said with a warm smile, Miss Yiyi, have your classmates arrived? Jian Yiyi nodded, it's already here, give me the keys to the villa. Okay, wait a minute. Because this is the property of Jian Yiyi's family, the presence of Jian Yiyi is like turning on the green light. Some unnecessary and tedious procedures are eliminated, and the key is received directly at the front desk. Everyone got on the sightseeing car again and headed for the holiday villa area behind. Guantao has never been to such a high-class place. Even the lawn on the side of the road has been repaired with all kinds of beautiful patterns. You can see all kinds of rockery and fountains everywhere, as well as artistic sculptures that make her dizzy. Xiao Ai, it's really nice here. Guan Tao couldn't help but whispered in Jane's ear and sighed. Jane nodded slightly when she heard the words. She has to say that the resort hot spring developed by Jane's is really good. The overall decoration and design will not be outdated even after 10 years. Especially in this era, the extreme leisure project of hot springs has not been popularized in China. It can be seen that Jane's group does have his unique vision and advanced investment philosophy in the industry. At this moment, Jian Yiyi in the front row suddenly turned around and looked at the two of them and said, Jane Ai and Guantao rarely visit this kind of place. This time, I have to take this opportunity to experience it. Yet, Jian Yiyi said indifferently, with a smile on her face, and others would think she was considerate and thoughtful when she looked at it. But the implication of this is not to let them cherish the opportunity, otherwise they may not have this kind of treatment in the future. Sure enough, Li Yunmi on the side couldn't help but sneered when he heard the words, and said with disdain, Yi, you are too kind, if it weren't for you, some people would never know what it's like to bathe in hot springs for a lifetime. At the moment, Jane's eyes darkened, raised her eyes to look at Li Yunmi and said unceremoniously, Lin Yi invited us to come, what does it have to do with Jian Yi? Some people come here uninvited and their cheeks are really thicker than the city wall. Jane A. Ben didn't want to cause trouble, after all, today is Lin Yi's birthday, but some people just like to send their mother thousands of miles, chasing her for scolding. Who came here uninvited? You said who came here uninvited? Li Yun Mi became angry and glared at Jane A. I. She herself was aggrieved because Lin Yi invited Jane A. I. and Guan Tao on her birthday without inviting her and later learned that Yi Yi would also come and begged Yi Yi to follow. Unexpectedly, Jane Ai was stabbed in the sore spot in public, and Li Yun Mi naturally couldn't help but jump her feet. Seeing this, Jian Yi Yi quickly jumped out to be a peacemaker, with an anxious expression on his face, soothed, Don't quarrel, Xiaomei was brought by me. I'm sorry I didn't notify you before. I also think that everyone is classmates, come out to play and promote. What about feelings? Having said that, I don't forget that Chu Chu looked at Lin Yi pitifully and blinked his big eyes, Lin Yi, you won't mind, do you? Jian Yi said it all, even if Lin Yi minded it, he couldn't speak to her face. On the contrary, Xia Ching Huan was a little impatient at the moment, well, today is Lin Yi's birthday, no one should disturb the situation because of yourself. After that, Xia Ching Huan glanced at Li Yun Mi intentionally, and said, Please keep it in your heart even if some people feel upset, it will be no good for everyone to fall out. Li Yun Mi was angry, and Xia Ching Huan was also angry with her yin and yang at the moment. She was not in the invitation list, so she couldn't hold her face even more. She was about to speak, but she didn't want to be pulled at the corner of her clothes privately by Jian Yi. Xiaomei, 
you just say a few words. Jian Yiyi now regrets bringing Li Yunmi here. She finally got this opportunity. She thought that she could take this opportunity to get close to Lin Yi and increase her goodwill in Lin Yi's heart, but she didn't want to be Li Yunmi at the beginning of the show. It was messed up. The atmosphere fell into embarrassment for a while, but fortunately the car stopped at this time. Jian Yiyi instantly regained his excitement and greeted everyone, Get off the car, everyone, here we are. In front of you is a four-story European-style villa with a creamy white appearance and luxurious atmosphere. The living room on the first floor is a huge floor-to-ceiling window, through which you can see the gorgeous decoration inside. There is also an artificial swimming pool outside the villa, and the open spaces on all sides are neatly manicured lawns, and the view is extremely wide. Because of its high location, you can see the beautiful night view of the resort hotel when you look down. Everyone swept away the haze just now, and was immediately attracted by the villa in front of them and the surrounding scenery. Yes. Yan Tian raised his eyebrows immediately and walked to Lin Yi and said, It seems that Jian Yi really used his mind. We may not be able to book a villa in such a good location. Lin Yi didn't respond to Yan Tian's words, but instinctively looked back at Jane Ai. At this time, Jane Ai was taking pictures of Xia Ching Huan and Gu Tao with the camera Xia Ching Huan had brought. Her gentle profile was very soft, and the corners of her mouth were full of smiles. In this way, Lin Yi breathed a sigh of relief. For some reason, Jane's mood began to affect his heart unconsciously. As long as Jane Ai is happy, he can be at ease. Seeing everyone smiling again, and seeming to be very satisfied with the accommodation she arranged, Jian Yi also let out a long sigh of relief, secretly saying that she was able to turn the tide in time, otherwise the meticulous preparations afterwards would be wasted. Everyone took some photos outside, and then followed Jian Yi into the villa. The decoration of the entire villa is very European and retro, and the oil paintings and wall carvings can be seen everywhere, making people feel like being in a palace. Even the wine glasses placed on the coffee table are made of white porcelain, which is very luxurious and solemn. The guest rooms are on the third and fourth floors. Let's take a break first. Jian Yi arranged the itinerary for everyone like a tour guide. Then he glanced at Lin Yi shyly, and then said, Later I will a birthday party was specially arranged for Lin Yi. This is very ambiguous to other people's ears, even Lin Yi frowned awkwardly when he heard it. It seemed that it was not that he invited everyone to play on his birthday, but that Jian Yi was celebrating his birthday. Even Li Yunmi glanced at Jian Yi in surprise, wondering if Jian Yi would also like Lin Yi, right? Thinking about it this way, Li Yunmi's heart was like being blocked by something, there was already a Jane Ai, and now even her good girlfriend would come out to grab Lin Yi with herself. Jane Ai seemed to have heard something funny. She couldn't help but chuckled, I didn't like him anymore. Clam. Xia Ching Huan and Gu Tao looked dumbfounded at the same time. Then I saw Xia Ching Huan sitting up straight and looking at Jane Ai, with a look of disbelief, You don't fight with us here, haha, don't you like him, you buy him such an expensive pen? Still engraving on the pen, who would you tell me? Believe it. Gu Tao also nodded again and again and didn't you just confessed it a while ago? It's only a few days, so I don't like it anymore. The two looked at Jane Ai as if they were forcing a confession, obviously not believing Jane's words. The main thing is that these things happened recently, even if it is possible to change or to transfer love, it is not so fast, right? But Jian Ai smiled helplessly at the two of them at the moment, then changed her expression, and said with a straight face, I seriously said, I really don't like Lin Yi anymore. He is fine, there is no problem, it is my problem. What's your question? Xia Ching Huan and Gu Tao said in unison. Jane Ai sighed quietly, just, suddenly no more feeling. I just found an excuse, I can't say that I have already lived once, this time I am reborn and live in my body with a 26-year-old soul? That doesn't scare people to death. 
Looking at Jane Ai's sincere attitude, it doesn't seem like a joke. Xia Ching Huan and Guan Tao couldn't help but glance at each other, and then only saw Xia Ching Huan squinted at Jane Ai, and asked vigilantly, What are you saying is true? Jane Ai nodded without hesitation. She admits that all the advantages of Lin Yi are indeed worthy of being liked. But now things are nonsense, she is no longer the 14 year old herself. Okay. Xia Ching Huan sighed, although it is a pity, because she instinctively thinks that Lin Yi and Jane Ai are a good match, especially since Lin Yi's attitude towards Jane Ai has changed a lot recently, so she always feels that the two are still playing. But now I'm afraid that Lua Hua deliberately flows ruthlessly, these two still missed it. That's okay, otherwise there will be Li Yunmi in the front and Jian Yi in the back. You are the enemy, and you won't be eaten raw by the two of them. Xia Ching Huan said, actually trying to find an excuse to comfort her suddenly lost heart. Guan Tao also took a deep breath. She happened to be the opposite of Xia Qing Huan's thoughts. In her heart, she really hoped that Jane Ai could forget Lin Yi, and it was enough to stay on the level of her friends from now on. To put it bluntly, Lin Yi is too perfect, there are many suitors like catkins in the sky, she is afraid that Jane will be wronged for this. What's more, Jane Ai has been rejected by Lin Yi once. Well, you two can rest assured, I really have nothing to do. Seeing the two of them frowning, Jane raised her hands in a gesture of surrender. At this time, in the innermost guest room on the fourth floor, Lin Yi was leaning against the bed, playing with the pen that Jane Ai gave him. Seeing his name engraved on the pen, Lin Yi felt warm in his heart, and Jane's face unconsciously appeared in his mind. Lin Yi was a little regretful, why didn't he notice Jane Ai's difference earlier, and he turned down her, it was stupid. At this time, Lin Yi seemed to finally face his own heart and his feelings about Jane Ai changed unknowingly. Although it was only less than two weeks, the change was so huge that he had nowhere to dodge. He admitted that he liked Jane Ai. Lin Yi, went to the restaurant for dinner. Yan Tian's voice suddenly sounded outside the door, Lin Yi suddenly recovered, and hurriedly stuffed the pen in his hand under the pillow. In the next second, Yan Tian opened the door and probed in, I'm leaving Lin Yi waiting for you. Lin Yi stabilized his mood a little, then nodded and said, OK, here it is. Jian Yi had booked the best private room in the restaurant a long time ago, and a dedicated waiter was in charge of the reception. Even the dishes for today's birthday banquet were decided by Jian Yi. People who didn't know really thought she was Lin Yi's girlfriend. When everyone was seated in turn, Jian Yi looked at everyone and said, there are six restaurants in the resort. Now everyone is in a western restaurant, and the French chef is invited. I'm here for the first time. I don't know how it tastes. As soon as the voice fell, the door of the private room was pushed open from the outside, and then one after another waiters in black and white overalls were seen coming in one after another, each with a picturesque dish in their hands. Charcoal grilled and lightly fried French sweet duck. Please use it slowly. Baked wild boar back tenderloin with honey and white vinegar, please use it slowly. Cook deep sea cod in aged Russian sour soup with small peppers, please use it slowly. Half cooked Kobe veal with pearl sweet rice, please use it slowly. Every time a dish is served, the waiter will professionally report the name of the dish, and politely say please take your time. The ingredients used in this restaurant are all world-famous ingredients, and each dish is made with a rich aroma and exquisiteness, which is very valuable at first glance. Guantao has never eaten Western food. In her cognition, Western food is just steak pasta. Where can I see these strange ingredients, even the name is so long. Even other people who are used to Western food can't help but secretly smack their tongues at this time. Jian Yi's arrangement is really careful. Obviously, every dish is carefully selected. Indeed, in order to win a good impression in front of everyone, especially in front of Lin Yi, Jian Yi really took a lot of thought in arranging this dinner. Seeing the expressions on everyone's faces, Jian Yi was unavoidably proud. 
she had been studying abroad for a year and had eaten a lot of rare food, which is now in handy. Finally, the box door opened, and two waiters pushed in a huge three-tier cake with candles inserted in the cake, and there was a small stereo at the back of the cart playing a happy birthday song. Everyone was obviously taken aback at the moment, didn't expect Jian Yi to order a birthday cake? Of course you can't miss the cake for your birthday. The sense of ritual is still necessary. Jian Yi smiled sweetly and looked at Lin Yi and said, Lin Yi, make a wish. Everyone's eyes were on Lin Yi at this time. Lin Yi had a heartbreak. He didn't think about this link. But since Jian Yi has ordered the cake, he can't refute her face, and it's his birthday. Jian Yi also really bothered. When he got up and walked to the cake, Lin Yi closed his eyes slightly, his appearance was pious, and when he opened his eyes, if there was a seemingly non-existent look at Jane Ai, he blew out the candle on it in one breath. When everyone saw this, they applauded and said happy birthday to Lin Yi. At this moment, Jian Yi took out a beautiful box from nowhere and handed it to Lin Yi. His face was reddish and his tone was soft and said, Lin Yi, I wish you a happy birthday. Lin Yi was taken aback. It seemed that Jian Yi had specially prepared a birthday gift for him. Somehow, he accepted all the gifts from other people, including Jane Ai's. But at this time, facing Jian Yi's gift, his heart was inexplicable. Some resistance. Unknowingly, Jian Yi handed the gift forward again, Open it and see if you like it or not. Everyone couldn't help looking at Lin Yi at the moment, wondering whether he would accept this gift or not. Lin Yi hesitated for a moment, and finally looked at Jian Yi and said, Today you have already helped a lot. Let's forget the gift, thank you. Still refused. Lin Yi didn't have a prejudice against Jian Yi, but felt that Jian Yi had just transferred to another school and the two people knew each other in just a few days. Today's arrangement is very careful and thoughtful, and he is very grateful. But Lin Yi still inevitably felt awkward, and seemed to feel that Jian Yi's enthusiasm for him exceeded the relationship they should have. Jian Yi's gesture of holding the gift froze in place, everyone's eyes were focused on her at this time, but Lin Yi so bluntly rejected her gift, and Jian Yi, who had a strong self-esteem, suddenly seemed a bit at a loss. His face turned red all of a sudden. It's not shy, it's shameless. But, I have already bought. Jian Yi was a little aggrieved, and her voice was a little bit crying. Li Yunmi watched everything on the sidelines, and gritted her teeth one last time and said, Lin Yi, Yi Yi is a gift specially bought for you. Right now you don't accept it, and it's too shameful. Xiaomei, don't say that. Jian Yi pursed her lips and glanced up at Lin Yi, then said with a sad expression, Maybe I'm too passionate, everyone actually doesn't treat me as a friend. When it comes to this, if Lin Yi doesn't give in at this time, I'm afraid it won't end up at all. Yan Tian at the side also felt that it was just a gift, representing the wishes of others. Today is Lin Yi's birthday again, and it is reasonable to accept it. Hit Lin Yi with his arm, and whispered, Brother, take it, Jian Yi is almost crying. Lin Yi sighed, his instinctive reaction was to look up at Jane Ai, and saw Jane Ai standing in the corner of the corner with a faint expression. It seemed that there was no extra response. Lin Yi reached out and took it, that thank you. Seeing that Lin Yi had taken it, Jian Yi instantly became excited again, and said quickly, Open it and take a look. Lin Yi didn't want to be embarrassed anymore, so he could only follow Jian Yi's words and opened the box under everyone's attention. When everyone saw the gift in the box, their breathing was stagnant, and they were all dumbfounded. This. Yan Tian blinked awkwardly. In the exquisite packaging box, there is a vermilion pen lying quietly, and a dark yellow gemstone is inlaid on the holding pen. Lin Yi recognized this brand at a glance. It was his commonly used pen brand. A pen was priced at around 10,000 yuan, and this pen was also embedded with a gem, and the price could only be more expensive. I'm going, what's the situation? 
Xia Qinghuan rolled his eyes at the moment. And everyone returned to their senses, and instinctively raised their eyes to look at Jane Ai. Obviously, Jane Yi Yi and Jane Ai had a gift, both are pens. Is it very popular to give pens these days? Yan Tian muttered with puzzlement. Gun Tao also gave a dry cough in unbearable embarrassment. And Jian Yi didn't feel the abnormality of the people, and looked at Lin Yi with a dazed face and said, I think the pens in your pen case are all of this brand. I guess you might like it very much. This brand of fountain pen. This is a newly released global limited edition, with only 12 and 12 colors. I wanted to buy you a royal blue or black one, but it was a pity that they were ordered in advance. Jian Yi has a look of regret. The atmosphere fell into an inexplicable embarrassment once again, and Xia Qinghuan quickly blinked at Yan Tian and gave him a hint. Upon seeing this, Yan Tian hurriedly greeted everyone, the dishes are cold, everyone quickly sit down and eat. Everyone felt that the atmosphere was subtle, and they all sat back on their seats after hearing the words. Jane didn't respond much from the beginning to the end. Even if she just saw that the pen that Jane Yi Yi gave Lin Yi just now, it was just a little accidental. There are no other extra emotions. It was mainly Jane who knew that Jane Yi Yi's collision with her was purely an accident, and the other party didn't know that she had also given a pen, so no one was wrong about this matter. But the reaction of others was too exaggerated. Jane Ai was only a classmate with Lin Yi but the reaction of everyone at the moment is that there is no silver or three hundred tails. A pen instantly made Jian Yi the protagonist on the dining table. Based on the degree of familiarity between her and Lin Yi, whether it was everything arranged for Lin Yi tonight, or the expensive birthday gift she gave out at the end, it was beyond the established range of the relationship between the two. Jian Yi Yi's motives can also be described as Sima Zhao's heart, and passers-by are well aware of it. Lin Yi is not a fool, and now I feel that Jian Yi Yi's excessive enthusiasm for him is definitely not groundless. But he couldn't give any response, because he already knew that he liked Jane Ai at this time. Everyone had different moods, and they ate a meal silently, as if Jane Ai was the only one who was seriously tasting such a delicious meal. After two lives, Jane also had to admire the dinner that Jane Yi Yi arranged tonight. The dishes tasted the world's top. After coming out of the dining room, Lin Yi deliberately fell behind, leaned close to Jane Ai, opened his mouth, and looked like he wanted to talk but stopped. Jane Ai turned her head and glanced at him, then chuckled amusedly, Why is this expression? Just say something. Lin Yi raised his eyes and glanced at Jian Yi, who walked in front to explain to everyone about the hot springs for a while then pursed his lips and whispered, I still like the pen you gave. Jane raised her eyebrows involuntarily when she heard the words, but Lin Yi turned away a little shyly. I also think the one I gave is not as valuable as Jane Yi Yi, but it is more suitable for you. Jane Ai said softly. Lin Yi frowned when he heard the words and turned to look at Jane Ai. What she said just now was ambiguous enough, did she really not understand, or did she deliberately? I didn't mean that, I mean. Lin Yi was halfway through, but was forcibly interrupted by Jane Ai. Jane suddenly speeded up and turned to Lin Yi and said, Hurry up, everyone is waiting for us. Lin Yi looked up and saw that everyone had indeed boarded the sightseeing bus. With a sigh, he swallowed the confession that he was about to blurt out. Bianchen Hot Spring is not a natural hot spring. Several hot springs are artificially developed. However, today when entertainment projects are scarce, this kind of artificial hot spring is only an item that can be enjoyed by the rich. Tangchi is divided into male and female soups, so a few people are divided into two teams outside the locker room. In the dressing room, Lin Yi took off his shirt. The obvious outline of the pectoralis major and six-pack ABS showed no signs of leakage. He grabbed his clothes into a ball and threw them into the cabinet with some irritability. Yan Tian and Gao Yang couldn't help but glance at each other when they saw this. They didn't know what Lin Yi was smoking. Obviously it was fine just now. Yan Tian winked at Gao Yang, 
Gao Yang raised his hand and took off his glasses when he saw this, and walked to Lin Yi shirtlessly, but before he could speak, Lin Yi locked the cabinet door and turned to the hot spring. Go to the entrance. Lin Yi rarely loses his temper inexplicably. Yan Tian and Gao Yang can't help but stay where they are. You look at me, I look at you, don't know what happened. What's the matter? We didn't recruit him. Yan Tian said as he walked up naked, frowning and looking at the hot spring entrance. Gao Yang took off his watch and said softly after hearing the words, Today's dinner atmosphere is not right, probably because of Jian Yiyi's relationship. Hey! Yan Tian curled his lips, isn't this a good thing? In my opinion, with so many people chasing after Lin Yi, Jian Yiyi is the best condition. Regardless of appearance, temperament, or family background, I feel like Lin Yi it's the best match. Yan Tian thought this in his heart, and a girl Jian Yi had acted so proactively. Everything that was arranged today, and he gave such a valuable gift, he was obviously confessing in disguise. It would be a happy change to be another boy. It's ears from ear to ear. I don't know what Lin Yi is making awkward. Gao Yang raised his eyes and glanced at Yan Tian faintly, can't you really tell? What? Yan Tian frowned, wondering what Gao Yang meant. Gao Yang shook his head helplessly, secretly saying that Yan Tian had a simple mind and well-developed limbs. Tisk! Yan Tian raised his eyebrows impatiently, and raised his hand to pat Gao Yang's ass, say, what's the point of selling? Gao Yang hated people slapped his the most, and immediately stared. If Yan Tian hasn't seen it, he urges urgently, what the do you mean, hurry up. Gao Yang glared at him irritably, and then said flatly, Lin Yi likes Jane Ai. Oh. Yan Tian was taken aback, and then he waved his hand in disbelief, impossible, absolutely impossible. Gao Yang didn't talk about it anymore. Lin Yi had just rejected Jane Ai before, and Yan Tian asked if Lin Yi had feelings for Jane Ai in the game hall a few days ago. Lin Yi also denied it at the time, no wonder Yan Tian would not believe it at this time. But Gao Yang believed in his own instincts. After Jane Ai appeared today, he saw Lin Yi's every move and the look in his eyes when he looked at Jane Ai. No. Yan Tian couldn't turn around by himself, then looked at Gao Yang and said, Why is Jane Ai? I admit, she is beautiful, but other than that? Don't you think she is all weird is it weird? Gao Yang took off his underwear and said without raising his head, you have a prejudice against Jane Ai. Not an interrogative sentence, but an affirmative sentence. Since Jane asked Lin Yi to have lunch for a month, Yan Tian has always had a grudge against Jane Ai. Don't talk to me. Yan Tian said with a straight face, I am friendly enough to her now because of Ching Huan. Let's talk about Jane Ai alone. Tell the truth, you don't think she is weird. Is it? No. Gao Yang wrapped a bath towel, leaving two words faintly, ignoring Yan Tian and walking to the hot spring. Okay, you all like her. I'm the only one who doesn't like her. I have a prejudice against her. Yan Tian said with a look of lovelessness. In the soup pool, Lin Yi leaned her head on the shore, soaking her body in the hot spring, showing only half of her strong chest muscles. He raised his head slightly, the towel covered the upper part of his face, no one could see his expression at this time. He was in a mess, Lin Yi had a lot of emotions stuck in his chest at this time, but he couldn't find an output point. Not because of Jian Yi, nor because of anyone else. It was only because at this time he was finally able to face his feelings for Jane, but he felt that Jane was pushing him out. He can clearly feel the invisible sense of distance between the two of them. At night, the east wind blew up on Byun Mountain, and the leaves of the woods on the top of the mountain were ringing non-stop. Because of the hot springs she took in the evening, Jane felt that her body was much more relaxed. At this time, she was wearing a bathrobe and was standing in front of the window of the room making a phone call. The host, I have made arrangements at the hospital, don't worry. Said the day on the other side of the phone. 
Jian Ai breathed a sigh of relief when she heard the words, and the stone in her heart also fell to the ground, Thank you, Day. Thank you Jain Ai for the truthfulness. For her, only when her mother's illness is resolved can she really do other things in a down-to-earth manner. It's just that what Sher Hao heard in his ears made him particularly frightened, the master of the door is serious, these are all within our ability. First is the day and then the Xiaoyu. Even if Jane is not accustomed to their overly respectful attitude towards herself, she has to accept it. The distinction between respect and inferiority seems to have been deeply ingrained in their hearts, and cannot be changed by one or two words. Jane A.I. had no choice but to change the conversation, and talked about the company, have you got the title deeds for those two pieces of land? I got it. Now these two pieces of land have been officially transferred to our company. Very well, we will have an in-depth discussion on the specific matters when we have a meeting tomorrow afternoon. It is late, so let's rest early. Jane A.I. looked up at the night and closed the curtains. Good night, Master. Good night. After hanging up the phone, Jane went directly to bed. The bed in the resort hotel was soft and comfortable, in a trance. Jane felt as if she had returned to the high-end apartment in the capital in her previous life. Sue was a little tired today, and coupled with a comfortable bed, Jane fell asleep in a short time. I don't know how long it has been, Jane in her sleep only felt the smell of snorting smoke from her breath. Before she opened her eyes, a harsh and impatient alarm bell suddenly sounded in the villa. Ling ling ling, ling ling ling. Jane A.I. opened her eyes abruptly only to find that there was a puff of smoke in her room at this time, almost obscuring her vision. Ahem! Unprepared to prevent a puff of smoke, Jane A.I. coughed violently, and subconsciously reacted in her heart, secretly making a terrible cry and catching fire. Quickly turned over and got out of bed, Jane didn't even wear any clothes, and rushed out of the room wrapped in a bathrobe. As soon as the door opened, a large swath of smoke pounced on her engulfing Jane in an instant. It's on fire, everyone, run away. In the smoke filled with smoke, only Xia King Huan's voice came from not far away. The door opened sounded one after another, and the girls on the third floor quickly ran to the corridor. Although the smoke was thick, they could barely see the situation. Jane A.I. sensed the temperature coming from the ground, and immediately used the perspective to look down but saw that the fire on the second floor was fierce and spreading towards the third floor. What? Li Yunmi, who was the first to rush to the top of the stairs and wanted to go down, screamed. At this time, nothing was visible downstairs, only the blazing fire. The boys on the fourth floor also rushed down at this time, everyone was choked with tears, but the fire downstairs was too fierce and several people couldn't escape from the stairs rashly when they couldn't see the situation clearly. What to do, the fire is burning to the second floor, we can't go down. Yu Menjao cried out in shock at this time. No one had encountered such a situation before, and at this time the situation could not allow everyone to calmly think about it, and all of them had no idea for a while. Seeing the smoke thicker and thicker, if you don't evacuate in time, everyone will be smoked to death. Everyone follow me and go to Jian Yiyi's room. At this moment, Jane A.I.'s voice suddenly sounded, and she was the first to run towards Jane Yiyi's room in the innermost corridor. The others had long since lost their backbone. Someone suddenly stood up to give orders, and whether or not the person was Jane A.I., they followed her to Jane Yiyi's house. Fortunately, Jian Yiyi just closed the door when she came out and she was in the innermost part of the corridor. At this time, the smoke inside was not dense. Everyone rushed in, Jane A.I. said to the last Yan Tian who came in, close the door. With that said, he ran to the window again and opened the window. The wind blew in with fresh air. Everyone was almost suffocated just now, and they ran to the window to breathe. Jane A.I. was the coolest of all at this time. At the moment, she didn't want to talk about other things. She grabbed the sheets on the bed and tore off the quilt. She quickly tied the knot. When everyone saw this, 
they instantly understood Jane's intentions, and quickly reached out to help. This is the third floor. As long as these things can be 15 meters long, we can land safely. Jane AI still maintained a high level of calm at this time, but did not forget to appease the others, don't be afraid, we will be fine. Of. The villa is located on the heights of Bayoun Mountain Hot Springs. A fire at this time will definitely attract the attention of the hotel staff. But Jane remembered that when they went up the mountain, the sightseeing car was not wide, and it was no easy task for the fire truck to get up. So she can't sit still, she must find a way to escape. And everyone was also a little settled because of Jane AI's calmness and eagerness. The smoke outside the door became thicker and thicker, rushing in from the gap in the door frame. Seeing this, Jane hurriedly said to Xia Ching Huan, Ching Huan, go to the bathroom and get the towel wet and block it under the door. After hearing this, Xia Ching Huan rushed into the bathroom and saw that there was no water in Jian Yiyi's bathtub, so she threw two towels in, picked up and rushed out quickly. According to Jane AI's statement, the door was blocked with a wet towel, and the thick smoke below couldn't come in, but the thick smoke on the top of the door couldn't stop. There is no way, one place is one place. All the things that can be used in the house were used, and several boys also took off their pajamas and put them on. Seeing that the length was enough, Jane tied one end firmly to the foot of the bed. Let's do it together and throw the mattress down the window. Jane AI said to the others. What are you throwing the mattress for? The rope is already connected, let's go down. Li Yunmi was still terrified, she just wanted to leave here quickly, she couldn't help crying now. What's more, she really couldn't figure out why she would throw the mattress down at this time. The boy seemed to know Jane's intentions, and stepped forward and pushed the bed to the window. Fortunately, the window was big enough. The boys lifted the mattress together and threw it down when they turned it over. Unbiased, it just fell on the open space under the window. One end of the manually connected rope was tied to the foot of the bed, and the other end was thrown down the window. Just as Jane had expected, the end of the rope was still four or five meters away from the ground. In addition to their bodies, their feet will be nearly two meters above the ground. But fortunately, there is a mattress underneath. Even if you jump down, the distance of two meters will not cause any harm. Yan Tian is the strongest and most muscular. Jane AI immediately looked at Yan Tian and said, You go down first, and then you will be responsible for picking up people. Me. Yan Tian was a little surprised, as if she didn't expect Jane AI to be the first one to go down. Oh, don't ditch it, let you go as you go. Xia Ching Huan urged impatiently. Now that there is no room for wasting time, Yan Tian took a deep look at Jane, then climbed up the window, grabbed the rope and slid down quickly. In the blink of an eye, Yan Tian landed safely. Everyone sighed with relief when they saw this, and this method was indeed feasible. Everyone sees it, just follow Yan Tian's method just now and slide down one by one. There is a mattress underneath. Yan Tian will also help pick up people. It's safe, don't be afraid. When the words were over, everyone went on the windowsill one by one. When the east wind started at night, the fire seemed to be stronger under the influence of the wind. Jane AI inadvertently used a perspective to see that the fire had already spread to the third floor. The smoke in the room was getting thicker, and when the high sun went down, the other things in the room could not be seen clearly. The only thing we knew was that only Jane AI and Lin Yi were left in the room at this time. The others who had gone down looked up to Jian Yi Yi's room on the third floor, only to see a large amount of thick smoke coming out of the window, but did not see the two of Jian AI and Lin Yi coming down. Xiao AI Xiao AI Lin Yi Lin Yi Gun Tao and Yan Tian called out loudly from below, but they still didn't see anyone, or even responded. An eager footstep came from afar, and the staff of the resort was late. Xia Ching Huan rushed forward when she saw this. The leader was shocked when she saw the grey-faced girl in front of her, 
but Xia Ching Huan grabbed him before she could ask the situation. Xia Ching Huan started crying anxiously, help me, inside. There are two more people, please save them. At this time in the villa, Jane relied on the mental method to form a protective layer to protect herself, but the person had already appeared on the fourth floor of the villa. Lin Yi. Lin Yi. While Jane Ai called Lin Yi's name, she opened the door one by one to search, but she never saw Lin Yi's shadow. Just after the high sun went down, Jane planned to let Lin Yi go first, but the smoke in the room was so smoky that she couldn't see the situation at all. She shouted twice without getting Lin Yi's response. Only then did she take a deliberate look at the door. It has been opened, and Lin Yi is nowhere to be seen. Worrying about Lin Yi's accident, Jane Ai had no choice but to protect her body carefully, and rushed into the smoke-filled villa to find him. Until I came to the innermost room on the south side of the fourth floor, the door of the room was wide open, and Lin Yi just fell straight on the carpet in front of the bed, apparently because of excessive smoke inhalation, I don't know if he was dizzy or dead. Lin Yi Jane was taken aback, and hurriedly stepped forward to drag Lin Yi's head, but saw that Lin Yi's choked face was full of tears, and his white face was also covered in soot, but fortunately, her chest was still undulating. It's good if people don't die. Jane Ai walked to the window and opened the window of Lin Yi's room to look down. This direction was opposite to Jian Yi Yi's room, and just below was the villa's open air swimming pool. Before she could think about it, Jane Ai stepped forward, using her mind to easily stand up Lin Yi. It's just that before Jane Ai moved, Lin Yi, who still had a trace of consciousness, suddenly let out a weak voice, under the pillow. Jane Ai paused, turned her head to look at Lin Yi, condensed her eyebrows, Lin Yi, what did you say? Under the pillow, pen. Mu Yao was startled when she heard the words, then turned her head and looked under the pillow on the bed. A silver grey pen was lying there quietly, isn't it the one he gave to Lin Yi? Mu Yao seemed to be hit hard by something in her heart. This fool, so desperate for life and death, was it for this pen? The wind was getting stronger, and the fire engulfed the third floor in an instant by the east wind. The smoke was everywhere and the fire blazed into the sky. The people in front of the villa were crying for help, but at this time the sea of fire had already swallowed Jian Yi Yi's room, and everyone joined forces. The rope that was made was also bitten by the tongue of fire, and fell down swayingly. Jane Ai Lin Yi Everyone shouted the names of the two with their voices dumb and refused to give up, but at this moment despair was already over their hearts. Looking at the villa raged by the sea of flames, even if they didn't believe it, Jane Ai and Lin Yi were already fierce. Good luck. Puff. Just as everyone's hearts were ashamed, a clear sound of falling into the water suddenly sounded. Everyone's expressions were stagnant, and they reacted almost at the same time, and ran towards the swimming pool behind the villa. Lin Yi. Jane Ai. Yan Tian was the first to rush to the pool and saw Jane Ai dragging Lin Yi, who was unconscious, to swim to the edge. At the moment, it was a dive and jumped down and swam quickly to help. When other people saw this, they rushed to the swimming pool to extend their hands to help, and soon pulled the two wet body ashore. Xiao Ai, are you okay, you scared me to death. Guan Tao's scared soul was gone. Seeing Jane Ai safe and sound, she couldn't help crying while holding Jane Ai for a while. Jane Ai was panting, shaking coldly because of her soaking body, but she didn't have time to take care of herself right now, instead she patted Guantao like a soothing, I'm fine, don't worry. After he finished speaking, he turned to other people and said, Is the ambulance coming? Lin Yi inhaled excessive smoke and had to be sent to the hospital immediately. Everyone looked at Jian Yi Yi with all their gazes. This is her resort hotel. There is such a big event now that the fire truck or the ambulance cannot be seen. Jian Yi Yi was still in shock at this time, and didn't react violently until he felt everyone's eyes, the resort has a medical room with complete equipment. Let's send Lin Yi there first. 
The first car to arrive at the scene was not a fire truck or an ambulance, but a hotel sightseeing car. Everyone got on the sightseeing bus and headed towards the medical room that Jian Yi Yi said under the mountain. As Jian Yi Yi said, the hotel's medical facilities were not bad. Lin Yi was pushed into the emergency room at the first time, and Jian Ai calmly took advantage of the attention of others, and stuffed the pen that almost killed Lin Yi into a coma. Lin Yi's hands. Under the arrangement of the staff, several people were taken to a suite in the main building. At the moment, everyone hasn't slowed down. They don't have the joy of the rest of their lives, but the fears from their hearts will not dissipate for a long time. What happened tonight was too sudden, the fire was fierce and the east wind started at night, and there were too many uncontrollable factors. Most of them are 14 to 5 year old children, and they have never experienced such a scene. After all, if it hadn't been for Jane AI to stand up and instruct everyone to escape, these people would have died in the villa at this time. And just as everyone was still in a state of despair, the sound of water from the shower suddenly came from the bathroom of the suite. Everyone was startled, and suddenly raised their heads. Taking a closer look, there was no one in Jane's original position at this time. The warm water flowed down Jane AI's smooth skin and the coldness in the body was gradually reduced because of the diving. Under the shower, Jane Iwei raised her head to let the water slap her cheeks, and her disordered mood slowed down. Even though she had the mind to protect her body, Jane couldn't help but feel a little scared when she recalled what happened just now. Fortunately, everything was frightening, but thinking of Lin Yi who was unconscious, Jane's mood was slightly complicated at this time. After washing away her exhaustion, Jane AI dried her body, her eyes fell on the phone she brought out specially. I stepped forward and picked it up, but the phone couldn't be used because it got water. Mobile phones at this time, no matter how expensive they are, do not have water resistance. With a helpless sigh, Jane AI looked at the phone with a completely black screen and held her for it in annoyance. The number of the day is easy to say but there is the only contact way for Wu Pico. At this time, the door of the room was suddenly pushed open from the outside. Yi Yi. No one sees, the sound comes first. Then I saw a woman rushing in nervously, following the two men. The woman has long black hair that strikes her shoulders. Although she is nearly 40 years old, she maintains it like a 20-year-old girl. She has a beautiful appearance and outstanding temperament. Even if she is in a hurry at this time, she still can't conceal her dignified elegance from the inside out. Mom. Jian Yi Yi immediately cried when she saw the incoming person and jumped on it. My baby, you scared mom to death. The woman hugged Jian Yi Yi, and her daughter cried. The person here is not someone else, but Jian Yi Yi's mother, Jian Changshen's wife. Chiao Shiyi. Let my mother see, are you not hurt? Chiao Shiyi held up Jian Yiyi's soot filled face, and looked up and down nervously. Jian Yiyi shook his head, whirling tearfully, Mom, I'm fine. Aunt Zhou. Li Yunmi also got up and walked over at this time. When Chiao Shiyi saw Li Yunmi, she also showed concern and said, Xiao Mei, are you okay? Li Yunmi shook her head with red eyes. Seeing this, Chiao Shiyi couldn't help but relax, don't worry, your father will be here in a while. Children, you are frightened, but fortunately everyone is fine. Having said that, Chiao Shiyi did not forget to care about other children. After all, this is their resort hotel. If there is any irreversible tragedy caused by the fire, the Jane group will not be able to shirk the blame and must have an unshirkable responsibility. Mom. Where's my dad? Jian Yi Yi looked at the doorway behind Jiao Shiyi, but he did not see his father appear for a long time. Jiao Shiyi sighed after hearing the words, Your dad is on a business trip to Beijing tonight, but he must know about such a big thing now. It's just that he will sign a contract with a partner in Beijing tomorrow, so he can't come back immediately. Fortunately, you and your classmates are fine. I will report to him in a while and give him peace of mind. During the conversation, 
the bathroom door was pushed open and Jane walked out wearing a clean bathrobe. It seemed that there was still a person in the bathroom. Chiao Shiyi couldn't help being taken aback, but Jane had a cold face at this time. Before Chiao Shiyi could speak, she looked at her and said, Auntie, not everyone is safe. Nothing. At this time, in the medical room, there was a comatose person lying unconscious. Chiao Shiyi was shocked when she heard the words, glanced at the crowd, and said, Is there anybody injured? Jane Ai didn't answer her words, but walked to the table on her own and picked up a bottle of drink and drank it. Jian Yi Yi nodded, It's our classmate, this time it was to celebrate his birthday, so everyone came to the hot spring together. Chiao Shiyi calmed down when she saw that her daughter hadn't had an accident. She thought about it for a while, then turned around and said to the two staff members behind her, first set the kids in and let them sleep well. Get them new clothes and I will go see the injured child. After he finished speaking, he calmed down and said to everyone, children, take a break first, and when it's done, my aunt will arrange a car to take you down the mountain. Everyone was also very tired, and they were already a little bit unable to support it both mentally and physically. At the moment, according to Jiao Shuyi's arrangement, under the leadership of the staff, they went to their guest rooms to rest. At about 8 o'clock the next morning, Jane was awakened by the sunlight outside the window. She turned over from the bed and walked to the window. She just happened to be able to see the villa on the top of the mountain that caught fire last night. I don't know when the fire has been extinguished. The original milky white villa was burnt in pitch black at this time, and the smoke was still lingering. Frowning, Jane A.I. didn't look anymore, turned and went into the bathroom. It was almost nine o'clock when I went downstairs, and the others had already gathered in the hotel lobby. Different from Jane A.I., everyone was sluggish, with dizzy eyes, all of them wore a pair of thick dark circles, and obviously they hadn't rested well. Seeing Jane coming down, Guntao was the first to greet her and said with a worried expression, Xiao Ai, how are you? Jane slapped her eyes, saw Guntao's eyes red, and asked with a tired face how she was doing, she couldn't help but smile, don't worry, I'm fine. Ha, Lin Yi is still not awake, she can still laugh. Li Yunmi I said in a bad tone when she saw it, Obviously her relationship with Jane hadn't changed because of what happened last night. Jane's eyes became cold when he heard the words, and looked sideways, otherwise, what am I going to do? Cry. Student Jian Ai, Xiao Mei didn't mean that. Jian Yi Yi stood up again like a good person. Then what does she mean? Jane Ai looked at Jian Yi Yi blankly, if she really cares about Lin Yi so much. She should let Lin Yi escape first last night, not let him stay last. Li Yun Mi's face blushed when she heard this. She was afraid of being anxious last night, so she was the second to escape after Yan Tian went down. How could she care for others in the situation at the time? Being exposed by Jane Ai in public, she suddenly felt that she had nowhere to hide. You. Li Yun Mi became angry from embarrassment but she opened her mouth but didn't know how to refute it. Xia Ching Huan glared at her immediately, Li Yunmi, you have enough. If it weren't for Jane Ai last night, our lives would have to be accounted for. It's all about being grateful. It's still there with the yin and yang strange, what a white-eyed wolf. Li Yunmi was blocked and speechless to refute, Jian Yi winked at her again, and at the moment she was speechless so she had to turn her head away angrily. Jian Ai didn't bother to talk nonsense with Li Yunmi, and took Guantao to sit next to Xia Ching Huan. She had no intention of blaming anyone. In the situation last night, it was human instinct to survive. It was human nature. As soon as I sat down, a piece of bread and a bottle of juice were delivered directly in front of me. Jane Ai instinctively looked up but saw Yan Tian looking at herself awkwardly. I couldn't help but feel a little surprised. If he remembered correctly, Yan Tian kept seeing himself uncomfortable. Su has gained a new understanding of Jane's because of what happened last night. 
Although Yan Tian is awkward, he still passes the things in his hands forward, we have all eaten just now. You can eat some too. Jane didn't think much about it. Since the other party took the initiative to show her favor, why would she not do it? He raised his eyebrows and took it happily, without forgetting to say, thank you. Sue was really hungry, a piece of bread was eaten by Jane in a few bites, and at this moment, Xiao Shiyi walked into the hall gracefully through the revolving door. Mom, how is Lin Yi? Jian Yi Yi ran over first, worrying about Lin Yi's situation when she spoke. When other people saw this, they also got up and surrounded them, all of which were very concerned about Lin Yi's condition. Xiao Shiyi smiled at the crowd and said softly, Don't worry, Lin Yi is not in danger of life. We transferred him to Baiyun No. 1 hospital early in the morning. If you don't worry, you can visit him in the hospital in the afternoon. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief at the moment, and Jane also secretly relieved. If it happened to him because of the pen she gave to Lin Yi, Jane didn't know how to deal with it. Fortunately, people are fine. Xiao Shiyi arranged for a car to take them down the mountain, and also explained that Jane's will be responsible for the matter. As for whether or not to compensate, and how much to compensate, it can only be decided after the company has discussed it. Except for Jane Ai and Gu Tao, the others are the children of the rich family, so they care about compensation. Now I have no worries about my life, and I am content to go home safely. After going down the mountain, Jane didn't ask the driver to send herself home, but got off the car alone in Bayun Square, bid farewell to the crowd, and walked towards the daytime residence on foot. I think there is no one at home when I go home, and I forgot to take the key to my house yesterday when I escaped. I thought I would have a meeting with the company's senior management in the afternoon, so I planned to go there in the daytime. At this time, in the high-end apartment in the daytime, the news of a fire in a guest villa on the top of the mountain in the Bayun Mountain Hot Spring Resort was broadcast on the TV. Bai's Huben was drinking coffee in black home clothes, and immediately became nervous when he saw the news. Because he remembered that the host was going to this resort hotel yesterday. Before he could think about it, Shade walked quickly to the sofa and picked up his mobile phone and pressed the number one shortcut. Sorry, the phone you dialed is turned off. Dial again, still shut down. Dial again, or shut down. I missed a beat from the heart, and Bai Zhou was instantly surrounded by fear that spewed out, and now he almost yelled out of control, Red Sun. Chi Yang, who was baking cakes in the kitchen, rushed out after hearing the sound, Master. Go drive and go to Bayun Mountain Hot Spring Resort Hotel. While talking, Shade didn't even change his clothes, walked to the door and put on his shoes and pushed the door open. And Jane, standing in the doorway, keeping the position of knocking on the door. With her eyes facing each other, Jane blinked her eyes indifferently, and slowly said under Shai Yui's shocked and astonished expression, Uh, want to go out. The day was worthy of regaining consciousness, and the whole person let out a long sigh of relief. Unknown Chi Yang took the car key and rushed over. He forgot to take off the flower apron on his body. As soon as he saw Jane Ai standing outside the door, his body was stretched straight and he bowed his head respectfully and said, Door. The strong sunlight in the midday swayed down through the floor-to-ceiling windows, covering people with warmth. Jane Ai and Bai Zhou sat opposite each other on the sofa, Chi Yang made a cup of coffee and put it in front of Jane Ai, door, drink coffee. Bai Zhou squinted the long and narrow fox eyes, carefully looked at Jane Ai in front of her, and made sure that she was okay before speaking softly, I just saw the news and thought you were in an accident. Calling you is also shutting down. It's a long story. Jane Ai smiled helplessly. She didn't intend to elaborate on what happened last night. She just said faintly, the phone is in water and can't be used. At the end of the speech, Jane took a sip of coffee, looked up around her, and asked in doubt, where is Xiaoyu? Bai Tian shrugged helplessly, he doesn't like living with other people. He moved out a few days ago. Jane Ai nodded her head understandingly. 
When she first saw Xiaolu, she could feel that Xiaolu gave a sense of distance that no one else should enter. She looked a little withdrawn and weird. After sniffing, a trace of confusion flashed across Jane Ai's face, what's muddled? I'm going, my cake. Chi Yang exclaimed immediately and turned and ran towards the kitchen. In the afternoon, the first hospital of Byun City. Lin Yi woke up not long after he was transferred to the hospital. Although he died of nine deaths last night, fortunately, there was no danger. In addition, his own body is very healthy, and he recovers quickly. At this time, he has some energy and can speak. What happened last night? In the ward, Yan Tian and Xia Qing Huan were sitting in front of the bed, looking at Lin Yi and asking. Because they were worried about Lin Yi, they went to the hospital to see him after having lunch at noon. At this time, Lin Yi was still hanging the bottle, and his face was slightly pale. Hearing this, he only glanced at Yan Tian faintly, seemingly reluctant to say more. I'm asking you something. Seeing Lin Yi's reaction, Yan Tian knew that he didn't want to say it. He couldn't help but straighten his expression and said in a deep voice, If you don't say it, I will let Ching Huan ask Jane Ai. When it comes to Jane Ai, Lin Yi has a clear expression on his face. Seeing his pale lips moved slightly, he said with some worry, Is she okay? In fact, Lin Yi himself can't remember exactly what happened last night. He just remembered that the pen that Jane Ai gave him was dropped in the room by him. At that time, he didn't think about anything else, so he rushed out and escaped. S room. At that time, the corridor was raging with smoke, and he couldn't even see the road. He rushed to the fourth floor based on his memory, but in the end he gradually lost consciousness because of inhaling excessive smoke. But he remembered in a daze that it was Jane who was with him before his consciousness completely disappeared. What are you talking about? Xia Qing Huan still had lingering fears when she thought of the last scene last night, and she couldn't help but reproach her at the moment, if you had escaped from Jian Yi's room for the first time, would you still be lying here now? Although Lin Yi and Jane Ai stayed at the end last night, if they used the rope to get down as quickly as possible, there would be no danger at all. It is no wonder that Yan Tian and Xia Qing Huan would be angry at this time. They almost scared them to death last night. Yan Tian also asked angrily, What's the matter? Why did you two jump out of your room? Jian Yi's room is on the third floor and Lin Yi's room is on the fourth floor. In other words, the two of them went from the third floor to the fourth floor in the villa that was on fire at the time? Do you want to die? I... I'll go back and get a pen. Lin Yi said in a low voice with a stubborn mouth. At the same time, a big red Mercedes Benz with smooth lines slowly stopped in front of the hospital. The door opened, and Jian Yi in a haute couture suit walked out of the car with a bunch of flowers in her hand. Miss, remember to send me a message when you get down. I'll be waiting for you in the parking lot in front. The driver pulled down the car window and said respectfully to Jian Yi. Jian Yi waved his hand after hearing the words, You go back first, don't wait for me. When the conversation ended, before the driver could reply, he quickly walked towards the hospital building. Riding the elevator straight up to the sixth floor, Jian Yi smiled and smelled the bouquet in his hand before heading towards the VIP ward inside. Are you crazy? Just for a pen. Jian Yi walked to the door and was about to push the door, but Yan Tian's roar clearly came from inside, You are almost gone, don't you know? Just for a pen. Xia Qing Huan also looked at Lin Yi lying on the bed with a thin face, she fully understood Yan Tian's anger at this moment. Because at the moment when the rope was burned by the tongue of fire last night, God knows how desperate they are. They thought that Lin Yi and Jane Ai were dead inside. But Lin Yi almost died for a pen, and almost caught Jane Ai. They grew up together. Although Lin Yi was not a calm and self-controlled person like Gao Yang, he was not like a person who would make such foolish actions at the moment of life and death. I'm sorry. Lin Yi said sincerely. It seems that I have reacted to it now. I was really too impulsive last night, 
even if the pen is very meaningful to me, it was given by Jane A.I. But under the circumstances at that time, I really shouldn't care about my life and make everyone worried, and even almost hurt Jane. Seeing Lin Yi seemed to feel regretful, Xia Ching Huan really couldn't bear to blame him too much, and patted Yan Tian on the shoulder immediately, OK, Lin Yi also knows that he did something wrong, so please calm down. This is not it. Is anyone OK? Yan Tianya was still angry and glared at Lin Yi, it really burned the high incense, and Jane took the risk of looking back for him. Otherwise, we are all crying in the grave now. As soon as Yan Tian's voice fell, the door of the ward was pushed open from the outside. Jian Yi Yi was holding the flowers with a bright smile, and there was still an unfading blush on her face. You are here too. Jian Yi Yi pretended that he had just arrived, looked at Xia Ching Huan and Yan Tian somewhat unexpectedly, and then said, I also came to see Lin Yi. After speaking, he walked into the ward on his own and put the flowers on the table before looking at Lin Yiro and said, Lin Yi, are you better? It seemed that Jian Yi Yi would come to the hospital to see him at this time. Lin Yi's face flashed a little bit of astonishment, but he just nodded faintly after hearing the words, it's much better, thank you. Yan Tian and Xia Ching Huan looked blankly at Jian Yi, who was clearly dressed up, and frowned at the same time. But Jian Yi ignored the two of them. At this time, her heart was still beating. She had just heard it outside the door. The reason why Lin Yi risked her life to return to the fourth floor was for a pen. Isn't that the pen that I gave him? Although Lin Yi seemed cold to herself, he cared about her in his heart, and even ignored his life for the gift he gave him. Thinking about it this way, Jian Yi felt like a deer bumping into each other, and the friendship in his eyes when he looked at Lin Yi became even stronger. But he said with a cry in his mouth, You really scared us to death last night, I'm really worried about you. As he spoke, a pair of beautiful eyes gradually turned red, and it seemed that he was about to cry in the next second. Lin Yi couldn't bear the girl crying in front of him, so he hurriedly expressed relief, I'm fine. I'm really sorry for making everyone frighten. Jian Yi wiped his eyes, nodded, and took a deep breath, fortunately, everyone is fine. Xia Ching Huan took a deep look at Jian Yi at the moment, tried to make her tone calmer, and said, Jian Yi, the emergency measures of your hot spring hotel are too bad? The villas are all burned into empty shells. I didn't go up. I saw a few employees who arrived on the scene empty-handed last night. What's the point? Xia Ching Huan had no intention of blaming Jian Yi. Although all this was arranged by Jian Yi, what happened last night was just an accident. Jian Yi herself was in deep danger, and many things were beyond her control. But as far as the matter is concerned, Jian Shi Group's Bianchen Hot Spring Resort Hotel has a lot of potential safety hazards, and the fire protection measures are simply inadequate. The incident yesterday alone could shut down the entire hotel for rectification. And this is still on the premise that they are all okay, but when life is lost, this resort hotel is waiting to close. Although Xia Ching Huan managed to control her tone as much as possible, she still seemed to blame her when she said it in Jian Yiyi's ears. Jian Yiyi expressed a grievance and was about to cry again, I didn't expect this to happen. I'm really sorry, I didn't mean it. I just want to arrange the best accommodation for everyone, I'm really sorry. Xia Ching Huan couldn't help rolling her eyes when she saw this. Whether Jian Yiyi could understand people or not, she was just right and wrong. Jian Yiyi's face was at a loss, and his eyes fell on Lin Yi. Lin Yi naturally knew what Xia Ching Huan meant. At the moment, he sighed slightly, and whispered to Jian Yi, Ching Huan is not blaming you, on the contrary, she actually kindly reminded you that your hot spring hotel is not fire fighting enough. Perfect, if it is not rectified in time, it is impossible to guarantee that other tragedies will not occur in the future. I don't know if Jian Yi did it on purpose, as if she couldn't understand what others said, she could understand it only after Lin Yi translated it. Right now he nodded obediently, I know, when my father comes back, 
I will definitely tell him about this. You have a good rest. Yan Tian stood up and glanced at Lin Yi faintly, Ching Huan and I went to Jie Yang's house. I won't see you at night. Lin Yi nodded when he heard the words, then looked at Jian Yi and said, You go back too, I want to rest. Jian Yi had thought that Yan Tian and Xia Ching Huan had left, and that she could finally be alone with Lin Yi, but did not expect that Lin Yi personally issued the order to evict the guests. Doesn't he like himself? Although she was a little surprised in her heart, Jian Yi nodded, Okay, then you have a good rest. I will ask for leave for you and teach your son tomorrow. Thank you. As if not wanting to say more about it, Lin Yi lay down and closed his eyes directly. The three of them left the ward together. After the door was closed, Xia Ching Huan raised his eyes and looked at Jian Yi. After struggling in my heart, I walked up to Jian Yi and said, I may have a bad tone just now. I hope you don't mind. I didn't blame you. What happened last night was too horrible, and Xia Ching Huan was afraid that Jian Yi would blame herself for her own words, so she would inevitably keep recalling. Now I apologize to Jian Yi, and I hope everyone can forget about yesterday's affairs as soon as possible. Jian Yi didn't seem to expect Xia Ching Huan to apologize to herself, and immediately shook her head and waved her hand, No, I think you are right. This matter must be resolved as soon as possible. Seeing that Jian Yi really didn't care, Xia Ching Huan nodded slightly, did not say anything else, turned around and left with Yan Tian holding hands. On the bed in the ward, Lin Yi slowly opened his eyes at this time. Pulling his right hand out of the quilt, he held a silver pen firmly in his hand. Attaching his finger to the word Yi on the pen and touching it lightly, Lin Yi curled his lips slightly, the look on his handsome face was softer than ever. At this time, Jane Ai and Bai Zhou were on their way to the company for a meeting. The office location of Dong Hai Real Estate was selected by the day, and it was near his apartment, in a professional office building. Jane only visited the office once before the office renovation. After the company officially started, this was Jane's first visit to the company. These people are all you transferred from the capital. In the car, Jane looked at the company's high-level personnel information, from the managers of various departments to the management of market operations, Jane carefully read the information of everyone. It's just that the more you look at it, the more frightening you are. The resumes of these people are too gorgeous. They are all top students who graduated from world-renowned schools, and some of them were born on Wall Street in the United States. Bai Zhou looked at Jane Ai and smiled slightly, not all, but the master can rest assured that these people are my people, and I am yours, then they are yours. In fact, Jane has always been curious about Bai Tian's true identity and some privacy issues. Now that he can easily mobilize so many market talents, this curiosity has increased a bit. But she didn't ask directly at the moment, even if she knew she would say it when she asked, but Jane didn't want that. When Shi Tian said it personally, that was the time she should know. The car came to a halt slowly, and several people got out of the car one after another, and then quickly walked into the office building. The elevator goes straight to the 17th floor, and when the door opens, you can see the front desk of Donghai Real Estate at a glance. Mr. Bai The lady at the front desk was dressed in black professional attire, with a decent smile on her face. She hurriedly took possession of her body when she saw the day and called. Everyone in the company seems to know that although the company's legal person is Daylight, Daylight is only the general manager, and the president of the company is someone else. Bai Zhou nodded slightly to the lady at the front desk, and then quickly stepped into the company with Jane Ai Xiang. The lady at the front desk couldn't help looking curiously at Jane Ai's back wondering what the relationship between this teenage girl and Bai always was. After all, Mr. Bai is the dream lover of all female employees of the company. Young and handsome, capable, and rich in gold, he is simply the fifth best of the world's diamonds. Because today is the weekend, there are no other employees in the company except for the front desk. I went straight to the innermost meeting room, 
where the senior executives who received the notice had already been waiting there. At the sight of daylight, everyone stood up, President Bai. Everyone also noticed Jane Ai next to President Bai, and they couldn't help but look at each other. These people are old people by Bai Zhou's side. The shortest time is two or three years. Obviously, they have a lot of eyes on Jane Ai. However, under everyone's astonished eyes, Shade took a seat on the right-hand side of the main seat, and the 14-year-old girl actually walked straight to the main seat of the conference room and stood still. Jane glanced faintly at the surprised expressions on everyone's faces, smiled slightly, and said, Hello everyone, I am the chairman of M Group, my name is Jane. Everyone. Jane A.I.'s indifferent words, like an atomic bomb, blew up everyone present. Everyone looked at the day's position almost immediately, all with an expression on their faces, saying, What's the situation? I saw Shade slightly raised his lips, showing a wicked smile, and then nodded gently, Introduce, our big boss. What the day said was light and light, but everyone felt like thousands of horses crashing past, leaving a cloud of smoke. It's no wonder that all the people present are elites from shopping malls, and they are all talents who have worked in world-renowned companies. But at the moment, their new boss is a little girl who has not yet grown up, and no one can accept it all at once. Everyone looked at Jane, although their gazes were not explicit, but a deep look was indispensable, and they were also muttering in their hearts, what is the little girl's ability to make Mr. Bai bow her head to her? The registered capital of M Group is only one million, in the eyes of these people, it is really not enough. Jane A.I. seemed to have anticipated the situation a long time ago. At the moment, he just smiled and watched everyone open his mouth and said, I know that everyone has shocks, doubts and thoughts in their hearts, but this can't change the established facts in front of me. I've seen it on the way here just now, so briefly introduce myself, my name is Jane. Simple Jane, the AI of Wormwood, I am 14 years old this year, and I am a high school student in Bio No. 2 Middle School. After the words were over, Jane AI slowly took her seat, her petite body trapped in the boss chair of the main seat, there was an indescribable funniness, but she glanced at the crowd calmly and said, Everyone can talk, even doubt, but not now. You are all industry elites, so I hope that in this conference room, everyone can uphold the professionalism that they should have. After the meeting, you can speak freely when you leave this room. At the end of the conversation, Jane A.I. took a look and opened the folder in front of the table, now the meeting will begin. Presumably everyone already knows that although our Donghai real estate has just been established, we won two plots at the City Hall plot auction yesterday, one with the largest area and one with the best location. As for the development of the two plots, I don't know if you have them. What constructive comments? Having said that, Jane A.I. looked at everyone faintly, and almost instantly, Jane's whole body exuded the aura of a superior. Even Jane herself was in a trance for a moment, as if she had suddenly returned to her previous life when she was in the real estate industry in Beijing. And these people did not disappoint Jane. Although everyone had their own doubts about this new boss, at this time, in the eyes of everyone, the meeting room was a sacred place and they had to be professional. A rigorous woman in the position on the left of Jane A.I.'s hand immediately said, Hello, President. I'm Wang Huawei, Director of Operations of the Development Department. Regarding these two plots, our Development Department had a meeting overnight to discuss it. The second plot is located in the center of Haikan District, close to the railway station, the geographical position is superior. Our development department's suggestion is that although the location of the number two land is good, the overall area is limited to development and construction. If it is a residential area, the area is too small and too close. Station And there are more than five shopping malls in the surrounding area. If a mall is built, it will only cause economic diversion, and the initial investment will be huge. If it is not managed properly, it may cause a capital gap and make it difficult to make a profit. Is this a direct decision? Before everyone reacted, 
Jane had already changed her expressions, and immediately looked at everyone and said, What do you think about Lot 1? When everyone heard the words, they quickly closed the expressions on their faces. One of the strong middle-aged men with a beard opened his mouth and said, Hello, President, this is Song Yao, Director of the Marketing Operation Department. Regarding the number one plot, the development department seems to be stuck. Develop the default bottleneck, so we all discussed it together last night. As he said, Song Yao opened the folder in front of him, and then said, Land number one is located in Wanbao district, which is currently the largest unused land in Bayun city. The large land area indicates the convenience and variety of project development. Song Yao took a look at Jian Ai at the moment and sighed lightly, but the location of this land is special. There are four or five schools around. Bayun City has a stipulation that construction is forbidden during school hours. Then we the construction time can only be in the winter and summer vacations. These two time periods are the worst weather of the year. The resistance brought by the weather to the construction is self-evident. And once there is a school to make up classes during the holidays, the class hours will be extended. Then our available time will be further reduced. With such a tight construction time and such a harsh construction environment, no matter what project is developed, it cannot be completed in a short period of time. Everyone also had a slightly solemn expression at the moment. Although the land is large, it is a hot potato in the hands of any company. What makes everyone even more troublesome is that this land company was auctioned for 52 million yuan. Wanbao district is no more than Haikan district. If the land is not developed properly, it will be difficult to make a profit. The conference room fell silent for a while. Although all the top talents in the industry are present here, they are not omnipotent. They can't do things like turning wasteland into gold. It is obviously caused by the special geographical location of this land. The resistance was stumped. Jane A.I. sits on the chair with a faint expression on her face. It seems that there is no impact from everyone's analysis just now. Because of these negative factors and obstacles in front of her, Jane has long been aware of it. But Jane's thoughts are exactly the opposite of everyone. The real value of this piece of land is not its size but its unique geographical location. Slowly raising her head, Jane looked at everyone and said calmly, we want to build a high-end residential area on this land. Everyone was stunned, the land must be developed, otherwise the more than 50 million will be spent in vain. But what everyone wonders is why Jane wants to develop it into a residential area. Seeing the confusion on everyone's faces, Jian Ai explained, there are countless towns and villages around Bayun City. Their education system is backward, and the level of education pales in comparison to Bayun City. It's just now entering the millennium, Bayun the city has already flooded with a lot of migrants, and besides these people who originally sent their children to study in the city, there are also many who go to work in the city, but these migrant workers will still send their children to school in the future. This is just the beginning. In the future, children's education will become the top priority of the society and family. For the rural people around Bayun City, the schools in Bayun City are the first choice for children to study. After all, schools the demand for students will only increase, which indicates that the houses around the school will also rise with the tide, and this kind of room type that is extremely scarce in the future, we call it the school district room. School district room? Everyone looked at each other for a while, obviously they were very unfamiliar with this new type of real estate product that Jane said. No wonder everyone reacted like this. There is no school district room in this era. In the final analysis, school district housing is, in a sense, a derivative of the real estate market. After a few years or even more than a dozen years later, the monopoly of educational resources leads to the solidification of the class and it is also a major obstacle to modern education reform. With the development of modern science and technology, the content of textbooks and disciplines set by various countries in the last century has not kept pace with the needs of the times. The emergence of school district housing reflects the shortcomings of the current education system, 
which is mainly reflected in the uneven distribution of educational resources in a city. Resulting in some so-called good high-quality elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools, which also reflects the unfairness of education. In the future, once the enrollment in Bayoun City exceeds the load, the admission requirements will become very harsh, and having a house around the school becomes a rigid condition for admission. This is why, ten years later, a basement in the capital can sell for 200,000 square meters, and it is still rising, because its location is near the key school. With this basement, your children can go to school in this school. It's just for these reasons that Jane AI can't tell everyone at the moment, because no one can presuppose the future with such certainty. Even Jane AI came from the future. Despite this, Jane's reason just now has some persuasiveness. As she said, if the houses near the school will be in short supply in the future, then the construction of high-end housing is also an ideal choice. However, the difficulty in front of everyone is not the development project, but the difficulty of construction. Of course. Jian AI turned the conversation, and smiled slightly, I know that everyone's headache is the difficulty of construction, and I also have a headache. We can't violate the city's express regulations. But since we can't violate it, then we should be quiet. Accept it with your heart. When we can start construction, we will do so. The completion of a project cannot be completed overnight let alone the development and construction of tens of thousands of square meters of land. At this time, Shade also opened his mouth and said, Yes, as long as we keep moving, we will be one step closer to completion. Even if it is three years or five years, or even longer, this school district building will be completed one day. Wang Huawei, director of the development department, also nodded at the moment, as the president said, the value of the school district's housing will take a few years to show up, and now it does not reflect the value of the housing around the school. Not bad. Jian AI nodded, so before the housing industry in the school district expands, we have a lot of time to use. Although indirect construction will require more capital investment, I believe that this house will bring the company in return in the later period. It's definitely worth the money. Jian AI's self-confidence also infected everyone, Wang Hui immediately said, then our development department will work out the project positioning as soon as possible. Han Yuandong also nodded in agreement, the planning department will also conduct pre-evaluation and post-investment budgets for the project, and will come up with a complete planning plan as soon as it gets the project positioning of the development department. Jane AI saw that everyone was angry, nodded in satisfaction, and then said with a long sigh of relief, then to welcome everyone to gather in M group tonight, I invite everyone to dinner. When he finished speaking, he looked at Bai Tian, you pay for it. When they left the meeting room, everyone changed their expressions and couldn't help talking while looking at Jane AI's back. What background do you say about this new president? Even President Bai listens to her like this. Wang Hui said in a low voice. Song Yao shook his head when he heard the words, who knows. Sun Tao, the director of the Human Resources Department, immediately said, didn't the president say that? They are from Bayun City, a student in number two middle school. If you are curious, you will find out if you don't check it. Everyone was shocked, and quickly denied with a smile, we didn't mean it. Everyone is curious. A 14-year-old girl would even think of setting up a group and getting involved in the real estate industry. How did we understand this when we were 14 years old? They are not private detectives. How can they check the background of the president? Everyone is curious, but they are just curious. Han Yuandong also said, although she is only 14 years old, you have seen it just now. She seems to know the real estate industry very well and some concepts penetrate deeper than us. Just said that she just made a forward-looking prediction of the semester housing. That's not what ordinary people can think of. Everyone nodded when they heard the words. Although everyone didn't know whether Jane AI's school district housing era would come, but such a bold and confident presupposition was far beyond ordinary people's imagination. 
After calming down, everyone relaxed. They are all people who follow Bai Zhou. Since Mr. Bai believes in the president, they naturally have nothing to say. After eating with everyone, it was already dark, and she was going to send Jane home in the daytime, but Jane thought for a while and said, go to the starlight bar in the bell tower area. At this time, when she went home, there was probably no one at home. She lost the key and couldn't enter the house, so she went directly to the bar to find her eldest brother. After doing so, it seems that I haven't seen my eldest brother for several days. The last time I saw him was the day the breakfast shop cleared the shop. The car slowly stopped on the side of the road opposite the bar, Jane raised her head and glanced at the entrance of the bar, because it was the weekend, and a lot of people had already gathered at this time. About to get out of the car, Bai Tian handed a packaging bag to Jane AI, new phone. Jane AI was taken aback, then smiled slightly, the efficiency of the secret road daytime is really fast. Now that she doesn't have a mobile phone, she really can't get in touch with Daewoo, so she gladly accepted it. The hospital's affairs are all arranged, and the aunt can be admitted at any time. Bai Zhou looked at Jane AI and said. Jane AI acted for a while, and then nodded gently, I will make arrangements as soon as possible and contact you when the time comes. After speaking, he got out of the car and waited until Chi Yang drove away before Jane exhaled gently and walked towards the bar. There are many young people gathered on the roadside outside the bar in twos and threes. The three favorite places for people who like to hang around in the society are the billiards hall, the game hall and the bar. It is the weekend again, and these people are even early. Gathered together. Seeing Jian Ai, a little girl with a good student look, many people couldn't help but look at her curiously, but if Jian Ai didn't see her, she went straight to the door of the bar. Little sister. Before Jane could enter, a figure suddenly flashed out and blocked Jane's way. Jane took a stop and looked up. The person in front of him had yellow hair and was slightly thin, and he obviously recognized Jane, so he said, Jian Yu's sister. And Jane recognized Huang Mao instantly, and on the first day she came back from rebirth, she came to the bar to find her eldest brother, who was the person Huang Mao went in and called. With a slight smile at the moment, Jane AI nodded and said, Well, can you please go in and call for me? However, Huang Mao frowned slightly when he heard the words, and said in a slightly unexpected tone, Jian Yu has resigned, don't you know? Resigned. Jane was taken aback, and shook her head slightly without knowing it, when did it happen? Huang Mao thought for a while and said, it's almost a week now. Jane was puzzled. The eldest brother had just been promoted to the foreman a while ago, and his salary has risen, how could he suddenly resign? And he hasn't seen anyone in the past few days. Jane thought he was staying in the bar. If he had resigned, why didn't he go home? Huang Mao looked at Jian Ai's expression, and seemed to feel something was wrong. He couldn't help but ask, what's the matter? Jian Yu didn't go home. Jane shook her head slightly, I should have been back, but he didn't say about resignation. Jane remembers that her mother met her eldest brother, but if the eldest brother resigned, these geniuses shouldn't only go back once or twice. Turning to leave, Jane suddenly stopped in shape, looked back at Huang Mao and asked, Brother, do you know why my brother resigned? Jane couldn't figure it out. The eldest brother had been working in this bar for a long time, and his salary was increased a while ago. According to the eldest brother's temperament, he would not resign for no reason. It's just that Huang Mao couldn't help showing a tangled expression when he heard the words. He opened his mouth and seemed to stop talking. In this way, Jane knew that Huang Mao must know something, and stared at him tightly now. Jane Ai's eyes were oppressive, Huang Mao only felt that her back was chilled by the little girl's gaze and she dodged subconsciously. Why on earth? Jane was worried about her elder brother, and her tone became cold by three points. Just. Huang Mao looked embarrassed, until she couldn't stand Jane Ai's gaze, she said intermittently, we guessed it. 
Jian Yu met a girl in a bar before, and the two were together for a while. The girl. With that, Huang Mao took a deep breath, Jane's face became cold when he heard the words, and asked, What happened to that girl? Huang Mao glanced at Jian Ai, pursed his lips and whispered, That girl, now is the girlfriend of the barkeeper's son. Ah! Jane chuckled immediately, then nodded clearly. But the look on her face was inexplicably shuddering, and a chill of anger filled her eyes. Upon seeing this, Huang Mao couldn't help being shocked, and hurriedly said, But we are just guessing. As for whether Jian Yu's resignation has anything to do with this matter, we don't know the truth. Jane Ai didn't say anything else, turned around and walked away quickly. It doesn't matter whether there is a relationship, it doesn't matter what the truth is. What's important is that she will never allow anyone to hurt her brother, whether emotionally or physically. What's more, how can these two things be unrelated? His girlfriend has become the new favorite of the bar owner's son. Jane understands his eldest brother. How could he accept staying in the bar to work, watching the two come in pairs every day? It's just that the most important thing at the moment is to find the big brother, Jane is a little uneasy in her heart, worried that something will happen to the big brother. But Jian Yu didn't have a mobile phone, and there was no other way to contact him directly. Jian Ai stood by the roadside, hesitated for a moment, and finally decided to go home first. As she thought, she saw that the house was dark when she walked out of the yard. Obviously, her mother was away and her eldest brother did not come back. Was hesitating whether to destroy the door lock, Jane suddenly felt a strange breath on one side, turned her head and saw that in the dark night, under the willow tree on the side of the road, a tall figure leaned against the trunk. In the cool moonlight, the outline of the man's face was faintly visible. Jane Ai took a closer look and said with a slightly uncertain tone, Big Brother Wu. The reason why he is not so sure is because the man is more like Wu Bai, and Jian Ai remembers that he is nearly 1.9 meters. But even though he can vaguely see the man's appearance, when Jian Ai saw Wu Bai last time, his entire face was swollen into a pig's head, so she didn't know what Wu Bai looked like. Girl. The man said suddenly, with a smile in his tone. I saw the tall and straight figure walked out from the dark under the tree, and went straight to stand in front of Jane Ai, with the corners of her lips slightly raised, her smile with some bad evil spirits, can you still recognize me? It's really Wu Peter. Jane couldn't help but smile, and nodded gently, you are so tall, you guessed it. Because Wu Bai is too tall, Jane needs to look up at this time to see his face clearly. The redness and swelling on the face has almost recovered, although there are still some unhealed marks, but it is obviously not a serious problem. And through the moonlight Jane Ai clearly saw Wu Bai's appearance for the first time, his face was resolute, with the shadow of Uncle Wu, tough jaw, tall nose and a pair of dark and bright eagle eyes. The whole person has an inherent aura that makes people feel pressured. It's just that this momentum and sense of oppression has already been more than half when facing Jane Ai. Jane Ai suddenly said something unexpectedly, Why are you here? This is the door of her own home. Jane doesn't stop her finger pointing at herself, Are you waiting for me? Wu Bai raised his eyebrows and nodded, and then looked around before slowly speaking, I wanted to call you, but your phone has been turned off today. I'm afraid that you have something to do so I'll come and have a look." Jane sighed helplessly. When the phone was easy to use, no one looked for her. Now it was in the water and was scrapped, but they all rushed to call her on this day. However, I was very happy to see Wu by Jian Ai. When I found out that the phone was broken yesterday, Jian Ai was annoyed for the first time because it contained the only contact information of Wu by Ji. At that moment, Jane took out the new mobile phone in her hand quickly, and said, My mobile phone has got water and it is broken. With that, he handed the phone to Wu Bai, Save it again. Wu Bai looked at the new mobile phone in Jian Ai's hand for a moment. He was a little surprised when Jian Ai took out a mobile phone worth about 10,000 yuan. Now that one is broken, he bought another one? 
but Wu Bai was only slightly puzzled. Like last time, he didn't ask too much, but quickly saved his number after receiving the phone. Jane Ai took a look, couldn't help but smile, Wu Bai's remarks to herself are still, Wu Bai. But Wu Bai glanced at Jane Ai's house behind him, and immediately said, Don't you ask me to go in and sit. Jian Ai couldn't help but smiled embarrassedly when she heard the words, and said in apologetic tone, Brother Wu, I lost my key, and I can't get in. Hey! Wu Bai raised his eyebrows and asked, What should I do? Aunt May should get off work late, right? Jane Ai sighed lightly and nodded, It is estimated that in the middle of the night, but my aunt's house is nearby, I plan to go to my aunt's house first. Okay, then. Wu Bai took a long breath, and actually raised his hand and gently touched Jane's head, just know that you are okay, then I'll go first, and call me if I have something to do. Just as Wu Bai was about to leave, Jane suddenly thought of something, and hurriedly called to him, Wu Bai Ji. Wu Bai took a meal and looked down at Jane Ai and raised his eyebrows, Hey! Jane Ai's expression was straightened, her tone of voice paused slightly, and she whispered, can you do me a favor? My brother is gone. Gone. Wu Bai frowned when he heard the words, and seemed to not understand Jane's words, what do you mean? Jane Ai sighed quietly and told Wu Bai about the eldest brother's matter. At the end, she said in a worried tone, if it is only because of this incident, he should go home, but Huang Mao said that he has resigned for almost a week. But I haven't seen anyone this week. After listening to Jane Ai's words, Wu Bai nodded softly after a long while, I understand, don't worry, leave this to me and wait for my news. Thank you. Jane looked at Wu Bai's eyes, and she felt at ease for a moment. But Wu Bai smiled slightly, and said in an indifferent tone, Silly girl, don't say thank you to me. After saying this, Wu Bai turned and left. Jane looked at the tall figure in the night pursing her lips with a complicated expression. After two crossings, it was Uncle Wu's house, but it was obvious that BGE Wu did not go back, but went in the opposite direction. Regarding whether there is anything unknown about Uncle Wu and Pai Wu, Jane Ai can't speculate, but for so many years, she has not seen Pai Wu, and she still has some guesses and puzzles in her heart. Wang Yunzi's home is not far from Jane Ai's house. Jane Ai just walked out of the yard and saw Wang Yunzi standing in the yard collecting clothes. Auntie! Jane yelled immediately. Wang Yunzi heard the sound and looked at the gate, and saw Jane Ai pushing open the courtyard door to come in. She couldn't help but stared at the moment, and hurried forward, Xiao Ai? Come in now. I lost my key, no one at home, no place to go. Jane said directly immediately. Wang Yunzi couldn't help but smile and said, Why can I lose the key? Come in, Jia Qi is in the room. Naturally, you don't have to be polite with your aunt, Jane immediately entered the house directly. Sister? Why are you here? Jia Qi was also taken aback when she saw Jane Ai, and when it was nine o'clock, she couldn't help being a little surprised. Jane Ai sat down by Jia Kai's bed casually watching her white and tender cousin raise her eyebrows, why? Isn't it welcome? Jia Qi looked innocent, and shook his head dumbly after hearing the words, no, welcome. Welcome, what? Seeing his cousin's dull and cute look, coupled with the seemingly non-existent baby fat on his face, Jane's heart felt crisp, and she couldn't help but stretched out her hand to pinch Yao Jia Qi's face, why are you so cute? Hey! It hurts. Yao Jiaqi couldn't help but snorted, her face leaning upward following Jane's hand. At this moment, Wang Yunzi brought in a plate of grapes. Seeing the siblings were arguing, she couldn't help but smile, Xiao Ai is eating grapes. Have you eaten tonight? Jane Ai took her hand immediately and nodded, I have eaten. My uncle hasn't come back yet. Wang Yunzi pulled the chair in front of Jiaqi's desk and sat down. He heard the words and said, there was a freight train coming into the station at night. 
he has to work overtime tonight and won't be back. Yao Feng is a cargo porter on the railway. If there are trucks coming into the station at night, working overtime is common, but he earns relatively more. Auntie, let me sleep with you tonight. My mother is late at night after get off work, and I will go to school tomorrow. Jane said after eating a grape. Wang Yunzi nodded without hesitation after hearing the words, OK, then I'll call your mother and say something. Wang Yunzi found out the clean bedding in the cabinet and laid it out for Jane, and took out a new towel for Jane to use. Jane Ai washed her face casually and went to bed. Wang Yunzi sat in front of the mirror next to the bed and combed her hair, and said in a casual tone, Your brother's house has been bought. It is a new community on the edge of the clock tower area. It's all installed and can be used directly as a wedding room. So fast. Jane said, leaning on the pillow, somewhat surprised. After only ten days, have you found a suitable house? Wang Yunzi sighed softly at the moment, can you please? Your grandma is also anxious. Your brother-in-law is not too young and is finally getting married now. If the woman has any requirements, I can't meet it quickly. Wang Yunzi is not like Wang Yunmi. She is a soft-tempered person. Even though she was not treated at home since she was a child, she is still very filial to the elderly after marriage. She obviously has no affection with her brother and brother, but once it is family affairs, she can't help worrying about it. Before, she tried to introduce girls from her factory to her younger brother, but her younger brother's personality is unpleasant, and he likes to drink and play cards. After introducing a few, she didn't talk about it, but instead provoked herself. Right now, Wang Yunfa is in his thirties and is finally getting married. She is also happy for him as an older sister. Jian Ai nodded lightly when she heard the words, and Wang Yunzi said again, but the woman's family is not a person who can make an inch. Apart from the house and the necessary gifts, she didn't ask for much. I heard that the woman is not too young, but this it doesn't matter, as long as you can live your life. Jane licked her lips at the moment, and faintly said, it's not enough to live a life alone, my brother-in-law must find someone who can hold him down, otherwise he can't decide what his life will be after marriage. At the end of the conversation, Jane asked curiously, how much does the new house cost? 120,000, 80 more square meters are still with decoration. Wang Yunzi said, it's just the position is a little bit off. Jian Ai nodded to understand that the Bell Tower District is not as high as Haikan District and Wanbao District, and the housing prices are indeed not high. My uncle sold two yards in Nanchinch for his family for 200,000 yuan. If he gets married, grandma would definitely have to give him some money, including the house and the bride price, so there should be a lot left. For her eldest uncle and younger uncle, Jane Ai really has no extra feelings or even a good impression. Since I can remember, these two people have not left any good impression on her. The eldest uncle basically doesn't interact with his own home, except for the old people who have to meet each other during their birthdays or Chinese New Year, they are completely strangers on weekdays. My uncle often sees it, but every time I come here, I ask for money in addition to asking for money. My mother has helped time and time again but it hasn't been a good help either. The two brothers didn't see each other at the funeral of the mother in the previous life. Not too lazy to worry about her uncle, Jane changed her posture and lay down, looking at Wang Yunzi and asking, Auntie, have you found a house? I told my aunt about the demolition of Nanchinch before, and helped them buy the current yard, and then planned to help them buy a new building outside, so as not to increase house prices during the demolition. How can it be so easy to find? Wang Yunmi I sighed helplessly, your little uncle and I are too busy during the day, and we are also planning to buy one that is close to the middle, your brother. It's easier to go to school. Jane Ai nodded clearly. The first one is in Haikan district. The surrounding houses are not cheap even if they are second-hand houses in the old community, so the aunt can't find a suitable one. Jane woke up early the next day. 
The temperature difference between morning and evening in Byun City is still a bit big this season, but since Jane has absorbed the mental method, it seems that she rarely feels cold, and her physical fitness and functions are gradually changing for the better. A person simply moved his muscles and bones in the yard. Jane had already planned to exercise, but the road in Nanchinch was not smooth, so it can only be done right now. Back in the room, Wang Yunzi had already prepared breakfast, porridge, pickles and boiled eggs. Yao Jiaqi's sleeping hair fluttered, and she came out of the room with sleepy eyes. Wang Yunzi couldn't help but speak, look at your sister, get up early and get up early. Jiaqi ignored Wang Yunzi, went straight to sit down at the table, and muttered to Jane Ai in a daze, morning. While peeling the egg, Jane looked up at Jiaqi and saw that he was wearing only a pair of pajamas, sitting next to him, and couldn't help but squeeze his chest at the moment. Yao Jiaqi was taken aback, and suddenly became so excited that his sleepiness disappeared. Jane Ai looked like a elder sister, biting off half of an egg, and said indifferently, it's okay to practice. Yao Jiaqi pouted, moved the stool far away, picked up an egg and began to peel it. It's no wonder that Jane is like this. She was a younger brother in her previous life. Because Yao Jiaqi's appearance and personality are so cute, her skin is fair and tender, and her expression is dull, Jane can't control the urge to pinch him. At this time, there was a voice from outside the courtyard, and Jane stretched her head to look out, and saw that her mother and her uncle who had just left work had entered the yard together. Sister, have you eaten? Wang Yunzi asked when he saw Wang Yunmi and quickly put down the life in his hand. I have eaten. Wang Yunmi responded, and then looked at Jane Ai, you child, you can lose the key. After speaking, he put his key on the table, handed her the bag, and told Jane, remember to have one when school is over. Jane Ai nodded, and before she could speak, she heard Wang Yunmi say to her aunt and her uncle, I have to go. I have made an appointment with the master for the new house to be broken at 8 o'clock, and I have to open the door for the master. After finishing talking, Wang Yunzi left without waiting for someone to stay. Jane also put down the dishes and chopsticks immediately, got up, and said, Auntie and Uncle, I'm also going to school. Reached out and pinched Jiakai's face, you eat slowly. Aren't you waiting for your brother? Wang Yunzi asked when he saw this. Jane said as she walked out, his face hasn't been washed yet. I won't wait. After leaving the yard, Jane ran hurriedly and saw Wang Yunmi in front of him after a while. Mom. Jane Ai hurriedly called out. After hearing this, Wang Yunmi had a meal, turned around and saw that it was her daughter, she couldn't help but ask, why not be with Jiaqi? Jane Ai ran up to Wang Yunmi and waved her hand casually. Instead of answering her, she asked, when will I go to the first hospital for a visit? Wang Yunmi couldn't help looking startled when she heard the words, but thinking that she had promised her daughter that she would not give up her body, she said, Mom just takes the time to go. That won't work. Jane Ai said with a serious face, I don't worry about you. After that, Jane said in a tone of voice, and said, let's say noon today. At 12 o'clock today, you will wait for me at the gate of the first hospital. Jane Ai didn't want to delay one day. She was afraid that there would be many dreams in the night and other changes would occur. She must get her mother to receive Xiaohu treatment as soon as possible. Looking at the serious look on her daughter's face, Wang Yunmi nodded her head at the end, OK, Mom will be waiting for you in the hospital at noon. When the words fell, I didn't forget to show a relieved smile. For her right now, Wang Yunmi does not have much hope for whether the disease can be cured. Even the doctors said that with the current domestic medical technology, at most, chemotherapy can extend her life for a period of time. But facing her daughter, Wang Yunmi knew that she must be strong and optimistic. She can lose hope in her heart, but she must let her daughter see that she has never given up. If there is a day to leave, she will not have regrets. As smart as Jane Ai, how can he not see his mother's strong face and laughter? 
no one will be able to talk and laugh after learning that he is suffering from cancer. The optimism shown by the mother at the moment is just to make oneself feel better. There was a slight pain in my heart, but Jane A.I. didn't show it, so she could only secretly rejoice that she had Xiaoyu. Entering the class with the class bell, Jane saw Lin Yi's empty seat at a glance. She should have spared time to see him in the hospital yesterday afternoon, but she had no choice but to make an appointment with someone from the company for a meeting in advance. Seeing Lin Yi hadn't come right now, Zendeo seemed to have not recovered yet. Jane A.I., how are you? Xiaoqing Huan showed concern after returning to his seat before sitting down, is there any physical discomfort? Jane A.I. took out the math book and shook his head with a smile after hearing the words, OK, don't worry. Seeing that Jian A.I.'s face and condition seemed to be very good, Xiaoqing Huan was relieved, only thinking that when the fire broke out, Jian A.I. rushed to the fourth floor, but there was nothing right now. Instead, Lin Yi, who was a boy, was still lying at this time. The hospital couldn't help muttering, Lin Yi is too shameful, you have nothing to do, but he intubated in the hospital and played basketball in vain. Just as he was talking, Sun Dashen pushed the door and walked in, staring at Lin Yi's seat in a daze, and said, isn't Lin Yi here yet? The other students didn't know about Lin Yi's hospitalization. They thought they were late, but they didn't come to class. Unexpectedly, when everyone was puzzled, Jian Yi's gentle voice sounded from the classroom, Teacher son, Lin Yi is sick and hospitalized. Let me ask you for a leave. Jian Yi's expression was natural, but what she said was full of hints, which would obviously cause others to misunderstand the relationship between her and Lin Yi. Sure enough, as soon as the voice fell, the classmates started talking. Oh? Jian Yi asked Lin Yi for leave. You didn't listen to her, it was Lin Yi who asked Jian Yi to help. What's the situation? Yan Tian Jie Yang helped to ask for leave, right? Jian Yi has just transferred to another school for a few days, and has a relationship with Lin Yi so good. Looking at the water tower first got the moon, and besides, Jian Yi is so beautiful, with good temperament and family background. Isn't it strange that Lin Yi likes her? Whispers one after another, everyone believed that Lin Yi and Jian Yi were together at the end. Li Yunmi, who was sitting in the back seat, had the most ugly face. How could she accept the scandal between her girlfriend and her favorite male god? She originally saw that Jian Yi liked Lin Yi, but did she not expect Lin Yi to like Jian Yi too? Sun Dashen immediately asked, Have you been hospitalized? Is it serious? Lin Yi has excellent academic performance and is also a sports specialty student. He has always impressed Sun Dashen very well, and his tone is full of concern. Teacher, don't worry, I went to see him yesterday afternoon. Although he is still a little weak, it is not a major problem. I should be back to class soon. Jian Yi said immediately. It's just that Jian Yi said it easily and naturally, but this is much more ambiguous in the ears of others. I went to the hospital to visit the doctor personally. Is this really together? Oh my god, I can't accept that Lin Yi just fell in love like this. Someone secretly exclaimed. Do you not accept that it is useful? Do you have Jian Yi beautiful? Not only are female classmates complaining, but also boys. Jian Yi just turned around and healed with Lin Yi. Sure enough, beautiful women are in demand, I don't even have a chance to confess. Little Toad wants to eat swan meat. You look in the mirror, you are not as good as me. Jane's left ears to these words, right ears out, she knows who Lin Yi likes now better than anyone else. I went with Yan Tian yesterday afternoon. Xiaoqing Huan whispered into Jane's ear. Jane A.I. glanced at her, and finally asked, How is he? Xiaoqing Huan curled her lips, it doesn't seem to be a big problem, but the doctor said it will take a few days to cultivate. After that, Xiaoqing Huan straightened her face and looked at Jane A.I., you really don't think about it. Lin Yi really likes you now. Jane A.I. 
Did he tell Xia Qinghuan and Yan Tian? Shook her head, Jane said with a faint expression, There is nothing to consider. Xia Qinghuan sighed boringly when she heard the words. She didn't know what Jane Ai thought. Was Lin Yi sentenced to death because of a failed confession? It's just that this matter is really reluctant. As a friend, she can only do her best to match up, but now Lang is ruthless with intentions and concubines, and the initiative is completely in Jane's hands. After the third get out of class, Jian Yi was also pulled into the corner of the corridor by Li Yunmi. Xiao Mei, what's wrong with you? Seeing Li Yunmi's expression on her face, Jian Yi's face was worried, her big eyes blinked and she looked innocent. Li Yunmi is obviously unable to hold back at this time. The story of Jian Yi and Lin Yi has been spread all over the sky, but everyone knows that they also like Lin Yi, and Jian Yi is her best friend. Today, the classmates look at her. They were obviously ridiculing, and she couldn't wait to find a seam to get in directly. Are you really with Lin Yi? Li Yunmi I said straightforwardly. At this moment, facing Jian Yi, she was already trying to suppress her emotions. If she changed someone else, she would have done it long ago. Unexpectedly, Jian Yi's face suddenly appeared in panic, with some shy blushes, and lowered his voice, Xiao Mei, don't talk nonsense, there is nothing wrong. I'm talking nonsense? Hey! Li Yunmi was so angry that he smiled back, then why did you go to the hospital to see him yesterday, and let Yan Tian Jiang not use it, he asked you to ask for leave. As he said, Li Yunmi's eyes reddened, everyone knows that I like Lin Yi, why do you treat me like this? I regard you as my best friend. Xiao Mei, don't get me wrong. Jian Yi was anxious, and grasped Li Yunmi's hand. I have always regarded you as my best friend. But Lin Yi was because our Jane's holiday villa was on fire. I was injured. He and I were classmates and at the same table. My mother asked me to see him in the hospital. I felt a little guilty for him, so I went. It's just Xiao Mei. Jian Yi pursed her lips, with an expression that is difficult to speak. Li Yun Mi I almost believed Jian Yi's words at first. But when she saw her with such an expression, she frowned, just what? Jian Yi's voice gradually lowered, and his face was full of helplessness, it's not that I like Lin Yi, but Lin Yi likes me. Li Yun Mi couldn't help showing shock when she heard the words, her face full of disbelief. She took her hand out of Jian Yi's hand, and took two steps back under her feet. She now watched Jian Yi say in a difficult tone, What do you? What do you mean? Could it be that Lin Yi confessed to you? Li Yunmi was shocked when she said this, how could this be possible? They only met for a few days. What's more, Lin Yi is the male of the whole high school girl. There are so many suitors, but he has never confessed to anyone, let alone liked anyone. Even if Jian Yi is really beautiful, Li Yunmi still doesn't believe that Lin Yi will like her so quickly. But after listening to Li Yunmi's words, Jian Yi didn't admit or deny it. Instead, she showed a tangled face and looked at Li Yunmi weakly, Xiao Mei, don't be angry with me, but Lin Yi likes me, this I can't control it either. Jian Yi's grievance and helplessness, as if this matter had nothing to do with her, it was Lin Yi's wishful thinking. Seeing that Jian Yi didn't deny it, Li Yunmi suddenly felt a hum in her mind. Lin Yi actually, really confessed to her. I don't want to talk about other things. The person I like is better with my best friend, and my self-esteem is as strong as Li Yun Mi, so how can I withstand this blow? At the moment, she glanced at Jian Yi with disappointment. Li Yun Mi clenched her fist and walked away quickly, without saying a word. Xiao Mei. Jian Yi stood there, looking at Li Yun Mi's back calling out anxiously, but Li Yunmi ignored her and quickly disappeared at the end of the corridor. Of course, in the next second, the expression on Jian Yi's face suddenly changed, and the expression on his face that had just been helpless disappeared in an instant, replaced by a cold whistling sneer under his eyes and unsearchable. 
Fight with me, do you deserve it too? The story of Jian Yi and Lin Yi was quickly spread to everyone. Because of his beautiful appearance and outstanding temperament, Jian Yi caused quite a stir on the first day of transfer, and now he is in the same grade as the first grader. The male Lin Yi came out with such explosive news, which overshadowed Xia Ching Huan, the daughter of the Xia group, and became the most popular figure among the girls in the first grade. And Jian Yi seems to like this feeling of being regarded as the focus, because her dream since childhood is to be able to become a big star, to be sought after and looked up to by others. The most important thing is that, as the client, Jian Yi did not directly admit to her and Lin Yi's scandal, but he did not explain or deny half a word. Because in her heart, she has already determined that Lin Yi likes herself. Otherwise, why would he almost lose his life for the pen he gave him? This just allowed the onlookers to play a role in fueling the flames, forcing Lin Yi to confess to himself earlier. Because of this, Li Yunmi I had ignored Jian Yi, but couldn't bear to see other people cling to it. At noon in the cafeteria, Jian Yi had two new faces around her. Yi, you have just transferred to another school and you have become a man in the school. A fat girl looked at Jian Yi with a flattering expression and said, This girl was named Li Linlin, and she was also in the first class, and she was one of Lin Yi's admirers, but because of her plain appearance and a little fat body, she had a low self esteem in her heart, and she had a crush on Lin Yi. Another girl named Xig who seemed to have a scheming look immediately followed up and said, Isn't it a matter of course that Yi Yi is so beautiful? Both of them are small and transparent in the first class, but they also like Lin Yi. Just because of his own conditions and family background, he couldn't get close to Lin Yi at all. And there are countless girls in the same situation as the two of them, and most of them have thought of approaching him through the only girl near Lin Yi, Xia Ching Huan. But Xia Ching Huan didn't get in with oil and salt, or the purpose of these people was written on his face. How could Xia Ching Huan be easily exploited? But now it is different. Lin Yi and Jian Yi are together, and Xia Ching Huan is no longer the only girl beside Lin Yi. Compared with Xia Ching Huan, Jian Yi is a kind of person and kind heart. He doesn't have the air of a wealthy daughter. He speaks so softly to everyone and is very gentle. Both Li Linlin and Xig are self aware people, knowing that Lin Yi can't like herself. So now I approached Jian Yi, thinking that if I could become friends with Jian Yi, then maybe I could become friends with Lin Yi in the future. For their little transparency, it is very satisfying to be friends with Lin Yi. Listening to the compliments of the two, Jian Yi was smug in her heart, but she resisted on her face, Don't you say that, I don't want to get too much attention. My classmates always secretly watch me secretly, which makes me very uncomfortable. When Xig heard the words, he glanced around and couldn't help but sneered, then turned to Jian Yi and said, Who makes Yi Yi look beautiful? These people are just envious and jealous, don't take it to heart. That's it. Li Linlin followed, unwilling to be left behind, From your first day, the boys in our school have been telling you that you are a goddess, saying that you are not only beautiful, but also good in temperament. Jian Yi's face was slightly red when the two said, and her face was ashamed, Okay, don't say this, hurry up and eat. On the other side, Yan Tian raised his eyes and glanced at Jian Yi in the distance, and said with a displeased expression, This Jian Yi was deliberate, right? Say some unexplained things, and then don't explain, this is only one morning. Taking advantage of Lin Yi's absence, she became Lin Yi's girlfriend and everyone who still passed it was known. Xia Ching Huan couldn't help but sneered at the moment, she is not as pure and harmless on the surface. You boys can only look at the skin of a girl, but our girls can see the bones at a glance. This Jian Yi is a powerful method. Guan Tao shrank her neck and whispered, What should I do then? Lin Yi is not there, so you can't let the rumors spread like this, right? Gao Yang looked indifferent and said in a calm tone at the moment, rumors can only be defeated by facts. Before the facts are presented, 
the rumors are uncontrollable because the mouth grows on others. It's not only uncontrollable, it's simply out of control, you didn't hear how these people spread it. Yan Tian's expression was angrily increased by three points, if Lin Yi comes back and refuses to admit it, it is estimated that he will be regarded as modern Chen Shimei. Had. Xia Ching Huang gave a disdainful chuckle, and looked up at Yan Tian Dao, we know who Lin Yi likes. Wait for Jian Yi to be dismantled. I'll see how she will end up at that time. When Xia Ching Huan said this, Yan Tianke realized that there was a missing person when it was so important. Then he raised his eyebrows and asked, Where is Jane AI? Just now when get out of class was over, I told me that something went out and people left. Xia Ching Huan pouted and said casually. The first hospital of Baiyun City. When Jane arrived, Wang Yunmi was already waiting at the gate. Mom. Jane yelled, and she stepped faster by three points. Before coming closer, Jane looked at her mother and said directly, Did you bring the case? Wang Yunmi nodded, and then said helplessly to Jane, Mom will do it by yourself. You have to go to class in the afternoon. What are you toss about? That's how it works. Jane took Wang Yunmi's hand and walked to the hospital, saying, you are not a cold or fever. You can just hang water in the hospital by yourself. Seeing her daughter insisted on following, Wang Yunmi I had no choice but to listen to her. In fact, she didn't want her daughter to come together, because she was afraid that the doctor's words would affect her daughter. As Jane A.I. said, he is not a simple cold and fever. It's cancer, and cancer cells have begun to spread. Even if the doctors of the 4th hospital said that the medical technology of Baiyun No. 1 hospital was the best in the city, Wang Yunmi knew that for her disease, even the best hospital in Beijing, the probability of cure is almost zero. But she couldn't tell her daughter these words, she had promised her daughter not to give up. The two directly registered the expert number of tumor surgery at the registration desk, and Jane had already contacted Bai Tian before coming. This step of registration was just to prevent her mother from being suspicious. According to Bai Tian's instructions, Jane took her mother directly to the innermost consulting room on the third floor. The two stood at the door. Jane lifted her eyes and glanced at her mother before knocking on the door. Enter. Inside the door, a low voice sounded. Pushing the door and entering, Jane saw the Xiaowu in a white coat sitting in the consulting room at a glance. As if he knew that his eyes were cold, Xiao Liu was actually wearing a pair of glasses intimately, his eyes hidden behind the lenses, and the whole person suddenly looked much gentler. Hello, doctor. Jane said politely as she pretended to meet for the first time. The doctor is good. Wang Yunmi also said. Xiao Liu looked unsmiling, glanced lightly at the two of them, and nodded gently, please sit down. Sitting down opposite Xiaolu, Wang Yunmi directly put the case in her hand on the desk and pushed it in front of him. Jane said when she saw this, the liver cancer was diagnosed in the 4th City Hospital last week. Xiaolu didn't speak, but reached out and picked up Wang Yunmi's case and turned it over. Sitting on a chair, Wang Yunmi couldn't help muttering in her heart when she looked at the expert who seemed to be only in her 20s. This person looks very stance but he is too young. Obviously, from the moment she walked in, Wang Yunmi didn't hold any hope. The room fell into silence for a while, only the sound of Xiaolu turning the pages of his medical records. Finally, he lifted the X-ray film against the light source and looked at it carefully for a while, before speaking blankly, surgery should be arranged as soon as possible. Doctor, is there a cure for my mother's condition? Jane asked quickly. Xiao Liu put the case back into the case bag, and said, the cancer cells have indeed begun to spread, but they have not reached an uncontrollable level. It is completely okay to have surgery as soon as possible to curb the condition in the first time, with post-treatment. Recovered. Doctor, what are you saying, really? Wang Yunmi stayed in the chair at this time, seeming to suspect that she had heard it wrong. 
Experts say that he is completely recoverable. Xiao Liu glanced at Wang Yunmei faintly, and said, How can this kind of thing be a joke? Mom, I said it will be cured. Jane Ai cooperated with Xiaoyu, and immediately grabbed Wang Yunmei's hand with excitement, but her eyes were red. Jane Ai stopped and turned around and saw that Lin Yi was walking quickly towards him. I was slightly surprised, shouldn't Lin Yi still be hospitalized? Jane Ai looked behind Lin Yi. A black Mercedes car was parked there. The driver in a suit was standing by the car with a school bag in his hand. It was obvious that he had come to pick up Lin Yi from the hospital. Classmates. Wang Yun Mei said in doubt. Jane Ai nodded, before speaking, Lin Yi had already come closer. Hello, Auntie. Although she had never seen Jane Ai's mother, Lin Yi said hello politely. Because Jane's eyebrows are very similar to Wang Yun Mei, it is actually not difficult to guess the relationship between the two. Wang Yun Mei smiled slightly and nodded. On the side, Jane Ixia frowned slightly and asked, Are you going to be discharged from the hospital? Lin Yi smiled and nodded, revealing a neat row of white teeth, There is no big problem. The doctor asked me to cultivate for two days, but I was uncomfortable in the hospital, so I wanted to go home and raise it. Seeing that Lin Yi was in good spirits, it seemed that there was nothing serious about it, and Jane nodded gently. Why did you come to the hospital? You are not feeling well. Lin Yi asked back, with some concern in his tone. Jane Ai didn't conceal it. She glanced at Wang Yun Mei and responded with a calm face, I came with my mother. Hearing this, Lin Yi nodded clearly, but he was very polite and didn't ask the others. Instead, he said to Jane Ai, should I go back to school? I'll see you off. Thinking of the scandal between Lin Yi and Jian Yi in the morning, Jane shook her head without any consideration, no, you go home and rest. If time is too late, I can go back by myself. If this is for others to see him getting off Lin Yi's car, it would be fine. With Wang Yun Mei here, Lin Yi didn't force it, okay. Then I'll go first. When the words were over, Lin Yi didn't forget to say goodbye auntie to Wang Yun Mei before turning around and walking quickly to the front of the car, opening the door and getting in. When the car passed by Jane Ai, Lin Yi, who was sitting in the back seat, waved at her. It wasn't until the car disappeared that Wang Yun Mei looked back at her daughter and asked, This little boy seems to have a good relationship with you. In fact, Wang Yun Mei was a little shocked in her heart. She knew that the children in number two middle school were from rich families, but she didn't expect that her daughter would make good friends in number two middle school, and she would still be a boy. Lin Yu Cheng is handsome and polite. The first time I met, she left a good impression on Wang Yun Mei. Jian Ai couldn't help but smile when she heard the words, did not explain much, just spoke in a casual tone. I was reclassified for the last monthly exam and I met a few new classmates. Jane Ai's temperament has always been quiet, until recently she suddenly changed her sex. In the past, Wang Yun Mei had always worried that her daughter's personality would be isolated by her classmates. Now that she sees that she has made new friends, she feels more relieved. At night, when Jane Ai was helping her mother organize the things she needed to bring to the hospital tomorrow, the phone rang. I picked it up and saw that it was Wu's number, and immediately picked it up, Wu's. Girl, Jian Yu found it. Wu Bai on the other end of the phone said in a low voice, his tone of joy and anger inaudible. Jian Ai quickly asked, where is the person? With me, are you at home? Wu Bai asked. Jane Ai, I'm at home. Wu Bai, I will send someone to pick you up. Earl Villa, located in the suburbs of Byun City, is the most expensive and the most built villa area in Byun City. Backed by Byun Mountain, the golden location of the villa group, a manor with a large area is built on the mountainside, and the villa building in the main courtyard is extremely luxurious. In the living room of the villa, a huge crystal chandelier illuminates the house. Wu Bai is dressed in silk home clothes, 
with a tall body leaning against the floor-to-ceiling window of the living room, and hangs up the phone in his hand. In the living room of Nyo University, there are a dozen people in black with black super covering their faces. All of them have expressionless faces and stand erect like sculptures. He gave a wink at a subordinate next to him, and Wu Bai whispered, Number 13, Nanjing 6th Lane, go pick up someone. The man in black nodded respectfully when he heard the words, and then walked out quickly. Wu Bai turned his head and looked at the leather sofa in the middle of the living room, Jian Yu sat down half-arched, his head down in despair. How? Do you imitate me? As Wu Bai spoke, he walked to Jian Yu and sat down, look up, let me take a look. Hearing this, Jian Yu couldn't help shrinking his neck slightly, then slowly raised his head after a long while. His original handsome and fair face was blue and purple, and there were scabs on the corners of his eyes. Although it was not as horrible as Wu Bai a while ago, this Jian Yu's injury could not be left behind by mercy, and it was just a face injury, and there must be other injuries on his body. Wu Bai's person was found by Jian Yu in an inconspicuous hotel in the Bell Tower area. He was wearing a peaked cap and pressed the brim of the hat very low, and he bought a fried rice in a small restaurant and went back. Brother Wu Jian Yu turned his head to look at Wu Bai, his lips moved before he whispered, Could you tell my mom and Xiao Ai? There was some pleading in his tone, he really didn't want to be seen what he was like now, especially his mother and sister. Wu Bai suddenly chuckled when he heard the words, and looked at Jian Yu and said, It's late, the girl will be here in a while. Xiao Ai, she knows. Jian Yu was startled, and suddenly panicked. Otherwise. Wu Bai looked faintly and said, Otherwise, why do you think I sent so many people to look for you? The first person to find you missing is the girl. When the words fell, Wu Bai took the whiskey on the table and poured himself a glass, then leaned back and took a sip before saying, She knows everything. Jian Yu lowered his head weakly at the moment, but didn't know how to face his sister in this way for a while. To be precise, he didn't want his sister to see that she was so incompetent and embarrassed. And Wu Pai said she knew all about it, which means she had been to the Starlight Bar. Thinking of this, Jian Yu couldn't help but feel a throbbing pain in his heart. I didn't expect that my sincerity was worthless in the face of money and class. About an hour later, Jane Ai was taken to the Earl's Manor. When she first saw Jian Yu with a bruised face, Jane's eyes suddenly filled with gloom, but the next second, she was crushed by her. Slowly walked to Jian Yu and stood still. There was no crying, no questioning, or even a word of concern. He just raised his hand and held the elder brother's hand. Jane Ai couldn't see any emotions of joy or anger on her face, but looking at the appearance of her elder brother at this time, her heart felt pain as if she had been pricked by a needle, and the anger that was almost gushing out was suppressed in her chest. Unforgivable, unforgivable. Jane Ai looked at Jian Yu with a calm face, but the more so, the more profound Jian Yu's heart became, and she couldn't help but call out. Xiao Ai. Wu Bai stood aside, looking at the girl in front of him at this moment and frowned involuntarily. After all, if he were to be someone else, he would have been crying with Jian Yu at this moment, how could he be as calm as her? Girl, are you okay? Wu Bai was a little worried, after all, Jane's reaction was too abnormal. Jian Ai shook his head gently when he heard the words, moved his gaze away from Jian Yu's face fell on Wu Bai, and said softly, I'm relieved to see my brother is fine, Wu Bai, this one thank you for that. Although Jian Ai seemed to be fine, Wu Bai still felt something faintly wrong, but he couldn't tell what was wrong. He could only smile slightly on the face, don't be polite to me. I saw Jane exhale softly, then looked at Jian Yu and said, brother, go home. The tone is natural, and it seems to be really fine. Jian Yu knew that the matter was over, it was useless for him to escape. At the beginning, I just wanted to hide for a while, and wait until the injury healed before going back. Who knew that my sister not only went to the Starlight Bar, but also asked Wu Baij to search Byun City to find him. 
The intention was not to worry people, but in the end it troubled so many people. Then Brother Wu, we're going back, and it's causing you trouble. Jian Yu said sorry to Wu Bai in a tone of voice. Wu Bai patted Jian Yu's shoulder soothingly, and nodded, I'll let someone see you off. It was in the suburbs of Baiyun City, and there was no way to get a taxi, so Jane did not refuse. After sending the two out of the villa, Wu Bai suddenly said to Jane AI, Girl, it's a matter of a word. Jane couldn't help but pause when she heard the words, and then looked back at Wu Bai. At the end, he smiled indifferently, no need for brother Wu. She knew the meaning of Wu Bai's words just now. With a word of her own, he could solve the person who hurt her brother for herself. Originally, there was some speculation about whether Wu Bai was a triad, but now, looking at this gorgeous and extravagant manner, as well as the surveillance and people in black that can be seen everywhere in the manor, Jane knows that Wu's identity is definitely not simple. It's just that she swore on the first day after she was born again that she would protect her mother and brother, so this matter should be settled by her. As the car drove away from the gate of the manor, Wu Bai stood in front of the villa and frowned. The more he thought about the state of the girl, the more uneasy he felt. After a long while, he just heard him call out, Liza. The man in black who was standing behind heard this and quickly stepped forward and bowed his head respectfully, Big brother. Send someone to follow the girl secretly these days, don't be discovered by her, and notify me in time if there is any abnormality. Wu Bai whispered. Yes. Liza nodded and stepped back. On the way back, Jane A.I. leaned in the back seat looking at the endless night outside the window without saying a word, but holding Jian Yu's hand with one hand from beginning to end. Feeling the temperature of her sister's palm, Jian Yu, who was still worried, felt a little settled at this time. Turning to look at her sister's profile, Jian Yu's lips moved, but she didn't know what to say. Speechless all the way, after returning home, Jian Yu sat on the sofa and watched her sister walk directly into the mother's room then walked out holding the medicine kit in a short time. Upon seeing this, Jian Yu hurriedly said, the wound has been treated by Wu Paj.